This is a very special episode of Chapo Trap House. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, we have like a weird gender balance on this one. We got two girls. Yeah, this is the most masculine show we've had yeah, in we years. Got th- we got Hi, two girls, but we're missing the regular girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's been replaced. Adam went to South Africa to participate in the Blackface Festival in Cape Town. <laughs> I'm here to take podcasting lessons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joining us is... Desha, <laughs> Deshae, uh, uh, our African intern, <laughs> came over as part of an exchange program for Adam, <laughs> and then Amber, big titty Amber. No one knows her race. Yep, and we're gonna keep it that way. Yeah, they'll never. Know. I was wondering. That's kind of the best position to be in. Mm-hmm. Got that weird eth- ethnic middle name too. Yeah. Yes. Just ethnic, like not a, black. Just a <laughs> fucked up look. Eskimo. Nobody knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I really. I, the first time we hung out, it was at that like you were like, I'm at Pearl River. I'm like, I don't know what that is. And you're like, it's they sell Chinese stuff. And I'm like, oh, so she is Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a typical <laughs> Chinese move to go to a Chinese place <laughs> to buy fucking I don't know the dragon Tea? costume that your whole but family that's where wears. They do sell time. those things, I know. which yeah. is fun as hell. Yeah. Do they have like a four person dragon costume? Yeah. Oh, they got like the, the Can we 12 get some? people ones. Yeah. Yo, yeah. what is Chinese New Year's? Know this. Amber's room is just filled with uh, 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 pictures of waterfalls that are backlit <laughs> <laughs> and then little golden cats that wave at you. Well, I'm really into <laughs> like Guzheng music now. What? Yeah. Bang, Bob bang, bang, <laughs> bang. <laughs> that fucked up fucked Chinese, up Chinese <laughs> guitar. <laughs> bang, bang, it's bang. It's soothing. Yeah. That shit sucks, dude. <laughs> no it rules. No, it's bad. I like it it's a lot. Too, well, it's, it's too severe. I don't know if it's good or bad. You know? Right, I don't speak Chinese. Right. right. I can't tell. I don't oh, know no, this music. is all instrumental. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, unless you speak Chinese, you don't get it. It's, it's the like, rhythms. It's, like it's the Chinese bang, rhythms. Bang, bang, shit, and then a guy that's like, breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> ding, ding, breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> I would listen to the fuck out of yeah. that, dude. There I was completely wasted. I don't walk it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. The Chinese restaurant I used to go to in Catonsville, Maryland, when I was a student mm. at University of Maryland, Baltimore County, home of the Chesapeake Bay Retrievers. We didn't even get the good retriever. Wow. Uh, it's a state dog. Yes. Mm. Um, it's brown, not golden. Uh, anyway, uh, Golden Phoenix, I believe it was called. They would play like Chinese versions of Bon Jovi and shit, but oh, it was yeah. instrumental. It'd be like, Bang, Ooh, bang. she's a reader, <laughs> run <lun> away. <laughs> Daddy's girl ran fast. <laughs> 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 it fucking rocked for real. Yeah. You just hear like, Bang, 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 bang. Nice and chimes and shit, and I'm just sucking down low main. Mm. <laughs> I was listening Fuck. to one of those. The times of my life. One of those like uh, the you know that like Tejano music that's like waltz music mixed with like yeah 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 the polka know. stuff yeah they bum, have like bum, 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 I love that shit yeah it's bum, Tejano music is, is good. like it's influenced by like the, all the Germans that moved to Texas but uh, then it's also just Mexican music and um, Czech people too yeah. so yeah. it's all like that like bump 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 yeah yeah on delay whatever you know but I was listening to one of those radio stations one time and the song just continued and it was like DJing so it kept switching. And so it's like bum bum ba da bum, and then at one point it goes like uh, bum ba bum ba da bum. Flintstones. Fuck yeah, the Flintstones goes off, dude. Yeah, yeah. I would bump that shit, especially in Big Mexico. Hit. Yeah, they, there's weird things because they, they still like have in, those kind of cars in Mexico. That, like they Mexican guys come over here as grown men, and they've like struggled so much to get to America. You know, mm-hmm. like hiding inside of a donkey's ass. And right, so <laughs> right. The yep. And the border patrol is like. What, what is? Oh, it's a donkey. Let it go. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Don't, they don't have. There's no rules. There's no that. rules. Just right when it and comes to donkeys. They get here covered in donkey shit. Just mm. hard weathered men, and then they like. They're like, I love a poo bear. <laughs> <laughs> I love Winnie the Pooh and Tiger. I love to have Tiger on my denim jacket. <laughs> I love to wear a denim jacket with Tiger on it. <laughs> Um, I do explain a lot of my socioeconomic background by the fact that I have like a lot of adult aunts that love Tweety Bird. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Mm-hmm. Like and Betty Boop. Twe- yeah, yeah. The ho- the hoes love Betty Boop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. they love the Betty love Boop more in their oh, yeah. youth, but now you know when they're sucking and fucking, they got Betty Boop on. When, yeah. when yeah. you retire from it's strange, because like, you don't think about kid that. Three, 
That's a, when you moved to Tweety. Tweety Bird. As a kid, a sassy you, bitch. Mm-hmm. you know Betty Boop women, and you don't realize until you're older, it's like, oh, they fuck. Oh, they fuck it's big time. That's, why, yeah. that's it, why she's got a Betty Boop shower curtain. Is cause yes, she fucks. <laughs> she's been fucking. The hairdresser that my she's mom retired is. now from fucking. Mm-hmm. But oh, I remember, like, and I would like those women, because I, I knew. <laughs> I knew that they fucked. It, a part of me knew. Like, the, there's this lady who used to cut my hair. Uh, she had a Betty Boop tattoo, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Why did she used to cut your hair? Uh, cause I she only does children's cuts. Oh. Otherwise, <laughs> I'd go back to her. Yeah. Plus, she's in Baltimore. She's My hairstylist so, is yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. I have a whole team now that kind of kind of sculpts. You know, yeah. we kind of have a a, a strategy. They it doesn't matter. Found an entire Dominican salon for yeah, you. yeah, yeah. I like to watch a cockfight and just get my hair buzzed. Mm. Um, yeah. which there is a there is a place in Astoria where Eldis and Ryan get their hair cut. But I cut my own hair to save money, actually. That's the actual reason. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that plays cockfights. They stream cockfights from, like, the <laughs> DR or something. It fucking mm-hmm. rules. Uh, anyway, sh- I used to love how she would put her titties on the back of my childhood head oh, when sure. she uh, you know, cut my hair. There's no way that the physics of <laughs> hair cutting would require that. Bro, you don't know all I can tell you... Them. All I can tell you there, is I felt titties. Size. Look, if her titties yeah. were big enough for that to happen, she shouldn't be cutting hair. She should be receiving disability. Yeah. Well, Bro, I, receiving what do you want me to say? a different kind of D, if you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The D's ability. D, the, di- the ability D. of the there. dick to yeah. fuck her <laughs> yep. for money on camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to work. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Uh, listen, all I can tell you is, come on, you got your haircut, you never enjoyed getting a pair of titties on your back? I would go to haircuttery. I fucking hated getting my haircut, because it was always like some woman that barely spoke English. Mm-hmm. And one time I went there, and uh, it was a white lady. I'm like, thank God. <laughs> and then she goes, she's like, what do you want? And she's <laughs> deaf. It was a fucking deaf woman. Wow. She's like, you had to, hit, to tap me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that actually. Like my least favorite part of getting my hair cut is talking to. That's Although true. I do I like fall my asleep. girl. She's like this. Uh, you fall asleep. I fall asleep sometimes. <laughs> this, uh, this kind of what? <laughs> I just wake up. The barbershop's closed. Girl who's like a Bernie bro. I'm bald. And nice. she's like yeah. a. She's like I don't know about these identity politics. <laughs> I'm like, all right. She's got a point. We, we can talk now. Um, the last time I went to uh, what the fuck was it? Floyd's ninety nine barbershop. Yeah, there was a uh, a throwback sort of white trash lady, retired Betty Booper, uh-huh. and I'm like, all right, good. I'll, I'll still feel these old white trash titties on my back for, for old time's sake. But she tried to fucking, she tried to make me Christian. How about Floyd? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Floyd yeah. Cummy you... Gayweather. Mm-hmm. You know? Yes. Uh. Okay. Floyd Cumming Gayweather. Floyd Cummy. Mm-hmm. Gayweather. Floyd Cummy, yeah, money. We, we were watching a uh, transvestigation <laughs> video in the Wayne Newton before the show started. It turns out they he's trans. me, yeah. Because yeah. a gay guy yelled at a bunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah uh, really I didn't realize how guy, fat his cheeks were in his youth. Well, he I thought that was a plastic surgery thing. I mean, he definitely tried to like put them back, and it's very weird looking now. He has some kind of like... He started out when he's like 15 Congenital like... Maybe just you know, a eunuch. Yeah, he probably Bear shaped body. It chopped his nuts off. He probably off, has like, it, like fucking XXY chromosomes or some shit. He's got Down syndrome of the dick and balls. Mm. You think he's got he's a little pussy a in his balls? Late yeah, <laughs> he's got a little little sugar in his balls. <laughs> um, but we were saying, uh, what if the seam of his balls is a very little pussy? That would be cool. That would be kind of cool, that actually. Cool. You could finger your own little ball that would pussy. Be cool. I would fuck my own balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You'd have to kind of. You do it. You tuck it around. You put it in. You go. Do 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 do. I am gay. Yeah, but uh, we were saying, how about Brain Newton? Yes, you know? mm-hmm. absolutely. It's a song, Donka Shane for Sucking My Dick. <laughs> <laughs> is that Donka, is that thank you in German? Yeah, yeah, it's thank you. Nice. It's thank you very much. Oh, he's not thanking someone named Shane? He stole Shane. Elvis's fucking catchphrase. Oh, but he made it kraut. He made it, yeah, because he loved Hitler. <laughs> Wayne Newton loves Hitler. <laughs> yeah. Actually, <laughs> Wayne Newton was an experiment created by Mangoli. Ah, to to invent popular go. music. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. Yo, Elvis back in the That's day. That's my transvestigation. <laughs> <laughs> you think they could have? You think Nazis could have made really good trans people? You think they were interested in that? Uh, they were very yeah. not happy with any kind of any kind of gay thing. No, but I'm sure Mengele probably tried it. I mean, yeah, just for imagine you're a fucking of- psychopath and the people like you have. Like Hitler says to you, like you can do what any any kind of fucked up <laughs> yeah, surgery yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd be like, thank I you. I think he so mostly much. just sewed twins together. And he shit. he was probably the happiest person in the for history sure. of the world. For sure, 
for sure. He got to do whatever he wants. It's like a fucked up, like some guy on a message board yeah. who dreams of fucking killing drifters you know how, and sewing you know them how together. how good it would feel to and drill a hole in someone's head a, and yeah. pour boiling water directly under their brain. Yeah, really fucking good. Yeah. yeah. It'd be awesome. He probably had a hard day at work doing that to other people. <laughs> and then he just wants to blow off some steam on someone's brain. <laughs> <laughs> so a steam pipe up. Did he have hobbies? We think Mengele does to chill. He would hobble children. <laughs> yeah. He would crush their ankles and then. That's where hobby comes from. Yeah. Mm, from hobbling. Because you whittle. Oh, nice yeah. nips, dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. Nick's got a fucking cute ass outfit he on. He's got. Sick, yeah. He's yeah, got he's a fucking gold boob. gym gay yeah. guy and then he just tank like top. Full, yeah. Blue. Very electric blue. Matching. Like gold's gym. Muscle Beach? Mm, no. Hollywood. Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. The gay one. Television Center. Yeah. They just West Hollywood? Yeah. No, regular Hollywood. Oh. Normal. Straight Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Straight homeless, <laughs> the, uh, turned out young actor Hollywood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, the normal one for guys that got raped trying to be on Hannah Montana. <laughs> and they're 37 years old and addicted to Freon. No. Getting their limp dick sucked by a fat, bald Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, just don't tell anybody about this. <laughs> So they're back to raping now, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going oh, back to Hollywood stopped. tonight. Oh damn! A little Watch out! Fashion. You want to? You want a gun? Old casting couches. You want a gun? Uh, we should yeah. get you a gun <laughs> to protect well, you yourself. Get one in Los Angeles, do you have a taser though. yet? I do. I have a taser. I'm yeah. Like taser, taser, old Jewish guy. <laughs> He's a you producer. should. You should. How big are they? The taser? Yeah. Or the producer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, it's like oh, the size of my hands. Okay. That was funnier yeah, than anything kind of Adam bulky, said yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on the show. That was pretty Yeah, good. it's so nice to have someone you respect on the pod. Yeah, it is nice. Thanks, guys. Yeah. It's good to be here. <laughs> you should stay in Africa. I hope, uh, yeah, I hope Adam's this playing crashes. The chimpanzee family. <laughs> yeah. The toucan and the chimpanzee. <laughs> Baboon that is made. who his grandmother is. Yeah, it's Rafiki. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all yeah. a bunch One of. One day you will be a giant faggot. <laughs> <laughs> paints his face. <laughs> yeah. All Adam's, this Adam's will be dad yours. Brought him up to the edge of a, yeah. a rock, yeah. and he lifted it up, and he's like, "Look how gay he is." Everyone's <laughs> <laughs> like, "He's okay." <laughs> all of this will be yours. Don't go there. That's where people have sex with women. <laughs> 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 Gay ass Adam watching hyenas fuck women and getting scared. <laughs> uh, got him. <laughs> Adam's grandma said she doesn't want to meet me until there's a ring on my. Whoa! Uh, I don't damn. want to meet that bitch How at about all. This? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to meet Adam's grandma until there's a ring like, on my cock. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got something for Adam's grandma <laughs> right here. <laughs> She's crazy old, right? She's like pretty old in her 80s. Yeah, so she What do we call her? Die. The tube hog of the Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to the tube hog of Cape Town. <laughs> I do think she fucked a bunch of guys for real. I think she did, yeah. She also yeah. said Russians love luxury items, so oh, Adam better be prepared damn. to Damn. Who doesn't love luxury <laughs> items? Exactly. Yeah. I know. I would love a big leather chair to sit in. I want a fur Instead coat. Instead of this bullshit leather couch. <laughs> <laughs> I want a fur ass coat, dude. Yeah, I want a fur I wife. I want to marry a, some kind of fucked up animal. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. A liger? No, nah, like a like a yeti or something. <laughs> oh, like an ant half ant, nice yeah. fleece woman. You can what fuck if you just any part of her. With like her suitism, but it was like Austral no, I don't want gross. that. I don't, I don't want that. First of all, I don't. I don't have any intention of going to Guatemala. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's a, the wrong kind of hair. Yeah, they want fur, not. Not pubes. coarse, yeah, yeah. pubes yeah. on your hand and shit. Yeah. I mean, there's things you can do. They got flat. Yo, there was now. a woman who grows a fucking beard, and I was so mad. And she like she like took the internet, and she was like, "I'm I'm fucking, I look good. I don't care. I'm not shaving." It's like, what the fuck? Why can't I grow a nice fucking thick ass beard? Oh, you mean that uh, Sikh woman? No, no, no. It was like a fat white lady. Because somebody took a picture of some Sikh lady in the airport. And she had like a fucking big ass beard. That rules. Yeah. And uh, she someone had her was like, and I think that, like it's a part of the religion to not be able to remove hair. Yeah. No. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know they got some for the locked up butt cheeks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know that is a fucked up mm -hmm. pussy butt cheek yeah. area, my friend. Yeah, I mean they're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> that one lady. Somebody, oh. somebody like shamed her in the airport. 
The beard lady? Yeah, yeah. And then she found it and she's like, yeah, that's what I look like. What's the big deal? And the guy's like, I'm so sorry. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, no, man, double down. (laughs) Go even harder. I mean, shouts out to her for being cool with having a beard, but why can't I have the beard? Yeah. God, give me a nice fat fucking beard. I'm sure you guys could trade. I'm sure there's a way. You think so? Yeah. You can't you Cut her skin off. On those cheeks at all? The rosy ass cheeks are medically rosy. It's like that. It's mm. like that. Doctor too Seuss jolly for my story own good about the guys with stars on their bellies. What's the that? The sneeches. The sneeches. Yeah, what? Your star belly. This, you remember that? Is one? that a Holocaust that, thing? No, it's like the old guy comes out. <laughs> right? and all like, children's books are a metaphor for the Holocaust. <laughs> yeah. The old guy comes out and he's like, "There's too many fucking sneeches in this neighborhood." <laughs> <laughs> Pull up your pants, you fucking sneeches. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> His loud sneech music. No daughter of mine is going to yeah, yeah. be a sneech lover. His gold sneech tooth. <laughs> <laughs> his spats coming around my house with his spats and his dice necklace. <laughs> no, I don't remember that particular one, <laughs> that particular Dr. Seuss, but it sounds good. I'm gonna check it out. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, this should be the year Stav gets into children's books. <laughs> <laughs> I finally finished The Bronx is Burning. Oh, wow, congrats! It's very good. Proud of you, even I've, though your I shirt found is out, on Inside Out. Yeah, yeah. listen, oh. I'm struggling. Me and Ellis, <laughs> first of all, shirt is. On is a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go so far to say that. It's, it's mostly on. on. It's a crop top. It's mostly on. <laughs> yeah, sure, you can see my entire belly button, but t- nipples are intact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. Yeah. To be fair, we've seen more of your. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm wearing I'm wearing a, a cool. You've got a you whole know, outfit on. Uh, yeah, I got a. a you got little, my New Year's outfit. It's an ensemble. Outfit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. What was that? What were we talking about? I feel like I was really getting. Oh, the Bronx is burning. Yeah. I found out Ed Koch won, and I should have known because uh, I would drive over the bridge all the time. So I had no idea. Yeah, he was mayor for like four <laughs> years. <laughs> he didn't know. I mean, I didn't know if he won that one or a later election. <laughs> yeah. You know, he won it was like cool. nine elections. Uh, I don't remember. I they, they only covered one election, so I'm, I can't I can't confirm or deny your claims, Nicholas. Uh. Mm. But uh, yeah, good ass good ass book. So check out Bronx is Burning, everyone. Yeah. Thanks. Tom's Vote for Cuomo, club. not a homo. That was a campaign. Mm-hmm. Slogan, mm-hmm. Right? I, yeah. it's, we talked about it before. We did. It's like, you can't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you're just making fun of your own name. Yeah, you can't use your name. I like name. it. I think he's getting out of, in front of it. Right, know. yeah. Yep. That's, it violates mm-hmm. a fundamental rule. There was another person that you would like to make fun of, Nick. She was like a proto uh, SJW. It was Bella Abzug. She was a fat Jewish lady. With uh, big hats and yeah. uh, do a little research on her. I think you'd really hate her. <laughs> okay. So maybe next time we could have a nice Bella next time, I, next time I'm sitting down to do research. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a note of that for my my for my afternoon research <laughs> session. I know. I'm always trying to hang out, and you're like, no, I have to read the encyclopedia. <laughs> I'm doing research. When, he, when he's really in deep, he calls it research. Yeah. Mm. When's the last time you guys cracked open an encyclopedia? Never. Those don't mm. really exist. Remember that anymore. thrill? L- literally never in my life. You've maybe, never opened an maybe encyclopedia? Maybe one time. No, like I've been in the library and they had one out. And, and you like, looked up tits? I, I, I remember just being like, so this is what, like a comp- <laughs> an even more complex dictionary? Yeah. I didn't know, the, the encyclopedia felt... Basically. Like there was, you know... I used to read them a lot when I was a kid. Yeah, there was Did you have the Britannica? I would just go to get them at school and stuff because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I was an overachiever because my parents neglected me. Nice. So I would be like really, trying really like, hard. I'm going to read everything. Yeah. Did you Apparently, read the whole... Apparently, when you go I'm, back and, and look at them, yeah. they're sourced really terribly. <laughs> the world's and best there's podcast. Like a, they're like <laughs> not more correct than like a Wikipedia article. Yeah, I, 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 I believe that. I yeah. believe that. Good pictures, though. Mm-hmm. Good pics. Yeah, looking up pussy. Yeah, you look up sex, dictionary. vagina, <laughs> yeah, yeah. penis. Yeah, they should have. They breasts. should do it. it Breast was a good an, one. An Encyclopedia Britannica, where they just they only have the words people really want to see. Yeah, I remember. That. I used to do that when I was a little kid. I'd look up vagina in the dictionary yeah. and get horny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Just reading the description, of course. And all the words I wouldn't yeah. understand any of them. Yeah, it's like noun, vagina. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna fucking get all up in there. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna fuck that ass <laughs> and the pussy. It's like, is this a definition? <laughs> Motherfucker, shut up. I, I'm, I'm explaining something. That rules. I, I want an encyclopedia like that. Yeah, dude. Harry Potter style. Mm-hmm. Where guy, it's a movie guy, picture. Guy at the you. bus stop encyclopedia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had, did I tell that story about it? 
It was like this guy who's like kind of a, I think he was a crackhead. He was kind of just a bummy guy that was always seen him around like the bus stops or whatever. And he uh, one time I was like, I was like, uh, I, forget, I asked him for a cigarette, and he was like, "Motherfucker, I got a whole pocket full of cigarettes." <laughs> yeah. And he pulls out just a handful of half smoked cigarettes he found in the garbage. Salute. Or on the ground. That's and awesome. then he started giving me advice. He, was like, <laughs> he goes, he's like, let me tell you something. He's like, it's I all about pheromones. Covers. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? Okay. You know, Alert. that's what the bitch, and it's just sweat. You know, he's yeah. explaining like how he attracts women. Mm-hmm. But it's like, this guy is not, fu- he's just fucking prostitutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's collecting change to have sex with prostitutes. <laughs> Oh, dude! Life advice from a guy with fucking smoked cigarettes in his <laughs> loose ass. Yeah, already smoked cigarettes in his pocket. Oh, fuck! In his fucking fake velour sweatsuit pocket. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck, dude! Man. I'm, I'm really struggling over here. I had, yeah, I had myself too. a night with all this, you know, snow day. Uh-huh. I meant snow to start day. twenty twenty eighteen like a champ, you know. Mm-hmm. I meant to hit. I was I was doing okay. I was hitting the gym. Uh-huh. You know, I was getting my cock was getting hard because I was. Eating right, drinking smoothies, no other reason. <laughs> and I, uh, but then the snow day <laughs> happened, and uh, I just let myself go, dude. Me and Elders baked a whole tray of cookies at 1 a.m. last night. You shouldn't I be eating you, cookies. And I yeah, ate them. I ever. ate them. And I, you know what I, I did? You I can't spread live with Elders. I spread nut butter, Stavi's own famous nut butter, on one side of each cookie, Stop. and I made myself like an Oreo. With my own nut butter. Now, see, me and Sav are friends, so I'm going to say, good job, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> I'm going to encourage this. And I woke up sick as hell. I've and told I, you that you can chew the food and spit it it's out. It's not going to work for me, Dasha. You don't have to swallow Oh, you can it. fucking smell the Coke and then fucking <laughs> snot loogie it out, okay? We all have our own... <laughs> We all have our own device uh, d- uh, f- yeah. vices. <laughs> that, that is that is terrible advice for fat person. <laughs> yeah. it's like the just the tip. Of, yeah. Of you don't think I've tried that? I tried to be believing because a little kid. Mm. I couldn't do it. I couldn't throw it's up. It's so funny how yeah, everyone, everyone, everyone did I couldn't the just do it. the tip thing as a teenager. What? The mo- that just the tip move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it when I had sex as a teen. Yeah, I definitely Or, did. you know, yeah. whenever you start fucking or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I fucked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's still a move that I'll try. <laughs> like you just still, the tip. I mean, I can't like, imagine doing that in adulthood. Oh, if somebody's great. like, I don't want to fuck, I'm like, thank God. <laughs> 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 I just, all I want is to know that I can fuck. You. That is actually as true as for me. One hundred percent. I'll go to sleep. I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, said it. I do. I do like the part where you, there's you just fucking go to farmers markets and just fucking chill. Mm. You know, occasionally fuck when the mood strikes. I mean, yeah. I like to get slurped off. I like the part where it. she asks, can we go to the farmer's market? And I say, ah, I'm real busy today. And then I just go to the farmer's market by myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's the part of hoping to get I Hoping enjoy. that she sees you so she breaks up with you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're too yeah. much of a bitch to <laughs> actually air your feelings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I was not going to come. But then I, you know, I needed an onion. <laughs> They didn't have the right size at the regular supermarket, so I had to come to the farmer's market. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I probably can't live with Eldis, but I'm never going to stop. That's my yeah. man. Our friend, actually, Pete, we, me, Pete, and Eldis met in preschool. Holy shit. That was the first guy I ever bullied was Eldis. Yeah. He came in. Well, Stav was in preschool until he was 17. <laughs> <laughs> Trolling. It took a long time for him to start school. Yeah, but once it started, dude. What I are was, those? Candy. Mm. Oh shit! Amber's For got what some, kind of candy? <laughs> some Calisans de Provence. Ooh, for de Provence from, from Chabert and Gulot. It's like a luxury item. To me. Sounds yeah. luxury. Sounds like a some consumer de preference. Items. Avant fin lot vous à dos. I want a chain. New get chab- items. Hold on, I'm reading French. Where can I get gold a chain? chain? A gold chain. Literally anywhere in this neighborhood. Yeah. Are they good? eBay. I gotta try them on, see how they rest yeah. between my what titties. What kind of size are you? Thinking? I see. I don't know. Yeah, I think you should go pretty long. I'm gonna get into turtlenecks, dude. That's not oh, bad. Hell yeah. I'm gonna be a black turtleneck and track bottom guy. That's oh, that's what I'm wearing. Right interesting. Now. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> I didn't realize you can do it. The gold chain over the turtleneck. I can do that. So what's in the Provence? Mm. Um, um, here, let's let Stav eat all of these. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Come on, Stav, just have one. 
Really? No. Just one, you, you think? Literally can't have <laughs> I mean, maybe one. I don't want to be no. rude to you, Amber. <laughs> You're not. Don't <laughs> 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 Fat bitch, don't my fucking Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. That's no, there's no need wow. for that language. Wow. No, you need a little tough love. I was okay? trying to be nice to That's you. That's incredibly hospitable. You had, you had an hospitable. overly indulgent mother. I know. You need more of a tiger mom. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do want to fuck an Asian woman. You're right. <laughs> That's what a tiger mom is. Yeah, right. we should find an Asian woman to berate you. That'd be Herbal cool. If she sucks me off, I'm totally fine with that. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to be berated and have nothing to show for it. Yeah. I have heavy nuts <laughs> at the end of my berating. Yeah. I, I want to be berated with some... L- more. With some light nuts. That's when a There's woman forcibly a puts a beret on you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, no. who gets to eat the candy now, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds kind of. That sounds like some good foreplay, dude. Yeah. An Asian woman trying to pin a beret on me, mm-hmm. and if she Deep wins, kinky game. She gets to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the secret: she this always, is, this is she game. always <laughs> wins. <laughs> 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 I was laughing about like stop, stop being like be, like his next thing in comedy is to be like one of those girl comics. It's like uh, you know like about how like women are so bad at sex, mm-hmm. you know, or whatever. But you're like, yeah, they can never find the dick. <laughs> 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 yeah, women so are so annoying. incompetent. <laughs> 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 Fellas, am I right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's a> silence. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute silence. <laughs> nah, you know, because you know they push behind the they push the fat out and they can barely see it. Uh, then they start spitting, hoping maybe that'll do something. Yeah, It'll yeah, hit yeah. the head. They just they're licking the lips. <laughs> they're sucking on the lips. <laughs> It's like it on your cock lips. <laughs> Fellas, you know big, what I'm talking about. Big fat all flaps they, that <laughs> envelop your dick. All they can do is find your very long foreskin and suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> man, my man knows what's up. No, I don't. I don't know, man. Man, I do not know. Only yeah. you know this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's good, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll be at the standing room tonight uh, yeah. at ten eight ten I'll p.m. I'll also be at the standing room. Is this coming tonight? out tonight? Though? No, of no. course not. It's coming out when tomorrow, Sunday. What's mm. today? I don't know. Friday. Damn, I'm, Friday. we're both at the standing room shot, Friday though. and Saturday. Man, I love not knowing what time or day it is. <clears throat> what a fucking wasteoid life I live. Oh, <laughs> made possible by viewers like you, dude. Yesterday, you got your I, belly up too now. I do. Mm. <laughs> That's how I figured out what how dumb my life is. Was the snowstorm didn't affect shit except I had to walk to get my fucking sandwich instead of getting delivery mm-hmm. because I didn't want to wait. That's the only difference the snowstorm had. And if I'm out, I'm gonna hit the fucking cookie aisle. You sure, know what I mean? The cookie aisle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the At my, in my kitchen. <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> the one I've created myself <laughs> in, the, in the garden outside. <laughs> yeah. No, I did look. I did uh, look for cookies. Um, by the way, Comtown is brought to house? you by Tate's Cookies. Oh, fuck uh, Tate's, Tate's official sponsor, Comtown. Are they? No. Oh, fuck! I was I gonna like, say. I like to hurt companies by saying <laughs> <laughs> any company that's wronged you. <laughs> we yeah, claim yeah. they're an official Tate's sponsor. Tate's the only me. cookie with a little cum in every yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> Tate's is great. Tate's dude. rules. Yeah. I actually like. A, I like. It's a actually. I think cookie. it's a black-owned company. It was. Uh, oh fuck! There's a woman that says she goes. She goes. Mm, I love the way this tastes. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, my the, friend. I love the way Thank this you for that tastes. setup. <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate ass setup. <laughs> uh, uh, what were you we saying? The way black people pronounce months? Mm. That's a good game. Yeah, that's more of an off the, <laughs> off the mic <laughs> sort of. Is it ironic anymore? <laughs> All right, fine. Just say whatever. The February was great. What was I it? forget. Mm. It was really good. Featherberry. Fe- Featherberry. <laughs> <laughs> Featherberry was about really good. Doing like that. that I thing. mean, not black people. The, a specific character. Yeah, says right. It's a, a cookie character. character says mm-hmm. it that way. Yeah, we ran it by our lawyer who handles racism cases. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kramer's lawyer. From yeah. Um, <laughs> now I was laughing about like the same somebody done sucked that boy dick mm-hmm. lady. Mm-hmm. But she's like, uh, she's like really into the Joker now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Like, I was telling Sybil just the other day. You know, I see myself as like a 
like an agent of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I just want to see this world burn. I just, I, yeah, I just, I would like to see the world burn. <laughs> and me and Sharice, we went to Pilates last week and I told her, I cannot wait to kill myself. <laughs> you know, because I'm twisted. <laughs> I'm twisted and I'm psycho. Oh, uh, mm. fuck. I, I, love I love old ladies I love getting a little dumb young guy shit. in the morning, you know? Mm-hmm. Just, I start my day off. I let myself have one. I got a culotta and a cinnamon roll, and that's it. I'm done with sweets for the day mm-hmm. because I'm I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's like, why so serious? It's pretty good. Why are you so serious? <laughs> that's such a fun voice to do. It really is. The shaking is the best part, though. No, the quivering. Wait, that's, a that's a different. That's a different. That's a different. Lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it a black lady or a black no, man? A black I, f- man. I always assume it's, it's like Terrence a fat, Howard. light skin like guy. Old yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're watching a. I'm gay. Oh, I'm so gay. <laughs> <laughs> the All in the Family pilot yesterday, and there mm. were some truly elegant. Uh, mm. Uh, misspeaks there and yeah. I forgot that that was like an ongoing thing were they that, spoonerisms like, or malpropisms I think malpropisms both. and I, I realized Mal-prop I always thought of that as a trailer park boys isms. thing yeah but it, it was definitely an all nope. in the family thing all in the family best TV show ever fucking made yeah. It's pretty funny. I do love Trailer Park Boys. Yeah. Yeah. Trailer Park Boys did, did an elegant fuck. job of the malapropisms. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's up there in his ivory shower <laughs> <laughs> making these fucking decisions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Old TV shows are good. Yeah. You know, that's my takeaway. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know Actually, good most too? of them are bad. Huh? A uh, busting. That feels busting does feel good. Yeah. Uh, busting, busting makes me feel good. Yeah. <laughs> I had a nice couple Busta Rudies. Yeah. Although I'm f- I'm I'm sitting on a hot shitterino in the chamber right now. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is go gonna home be for that. bad yeah. when I get Don't home. Do, yeah. yeah. Take Ooh. that. Take Are that. Are you waiting until you, you get home? I think so. Oh, really enjoy oh, yeah, it. He is. Really enjoy it. Take I might have to go in and brush my teeth real quick <laughs> 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 and shower. <laughs> like, that would be more annoying <laughs> than if you shit. It's like you shit, but you oh, also geez. brush your teeth <laughs> with my toothbrush to <laughs> cover the, for the, your shitting that you did. <laughs> I was trying to shield it from my is shit there, particles in my why mouth. Why is there a dude? bunch of uh, Sour Patch Kids all over my toothbrush? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it looks like you dipped it in honey. <laughs> you just take it out. Yeah, yeah. It's a honey wand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I've been brushing. I've been getting my oral hygiene back up, you know. Mm. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Self-care. Mm. I can Anything only do certain I'll things. i tell you, there's two things I love. Brushing my teeth. Mm-hmm. And just killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> putting a gun in my motherfucking mouth and saying, do it, bitch. <laughs> you know, I look in the mirror and I say, I don't need this world. Oh, uh, man. Have a nice little tapioca pudding for lunch sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know, cause that's it, and then I'm done with sugar. I thought day. I thought you I thought you were done <laughs> earlier. <laughs> no, she's never done. <laughs> she che- she's it. like you. <laughs> that's she it. And that's it. I cut it off right there at lunch. <laughs> never again. Not another one. Uh, fuck. My afternoon culotta. <laughs> <laughs> but that's coffee. But, you no, see, that's it, for energy. Different. Yeah, cause you need a little pick me up. I say, <laughs> let me get a Dunkin' Chino, and let me put my makeup on. And I ask people, you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> <laughs> because you don't. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want to know. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, gang, yeah. 2018, do we have any goals for the year? You know, any Amber? What are you thinking? Get fake tits? What is your obsession with my tits? It's because it's the nickname, and then Big maybe, you know, to really <laughs> lean mean, into what it. What is his obsession my with your tits? <laughs> but my You've tits particularly like are years. smaller than his tits. They should yeah, not be Yeah, that's that why I'm saying sure. plump them up. But they're still know? a woman's tits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not like... I'm thinking about getting ass They're not implants. his body trying to ex- escape. Stav, you should get a lift, because you got the meat. Yes. You just yeah. want them higher. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Right under the chin. I think I could get my hips really looking really good. Yeah. You know? Get just sculpt body sculpting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you had to do plastic surgery, what would you do for real? Fillers. What's that? What? Get my lips done. Just plumped up? Just nose real small, 
eyes real big, mouth. Real nice. Big. You do the full Russian. Anime sex yeah. doll yeah. type <laughs> shit. Yeah. I'll, get my, I'll get my eye color changed to Ooh. what? Green, like electric green. Yeah, something cool. <laughs> yeah. The brown's Why? brown's so boring. That guy at the uh, at the at I've the big hunt. Looking like a muppet for long enough that I would be really uncomfortable looking more human. Well, then go even more. Go even more muppet. Okay. You know. And then fuck it, I'm doing. Uh, I I Even would go for lips. yeah, I would go for fillers mm-hmm. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah. like proportionally around the get whole the Wayne face, Newton just cheeks. make every part of my face slightly bigger. Mm-hmm. And then my eyeballs get those enlarged. Nice. I would get a little pussy in between my balls. I would get, <laughs> I would get that little. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. How I would little? Get my nose <laughs> like slitting. an inch. Yeah, like an inch. <laughs> my nostrils slit down to the bottom and spread out another maybe like inch and a half on either side. Mm, a real yeah. ethnic ass nice nose. and wide yeah you should okay. get the thing where you spill your tongue in half i would get yeah. that yeah. that yeah. extra yeah. bone in your cock yeah like a chicken <laughs> a permanent or a dog extra leg a permanent bone. penis yeah mm. penis bone interesting okay now what are your oh, goals my goals mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for the this year? year oh i don't have any you know he's achieved what's everything. in your vision board what's on your not vision a, board he's not a sentimental guy what's on your vision board man Nothing. I don't Come know on. how I got so you're here. You're a CrossFit guy. I guess yeah, that's your yeah, CrossFit. Yeah, you're a CrossFit guy. Do you have goals? They're just very gay, and you don't no, want to admit no. them. They make you set goals. You having abs. That's a gay goal that you yeah. have. Well, that's that'll happen. I mean, you just lean out and you clean mm-hmm. up my diet. Yeah, I'm pretty same. close. I don't want to have abs. I just want to be. Sm- I don't really want to be healthy. Yeah. I just want to be. I got attractive. Too, I ruined last summer yes. by being fat, so now I got to get lean in the winter. I don't know if you ruined it. I mean, there's plenty of, you know, you have, like, you're a cool guy. People <laughs> like you for other reasons, but yeah, I guess. Anyways, I ruined last <laughs> summer by getting too fat. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you like, weren't even a person. I know. It was disgusting. Well, I think yeah. actually maybe, like, None you know, of us I kind of like go you. Outside. I thought you were, <laughs> I thought you were kind of <laughs> pretty, like, more sympathetic than ever. It was like, like fucking mailman. Yeah. Yeah. The mailman disgusting. would laugh at me. <laughs> Yeah. Your mail You're like, Who's who that fat <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> I'm bringing your ass letters. You're going to eat them. I'm like, come on, man. I just want, I just I mean, want my bills. <laughs> you can't have them, motherfucker. Yeah, I guess I guess I guess it's true. I guess it's true. Like, (laughs) yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Like for you, like you weren't always fat, so getting a little fatter, like that could be a problem. But yeah, I mean, I guess like other people, it's like not a big deal. No, no, it was Mm. disgusting. You sure? Yeah, dude. Getting fat is probably the worst thing that could happen. I don't know. Mm. It makes them really like uh, worthless. (laughs) Not, not even human. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know. I think probably <laughs> somehow kind of it's weird because there's somehow yeah, there's the more right. person but less. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's quantity over quality. They have to buy but an yeah. extra seat on Southwest, but they're not worth the ticket price. Mm. They're not I would worth one seat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think for the most part you're probably right, but there's like to exceptions the to the rule. Like they just have got to fly people. No one wants to see them. <laughs> maybe like people you guys really like know or like go. work with or are good friends with. <laughs> maybe those are exceptions. <laughs> Anyway, we don't have to keep talking. This is boring. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to lose five pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you do look fat as shit. Mm. Uh, and you, Dasha. And I'm going to get... You, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I look great now. <laughs> I'm no, don't get less. Don't, <laughs> don't get fit. Nick looks a little... My no, eyes don't do are it. sunken <laughs> into my head. Yeah. No. I wish there was a program where I could eat for you, Dasha. That would... Uh you know? Yeah, I'm sure you do wish that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or anyone else. Or you guys. Yeah. Wouldn't that be There is a program. Tight? It's called another, Pregnancy. Another yeah. famous oh. Halkias hypothetical. Should I get pregnant? What if that's, I can eat that's on a, behalf of other people? <laughs> that would rule. <laughs> that's the that's the plastic surgery we get. We're going to have a womb put in your ass, and then we're going to install Dasha in there. <laughs> <laughs> you can live in Stav's ass. <laughs> <laughs> and there'll be an umbilical cord that feeds you <laughs> all the Cinnabons and Ho-Hos. <laughs> and oh, I had a long night last night. I accidentally ate 35 brownies. <laughs> Who said it was an accident, dude? Yeah. Mm. Don't slander me. Yes. I, I guess you've never seen... We don't have to do that. Junior. Have you ever seen Junior? With Arnold Schwarzenegger and Dane DeVito? Oh, yeah. Mm. She could be, it could be a C-section, I think. Yeah. I think that's how he was born. I think of her more as a tapeworm than what? a yeah. baby. I'm definitely more In parasitic. There. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here. <laughs> What was? Why did they keep making Dane DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger movies? There's it'd be, it'd be nice twins too, and like sometimes Adam two, could right? come over to your place inside of <laughs> Stav's ass. Yeah, instead of always having to go to Adam's place. That's true. Adam crawling into my ass yeah, nose yeah. first. Stav is the cat <laughs> bus from my neighbor Tortora, but it's his ass. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that, but it looks cool. Oh yeah, Tortoro. I used to watch that movie when I was a kid. Probably the only anime I've ever liked. You know, mm. I tried watching uh, the, the uh, Spirited Away and like 
the more popular ones when they yeah. came out. And it's like this shit They're is a little just too sweet. I don't boring. like cartoons. No cartoons. I, really I like cartoons. cartoons, but like it's it's just not. What about I'll still dogs? watch. <laughs> I'm not. Like, I'm a baby. <laughs> I'll still watch Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. I watch Barney and Friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I watch shit <laughs> like that. Yeah, it's like, but it's like cinema. I mean, it's yeah. like film. Yeah. And it's live action, you know. And some of the kids are older. They may have a pube or two. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not like it's kind of for a lot of the jokes in Barney are for grown ups. They're for grown ups. It's like it's like it's two levels, you know. Yeah, like yeah. it works. On <laughs> 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 like I love when, watching Baby like, Einstein because they write shit in there for the right, adults right. watching. Yeah, like when. Barney is like this is a square it's like of course I know that yeah mm-hmm. I know shapes <laughs> yeah so would a child know that no they're learning but I already know it and it's kind of like a sort of a wink to me yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> you know that yeah. like if you already know like, the alphabet yeah. yeah yeah you know cleaning up everybody do their share and that's like it's it's satire <laughs> yep we all know that that's not how the world works nope and yeah. that's why Barney's a very good show. It's all in the family and then Barney. <laughs> <laughs> Those are two great satires. And, and then yeah. Digimon. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but inside the Barney suit, that actor scrawled the N-word in blood all over, <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> all over the inside of the helmet. Really? Yeah, and he would just really read dark. it. To, he would just yeah. read it to himself in his head all day, and that's how he, he lived with himself, being mm-hmm. that dinosaur. Interesting. It yeah. was a black guy that was Barney. Was it? Is yeah. that true? Yeah. yeah. And Seems Elmo. Seems like it could have been anyone. No, yeah. it was. Those were the only jobs black men could get. In <laughs> <laughs> that's how you worked your way up. Yeah. Yeah. That's Sammy Davis Jr. It was the black guy. He was in Barney. He was in the Barney suit. Was he? His last job in, in his show business. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Cornell West. <laughs> <laughs> was Barney yep. That's why the head was so big to fit his afro. Yeah. yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shouts out to Cornell West. And, Shouts uh, out to Barney Sanders. Barney Sanders. <laughs> there we go. Our second, our ca- <laughs> Bernie right character. Right on time with the Bernie Sanders. Joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about Horny Sanders? Yeah, we did that last. Really? <laughs> last step. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which I like. I like I Horny like Sanders. Too. I like that he's horny and he fucks. Yeah. You know. Man, what a lazy day it is. I feel horrible, man. I feel it's terrible. It's gross out. It's I can't really believe out. I I'm shoveled a, a spot in. Place. Yeah, me too. Are you ready for your flight back to... It's delayed, obviously. Oh, is it? Yeah. To Tinseltown. Exactly. What's the problem? Is, exactly. is Adam causing you problems? Do you want us to rough him up? <laughs> Should we fly to South Africa and fucking no, I'm slap him around? I'm equipped for... No, I feel like helpless. What would you do if Adam got gored by an Impala <laughs> <laughs> he's, while he's down there? Oh my god! Should we get Adam to put a life insurance claim? Definitely. In? Now's the time. And then, and then we kill him. We hire someone to kill him. And You're not. We collect to say on that the money. Now nah, we'll edit this out. Nick will edit it out. <laughs> right, right, Believe right. Me. Yeah, I'll do some. <laughs> <laughs> At some we point sh- in my life, do we make the plane crash or do we hire a sniper to kill him? Yeah, we got an assassin. I feel like they're cheaper in Africa. You know? know? Yeah. A lot South of child, a lot of former child mob, soldiers. A lot of mafia in South Africa. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. They should make a mob movie about South Africa. I think there yeah. are some. Are there? Yeah. Well, yeah, I would I I would just prefer to do it myself. Kill Adam yourself. If you yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like you a feel like you, guy. Yeah. you owe it to him or no? It's for you. No, it's, it's just about save the money. it's about the pride. <laughs> save of, money. Of also, yeah. like, how know, would you kill it's about Adam? Being competent, you what? know. How would you kill Adam? <laughs> Garrot. Nice. Yeah. Yes. The, the neck. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll sit him into a little car. Little piano wire right across oh. his throat. Godfather style. Yep. Yep. Like uh, Connie's husband. Real quick and easy. I'd take him out. You know, roll him up in a. Rug or something. Mm-hmm. Leave him out in the trash. Just leave him in the trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll be done with that. Feet Pretty sticking easy. out of the trash can and yeah, shit. Yeah. That's the afternoon for me. Nice. You just get to gaming. Easy breezy. So I guess we should do our movie review segment. Considering we have twenty minutes to burn, we have nothing to talk about. Okay. Yeah. Here's it's one. It's, it's, a, no, it's a sleepy I, day. The I'm best. Gonna... The best movie of the year. Call me by your name. What's that shit? Yep. Yeah. Dasha saw it. I saw it. What's it about? <gasps> it's about. Fuck. It's oh, It's actually about you. Really? It's about <laughs> it's a about cool a guy that everyone story. that everyone respects. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, about. I thought maybe Army it looked kind of corny, but no, no, I no, mean, no, a lot of beautiful. a lot of like oh, young gay love story. Have have a summer. Wait a second. Yeah, really yeah. Ex- you like said it was about me, but it's about gay guys. It's about gay mm-hmm. guys. Yeah. 
It's a no. I they, totally, they I totally get guys. that. I totally get that going in, but it was great. Yeah, yeah, it was really great. Did they fuck? I mean, it's obviously there's like uh, those pitfalls to fall into, but it was like great performances by both of them. And it I wasn't realize I've become kind of resistant to like any art that's supposed to be like a wonderful. Um, that's like praised by progressive whatever. It's like I never saw Moonlight, but apparently it was really yeah. good. But I was just like, I never saw it either. I'll be really annoyed if I, I go to this and it's horny. like corny liberal bait. You it's know, it's not like yeah. for it's. I mean, it's an art house film. It's yeah. not like virtue signaling. It's like has yeah. Sort Do you of see a cock? Grounded. I mean, it's definitely sentimental, almost. but yeah. like I don't mind a little sentimental. <laughs> yeah. I just I don't like being pandered to. The guys are right. hot. Yeah. That helps. Um, Do you see the outline of their cock? Yeah. <laughs> you see, like, did you see the Florida yeah. Project? I didn't. That no. was the best movie I saw all last year. I'm jealous of that girl in it. Yeah. I cried. What like, happened? I thought I got some fish. distance from three billboards. She's, she was she really was amazing too. Anymore. She was absolutely amazing, and that's another thing that could have been like emotionally manipulative. But How about it was Star really Wars good. though, huh? Yeah, Star Wars. I, didn't I, I Star liked Wars. it. Is it good? No interest yeah. in Star Wars. Also, okay. Yeah, Laura Dern's got purple hair. That new PT cool. Anderson movie. <laughs> I really wanted to fuck Laura Dern in it. <laughs> that new PT Anderson movie was so fucking bad. I liked it. With who? I did not like it. A lot of people like that Daniel bad boy. Phantom Anyways. Thread. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that one. You fell asleep. I I, I woke up and the movie was on. <laughs> I fell asleep before it started. <laughs> so where'd you go to a theater or you steal it? Yeah. I mean, no, I don't just, steal uh, movies, Stavros. Nick used his Regal app to purchase some tickets. I did. I used the Regal app. <laughs> <laughs> you get rewards. Thank you. <laughs> did you get a free popcorn? Uh, yeah, after five movies, you get a free For popcorn. For real? Yeah. You don't have a movie pass? Uh, no, I don't have a movie pass. Oh, uh, you got to get. You got to hop on the, the movie is, pass. The thing is, like, wave. all that shit. Every movie I go see, and every like movie I buy on. Like the only reason I don't just steal shit anymore is because it's all business expenses. There you go. Sure. So I try to like b- blow as much money as I can on things that I know I can write off because right. you want a higher overhead. So you know when your business grows. Yes. Yeah. You already have. A so should I, what should I buy for the business for my business? Um, I don't know. You're gonna be fucked on your taxes. No, I'm not. Yeah, 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 you are. Why would I be fucked? Because like everything for the podcast I pay for. No. Nah. It comes out of like my money. So No. Like what? Can I've you write food off stuff? Yes. I do food reviews. Yeah. It's gonna there be great go. when you get fucking audited for eating entomans all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a tag five hundred dollars. I have a an running tag. A I have, a, no I have an account. Audited. I have an account. Thank you very much. I hope you get audited. I hope you get out of the bitch because you are cooking the got, books something major. I just no, got I a letter my from taxes. the IRS that said you owe on your 2013 taxes fifty six dollars and thirteen. Yeah, cents. damn, fucking, get fucking you. bitch. Who cares? They'll fucking get you, dude. You can't. You can't. I like, probably made. I I could not have made more than like twenty two thousand dollars that year. Yeah, but nice. the thing, if so you had actually done your taxes, you could get that twenty two thousand down to like seven thousand dollars and gotten all right. your money back. Yeah, well, I'm not good at doing yeah. my taxes. No one's good at it. And in fact, it's it's better to be bad at it because then you can just fuck everything up. And if they're like, what happened here? You're like, I don't know how to do this shit. Yeah. <laughs> the government usually yeah. listens to that. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, they yeah, that. yeah, yeah. They if you're incompetent, they, my bad. They, they can't touch mm-hmm. you. I tell them every time they come for me. <laughs> I t- I'm psycho. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm, t- I'm twisted. <laughs> uh, I want, you know what you want? You want like a fucking. You want like a fucking a guy who hates the government to do your taxes. Yeah. Who sees exactly. it as war against yeah. the government. Just a, not a CPA, just a man who has an assault <laughs> rifle. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> that's what you do. Yeah. And a manifest. It's, it's us against them type of I'll shit. I'll fill out paperwork until you're done doing push-ups. Mm-hmm. And then once that, then we switch. <laughs> 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 that's how I do taxes. <laughs> nah, dude. I, I paid for the state-of-the-art in your studio. Wink, wink. Uh... You know, the eight flat screen TVs mm-hmm. for the war room. Wink, wink, mm-hmm. wink. Because the thing is, you can buy all that shit. Yeah. You just actually have to buy it. You can't just write down that you bought that no, shit. No, I did buy a lot of shit. Oh, yeah, then you're fine. Yeah, dude. I love spending money. All the oobs and shit. Yeah, dude. All the, the travers. Mm-hmm. My business Ferrari. My, <laughs> my fucking My business, business flashlight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my series of business flashlights. Yeah. My business flesh Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> you can fuck yeah. any part of this automobile. The car goes faster, the hotter you fuck it. <laughs> Today on Top Gear, fuck cars. <laughs> 
Yeah. I've got a show called Top Queer, and it's four g- British guys that try out having sex with different kinds of exotic Italian men. That's good. And yeah. they're tops? I'd tune in. Who's the top? Yeah. I'd tune, the British guy? I'd tune off. If you know <laughs> what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd really tune myself I'd off. I'd tune my <laughs> cock like a radio, old-timey radio, if yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I love I love dialing my tube in. You know yeah, I, mean? I love dialing up my tube, <laughs> hitting the right frequency, and just tubing the fuck off, soaking my tube up. Man, that shit is gonna be funny to me for so long. Oh man. yeah, there's gonna we're gonna lose maybe three thousand dollars <laughs> for the just, amount of time we say tube. <laughs> I'm getting my fucking tube I'm dialed my in. Fucking tube. <laughs> tube dialed in. Tube <laughs> dialed in is really good. Dial is great. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, oh fuck. I just want to fucking stuff my tube into some square. <laughs> I would lazily uh, stuff tube today, though. I'm I can't fuck to today. Yeah, right. You're not getting I'm hard. trying to do it. I can't get hard today, for sure. I'm trying to no. do a <laughs> solid number on my tube later. I know. We've been trying all morning, <laughs> yeah. Adam. <laughs> God, it's been so fun podcasting would and having you get, sex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you get Stav hard as a friend? <laughs> not to fuck Stav, but to help him oh. so he could mm-hmm. go out into the world. Sure. Right. That's you know, so like nice putting, that like you. putting mittens fluff. on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> putting mittens on him and butting his coat up and saying it's a cold world. Out <laughs> <here>. <laughs> we do it all the time. Post podcast, we all get yeah. each other hard, yeah. prepared for the world. Uh-huh. I hear Nixon go hang out with a girl. I fucking, I, I fluff him. I fluff Fluff the tube up. Yeah, yeah. I get Thanks, them ready. Dude. What friends do. I mm-hmm. like to get my tube <laughs> uh, mm. prospected you know, <laughs> by my friends. <laughs> uh, I want to die, dude. I feel horrible. Uh, is there uh, any way I could get my tube serviced here? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna call up TV repair places and just say that, and then have them just be like, "Yeah, of course," and then just laugh yeah. and hang up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there any way I could come in there and get my tube serviced? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's all we do is we yeah. service tubes. <laughs> yeah, just go to different businesses yeah, that yeah. actually use tubes. Yeah. Go to a supermarket yeah. like with a can of Pringles. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking to get my tube dialed in. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> just just go on TV repair, man. I, I know how I'm spending the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Is that even a business anymore? You got, it's got TV repair? Hard. No, dude. TVs oh, cost like a hundred dollars. No. You just yeah. buy a new one. You buy a new one. Also, you know, like they don't use tubes. Yeah, they just have panels, and if they break, you just have to get another one from the Korean factory mm-hmm. where they make the panels. It's got to be bad for the world, man. Consumerism. Damn. Yeah. Everything Asian that. business. Asian business. Bad for the world. I think we can all agree. Yeah. If you see an Asian business owner. Loot mm. that store. Yeah, what you got to do is you take a, a meat hook and you put it through his eye. Okay. Mm. And then you become... You uh, say, I'm my brothers and you kids on the block. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one really talks about it anymore. Oh, it's fine. I love uh, Donnie. <laughs> Dear Donnie, th- thank you. <laughs> uh, shouts out to young Mark Wahlberg getting sucked off. Shouts out to old Mark Wahlberg, mm. you know? That's true. Every era of Mark. Mm-hmm. What a wonderful life to live! <laughs> Just a young man committing hate crimes, <laughs> and then you get to be famous. <laughs> and you're not particularly talented, but then you're in one movie that's good, and, and then you say it's bad afterwards. Yeah. Did you see that? He said Boogie Nights was bad. Yeah, he says yeah, regrets doing Boogie Nights. Jesus or something? Because of Jesus? Yeah. No, I don't he, know. He, he got faith, and that's also why he like. He's like, it's okay that I committed that hate crime because it taught God, me. God, <laughs> gives me. God told me to. Well, that's pretty cool. Word. Nick's rubbing the microphone on his face like it's a guy's penis and he's it about is. to suck it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that old move. I use I use a man's penis to put on my Joker makeup. <laughs> <laughs> dip his penis in the makeup. I got it from the particularly you know, you porous yeah, yeah, dickhead. Why? <laughs> <so>? <laughs> 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 oh yeah, bitch! I'm gonna make this dick disappear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I am so sleepy. Oh shit! I just yeah. realized the Joker did the pencil thing from John Wick. It's suicidal. Quicker before John Wick did. No, John Wick is the original. No, remember the Joker kills a guy with a pencil. The only reason I was thinking of that is because you, I was, assu- I was imagining you sucking a dick like that pencil. Yeah, John Dick. John Dick, there we go. He's like, uh, do you have any idea whose dick you suck? (laughs) 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 You 
sucked my dog's dick. <laughs> That was my wife's dog that she gave me before she died in a dick sucking accident. <laughs> and she also had a dick. This <laughs> is cool. Him. He's doing backflips through a nightclub, sucking every guy's dick. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Baba Gay guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baba Gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Baba Gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, sometimes this show it'll peter out. And it's like, what are we doing anymore? And it's like, and then you hit is. John Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll smile for the rest of the day. I will tell, I'll tell you what. Mm. I still uh, want to watch that uh, Nicolas Cage movie where he plays like a Brighton Beach Russian. Oh, Lord of War. Yeah, dude, that is that is such a fucking I'm bad movie. Oh, oh, his accent in it. Well, he, the, he has this like the yeah. most California Duh. accent. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in Brighton Beach. <laughs> I'm, I'm I am ethnically Ukrainian. <laughs> yep, that's me, a Ukrainian immigrant <laughs> who sounds like this. Uh, fuck. Uh, yeah, no, that movie's dumb as shit. It's, it's all just vo. It's fucking Nick Cage explaining the plot of the movie. You think it's yeah, gonna it's be like monologue, <laughs> right? You think it's gonna be a little bit of exposition up top, but then you're like an hour and a half into the movie. He's like, and then my brother was him. killed. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but I feel like <laughs> it, it actually picks up like halfway through, and so I should like sit down with it and also hear him continue to yeah. speak like a Brighton Beach Russian in a California accent. I think the first line of actual dialogue in the movie is he comes outside of his like family's restaurant and Jared Leto plays his other brother is nice like outside. Goes, I've had your borscht. He goes uh, <laughs> He goes, "How's it going?" And Jared Leto goes, "It's not." <laughs> so it's like that's cool it's like yeah. real cool 30 <laughs> seconds to mars you guys ever listen to that that's yeah. his band isn't it yeah mm -hmm. that's wild dude he had yeah. a band now he's an actor i don't like that shit well he's pick one he was an actor then he was in a band and now he's an actor again. that band was too successful for an actor's band i know fuck also that. it was quite bad fuck that shit i don't fuck with that how about 30 seconds till hard <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I take back my plastic surgery choice. I want a little countdown clock above my dick. <laughs> <laughs> What's it counting down to? Either until, until I bust hard. or until I get hard. Both, both. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. It's a different like color. T minus. That's what Buzz Aldrin does when he fucks his wife. <laughs> he goes T minus ten, <laughs> nine, eight, <laughs> yep. seven. Yep, yep, yep. Keep going. Uh -huh. Six, <laughs> five. And his dick's like right Seconds at her pussy are hole. Four. And longer. Yeah. Three, uh. two, <laughs> I'm done. Get the fuck off of me. Get off of me. Get off me, you You're bitch. You're not Neil. You'll never be fucking Neil. <laughs> that, the, the love we shared <laughs> in that lunar lander, a woman can never understand that. <laughs> to be deep and in, passionately inside somebody uh -huh. in zero gravity. Yep. Mm -hmm. You'll never know that. Well, call me Have by your name is sort of about how all guys are gay. Really? Is it? The more Not me. It's yeah. about all of them except me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I took away from it. Um, do you think people have fucked in space? Of course. of course. They actually did a study where they made people fuck in space to see what happens. Nice. Yeah. What happens? They turn gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Fuck. What if yeah. you did it with gay people? It would be funny to, like, get even gayer. Not in space, and you know, watching, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then and then mm. you get like one of those little Asian fans, and you like you fan it little towards fan. you fan it towards your like astronaut friend mm -hmm. while he's at the front <laughs> of the spaceship, and then when it gets maybe about a foot away from your head, you go, uh, "Hey, Brian," and he's like, "Yeah," and then it just <laughs> right in his face. That would be pretty funny. And he's like, "Ah, oh, the cum trick, <laughs> the Japanese fan cum trick." <laughs> <laughs> I used to laugh about the idea of like, because you know how cities used to have pneumatic tubes to deliver the oh, yeah. mail or whatever. Oh, I know all I about like pneumatic. Tubes. Yeah, and it seems you know like tubes. And no, it's yeah. a great idea. It's way better than a mail carrier, but mm -hmm. like. It had to have been one guy that figured out you of can just course. stick your dick in there, and then somebody was like, Richard, we have post. <laughs> and then they open the door and <laughs> right in her face. Of course. Probably felt so good. It's probably a gentle suck. Get your dick sucked by the mailbox. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I, bet it's a little, I bet it's a little <laughs> too much. Yeah. That's why I'm not allowed to drive through the bank anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Forget my tube. <laughs> tube noomed off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my tube noomed yeah. up. <laughs> Numa Numa A, my dude. <laughs> I'm getting my tubes fucking dialed in and noomed off. Yeah. <laughs> dialed in now and give me that off. motherfucking lollipop, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs>
<laughs> suck my little dick. Suck my little dick, I A. Right? Yeah, sure. I don't even the know Numa what song Numa you know. The Numa Numa song? I don't remember how the Numa Numa song goes. It goes like that. I remember that was the beginning of me starting to really hate the internet. Mm. was Numa Numa. I yeah. was like, this yeah. is bullshit. Mm-hmm. There's a fat guy involved in that? Yeah. He had the lightsaber? So. No, that was a different guy. Really? Different the fat, yeah. That was that. The fat that was a great video. Star Wars kid. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. fat kid that like like made a personal video of himself pretending to be Darth Maul. <laughs> oh yeah. And then bullies found the tape in the AV room at his high school, and they're like, "Oh, this is going on the internet immediately." <laughs> and he like tried to kill himself. His parents had to m- leave town. It was a cool vid though. Yeah. My man had some skills. No. Guy Slain Raza. That was that kid's name. Nice. <laughs> yeah. What's he up to now? It's yeah, Guy Slain. Um, I think he became Subway Jared. <laughs> He's the next one. You know how in the w- uh, oh, I shouldn't yeah. I shouldn't spoil. That'd be a good biopic. Guy's brain some I've stop. I got a video I got to show you after this. Okay. I can't talk about it on the show. Is it gay porn? No, it's one of the best things you'll ever see. All right, hell yeah. But wow. unfortunately, I really can't talk about it on the show. Damn. For business reasons. Yeah, for business, for social reasons. <laughs> God, I can't wait to watch that video of uh, uh, Dasha pegging Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And him asking her, "Are you sure there's not a bigger one?" <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> I can barely feel it. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saw off one of the table legs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, (laughs) 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 Oh fuck dude I can't wait to just lay in the fucking fetal position That's like a good plot for one of the episodes of the web series Is Adam wants a bunch of people to go into his ass So he decorates the inside of his ass Exactly like his apartment And he's like I'll just throw a house party (laughs) And open my ass to the door (laughs) And then people will go inside my ass Yes that's right And then everyone's in there And they're like where's Adam He's like I didn't think about that (laughs) 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 How can I go into the party and then, he's just, then he like peeks his head in and people are you like, come giant. in, just go, why are you coming in? Why are you only poking your head in? And he's like, oh, you know, I'm just out, I'm outside having a cigarette. <laughs> I'm like, no, just come all the way into your apartment. Wouldn't his head be really big, though, if it's the size of his ass? <laughs> no. No, listen, the people are normal size, too. Adam's it's still like normal a, it's size. Like a, it's his like a... Oh, doctor. his ass is that big. <laughs> okay, like okay. His asshole is so much bigger than his yeah. head and, and his actual ass. I see. No, that makes sense. Absolutely. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's a trick of physics. Anyways. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. I'm not as learned as so, you, Amber. <laughs> yeah. Then we're at the climax of our story, act two. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, and then someone pulls him in all the way into his ass. And then the whole apartment <gasps> just sort of sucks and deflates back into. And it's like when you pull a, a tablecloth off of a set table, you know, mm-hmm. and then the apartment just changes back into his regular apartment, but he's standing there completely nude because he got sucked and out. And inside of out, yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. And everyone's like, what the hell just happened? And he's like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then the resolution then act is, three Adam, is he gets if, raped. You <laughs> wanted us, if you wanted us to <laughs> crawl into our app, act three is he's ass, gay and he gets raped. All you had to do was ask. <laughs> and then they play the heartwarming music. <laughs> yeah, but while we, we rape him. So yeah. that'll yeah. probably take like eight months to make. So make yeah. sure you guys <laughs> yeah. subscribe to the Patreon. Yeah, subscribe. Oh, yeah, subscribe to the Patreon. We got a new... Web series episode. (laughs) I'm so tired. You guys were fun. Thanks. Thank you, Dasha. Thank you, Amber, for for vagging up this episode. Yeah. And not attracting any bears with your awful (laughs) fluid. (laughs) (laughs) With your hideous menses. Goodbye. And we are back with Come Town Premium special <laughs> guest <laughs> Ian Titties <laughs> HIV and fighting HIV and sucks me beautiful. Hello. There we go. Ian used that as his sound check. Yes. And he's he decided to bring it back out again. Yeah. Just like Bugle Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, no one knows what the fuck yeah, we were you, talking about. What the fuck about. are you talking about? <sighs> Man, just bringing up some clothes from the nineties. Speaking Starter of, jacket. should I get? Oh, we talked about this off mic. Should I get a yellow Tommy Hilfiger jacket? Let me see yeah, it. dude. Of course. You're already about to buy it. I'm about to buy it, but I got it. I'm on Nordstrom Rack right now. Let me see it. No, it's too Why late. Why don't you go to the actual Nordstrom Rack? There's only one left. There's one in Union Square. No, there's only one Tommy Hilfiger left. Let me see it. Let's no, see it. it's a it's a standard yellow jacket. 
Yeah, nice why little, wouldn't you get that? Nice little rain slicker. Let me see it. You'll look like Missy Elliott. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not as uh, as ostentatious as I thought it would be. Yeah, I thought it was going to have like hill figure down the side or something. It just looks okay, like a yellow right. jacket. Okay, all right. All right, fine, motherfuckers. I won't buy it. Relax. Yeah, don't buy it. yeah that one would look it? stupid on you. $20. Oh, buy That's two. a good deal, right? <laughs> yeah, buy a couple. See? No, it's such a waste of money. It doesn't even Ian, look good. I'm rich, unlike you, you poor bitch. Yeah. You know, I got I got jacket money, motherfucker. I'm yeah. trying to get sucked off in a new rain slicker every day. <laughs> right. That's we got jacket money. We, we got, got jacket, jacket money, money, dude. We, we're what you call RNs. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> registered nurses, registered <laughs> nurses. <laughs> we're on some RN. Uh, we're on some RNs. We do some RNs. We do some registered <laughs> nurses shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start donating every piece of clothing I get head in. Just donate Ooh. it to a shelter, you know? And that way, I keep making new memories with new clothing, new sexual memories. Uh huh. Instead of, you know. Because I feel like I have some go to fits that I know will get me slurped off. Mm. And do you and wear the stuff because it worked in the past? Sure, there's some good mojo on certain, certain uh-huh. pieces of clothing. You know, maybe your cock pops a little more in a certain pair of Ooh, jeans. Yeah, so. I'm I'm just full health goth these days. Yeah, health yeah. goth. What yeah. the hell's health goth? Health goth is is like There's a thing from four years ago. Yeah, it's from four years ago. What? But Nick's bringing it back. I'm not trying, not actively trying to do it. I just I don't know what it is. You just fell into actually being a health goth. Yeah. What the fuck is health goth? Well, it's when you're like in good shape, and then you also wear nothing but black athletic gear, and then you put Ooh. on black lipstick and kiss yeah. boys, I other fu- boys. Oh, no. I'm in. Yeah, no, Nick's been doing that a lot. No, you fuck. He's been putting Ooh. on dark ass no, black lipstick. No, it's when you lipstick. smash bush- Bushwick. Yeah. You do a lot of Bushwick smashing. <laughs> yeah. What if Nick's yeah. wearing black nail polish? He does. He's wearing it right now. Mm-hmm. Looks good. It? It's on his toes <laughs> only. <laughs> 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 Nick just has the most beautiful manicured toenails. Yeah. He's got a fucking what, diamond toe ring. <laughs> that's what health goth is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only toe. When I said I'm bringing back health goth, I meant I'm changing the definition of health goth. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? Wearing like Tommy Hilfiger and like bomb equipment, and all that shit is. It's very similar to normcore. Mm. Isn't normcore just wearing like loose fitting jeans and? It's plain? like wearing regular clothes. Yeah, that's so dumb. It's just, yeah, it's just like it's just oh, dressing normal jeans and mm. a white shirt. Why is that a fashion? What do you mean? If, what? Do you, yes, it's tr- that's why it's called normcore. It's dressing normal. Yeah, but why does it have to have a name? Because because, it, it's because so dumb. Because it's being done by people that are aware that there's other ways to dress. What mm-hmm. other way is there to dress besides what health way goth. you want to dress? Health goth. Health goth. But isn't that Gay just how from you want to dress? Which no, is how you dress. Because if you're aware <laughs> that there's other ways to dress yourself, then what's normal can no longer be normal. It has to be an Ooh, active decision. That you hear made. that? I bitch. hate when you see people and you, you hear can that? tell they just started dressing the way they dress like they didn't dress and wear yeah. those silly right. we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put pause on you real quick because you are not going to dictate the tempo or direction of <laughs> any, <laughs> any conversation on this also, show Excuse also you? it was a stupid ass point yeah in fact you know so let's just we'll take over this part of this conversation and instead of you making a point we're gonna be mocking you for how dumb the point was yeah. how do you no, feel about that no it wasn't a dumb point you stupid idiot well, Ian, I'm sorry Ian, Ian so you're saying when people start something new yeah for example, maybe transitioning into a new lifestyle, uh-huh. you should shame them at first. Is that what you're saying? No. Whether it be clothing or, or gender. Homosexuality. Or homosexuality. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just saying gender. But genitals are a type of clothes. No, but I would yeah, be... Yeah, genitals I, are a type of clothes. <laughs> what is a pussy other than a glove I would or be, your hand or I would dick? Be, yes, I would, I would welcome shame if now all of a sudden I started dressing like a gay spaceman or you something. Do, all yeah. it would take would be like one piece of tin foil and you would dress like a gay spaceman. First of all, let's take gay out of whatever just you're like going to dress like. Just like silver, like yeah. overalls. Let's just, let's just admit that's You just see my happen. neighborhood at night. Holy shit. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Ian cannot bomb for one second before getting uncomfortable and fidgeting and doing some I kind of bullshit. Bomb? I wasn't yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah, you did. You didn't let that moment hang for a second. Yeah. You knew what you said. Was you good. should see my mo- my neighborhood at night was going to bomb. You uh, could feel it from nope. the way so Nick doesn't did. care and so I'm you looking did, at you. You did Nick's the McDonald's slogan from 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was gold. You know that he was does good. that shit on stage, too. That was good. Have you done ba da ba ba ba? I'm loving it on no, stage. No, I've done ba da 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 da. I'm fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, stage. Shit. That's pretty good, actually. That's good. That's a good bit. That's you know who bit. wouldn't come up with that? Adam, who returns. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. right. From South Australia today. That's Adam's right. never coming back. Oh, he's coming back. He's nope. back. He's back already. He and I will fight to the death for third. That Mike. would be kind of funny, actually. If he and I fought for third. Yeah, Mike. I mean, you both don't bring anything to the show other than <laughs> I bring a lot to the to show. Mock, you so yeah, stupid idiot. <laughs> Dude, if Adam, yellow kissing, if Adam yellow starts kissing liquor, if Adam starts kissing trans women, before the, before the show, that we, me and Ian went and got coffee, and Ian's like, "Can you just like cool it on the dad stuff?" <laughs> yeah, see, here he goes, here he goes, <laughs> old Mister Fucking TMZ Mullen. He fucking you confided the guy, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, it must have been really hard. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm empathetic off mic, and then on mic he's like, "Here's all your." Secrets. <laughs> That's Four years secret. ago, Ian That's not told a secret. me. That's not a secret. Yeah, yes, it is. I confided <laughs> in you to take it easy, you dead-eyed idiot. And I'm not fucking saying anything about it. <laughs> you just mentioned the conversation. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, yes, Ian, you're right. It is. I do hate it when people start dressing in you way. Mm. I do. Go ahead and expound on that. Well, you see, Stavros. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. that's coming from a guy Which, that's changed his look so much throughout his life. Me? Yeah. How? You were like a, you know, kind of like a... An ugly bitch-ass nerd. Yeah. And then and a now punk I'm, rock guy, and now you're like... Well, was a, uh, it, well now that's you're a thing. Now you're an ugly punk rock guy. <laughs> yeah. And now you're... What? I don't know. Like Paul Giamatti uh, yeah. clown. But if he was Compliment. gay or an Thank uglier... You. Compliment. <laughs> <laughs> The best part was, and I, I love how you don't think you're ugly. Yeah. That's honestly you do, you, one of the uh, funniest. Giamatti things of all time. is probably the closest way to describe your look. Yeah, now. you're not fat Giamatti. That's true. Yeah, not and in shape Giamatti. I yeah. somebody on YouTube can't wait to suck a trans dick. <laughs> <laughs> Some someone on YouTube told me I look like uh, Nick Cage and Paul Giamatti had a baby with alopecia. <laughs> mm. It hurt. hurt. Uh, you shouldn't have said anything and see how long it takes before I he know, does. I fucked up. I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> before he starts da, da, going, da, give da, me da. a break. <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> that bit wasn't that bad. Please give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> give me a laugh. <laughs> give me a laugh. Come on, guys. Just <laughs> give me a laugh. <laughs> yeah. I love how he didn't even bomb with his own joke. He read, he remembered a YouTuber <laughs> someone did on him. Because it just, stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> just shows you. Damn, dude. That just goes to show you guys, if you want to troll someone and it's going to affect them, uh, Ian is definitely a good-ass choice. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, he gets real mad about stuff, and then he'll he'll forget that you're not going to keep a secret. <laughs> yeah. And five minutes later, he'll be like, yeah, one time I was, uh, I was raped by Patrick Stewart. <laughs> but don't tell anybody. And you're like, what do you mean, don't tell <laughs> yeah, anybody? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it's the true. number th- one thing I will tell. Although it has got to be nice, though. There, there's you're, You live in complete freedom. You know, you could tell someone a horrific, traumatic thing, like when you eventually tell us the story of when you did get molested, and then it'll just come out immediately, and you it won't even bear on your soul at all. Oh, Stavros, I've still got secrets. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. Imagine the shit even it doesn't feel comfortable saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit must be so horrific and Did dark. you go on a date with Aziz Ansari? There we go. Yep, there it is. Did he finger your whole yeah. I, ass? I went out with Aziz Ansari and he kept putting his fingers in my mouth like a V. Yeah. yeah. And then rubbing it down on Clearly my that, V-ness. I mean. You know, it stands for vagina, by the way, which is the rape hole. <laughs> yeah. That's a precursor to what That's why do. they let you know that he was using his fingers in a V, in the V for vagina, vaginally raped shape. Did you read that shit? It, yeah. The motherfucker just seems like such a nerd. Salacious. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure a, 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 like a what, like a transliterated version of you having sex would sound just as no, fucking bad. No, it would bad. sound hot, dude. No, it would sound fucking bad. That's it would the sound thing beautiful. With all his fucking fingers out. smelled like Sopracetta and he yeah, kept... Yeah, uh, which is a fucking aphrodisiac. He kept asking... Why do you think I, he kept, I fucking he kept asking layer myself in meats? Give my pussy smooches. <laughs> <laughs> he said Baby he wanted one, to, can pussy. We play, he's in the bottle with your pussy. He said he wanted to Grab my pussy cheeks like a grandma on picture day. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I'm trying to get off in them pussy cheeks. <laughs> I got a couple nuts for those pussy cheeks. 
<laughs> yeah. verbatim written down, <laughs> reading it over. And over. Nah, dude, if people wouldn't be allowed. We couldn't read my shit because it would be too erotic. Yeah, they'd come to if fast. they transcribed. Everybody's a had sexual. Bad. Look, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like there hasn't been at least several times in my life where I've checked Twitter while fucking. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, have you considered that maybe you're just boring? Ooh, you know, flip it on her. Damn. You can also okay. just be boring to fuck. I think he just also is probably not. I don't know. Just didn't fuck good that one time. Yeah, and like clearly did not pay attention to another human being at all. He kind of sounded like he had it in his mind that she wanted this like wild sex thing. She's sitting there naked, blowing him. I, that's sorry. That's not like mixed signals. That's like. Consent. I have thought that, that is before. consent. That's uh, there's no way. It's yeah, but if if she's multiple times saying no or like later pushing his hand away, also too, we don't know if it was in like a sexy pushing his way. hand away and then like blowing him later and sitting there naked. I mean, it was yeah, not, but you can get brow beaten into blowing someone. It yeah. happens to Ian all the time. But that wasn't described you in the story. You can't get brow beaten into blowing someone. <laughs> Ian believes you can. Mm. <laughs> Ian's like, well, then what about ten times ages, out of ten? <laughs> what about ages fourteen through <laughs> well, last week? What about on a plane? Playground. <laughs> nah, I mean, uh, but, but but real real talk though. It does seem like because people have been talking about Aziz for a while, so mm-hmm. there's probably multiple people that have said a thing. And like this right. is this is just the first story that got published, and it's written by like I think that the girl that wrote it is like twelve. <laughs> and the, I, it was yeah. I mean, she's like twenty. Twenty three. You know, she's a shitty writer. It's not like right particularly well done. It's. Uh, I love how it was like. I'm sure he like he turned on Seinfeld. I'd never seen it. Yeah, it's like okay, you're. A it's child. gonna be one of those things where people like look at this story and they're like, "Well, we'll this is kind of a gray area thing." And then next week, it's like Aziz Ansari raped someone at gunpoint in a bathroom, and then everyone's like, "See, that's what you get for not believing the." Oh, first you think story. it's an appetizer yeah, rape maybe, story? Sure. Yeah. You think they're starting to do it like a fucking... Yeah, it's a little pig in a blanket. <laughs> mm-hmm. a little moosh Which boosh. is what people call yeah. my dick. <laughs> Which, is, <laughs> Which is the beginning Boom. of the Stavros Halkias bombshell story. He fucking... I a went tray of pigs in the blanket <laughs> and one <laughs> is my penis? dick yeah, yeah. in a crescent roll. He, <laughs> I heard you're hungry. He's, he's, <laughs> he slapped a crescent tube against my ass to pop it open. <laughs> <laughs> he said, where are them little smokies at, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Suck my little smoky, you little slut. <laughs> I got a little smoky for you, bitch. Oh <laughs> See if Aziz had that kind of confidence, and this would be a problem. For Absolutely, smoky. that's he fucked up by not involving snacks. <laughs> oh, I got the snacks on. Also, decky. I thought right. it was fucked up how she was like, not till a second date, and he goes, "Well, how about some wine?" Does that count as a second date or whatever? That was like, eh, that's a bit much. Yeah, I mean, he he comes off looking bad for sure. Yeah, he comes off looking pathetic. Yeah, but I mean, corny, yeah, corny's very bad corny. though. Yeah, corny's corny is sure. I'm saying the, bad and very corny. Amber like he said doesn't he know what he's doing mic. and he's just trying to fumble his way through sex. Like it this does was seem some like. like someone. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Really get, yeah, that's most people. All all of these like dickless, you know, wow. guys. He's like on, an Indian cat person. <laughs> nice. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yep. An Indian cat person. That's right, brother. He's calling back that New Yorker bullshit. Mm-hmm. In what ways, Ian? Do you have a thought out bit, or is it just a loose, shitty premise with mm-hmm. some sound effects? Yeah. Well, well like most of your... It's, it's no pig in a blanket. There you go. Do your little horse calling noise. <laughs> Come here, bit. Come here, bit. <laughs> Damn, I'm going to call my dick a little smoky from now until eternity. <laughs> so Damn, funny. it sucks because I love tube a lot as well, but tube is a general thing. A little smoky is just my dick. Um. <clears throat> anyway, uh, fuck. I don't know. I, th- I think Aziz is is uh, good, and you don't think he did anything wrong. And his comedy is wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I think he you probably, think it's got to be who's next. He's Pete probably Holmes? so famous he doesn't know how to really deal with like. Women without uh, having some. Sort I don't know of, about that excuse. But then he made that book that was like modern dating. La 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 la. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Wait, Amber's rolling her eyes. What's wrong? Amber's always rolling her eyes. That's what Amber About being rich? I know. Rolling my eyes at you, Stavros. Why? 
about what I said about being him being rich? No. I think, um, I think you're, you're trying this, to appear more woke than you are. No, no one can hear Amber. Amber says I'm trying to appear more woke than I am. We're no, no. Ha- I mean, I don't, I don't think the guy raped, but I do think it was fucking weird. It's just, he's it's just a bad he, situation. Right. It's for just, him. It, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, first of all, one thing is like, like a corny being bad at fucking or flirting is not criminal it's not warranting right, a story right, of course. Right. it doesn't make him a bad person in any fucking way and it's like not even do even couching you're like well it's not ray but he does come off pretty bad mm-hmm. that doesn't mean anything and you shouldn't even be making that argument right uh, but beyond that like you any sexual encounter is very easy to sterilize and put in print, and it looks right. fucking that terrible. I, sure. That's for sure. That's in, just like a joke. Your, Anytime if, you sterilize uh, it and write it down, it's going to look... Right. Like, imagine, it's like, you know, to yeah. say, to say like, oh, and then he like looked in the mirror and flexed, that sounds gross. Right. But then you imagine Christian Bale, 5% body fat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, perfect complexion. You know, yeah. and then you're like, that's, you know... I'm not gay, but yeah, right, I want right, to look. Right. I want to look and fuck like that. I want to uh-huh. look like I want to fuck him uh-huh. until I become. Of course, him. you know yeah, what I mean. That's how I feel as well. Yeah, that's some weird about like, Christian Bale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so we should just pull up some pics of Christian Bale and put. I was them on already. Yeah, I was already checking on my phone. Okay. <laughs> uh, I do that pretty often. Batman, Christian Bale, or we no, talk American, dude, Psycho. American Psycho. Who gives it? Anyone? Yeah, anyone dude. can fucking look like Batman, Christian Bale. Yeah, okay. American he's, Psycho is morbidly a whole obese level. in that movie. Whole nother right. level. <laughs> and you people get to don't see appreciate him work out. being. <laughs> people don't appreciate how lean he was in that film. Mm-hmm. That's, that's probably that's probably the best shape any actor's ever gotten in for any fucking movie. Whoa. And then he lost it all for the Machinist. He did lose it all for the Machinist. You mm-hmm. think the bet he that's the sexiest any actor's look? Not the sexiest. What about Brad in, Pitt and Fight Club? In terms of fitness, oh, no, he looks snatch. better. He looks better. No, Bale Bale has Bale, 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 Bale has Pitt. way more muscle on him than, than Brad Pitt and Fight Club. Brad yeah, Pitt and Fight Club is just like that's a guy that ate a bunch of yogurt and did push-ups. He just looks he's thin. He looks better in Snatch. Uh, I mean, he's still, he's always been a lean guy. Yes. Um, but like Bale in American Psycho is like the leanest I, I, uh, that I've seen in movies mm-hmm. in terms of like, uh, you know, what, it, what somebody was able to do to themselves. So you think lean muscle is the way to go? Yeah. Cause it's very difficult to get underneath like nine, 8% body fat and still like be, you know, be have some, yeah, yeah. Still have some muscle on you. <clears throat> Maybe that's what I'll do for this year. Cause yeah, people look at I like think you could. people look at like wow, look how fucking Jack Tom Hardy got for Bane, and it's like he is fat. Oh, or in like Bronson. Yeah, he's just, he just fat. Had like huge traps. He's just fat as shit. Damn, yeah. I would love to look that kind of fat, dude. That's my dream fat. <laughs> yeah. For real, dude. Big ass traps, big ass arms, well, no titties. Hardy Hardy naturally has big traps. I don't know if it's a posture or what, right. but he has like just huge. Stop. Traps. If you just did nothing but push ups, you'd you'd be like, no great. way, dude. Yes, I can't. I can't if do you, that many push-ups. You, if you started with twenty push-ups a day and increased by twenty a day, increase twenty a day. Are you out of your fucking mind? That's so easy. I can't do forty. You do tell me if I did twenty push-ups today. You're, you're fucking. You are. You are mentally you retarded. What? That you think that in a week you could do a hundred and forty push-ups consecutively? That's crazy. You're out of your fucking mind. Well, then space it a day. <laughs> One day no. you think I'm going to be able to double my push-ups? No, dude. I'm fat as shit. My arms if you, are little. Do it by if, five. All I'm saying is, is you're never gonna do it if you don't start get on today. some kind of push-up program. He's never gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> when I think you could be Tom Hardy big by the end of the year if you start working now. If I, all I do is push-ups, yes, and curve your diet a bit. Whoa, yeah, there it is. Curve it, or but curve I true. Don't you think if he if he regimented himself with push-ups, he could get Tom Hardy big? No, <laughs> I think so. No, I thanks, don't. Ian. Thank you, Ian. Amber, thoughts? No. Oh, Amber, Amber says no too. Phillips? I could do it. Could I do a hundred? How long do you think it would take me to do a hundred push-ups? Probably like uh, till March. How many can you do right now? I don't know. Let's see. Right now? No, yeah. I know we're not going to turn this into a fucking compound media show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there would be no exercise on my. Let's say I could do there's ten. No, there's not going to be any of those. Uh, uh, let's see if we can suck each other's dicks to win. <laughs> The free swag from <laughs> some, <laughs> some we already get. Afro, some weed aphrodisiac company that sponsors <laughs> right, I'm the out show. Of here, <laughs> yeah. If I, Dude, whoever say, fucking whoever comes in the other person's mouth first gets the weed flavored condoms <laughs> that also that also somehow neutralize a breathalyzer test. <laughs> <laughs> they're sponsoring the show. 
<laughs> it's the self suck weed con so you can suck your own dick and then also beat a fucking DUI test. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a hundred dollars of free credits to the law firm that specializes in getting your kids back to your bitch wife. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that a dad's thing? rights, yeah. baby? <laughs> did, is, is, did, did your fucking bank account get overdrawn from your adult karate classes <laughs> and the, your wages being garnished by child support? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a new sponsor for the show. It's <laughs> got the perfect solution. I'm 47 years old. I'm taking fucking Taekwondo Jitsu. I'm gonna be a fu- I'm gonna be a fucking fighter. <laughs> I lost all my hair already, but I will not lose the imaginary fights I have with every black man I see on the train. <laughs> <laughs> in my head when I'm coming up with tactical defenses to him <laughs> calling me brother man while I'm trying to I'm, while I'm eyeballing this Chinese woman for the only seat left <laughs> on the fucking L train <laughs> you better not fuck with me I've been going to I've been going to Brazilian Kaijatsu for fucking two weeks <laughs> I just learned how to do a sit up <laughs> oh fuck I want to do a hundred push-ups. I'm gonna figure. I'm gonna do a hundred push-ups. I can't. I can't wait until like MMA gives way to a new sport where you just pull your dick out and then like a ref comes over with a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> and then, nah, they that would never catch on. Yeah, well, because then like there would be all these guys going to dick growing classes taught by you know some Chinese guy with a thick accent, and then their dick would never actually grow, but they would get to fantasize about one day. I could be a professional big dick having guy. <laughs> I'm, tra- I'm of dicks. training, dude. I've been going for nine years because I, I haven't had my diet locked in. That's right. You gotta, you gotta eat four hundred dollars worth of pineapple a day. That's right. That's and right. Because of my it's- bitch wife and the child support I owe for Tyler. <laughs> For t- Tyler and Conrad, my two sons. It's being- not just about big dicks. It's about sweet dicks, too. That's where yeah. the pineapple comes in. Yeah. The ref does a quick swab and a taste test mm-hmm. to see who's got the sweetest. Yeah, it's like Westminster. Cock. The ref comes <laughs> that's by. That's right. That's and he grabs right. your balls from behind. <laughs> he puts you your balls walk, on a little leash and it. takes it through a fucking, <laughs> puts it through an obstacle course. 4.5. 4.5. <laughs> uh, what are you saying? The amount of inches of penis you have? Yes. Hard. <laughs> I get a good hog. What's that shirt, Ian? Uh, yeah, did you just change a shirts? Oh, it's a Ben Kissel shirt. Why'd you yeah. change shirts? We're both wearing we're both wearing shirts that belong to other comedians. <laughs> we got for free. Yeah. Are you friends with Kissel? Yeah. Uh, I've yeah. met I've met him maybe twice. Oh, Have you sweetheart. ever kissled his dickle? A little. <laughs> yeah. what, a, what, a, what a an enormous human being he is so tall oh is that that tall well, he's not tall but he's got he's like lurking. big ass he's got like giganticism or something yeah. his head is like the size of a fucking medicine ball yeah 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 he's got a nice hair too He's got a nice hair. He's got a nice head of hair. That man, he has a nice hair. The man, the big head is the man, he has nice hair. He's got a nice hair. (laughs) Bro, he does. Fucking retard. He's got a nice hair, man. (laughs) He's got a nice head of hair. What do you want from me? It flops just right. Yeah. I'm jealous. You speak for a living. (laughs) (laughs) He has a nice hair. Bro, I'm a fucking immigrant. Don't shame me, dude. (laughs) <laughs> that's our way of man. That's our fucking. Would you shame someone for using uh, ebonics? Yes. Yes. I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's his thing. <laughs> uh fuck. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, man. I think I, I am gonna try and. I say it all the time, but I gotta get it right. I get wish it I was a giant, dude. I want fucking bone surgery. I want my bone transplant. <laughs> From that shit where you break your legs and it's excruciating. <laughs> it's and no, I want a whole, the whole thing. I want a whole brand new oh, skeleton. Oh, that would hurt so bad. Bigger head, you know, everything. You can do it. If you start today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How much milk? Does milk make your bones bigger? No, no. that's bullshit, right? Milk. No, dude. You don't, you don't understand the fundamentals of how human beings grow or when they stop growing. <laughs> well, what the fuck is the point of bones or, or milk then? What's the point of bones? I get the point of bones. <laughs> Why do we have the bones? The point of milk is that it tastes good. But it's, it's bad a delicious for Delicious right? thing to no, drink. It's not bad for you. A lot it's of people, I think, like the your majority bones. of the population is lactose intolerant. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like now that when I, if I eat too much cheese, I'm just my 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 asshole turns into a faucet. Lactose intolerant. My asshole turns into the the little the thing from the uh, from Seven Eleven, the nacho cheese the dispenser. Oh, yes. Ew. Uh. <laughs> 
Speaking of which. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Good example <clears throat> of what you were just speaking of. Yeah, I got to cut the dairy out. I got to cut a lot of stuff out, man. I keep gas X in my bag. Does it help? Uh, yeah. Have you ever been getting fucked and you have to shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Feels I don't like know. it, though. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just trying to involve you, Ian. Now, I think I've gotten lactose intolerant over the years. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I get well, stomach isn't, problems isn't, a lot. Well, isn't uh, the trans cum milk? Because it's fake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they have to refill with whole milk. Yeah, it's like, it's like formula. <laughs> <laughs> it's next to the Similac. Oh, okay, not I bad. would I would love to meet like you know somebody who got the the fake penis surgery, but like the, whoever they went to like, you know, like just the cheapest doctor they could find, oh. and, it's, and it's just like a straight up tube. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! You what, what, what would they make it out of? You think like like thigh meat? You know, thigh meat, mm-hmm. but it just looks, it looks like it looks meat. like a like a just a big hot dog. Yeah. Oh, oh there's oh. no discernible head or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, they, have woman, to, woman they have to, to man? they have to draw the head yeah, on yeah. every day. <laughs> 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 like eyeliner. They got really good at they contouring and sharpie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there are Instagram contour videos. Yeah, yeah. Make dicks. your dick look real. Yeah, you like hook up with like one of them, and they've like you go to suck their dick, and you realize they've just drawn a dick on the inside of their thigh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my move. The light, I draw it on the side of my thigh. And I'm like, let's let's get let's get a little more intimate. <laughs> Turn the lamp off. And they're stuck with my regular my little smoky. <laughs> they're stuck making do with my little smoky. <laughs> I was laughing yesterday about like, and some has probably said this already, but like, you like hook up with a girl and then you like, she's like, do you have a condom? And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you like take the condom out and then you just unroll the condom and you start shoving it in her pussy. (laughs) (laughs) And just like hold the outside, then you fuck the condom. (laughs) What? You put the condom, you you put the condom in her pussy and you you. unwrap it in there and then you. Oh, like they'll do it with their mouth? No. No. Who does it with them? You mean the girls? Like, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much <laughs> prostitute? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny that like a very large percentage of the sex you've had has been with. That's actually not true. Oh, really? No, it is yeah. true. Well, I've I've banged a lot. Okay, but how many times has it been with a sex worker? I don't know, man. Between between zero and ten. Absolutely not. Stop pretending like that's even on the table. Less than 50? With prostitutes? Yeah. Less than 20. Okay. But they've just been very memorable experiences? Yeah. 20, that's a lot of times, though, you know? You yeah. think about, think about like, do you consider yourself like a, a guy that does drugs? No, I don't do drugs okay. yeah. anymore. Sure. Well, then you do. Yes. How many times have you done mushrooms? Honestly, think about it. Yeah, I guess like six times. Really. Yeah, yeah, it's really not a lot. Right. So now imagine mushrooms are like a man's penis. <laughs> yeah. Or well, coke. Did you imagine for how many times you done coke? I've done coke way more than that. Yeah, yeah I've done right? coke way more than that. Yeah. <clears throat> and I mean, I smoke weed, but that doesn't count anymore as drugs, right? We're over that being drugs. I fucking drugs. hate that. Yeah, I mean, I used, to, I, used to, I used to I used to smoke weed all day, every day. It sucks. You, listen, weed man. Just because you can't, you have a weak constitution that can't handle, <laughs> that can't handle weed. Nah. Before you start dropping n bombs on Facebook, <laughs> weed <laughs> doesn't mean. <laughs> oh yeah. Now he's punching stop because that was the, that was the secret he didn't want us to say on the show. <laughs> we should hey, talk about that. I want to clear the air. Shit makes you cool. <laughs> now, hold on. Look, a lot of people know this about me already, but just to reiterate, I'm a master of public relations. That's right. <laughs> That's absolutely <laughs> you correct. Sit there I am. Hand your face. I am. I fucking am. And I'll tell you. So Ian had a little bit of a manic whoopsie do last year. And as I, well, like I mean, honestly, you should clear the air because I don't think what you did is not that it's good, but it's like not your fault. No, he's not. You don't want. Yeah. To- he sucked off a. A school bus right, full of children. You don't want to talk about it. I've had manic episodes. Yeah, I've done shit. What's I the la- What's the most regrettable thing you did during a manic episode, Nick? Actually, nothing. I kind of embrace everything I ever did. It was there's the more productive times in my life. The last one I took down Brian Singer. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That was me and my mania. <laughs> 
Didn't you want to take the governments out to get me? <laughs> That's what I do. Didn't you want to be a fur trader or some shit? What, didn't you have some oh, retarded yeah, yeah, plans yeah, yeah, yeah. when you... I was going to go do... No, we talked about it. No, we talked about it on Gas Digital. I was going to go do uh, taxidermy. <laughs> That's right. No yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got a taxidermy school in Montana, which I've never been to, but I hear it's beautiful. <laughs> From where? Dude, where do I you would, hear I that? I would love to go to Montana <laughs> the and go to taxidermy yeah. school. That would be so you hear that I heard sick? it from my fucking well-traveled friends, Stavros. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dana was Montana adjacent. She went to that school? No, she went to Yosemite to bartend. But Oh, that's right. That's or maybe f- it was Yellowstone. Yellowstone. I How much is taxidermy school? How think. long do you have to be in it? What? How long do you have to be in taxidermy oh, it's, school? Oh, it's like six weeks. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's short. <laughs> Yo, let's go to taxidermy school. I would love that. Yeah. That does seem like a we- a thing you would be into. Yeah. Just a weird skill. Dude, let's start a scene out in Montana. You'd probably be good at it. Anybody, because it's an art form. If you're good yeah. at drywall, you'd probably be pretty good at taxidermy. <laughs> I think. I'm basing that on as, as someone who's good at neither. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> would you consider hanging drywall? drywall art? Yes. Yeah. To a certain extent. Really? You can make it an art. <laughs> okay. You really get it on the studs good or whatever the fuck? Mm-hmm. They're called turds. Yeah. You get them on the they turds. They're turds? Yeah. Turds yeah. are spaced every 16, 16 or 24 inches. On turd. inches. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So the, there's turds behind the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to mud up the turds. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds hot. I love a nice turd. <laughs> Well, ma'am, the problem is is that somebody didn't come your turds properly. <laughs> Excuse oh, me? me? Oh, well, I'm from Ottawa, so the construction terms are a little bit different up there. <laughs> but, yeah, no, instead of studs, we say turds. <laughs> and instead of uh, 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 plaster, we say cum. <laughs> and then you don't want to know what we call the black guys that work on it. <laughs> we call them spicks. <laughs> Which, do- I know, it does, is that sounds... Both mean and wrong, and you know what it is. But that's that's actually the First Amendment in Canada, or it's, that's part of the an- anthem. Is dude, I, I thou told, shalt be mean. I told you about that guy I worked with, right? Huh? The Who? plumber I worked with. Oh yeah, <laughs> what? Dude, that story's hilarious. What plumber? I don't know why you didn't tell this one yet. Oh my god, dude, hit us with it. So I I was working construction, and we would sub out plumbing work, and mm-hmm. there was this guy who was just such a fucking. Delaware hick Hell yeah And we were at this Really nice house Having lunch And me and my buddy That were framing out The basement and stuff Were sitting there And the plumber's At another table And somehow It was like right around uh, The 2008 election Right Mm -hmm. So everything was like Mm, Political or whatever And so fucking We're we're all having this talk And the homeowner was like Look if you're in your 20s And you're not liberal You don't have a heart If you're in your 30s And you're not Republican You don't have a brain 30s It's like set the fucking plumber off at a certain point he's in the kitchen he goes I just don't understand why we have to coexist (laughs) (laughs) that is he brings up a good point yeah Why we have to coexist in the middle of a homeowner's house? That's his also it's family's a, there. It's a plumber too, so you imagine his like ass is completely exposed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why we have to coexist? I don't understand it. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, it's the best. Should we have separate countries, guys? Hot take. Hot yeah, we already have separate countries. What are you talking about? Yeah, turn like, this country turn into separate America. countries. Hmm? Oh, turn America into separate countries. Yeah. We yeah. tried to do that. A lot of people died. <laughs> yeah, but we should, should we do it again? again. Yeah, I guess. I, two. I mean, I always said that seems like a better solution is you just have like half the states, you're allowed to have slaves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you want to bring slavery yes. back? Well, that's what you meant. It's just separate yeah. countries. Well, yeah, I mean, I meant, yes. Yeah, you meant a confederacy. I don't mean and necessarily union, bring slavery And to make back. people do labor. That's what you meant. Yeah. No. Nope. Savras Alkius, I think the South should have won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the South. Well, well listen, South, will the South rise, rise again. again? Yes, yes, of course, of course. That's what I believe. Mm-hmm. How could I turn my back on any culture that fries so many pork chops and butter? You know what I mean? Yeah. Also, Cajun food. Cajun food. Oh, boy. I was just talking with somebody there. the other day about how I don't, I don't know the difference between gumbo and jambalaya. I don't actually know oh, what's fuck. in either. Race. Oh but fuck! I don't know either. I just love what. Them. That's like breaking a I don't fat look, boy I, rule. No, no I just isn't. no. You just eat things. I don't. <laughs> I don't know food. You know, gumbo. If I had to guess, I was with my grandma and, and an ex girlfriend one time. Fuck, I don't know. And they were we were at the grocery store. They and both have shrimp. 
then we were going to go get food and they were like nick can you go get a they asked me to get a specific type of squash and then i just like came, came back with a, with a pumpkin. carrot no i just <laughs> hid in the grocery store because i never learned vegetables <laughs> <laughs> and i was too embarrassed to admit that i have shut up no i'm serious so he never spoke to his gr- girlfriend or <laughs> yeah, grandmother yeah, yeah, yeah. again yeah. that's when he moved to new york <laughs> i did, well I, I don't i have i couldn't tell you what a squash looks like on the outside what do you mean outside squash of a pumpkin yellow sometimes is eggplant a squash no, no. Man. are you sure yeah are you fucking sure yes, look it bitch. up what it's is a, it? I will it's a nitrate or something. It's a nitrate. Nitrite. It's a nitrite. It's a nitrite. Nightshade. Nightshade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sam. It's an Italian term for black people. Yeah. <clears throat> it well, is. Tomatoes are a nightshade, aren't they? Yeah. You know what it also is? Potatoes. Tomatoes, Tomato is a fruit. Tomatoes and potatoes are come from a similar plant. A lot of people don't know that. The potato part's the underground part, and the tomato part's the Tomatoes up, the ground <laughs> part. Yep. That's some wrong shit. No, it's not. It's true. It's wrong as fuck. It's bitch. real. It's no, better than it's real. You plant a nitrate. <laughs> no, it isn't, yeah. bitch. Oh, because you know vegetables. Well, yeah, what? Yeah. An eggplant is a night. That's a type of battery, isn't it? I don't fucking know, man. Nickel metal hydride. <laughs> I was on the right path. I got the nightshade. The eggplant is a double A. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> doesn't even let us let him hang on it we were both going to and he didn't even give us the opportunity to get a couple seconds of silence before he nervously <laughs> oh you're such a bad comedian <laughs> You know what they say about comics? You have to be completely uncomfortable with silence. <laughs> uh, Fuck you, dude. dude. <laughs> this is going pretty well, dude. This is a much better show than when Adam's on. Yeah, man. Yeah. Fuck Adam. Yeah. Uh, hopefully I'm he on dies forever. on the way back. Fingers crossed. That would be pretty funny. We'd have to go to a funeral. Where would the funeral be? In Africa or here? Um, or in, in the sea where the plane went down. Who is, cares? In Israel. In Israel. <laughs> Next year in Israel, right? Mm-hmm. Isn't that what they say to each other on Shabbos? Yeah. Or Shabbos. Shabbos. Shabbos Muhammad. Damn, my name's Shabbos. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. My name is Shabbos the Jewish. <laughs> 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 That's a good character. Yeah, Shabazz, Shabazz, the Jewish. Hasidic black woman. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. hey, maybe does she like any? Who the fuck touched my high five Cheetos? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you know I'm on Shabbos. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be using the vending machine <laughs> to purchase another high five Cheetos on Shabbos. <laughs> oh, the yeah, assortment dude. of wigs she has to wear. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, she's already on on ahead of the curve when it yeah. comes to wigs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, Lahayim, that's my son. <laughs> Pimps out her Windstar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a I have a bubblegum pink Honda Odyssey. <laughs> well, I got it. It's it's a Mary Kay car, but it's a Honda Odyssey. <laughs> Maybe oh, she's into shit. the Joker too. You know, you yeah. never know. <laughs> Joker is sitting. <laughs> <laughs> just keep, it's just a game of Jenga, retarded <laughs> premise Jenga at this point. <laughs> where we just throw yeah. as much shit. Shh, don't ruin the secret of joke writing. <laughs> it must not leave the guild. <laughs> the, the 40 thieves have passed down for generations of clowns how to construct a perfect joke. Ah, uh, fuck, man. <laughs> I'm really on a damn. I found this. I found this fucking kill. nerd on Twitter. I've been laughing about his his bio. Who? What's it say? I don't, I don't want to like direct people to online bully this man because he doesn't have any followers. But uh, you, there's so many of these types of guys. I feel so. Display name. Just get rid of the Nazis. Oh. Also, oh, my name's Jason. Here we oh. go. This avatar is this fucking shitty drawing of him. Uh, why do so many motherfuckers have shitty drawings now? I don't know. He does. I guarantee you, doesn't do anything. They have Is less it, than a hundred followers, and they yeah. probably hired someone to do like for a hundred dollars to write. I mean, he was responding to that shit. Aziz shit, but his profile: straight white cis male Methodist on the surface, a passionate feminist, progressive Ugh. ally, humanitarian, and gaming enthusiast. Hell he doesn't yeah. know how to finger. Yeah. Opinions are my own, which like probably not actually. Yeah, so, yeah like, just everyone else. Pretty impressionable person <laughs> with a weak page. constitution. 
Yeah, and then he had this like thread of tweets I read earlier that's like, I'm not a perfect ally. I just pray that in acknowledging my shortcomings definitely and apologizing. Right. You know how much fucking like imagine God's real and he has to listen to this gay bullshit. <laughs> 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 just rolling his eyes. It's like, it's like it, uh, there's like fucking people dying, and then some guy's like, "I just pray that I'll never rape." And God's like, "That's why I made women. <laughs> That's what I made them for." You're going against my plan. Yes, <laughs> you're wasting my time <laughs> that I could be using to game because God plays PlayStation. God plays PlayStation. <laughs> That's the only time we're getting you released when he gets tired of playing yeah, the PS4. Dude. God listens to Slayer and he plays Battlefield One. <laughs> Damn, God's cool. God did used to fucking murder some shit. Dude. He used cool to kill whole swaths of villages and shit. Mm-hmm. Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's where Ian lives. Yep, <laughs> that's my hometown. Yeah, the top, the tower. The mayor of Sodom. Ian lives in Williamsburg. What's your address? Ian? Which is Sodom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know where I can see yeah. it in my eye, mind's eye, but I don't know the address. Yeah, that's right. It's like you by a grocery will. store. I love when people uh-huh. who live in Bushwick shit on Williamsburg. Oh yeah, they're like, ugh, what, like hipster ass fucking Williamsburg? Oh shut it's up! Like, I fucking hate you, that. That is That's, Bushwick. Yeah, you're just Bushwick poor. is everything you think uh, Williamsburg is. Williamsburg is just a place for like German millionaires to buy each other's clothes. Right, 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 right. Oh, dude, so many fucking vintage shops open up on. Am I ugh? Yeah, you, so mm-hmm. you're basically doing what Nick is the making. The thing fun I of just people. criticized, <laughs> you are now doing. No, I'm not doing. I didn't open up <laughs> yeah. the shops. Oh, they no, just, you I did. You did exactly what yeah, Nick fucking says. Fucking vintage shops. Bushwick do. <laughs> <laughs> L train vintage, L train. What's wrong with that? Yeah. I got no problem with that. Ugh, yeah. they're just L training us to hate everyone else. Nah, it's all about being a bed oh guy. Oh my you know? god! Did you wait a second, dude? Did you hear what he said? I did it on purpose. No, it's no Ian. I stopped listening to you. It Ian. was a bit that didn't work five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> they're L training us to hate everybody else, is what he said. I mean, good lord, man! It was on purpose, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> retard. Do you think that's a legitimate thing? I, I mean, think you should you take wanna... this L train and admit that you fucking <laughs> are bad at talking about it. Uh, good. Anyway, man. Hey, sorry. I love Williamsburg. I love my neighborhood. <laughs> God damn it, dude. You're so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes, man, I'll say it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep throwing shit out <laughs> until I get approval. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, <shit>. oh, man. <laughs> Uh, where in Williamsburg do you live? <laughs> uh, by one of the L trains. There's a park where There's like Dominicans play baseball and shit. Yeah. Anything past Metropolitan isn't Williamsburg anymore. Yeah, it is. Nah. They call that Bushwick now? Grand Avenue is Bushwick. That's a start. Grand Street. Bu- Grand Street. If Grand Grand towards... the stop is the start of Bushwick. No, it's not. No? That's, no. I think Jefferson's think? like Jefferson? the start of Bushwick. Oh, okay. Well, that's well, that goes way out there. But I'm off Montrose. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I'm off Montel. Yeah. Montel Williams. Montel Williams. I'm off his dick. Is that how mm-hmm. you do it? Yeah. I sucked his dick. I used to suck his dick. But I'm off that shit now. That was the worst of the daytime talk shows. Montel Williams? Yeah. I used to fuck with Ricky Lake. Montel was so fucking boring. Yeah. Dude, what was it? What was the dude? He's got a disease or some shit now. Who would smoke oh, and the, yell at everyone? Yeah, very progressive Stavros. Jesus Christ. What? He's got a disease. I'm sorry. Isn't that what Sickening. being light skinned is? Oh. Sickening. <laughs> no. Please stop. Um, no, he has mic. some kind of disease. He's got some kind of bone, something. <laughs> yeah, really? an extra bone. Hmm. Wow. Well, an extra bone is The extra yeah. bone disease. That's how it stays hard. Yeah, he's got Stavros, a Stavros Akius. The South should rise again so he can take down Montel Williams and the bone through his nose. <laughs> <laughs> the bone through his nose. That's right, motherfuckers. Quote me on that shit. Yeah. Oh, damn, dude. I'm going to eat some fucking chitlins. 
Ricky Lake, aka Ricky Cake, because she was fat. She was you know? fat, Damn, and it, that's kind of what I liked about her. I was sorry, it was funny. It was Straight under- up, representation did matter to me as a fat child when I saw Ricky Lake. Really, on there. Mm-hmm. I'm not even kidding. Ricky me too. Lake. I Make liked her. Me too. I liked her because I was a fat you, kid. I, but you forget, I was also fat. And I felt the same thing towards Ricky. Yes. No. Uh. And yeah. Rosie. Rosie was my bitch, dude. That was my number one date to after Liga school. Was great. I just watched Liga Rome and I started fucking so crying, good, dude. dude. I was on an edible and I st- I was tearing the fuck up at the end of that shit. Yeah. That's oh, a good dude, ass movie. When when the postman comes and uh he's like, Oh, I have to come back tomorrow and Tom Hanks kicks him out of the locker room. Yeah, that was a good yeah, the oh, guy. God, that was so sad. That was a good that was a good pull. But yeah, just at the end. Avoid thinking, the clap, Jimmy Dugan. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> you fuck with the League of Their Own, Nicholas? Um no, not really. It's a good what? ass movie, dude. This uh, used I mean, to I haven't be seen it in like twenty playground. years. Hanks goes off. Madonna's used a cutie. You know, Rosie's pretending to be straight. And it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Dream. Um, Gina Gina Davis. Holy shit! Coming what through a babe. in her prime. Lori Petty. Was that her sister? Yeah. Who's yeah, name that woman? Gotta go home, give the wife a little tickle pickle. Who's his name? John Lovitz. Who's that, Lovitz rules. Who's that actress that was in I'm uh, Gay? Down Periscope <laughs> and Dumb and Dumber. She was married to Jim Carrey in real life for a while. What's that? Down Periscope and Dumb and La- Dumber. Laura Holly, was that it? Oh, yes. The lady with Laura the bob. Holly. The lady with the bob in, in Dumb and Dumber. You see her butt in Dumb no, and Dumber. Sexy lady that's trying to fuck. Yeah, yep. the bitch yeah, who got her bad. Samsonite. Tainted. Samsonite. Damn, I would smash. Mm-hmm. Certified. 100. Yeah. I want to get all up in them mm, guts. Interesting. 90 style. You're the only one. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't? I kind of want to rewatch Dumb and Dumber. I imagine it's funny still. It's so good. Yeah. It's so fucking when, good. When he's dropping that woman off at the airport and she's like from Austria or whatever, he's like, Austria, throw another shrimp on, on a bobby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're in the limo and he just goes, I got worms. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that shit's good, man. Yeah. You think you'd be that famous and not go fucking crazy? Because Jim Carrey's seeming like a loon yeah. these days. No, nah, he's, and he's apparently a bad guy, too. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. He, like, made his ex-girlfriend kill herself. Jesus Wait, fucking Christ. didn't her Christ. dad, like, die or something? He's like, you know what make you feel better? If you suck my dick. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Jim Carrey's canceled. Yeah, somebody yeah, we're stop him. Old Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> I was at Lewis. I was looking at like oh, all yeah, that Aziz that news and like the Twitter moments, and then Lewis's Twitter came up. Lewis, who's verified, by the way, which seems for wrong. How? For what? I don't know. I mean, you know, for talking a guy, talking a guy with an extra room in his Lower East Side apartment <laughs> yeah. into doing a podcast studio in it. Yeah, <laughs> I love Lewis. Uh, of course, everybody loves Lewis, except for the people that don't. <laughs> Which is yeah. actually a lot of people. Uh, yeah. But we, we fuck with Lewis. I fuck yeah, with Lewis. I fuck with Lewis. Um, I both fuck with Lewis in the, like, he's my friend sense, and then also I like to fuck with Lewis. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. one of the, he's so fun to fuck with. Yeah. Is he really sending his kid to, like, $40,000 $46, a year? $46,000 a year, he says. What? Just yeah. Go to fucking private school. That's You're in insane. New York. That's, That's or insane. Or regular school. I'm sorry. Public school. That's yeah. insane. Um, but, so he was going off on his ease. Oh, no. He wasn't going off on his ease. He just pointed out that, like, uh, TJ Miller... No repercussions. Really? Has nothing happened to him? Nothing. Well, did he have anything to lose? Deadpool 2. Oh, he's still in Deadpool 2? Yeah. yeah, but wasn't his accusation anonymous? And nope, they, no. Nope. No, it was not. I mean, it was like... Didn't they discount it because she came out about it years ago and they were like, no. this is totally Everybody false. in comedy, anybody that has a career in comedy and does this professionally mm-hmm. and isn't an so open micer... Two-thirds of the people on this podcast they, right now... They, uh, they, sucks. They, You're they, an open micer, Amber. <clears throat> They oh, Amber's Jesus not a comedian, Christ. you fucking idiot. I mean, he, that's I know. I was you're deflecting. Trying, you're trying to shit on somebody that has. <laughs> I made, was. I somebody not that in somebody that more acc- successful accidentally has a better comedy career I know. than you. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, who uh, reluctantly is yeah, doing better? Doing than so you. much better to, <laughs> as opposed to someone who's actively trying. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's that's. Is that what Nick meant? Yeah. Anyways. You're all pieces of shit. <laughs> no, you we're not. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Anyways, yeah, no, people know who it is. Oh. You know, and there's like legitimacy to this story. Mm. It's not bullshit. 
you know. I'm not saying it was. I was just questioning. Well, I, I just I, I was, yeah, you were, like, like you I was were. unfamiliar on it the topic. It seems like you were. And questioning to get a better understanding. Yeah. That's so it sounds doing. like you weren't believing women. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> women be lying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh damn. TJ no repercussions. Yeah. Well, he was already kicked. He probably would have not gotten what's it called? He already left the HBO show. Yeah. Right. That's probably good timing on both, you know, on his part there. Yeah. But whatever. And Lewis, uh, that's the only guy, though, huh? I saw one article uh, coming up uh, on Twitter or whatever while I was reading the news. It's like, was Lewis rooting yep, for him? Yep. The new season without TJ Miller looks like it's going to be the funniest one yet. It's going to be the best one. <laughs> and it's like, can we stop doing that yeah. shit? They're like, oh, well, it looks like time to reinforce our morals by pretending everything is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's if it's on the same page as us, it, it's also like what we do. It's like remember when remember when, uh, and I don't know if he'll get mad at mentioning, it, but remember when Ari got in trouble for like making fun of that girl with the one mm-hmm. arm or whatever. Yes. And that girl made that video, and then everyone's like, well, now I'm kind of glad this happened because I can be a fan of hers. And then they watched her, like, shit comedy. Oh, dude. And in that video, she wore a shirt that was, like, gay rights. She was like, I support Black Lives Matter. I'm queer cisgender. La, la, la. She, like, named every bullet point of, like, sadness and victimhood and then went into her whole entire thing. So people would, like, feel even more sorry for her and support her. It was fucking gross. Well, I mean, it's just that she's bad at comedy is the point Nick's making. Yeah. It's well, yeah. Like, I'm saying I'm saying there's no reason to I mean, you know, like look, something horrific happens to somebody, yeah, they're a victim, whatever, they should be consoled or mm-hmm. whatever. We need to address the problems, whatever they may be, societally that led to that, but like that does not mean that they're a good comedian. Right. right. It doesn't mean that the people that called out the, you know, abuser are good comedians. Mm-hmm. Right. It doesn't even mean that they're good people. Mm-hmm. Bad people can get raped. Mm-hmm. That fucking happens, you know? And it's just like this idea that, you know, like, our. Uh, 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 Everything's a yes. Uh, like, cr- yeah, critical thinking about art should just start and end with, like, this purity test right it's like in the second someone becomes a monster you're like well they weren't even funny yeah it's like what oh, yeah, the fuck whole, are you I never talking liked them anyway. about mm-hmm. <laughs> they totally were discounting funny discounting their body of work because they do something bad yeah, yeah it's like I wasn't even a Cosby fan but it's like the motherfucker you can't even argue that he didn't like he wasn't Dude, completely I fundamental or 2014 and he demolished sitting down in like an old man temple hoodie <laughs> like one eye drooping off the stage just demolished so funny. Yeah. Well, he didn't rape anyone. Wow, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. We're trying uh, to get to the bottom of something here. Yeah, man. I uh, And you have to fucking make cheap jokes, Ian. Yeah. I know. I think you've overstayed your welcome on Come <laughs> You know what? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it actually does feel like right around the good... It's good that this is winding down. <sighs> yeah. Fuck both of you. Yeah, we got five minutes left with Ian, and then you'll uh, never, never be, be seen again. Never be on the show again. No, oh, come on. You can you can stick to your once every two month Bennington appearance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, once a month, motherfucker. <laughs> Are you? I only did Bennington mm-hmm. once. It's a good it, show. Bennington's funny as shit, man. He's yeah. funny as shit. But the one I was on, I felt like it was. I was on with Evan, and it felt like we, it felt bad. Like we, it wasn't good. at Oh, uh, really? Well, because it, it be turned into like sobriety chat, and I fucking hate that shit. Oh yeah. And I don't want to be like a. Well, I'm sober. You know the fucking journey of being was that, sober. <laughs> was that your first time on the show? Yeah, Ian yeah, has no yeah, problem. Yeah. With Every that. time he has someone on for the first time, it's like a get to know you type thing. Mm-hmm. So that's probably why it was like that. But yeah, but a, there's other funny. things I could talk about for sure. Like white nationalism. <laughs> yeah, like waking my. It's people like they to didn't their... even get Nick's fucking pre-show PowerPoint that he said yeah, yeah. every <laughs> every radio show every every yeah. stand-up show that books him mm-hmm. he sends them his promo kit ask uh-huh. me about my swastika medallion <laughs> <laughs> ask me about it um how do you get it so you know shiny? What I want to get Adam for his birthday a little swastika yarmulke that was, <laughs> that's good mm-hmm. when's his birthday I don't think anybody knows who cares really? yeah I don't give a fuck yeah I think it's April Mine's February 11th. I know, it's coming up. Ooh. I kind of ignore friends' birthdays if they're in the beginning of the year. I don't know why. I guess because of all the holidays. December 31st. Jake's birthday is in January. 
Oh, that's at right. the end of uh, January, and I just always just never pay attention to it. But Jake doesn't really either, so no. I don't feel too bad. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I might go back to Baltimore. Yeah, my friends opened up a brewery. I might go di- have a little party, do a little Yay. show. Yeah, why don't you go to the M M&M and M store in Times Square? That seems up your alley. I am banned <laughs> from there. Actually, yeah, you can't put your you can't put your mouth directly on the dispenser you for were the red co- ones. You were collecting the yellow M and M's paychecks. <laughs> <laughs> no one picked up yeah, on I it. I showed up in body paint, completely nude. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> uh, you guys owe me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. You should have a potluck at your place and show off your new kitchen furniture. Yeah, maybe. I like the peanut M&M because he seems like a dopey character, but he can actually kill weak children with just his, mm. his heart. His superpowers. His peanut just by heart. existing. He's yeah. like Iron Man. Yeah. At the core, he's got an energy that'll kill you yeah. if you're a fucking little bitch-ass kid. I don't mm-hmm. like Robert Downey Jr. Really? Everybody likes him. I don't like him. I like him. He Sometimes in Tropic Thunder. I like him more Tropic than I like great Johnny Depp. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, Johnny Depp And they seem also. like natural rivals. Do they? How? I don't know. They both got a goatee. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're like the same age. They were kind of around <laughs> at the same time in Hollywood. They're both kind of bad boys that had a shitty, a good career, then it kind of dipped, and now they're back. Mm-hmm. You know, Johnny yeah. Depp, before Shock a Lot, my man wasn't doing shit. That's true. Robert Downey Jr. does and, suck. And Downey came back because of Iron Man. My man was dead in the water. He was. Maybe Kiss true. Kiss Bang Bang. Was that him? Or was that... I don't know. Anyway, so yes, that is why I see them as natural enemies competing for the same spot. That was a good thesis. Thank you, Ian. I liked it. And I take I take Downey Jr. over Depp. Didn't Depp hit this shit out of his wife and shit? Yeah, yeah, but that that was a whole public thing, and then afterwards they were both like, "Never mind." <laughs> they like both publicly were like, like we an just episode had... of cops." <laughs> yeah, no, they like involved us in a fucking gay relationship, you know, a spat or whatever. Mm-hmm. That that's not to say he didn't hit her or whatever, mm-hmm. but you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't care about millionaires punching and fucking each other with money that belongs to the people that invented goatees. That's right. <laughs> you know? Puerto Ricans. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I don't understand why everything has to be public. Every single thing has to go public for a story. Mm-hmm. It's annoying. Yeah. You tell them. That's right, I'm brother. Them. Keep, I'm no, keep going. Down. Go off. You got I'll more. I'll say it, man. You got more. I think it's bullshit. For a story. I hate when things go public for a story. Me yeah. too. <laughs> things that suck. Uh, <laughs> when people start dressing a certain way. <laughs> Yeah. Number two, when things go public. Why you gotta Four. dress? What are you gonna go There's public about the way you dress now? Too many now? vintage stores in my neighborhood. <laughs> Damn. Hot take, ass Ian. Welcome to Open Mic Thoughts with <laughs> Ian Finance. You know why do you have the to announce the shittiest premises way you dress? you've ever heard? <laughs> repackaged as spontaneous ideas. <laughs> Where does he come up with this stuff? <laughs> well, it next? bombed at Alligator Lounge three weeks ago, so he's giving it a run here. Everybody's on Tinder tag. now. <laughs> Who has their own Netflix account? <laughs> I think it's just one guy, and we're all sharing it. Oh, shit. <laughs> the greatest bits you've ever heard. I can't wait to see Ian doing that bit in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tonight. So I'm a dog walker. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude! Just dress how you want to dress. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, good thank advice. you for that wisdom. That's yeah. great. There's advice. a lot of children that listen to Come Town, mm-hmm. and it's good that they have a role model in Ian. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm I'm for the people. We're L training them to be <laughs> responsible adults <laughs> on the Ian Finance premise show. God damn, I would listen to the fuck out of that. <laughs> I would be so fucking happy. I would listen to that, take notes, and call Ian to berate him for everything he said. That could be the call in segment. <laughs> yeah, you just shit on me the whole time. <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, Let's do it. Come down that works. You're ugly as shit, Ian. Oh, I'm sleepy as hell. Fucking handsome. I'm mm-hmm. tired, too. That, that was so funny when we found out you saw your hands. Ian really thinks he's handsome, guys. I don't think it. I know it. <laughs> That's right. I'm just How's looking. that for a premise, you fucking bitch? I'm looking at oh, your forehead bad. now. Yeah, take it in. 
is a good for it. Ugly, it takes dude. a while, dude. It's strong. I know. You have a, a lot fucked up. You have a weird fucked up yeah, charm. Yeah, strong in the way a retarded you're, person. You're talking. Your fucking tooth's gonna fall out of your face, dude. Yeah, he's, I, he's I never saying, said I'm fucking. Yeah, handsome. he's not saying he's he's more attractive than you. I'm just saying good. I'm I'm aware of my limitations as a human being in ways. That I'm you aware aren't. that I have none. <laughs> <laughs> nice man. Uh, anyway, you're ugly as shit, guys. Please look at a picture of Ian. Google him if you haven't, and just. Laugh. What? How, what do you? Ian said, not ironically. I'm an eight. No, right? no, no. no. I said, s- I said, I'm a New York. I, I I'm said, an I'm eight. a seven. If you measure from the tailbone. <laughs> <laughs> Original premises. Tip's tail. I'm an eight. <laughs> <laughs> All night long. <laughs> so anyway, what did you say? Just so we have it on record. Yeah, put this on record. Fucking put it down. I'm a fucking good seven. Okay, it was With eight. The personality, Three days ago, it was a, eight. It's an 11. Okay. So you think purely physically you are a seven? Yeah. <laughs> I got a good body. I'm not hot in the conventional way, but I'm handsome in a way that intrigues you. You're so fucking ugly, dude. <laughs> 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 you are ugly as shit. <laughs> God damn. People in people in ugly houses shouldn't throw stones, Starbucks. This is not anyway. That's not the house I'm in right now. What house are you in? I'm in the like house. You can't of, do a hundred push ups in a year. I could do it in a year, bitch. Yeah, right. Look, the point is you're ugly, but you think you're handsome and that's hilarious. You it's know? hilarious that you can't concede that I'm an attractive person in my own right. I've asked numerous people after you said that. Who? Uh, several women. Just because it was like, I it was like, maybe I'm wrong. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were so adamant that for a second I was like, yeah, maybe huh. we just don't know. I mean, yeah. you were so confident about it. Unanimously. <laughs> what fucking women? A lot. Who? Who? <laughs> Like what? almost Ian, all, of, you're ugly as shit, dude. All of our fe- all of our mutual female friends. <laughs> well, fuck them. Their their meters are off. <laughs> no, dude, you fu- you look so fucking ugly. Look, I'm not fucking ugly. <laughs> yes, I'm not the you most are. attractive man. You Amber. are ugly as shit. You have What's fucked up? up hair. You Amber, have a weird you, hairline. Amber, can you just let, let us know whether Ian's attractive or not? Purely physically. Remember his face. You what? what? This is a memorable face. You know she's being kind to you. She said she wouldn't remember his face, All and right. that is kindness. Because the alternative, like you're not noticeable. <laughs> you're not noticeable. That's honestly the best you can hope for. Yeah. Right. Most people are noticeable. Which is hilarious because Ian, all he does in his life, he wants to be noticed. Yeah. I did get mad that I wasn't recognized at Woha. <laughs> because I've gone in so up. many times and I really wanted them to be like, hey. Yeah. Never. Well, to be fair, those guys can't tell each other apart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I take umbrage with the fact that our mutual friends. So those guys, Bro, those guys, those those guys walk past the mirror and they go, oh, that guy, he owe me $20. <laughs> I know that guy. He owed me two. Oh wait, no man. Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> like a fucking funny. dog in front of a mirror, <laughs> yeah, right. yelling at each other. <laughs> just yelling, Dude, I was doing laughing. kung fu at it. I was don't laughing the other day. Now, you know, a lady in the tramp when the dogs are eating the spaghetti. You know, yeah. so it's like a Chinese guy sucking on a noodle, and he gets to the end, and there's a dog on the other end, but then he just continues <laughs> eating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny as shit. Uh, all right. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks, guys. Goodbye. Come Town Premium. And I guess what, guys? You know, What's the regular up? episode this week, I was a little uh, was a little sleepy, kind of out of it. You didn't have enough creatine. I didn't have what? You said you didn't have enough creatine. That's not what I said. I just was Your wanted BP- to go to the gym. A C's the B C A A's. No, I just wanted to go to the gym and I couldn't go to the gym. Uh-huh. But, uh huh. But I'm feeling great today. <clears throat> Are you? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I had chicken and waffles for breakfast. For a champions. Meal. Wait, is that what they say in Greek? Waffles. Waffles. Yes, actually, it is. Mother of waffle. Um, we're gonna try and do another one where I'm gaming while uh, <laughs> doing the podcast. I think that helps. And no chance does it help. No, it does. The last yeah, time I, I did it, it worked. It worked pretty well. You got to do two things at once, and when you do two things at once, <laughs> you look so stupid right now. <laughs> you look like you have a fucking triple chin. This makes you the fattest you could possibly look. Yeah. Nick is resting the microphone on his chin <laughs> and holding his face all the way down into I'm, his body. I'm trying to game while he's gaming. While he's playing Call of Duty. 
This is Battlefield oh. 1 still. I've been Whatever. playing this game for a year now. You know what I play? Call of Booty. Yeah. And it's when I have sex. It's when black men request you. For <laughs> no. Where's that no. little fat boy at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't gay, but I got jail turnedencies. <laughs> I got prison turnedencies. Turnedencies? Yeah. I got turnedencies <laughs> left over from my days as a criminal. As a colonel? A criminal. Criminal. Oh, a criminal. Like criminal to fraud. A criminal, yeah. <laughs> criminal They both want to fuck Miss Piggy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's true. They do both want to <laughs> fuck Miss Piggy. <laughs> both those kinds of guys. <laughs> <laughs> just just Miss Piggy where she discovers her self-worth by hanging out at the mall. <laughs> oh, Tyrone yeah. thinks... Is that a good Miss Piggy? Yeah. Oh, Tyrone. I don't, don't say know I should Piggy. just use my normal voice. I don't know what Miss Piggy sounds like. Um, um, she, oh, let good. me get some frog. Is this cock. good? Miss Piggy here. No, no, is that not it's what she's weird like? that right their kids are either frogs if they're boys or pigs if they're girls. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah, I think so. Damn, that's disgusting. Yeah, it's pretty gross. That that's Whoa, that's what, a fucked up pussy that she's got. Yeah. I don't know. She's yeah, maybe they should come out half and half. Yeah, I, right. They should have some sort of freak. They should be pigs with yeah. gills. Do frogs have gills? Yeah, they do. Nice. They should be pigs that can jump high as shit. Ooh, imagine what pig frog legs would taste like. People say frog legs are good. I don't trust them. Man, yeah, French, I've had food them is, French food sucks. Well, sometimes they make a nice steak because they just fucking douse that shit in butter. Butter, yeah. French people are stupid. Yeah, I mean, the French can Do you suck. like Bernays sauce? What is... I like uh, Hollandaise. Is that French? Damn. Uh, Hollandaise? No, it's from Holland. No, it isn't. Yeah, I don't know. Holland days. Hollandaise. Hollandaise. What's Bernays? Francois or Bernays is bear cum. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Bernays is like a, I think a butter based Ooh, sauce. I'm, listening. I'm probably wrong. I'm going to get like a. I know bechamel. 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 Yeah. In Greek, we call it bechamel. Yeah. You know what? I realize a lot of Greek words are just French words. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a Greek isn't Asanser. a real language. We have no word for elevator. We call it an asanser, and that's just the French word for elevator. Yeah, Greeks are a stupid people. No! <laughs> Take it back. Were you yelling at me or the cat? You, bitch. You're yelling at the cat. No, no one speaks to me. I was yelling at you, you fucking slut. <laughs> you little Battlefield 1 playing cock smoker. <laughs> that's why you, your dumb ass just got battled down with that little fucking Yeah, hammer. you got owned. You that guy just pwned your ass. Nah, I, I need What's, to find... You know what? This is why we it? need... What was his name? He's this, on the Germans. This is why we need mic stands on the show. So, uh, so you can so game. You can game. So you can game while... <laughs> While doing the podcast. <laughs> but anyways, I mean, I, all I'm saying is I'm in a good mood, and I feel like this is going to be a better episode than the last one. Are, already, I'm feeling just really on. Yes, And definitely absolutely. focused on what's going to happen. You definitely happen. are. You just fucked up Dark Hanes with the Narcane revolver. You're Dark fighting Hanes the French even. right now, and you're the Germans? No. Are you the Nazis? I no, it's World War I. Yo, Major Wolf 1009 just fucked your ass. You with shot the Bodio in the, in the back of the head. We have sucked off objective penis. Well, anyways, today is Women's Day, dude. It's Women's March. The J20. Nice. Um, J20, it stands for... um, Because it is Women's Day, I am making a one-time offer. DM me and I will eat your pussy because of Women's Day. Yeah, if Stav doesn't eat a pussy by 12 p.m., he's going to turn into a... Stav's trying to snack on that (laughs) clit. Yes, baby. My two favorite snacks, Flaming Hot Cheetos and Little Clitties. Yeah. It's like, I don't even like Flaming Hot Cheetos that much. They're too hot. They're too hot for you? I like a regular Cheeto. Do you not like spicy food? I like no, spicy they're, food. They're like, you're supposed to heat them up. Oh, really? In the microwave? They're regular Cheetos, but you put them in the microwave. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. yeah in, in the bag? That's what I love, dude. Some nice piping hot Cheetos. <laughs> yeah. Temperature-wise. Some texture, Texas-style <laughs> Cheetos. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, nice, nice uh, one, stuff. <coughs> Some hot popcorn. Hot popcorn. Hot Is popcorn penis. hot? It's made hot, but hot it's never pussy. served hot. Pussy pockets. It can be served hot. <laughs> no, Cock it's, no, it's never there served it is. hot. Cock, Cock pockets. pockets. Yeah. It took me four, five tries, but I got to yeah. it, man. And it definitely, that's no one's ever said <laughs> that before. Cock pockets. <laughs> <laughs> that, one's, that one's brand new content. <laughs> 
Man, the episode where I'm in a good mood might be even worse than the no, episode. No, no, come on, don't write it off. It I'm, get I'm not good. writing it off. You know what I am writing off? That fucking iMac that I finally figured out how to buy. Very nice. Via a wire transfer and my good friends at the Apple business team. Very nice, my friend. Yeah. Mullen Industries finally. Yeah. Finally did it. Enterprise. Mullen, Mullen Enterprise is a division of Halcus Core. Yeah. Bitch. A subsidiary. No, of a subsidiary. Friedland. You no, know. no, no. Yeah. Inter- no. Friedland International. Absolutely not. Well, I guess Adam does control the banks. Mm hmm. Yeah, so and the all, media. All t- ultimately, all business goes back to him. <laughs> yep. It's true. Yeah, I don't like how he gets a piece of everything. What's up with the Rothschilds? Is that a real family? People talk about them like yeah. they've been rich since like London in the 1100s. Yeah. yeah they're, they're just a group of villainous Jews. I think mm-hmm. they're French, I thought. No, they're a group of villainous Jews. <laughs> <laughs> that just take everyone's money. Yeah. And I also heard a rapper, I think. Th- th- uh. Theophilus London is that his name? Maybe. No, 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 not him. Uh, Jay Electronica. My little brother told me that is Jay fucking uh, Electronica Rothschild. Fucks is is made one yeah. of the Rothschilds pregnant. Pregnant. Yeah, and he had a kid with Erica Badu. No, well. I believe so. No, you're thinking of uh, Andre. Andre. I think she had another one with Jay. Really? I know they dated. I don't know if that. I'm pretty sure they had a kid together. But like yeah, that. he was supposed to drop the greatest rap album of all time, and then he. Disappeared and then they found you out. Know, he I was call just it. I call it crap. You yeah, call it you crap. Call rap? Yeah, yeah, you can't spell rap without crap. You can. You can't spell crap without rap. No, you, you can't mean. spell rap without crap. No, there's an extra C. There's no C in rap. Uh, maybe that's what you learn by damaging your brain with all that rap. I mean, crap music. <laughs> <laughs> Me as a learned fan of rock and roll, <laughs> of classic rock. Yeah, of you know um, the good bands, Cle- Boston, Cre- Creedence the Clearwater monkeys. Revival, <laughs> the Monkees. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're the Monkees. Hey, hey we're band? the Monkees. Uh, we love to have sex with men. Here's what I listen to. All right, fucking. Mm-hmm. Uh, Deftones. Yeah, <laughs> I do. You know, <laughs> you remember Deftones? Every once in a yeah. while, there's a nice Social Deftone. D. <laughs> oh, what, was that the guy that fucked that porn star? Who? Um, no, that was Donald Trump. Oh, oh. Ah, 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 ah. oh. fucking joke of the oh. day, guys! Wow. It's my pretty man, cool. My man it. got spanked by a fucking Forbes magazine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Did you read the thing? Nah. Did she talk about his dick? Someone said they were going to talk about his dick. Daniels. She talked about the fact that he hates sharks. That's pretty funny. And he's like, yeah, if it were up to me, they'd all be dead. <laughs> <laughs> That is such a fucking stupid guy's enemy. Yeah. He's the shark. <laughs> he does like sharks. Um, I fuck with sharks. I respect them. They're alphas just like me. I don't know. I'm sure he's got a nice sized hog. I don't think he does. I bet you it's little. You think because of the small hands? Small hands. Mm-hmm. I'll probably tell you who's got, who's got a big dick. That's Baron. You know, yeah. Baron probably does have a big dick. I, yeah. I believe Donald retarded. Trump has. <laughs> he's retarded. He's got one of those big retarded cocks. <laughs> 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 it's a I little mangled looking, but Trump it's meaty. Doesn't he has two dicks? Okay, I'm listening. Uh-huh. Both average size, but there's two of them, and he stacks them together. That's impressive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if he can stuff them, what do you with mean stacks dicks? them together? One on top of the other? Yeah, or okay. a side by side? They twist up like one of those fancy cigars. Uh-huh. It's actually three cigars. Whoa. Do you remember the guy that went on Reddit with two dicks? Yeah, yes. two dicks yeah. I used to do a that bit was about wild. It. Yeah, he do you remember like, my bit. No. No. Remember how good my bit was? What was it? Remember. remember the bit I did? No, bitch. Was, was that an Austin bit? Nick bit? No, no that it happened was here. in DC. No, it was here. Really? Yeah, I did what it here. What was the bit? Right do do the bit. Do the bit. I don't remember it, but it was good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember the bit? <laughs> no, nah, I was just. I remember he said that, and there were also big dicks too. Well, no, one they was big. I think they were pretty. One big. One was big and one was little. He had a little ass dick. No, I think there were two like kind of big dicks. One was Adam's dick, and the other one was a normal. A uh, twelve-year-old boy's penis. So he had a huge dick. And so he had a tiny one. Dick. No, a very little dick. Very little one. Wait, did you say a huger dick yeah. for the twelve-year-old? The twelve-year-old. Yeah, <laughs> you know, twelve-year-olds yeah. these days. Yeah, they're tasty. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. It's because of uh, natural what? selection. Kids that'd be, have a, that'd be a fun, a, a fun like you know Fox studios franchise that goes on for 30 years instead of like there's some genetic mutation that makes mutants it's like there's a whole like the whole new like class of people being born that have like 
17 inches minimum Whoa. Uh-huh. and the government wants to make it illegal like yes. x-men they're like I would the be x-men. at the forefront of that dude <laughs> yeah. this is fucking ridiculous <laughs> and then there's some a- of us <laughs> yeah. barely have i mean not me yeah but other people have little ass dicks and then there's like a boarding school for boys with huge with ass, ass dicks. dicks it's professor x just yeah professor jacking x, them like, off with his mind <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. i watched the new x-men on the plane coming back from south africa x-men mm-hmm. apocalypse ass. It's pretty good. X Men. It, it, it's up in South Africa. It's called Blixman. 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 Yeah. Blixman. There's too many Blixman. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. Why? Why isn't there a way that you can farm inches of cock? You know what I mean. Well, I think probably like if you assume that a guy with a bigger dick is more sexually se- selectively desirable, is that then dicks probably true? get bigger? Yeah, over time. No, I mean, come on, dude. That's Shakespeare retarded. probably had a little shrimpy. Well, people were shorter, like a hundred. Yeah, years people ago. were definitely no. shorter. People, people still had the same potential for growth that they do now. It was it's just they didn't eat as better good diets, food? and then nah, now medical. No, it's evolution, bitch. I think it's evolution. It's absolutely <laughs> not. First of all, you don't know how fucking evolution works. Yes, it's not there's a, thing a where fucking over- little horse. And its neck is too little to get to the pond. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> over time. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Go time, off, bitch. Go off. Over reach time, the pond. <laughs> over time, longer neck, a horse with a longer neck yes. drinks from the water and yes. fucks because he's hydrated. Yes. And that's how you get giraffes. Yes, bitch. After you find lower and lower ponds. Uh-huh. So your neck has to get, and or tall leaves on tall yep. trees. <laughs> you get, that's, what, that's how evolution is. A little ass horse, you know? So thank you. I know how it works. Old Charlie Darwin over here. <laughs> Chuck Darwin. Chuck Darwin. You think he fucked every one of those turtles? Uh, on Galapagos mm-hmm. Island? Of you course. You think part of the chart was what kind of pussy the turtles had? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, the whole thing started with him fucking a turtle. That's nice. Dude. Then he came up the whole theory of Or wait, no, he was, was it Finches? Was it the yeah, Finches? Did you ever hear the Yurtle, the turtle, is supposed to be about fascism? No. no. Oh yeah, somebody told me that that Yertle the turtle is supposed to be Hitler. Whoa! Whoa. But it's too easy Isn't to Yertle pretend like guy? every story is about fascism. I don't remember Yertle the turtle. It's about a turtle that's on top of all the other turtles. Nice. His name's Yertle. Uh huh. I don't remember it either. Doctor Seuss. Does he put all the bitch ass, annoying, complainy turtles Ugh. into a different section of the turtle Please, pond? I hope he does. Is it Dr. Seuss? Didn't he like f- cheat on his wife? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hope so, dude. Have you seen Dr. Seuss's wife? No. Let's just say he could do a lot better. Really? <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you think his hat, his dick looks like the cat in the hat's hat? <laughs> no. Nah, I mean, he's a striped red and white. It's dick? like, I, I would never say pedophilia should be okay, but <laughs> if, if you're a. If you've done so much work for children, it's brought joy to so many kids. You know, you should get a taste of the forbidden fruit. <laughs> Doctor Seuss, Shel Silverstein. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. They fucked Paddington it's, Bear. It's, it's, the two of them fucked one ch- girl. You one young eight-year-old girl together. They were in a polyamorous three-way relationship mm-hmm. between Doctor Seuss, uh-huh. Shel Silverstein. Shel Silverstein with his shoes off, just sticking his feet in an eight-year-old girl. Yeah. Pussy. A big ass fucked up toe uh, <laughs> a whimsically fucked up crinkly toe yeah uh i did fuck with shell silver be f- everyone too, did. dude everyone loves shell silver yeah he rocked if you didn't guess what you're fucking gay dude. absolutely yeah. <laughs> dude we're putting you on notice you didn't fuck with falling up <laughs> you're a fucking if you didn't like the queer sidewalk Leo, where the sidewalk where the sidewalk ends, ends. that's yeah. where my penis starts mm-hmm. yeah exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's at the end of the sidewalk. Dude, we're me with a hard ass dick. Dude, we're firing a Get lot of sucking. shots. Oh, no, yeah. Side. Well, we're putting everyone on notice. Damn, I loved where the sidewalk ends. That shit was good. Yeah. That reminds me of my childhood. Now I'm getting sad. Fuck, dude. Why? You liked being a kid? Yeah, I guess. I no. don't, I don't think I enjoyed my life until this year. No, that's what I mean. I'm and sad. It keeps every month. It keeps being like, oh no, maybe it was last month that I did. I guess life uh-huh. keeps getting better and better. It's strange, isn't it? That like things are good, but yeah. you can't appreciate them. I didn't say that. Do you appreciate them? I've I just started. I go to church you. every fucking morning. Dude. I just yep. hit morning I to, mass. I go to three a.m. mass every day. Yep. Because you're trying to build mass. Yeah. Yeah. That's very it's funny. It's just bodybuilding wow. church. <laughs> That's so funny. It's, uh, Come on, man. A cool pun. <laughs> It wasn't even really Damn, a pun. I can't wait until you get your own fucking stupid NPR show. Where you can 
Adam yeah. Friedland. That would of, be one so... of the funniest humorists in America. <laughs> it's gonna be called you and Mo Rocca have a show together. Called, wait, wait. I'm gay. So yeah, yeah. Stop making fun. <laughs> wait, wait. Please give me a second. Please let me finish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's called Wait, Wait. Don't smell me. Oh, that's good. It's Ice Cube's fucking NPR show. Mo Rocca sucks. N W. APR. <laughs> it's NPR, but it stands for. <laughs> <laughs> is Mo Rocca still around? He's on NPR. He was on now? the Daily Show. Why the fuck did the they Daily just give show. unfunny assholes from Harvard? They just got to write, write for the was Simpsons he a and SNL guy? and do shit. You know what I found out recently? Fuck Harvard. Do you remember dude. that like early Daily Show correspondent Vance DeGeneres? Mm, no. It's Ellen's brother. Well. Oh yeah, I do remember that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it was that. Alan's brother. His name is Degeneres. Yeah, I guess I never put one. <laughs> Didn't in he one look together. like her too? Didn't he have like blonde hair? Uh, maybe I don't remember him really. But Bro, of course, the I remember the name. Guy. Yeah, Vance is a good ass name. Vance. Yeah. If you could name your name, if you could name yourself anything, when you were a child, did you have like a name you wished you had, like a um, cool name? No, I liked I liked my name. I think I've always liked. I it. always wanted to be like Turbo or Laser. Yeah, I wanted to be yeah, Jason because like, of the Red Power Ranger. Yeah, like an American Gladiators <laughs> kind of name. <laughs> oh yeah, I used to think Jason was a cool name. Of course. Yeah. What yeah. color would the Fat Power Ranger be? It, uh, like a peppermint brown. Swirl? Yeah, it would be. <laughs> it depends. Sometimes it'd be like churro. It would be like tan with little flecks of sugar. I on think top peppermint of you. swirl would be the perfect. Peppermint swirl was not bad because they were all done by race. Except yeah, for Billy, the who black was a one nerd, be black. so he's blue. Right. Mm-hmm. The black one was blue black. Blue balls because he never one was yellow. That's true. That's a good call. Mm-hmm. What's Stop. that? He's oh, blue because his balls because yeah. he never yeah. fucked. Yeah, yeah, Trini. Trini was the Trini Asian Trini died. One? Yellow. Yeah, so life. she was yellow. And, and her her dinosaur was a sideways. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Brontosaurus. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, now the best part was the Black Power Ranger did hip hop karate, but yeah. like uh-huh. whenever they were fighting the uh Zack. Whenever they were fighting the putties or whatever they were, uh-huh. uh that was just clips from like the Japanese T V show, which yeah. was like a completely different thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh and they would just over they would put like they would over rap music over top of it. Uh-huh. it ruled, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did um did that guy Chaim Saban, he was just the guy that took it from Japan or did he start it in Japan? I don't know. He might have been the guy to Im- because that was like he probably Japan, bought it had, for Japan had like a, a million shows like that. Right. That was like a type yeah. of show is that like, like you know, t- ninjas Autobot. that yeah. turn into yeah. mechs or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like Japan imported Spider-Man and they had a Spider-Man show where Spider-Man had a Megazord. Oh, tight. Yeah. Is it a spider? Uh no, so it looks like the like Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Oh. <laughs> yeah, damn, a big ass spider like from uh, World War or World Wild West would be tight. Yeah, you oh, know the yeah. story, and again, we've already talked about this on the show, but the story yeah, behind was, that spider and how it like was in like nine different scripts. Yeah, yeah. And people were like, "Man, I love this spider. We got to find a yeah, home for it." Yeah, that's how movie. stupid Hollywood is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah unlike podcasting. Where intellectuals can make art. Yeah, we don't have a studio giving us notes. Mm-mm. I'm gonna intellect my balls. <laughs> that's, You're into that's that. Really <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was a good one, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. Take that, Noam Chomsky. I think my Sunday what, mass one dome, was just dome, as good. Dome Dovsky. Yep. Yeah. Nom. Come, Dome come, come, Chomsky. <laughs> come, Chomsky. Come, Chomsky. Even though Chomsky doesn't mean anything, <laughs> come, Chomsky is really good. Oh, <laughs> uh, I read books. <laughs> I fucking wrote a book and I read them too. <laughs> Yeah, fucking learning's so stupid, dude. Learning is Imagine gay. being the kind of bitch that's like, you're fucking 70 years old and you got like a dumb office and you just put your reading glasses on and read shit. Oh. Yeah. Fuck When that, you're dude. old? When you're old, Yo, yeah. I'm gonna be, first of all, I'm dying I'm early as fuck. Yeah. Yes, I'm gaming. I'm eating like dog shit. Mm-hmm. My family will have to give me sponge baths. I'm gonna like Pat Robertson to my- doing leg presses. 9,000 pound is he, leg presses. Is he jacked? Pat Robertson? No, but he just no, does. He does. He has, he got, Pat he, Buchanan you're thinking of. No, Pat no, Robertson. Pat Pat Robertson, the 700 really? Club. Yeah, yeah. He does them too. I thought Pat. Well, the Buchanan 700 did. Club is that uh, Pat Robertson deadlifts 700 pounds. Nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Does he do it before Sunday Mass? Yeah. Well, that's that's when I do it. 
It was before yeah. mask because I'm trying to, you try to put mask. on mask. You know what I'm <laughs> put on. That's a mall dog original. <laughs> <laughs> I love going to church. That is man. a a uh 100 copyright mm-hmm. you know tm uh uh-huh. <laughs> i'm trying to go to church on acid or some shit that seems like it would be fun Damn. i went to in that college that ass i can't wait until your 15th birthday so <laughs> can get the money to make Bro, that happen i'm trying to just like open up my mind dude yeah it's like i'm going i'm going to the house of god but i'm going to be on my god i yeah, still think we should take molly and one of those see people cats. That, no ask i think if you're one of those cats. people that if you do hallucinogens and you believe in god after you should be put in jail oh 100%, yeah 100 yeah, percent yeah. Yeah. yeah or like there's a deeper meaning no right there that's how i actually discovered my spirituality is by <laughs> i was doing mushrooms at bonnaroo <laughs> and i saw this like goat figure appear and he said to me Everything <laughs> is because of a purpose, <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, that yeah, okay, yeah." I that makes sense to mm-hmm. me. That I feel that you know. Yeah, and ever yeah. since then, I've been completely fucking insufferable in conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of have this air of superiority, even though I have no discernible skills. Or there's right. so much worse than just regular religious people. Oh yeah, because regular religious people, ev- like sometimes yeah, they're, they're like, like a yeah, soup my kitchen. father would molest and beat me, mm-hmm. so I yeah. have to go to church. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> fucking, the guys are like, oh, yeah, I fucking, oh, I was at a rave, mm-hmm. you know, and a glow stick broke open in my mouth and it gave me brain damage. <laughs> and now I have fucking, you know, I have to say namaste every time I place my order at Starbucks. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. I love doing mushrooms and just me and Eldis watching 30 Rock, bro. Just me and my boy laughing because their eyes look weird. I, I haven't done mushrooms in a long time. So. I did mushrooms and watched Star Wars. It ruled. Oh, in Baltimore? Yeah, yeah, with me and my little brother. Was it good? It was awesome. Uh-huh. Laura Dern was How about, like a you know what would be a cola. cool drug? Bust rooms, you know? Oh, Where it's like, it's a mushroom that you eat, then you just bust for like 12 hours. <laughs> 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 yeah, wouldn't that hurt though? No. No, it would be fucked good. up, dude. Okay. The, yeah. the would dr- your dickhole be sore afterwards? It would be a drug that would just make you just nonstop busting. Is it like <laughs> poppers for your dickhole? The, com- the come It, down you, it loosens up your dickhole? F- you just fill a, f- your, a whole room. Room? Yeah, because it's 12 hours, so it'd be like leaving a faucet on. <laughs> would you get dehydrated eventually? Uh, no, because you'd be on drugs. Oh, okay. No, you got to drink yeah, No one gets dehydrated on drugs. <laughs> you just have a camel back? Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm down with that. Mm-hmm. So a full room full of jizz. <laughs> Do you stay in the room? Are you swimming in it by the end of it? Now everybody knows that when you get FTM bottom surgery, right? They give you a piece of uh, they give you a, a dick that's got a Reebok pump in one of in the, the balls course. in the nut. Yeah. Well, that's well well known. But how about this? The other ball it's got a little bit of fake cum in it. Mm. You can fill it up like a. So for a little surprise at the end. Yeah, yeah. So you go. The other one's like a clown's lapel, the the flower on a clown's lapel. It's a little fake jizz when you come. A little perfume bottle. And you can make it anything. Oh, you know what rule? Yeah. They make it cinnamon, cin- the the icing from the top yeah, of How about this? You get, you get five or six balls in your ball sack. <laughs> and then you got one, right? This got cum. Another one, orange soda. <laughs> yes. Another one, Sprite. You know, mm-hmm. and you just run suicides on your nuts. Oh, <laughs> that's good. You have a whole Little League team over after they win a game. You got, guys, who's ready for the fucking fountain? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, one of, the, one of the balls would have to be ice, of course, yeah, to yeah. keep them cold. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. no, that's your. And somebody's ass. like, "Can I just have a cup for cum?" And then you ca- you catch them getting the sprite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, cum yeah, is yeah. free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cum is on the house. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just get a cum cup? <laughs> like, don't be putting sprite in that cum. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't fucking cost us anything. And I will enforce that rule as a minimum wage employee. I have very little control over the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Yelling at you makes me feel good. Uh. Damn, now I want to get Chipotle. That reminds me of when I used to steal soda from Chipotle. Damn, dude, you that's you sound like a real fucking hard ass we, right now. Yeah, dude, yeah. that was a fucking bad ass. Yeah, ex-con, dude. Yeah. Shouts out to the sh- Chipotle on fucking Falls my Road. Man, my man a criminal. When I was cutting art class, thank you very much, at Baltimore Polytechnic Institute. Shouts out to my man, Mr. Hogue. 
He was a fucking Vietnam War veteran. Definitely did some shit. Mm. Definitely fucking took Killed the some kratata yeah. to some fucking Charlie's. All right, kids, welcome to class. My name is Mr. Hogue, and if you got a problem with that, you can suck my hoe. <laughs> 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 Wait, your art teacher is a Vietnam vet? Yeah, he ruled, though. I should yeah. I fuck with that guy, man. He was cool as shit. I had a Vietnam vet teacher. He kind of looked like Robin, Robin Williams a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. My dad used to look a lot like Robin Williams. When yeah, I, I know. I fucked him. Did you? When he looked like that. When I was a kid? I was so like, you were a kid. I was eight. So my dad molested you. No, I fucked his ass. Looking like you I was eight years old, and I was fucking your dad in the ass. That's still molestation. No, it's not. Yeah. Nick. Uh, yeah. If an eight-year-old boy fucks an adult man's ass. In the ass? Yeah. That's molestation? You still got molested. I gotta go, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Guess what, bitch? I you gotta got call molested. my lawyer. Um, Ooh, now you fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I fuck you. Now you fuck me. Oh, it feels good. Oh, it's like a Benny Hill, uh, Benny Hill show. I go in your ass, you come out of mine. <laughs> <laughs> that, but it's just said to someone <laughs> raping a child. <laughs> come on. <laughs> that actually would be funny to watch to catch a predator on where they're running away from the cops and getting tackled that was the best part where they just made a break they're like look I don't want to I love the excuse yeah the excuse they'd come up with at first like the first excuse it'd always be like I I was just interested I wanted to help them get get their life change their life they said they want to they seem troubled yeah you know Oh uh, fuck! Poor what what is what is MP Frontlines on Amiens as soldier? Is that what you're playing? Uh, multiplayer Frontlines on no, it's like some somebody that added me on PlayStation is currently playing that mm. game, and I can join them. Gotcha. If I so sexually choose, <laughs> is that a Cometown fan that added you? Yeah, I don't have any real friends on uh, PlayStation. It's just I, people listen to the show. I play with Barack Obama. I play Madden with Obama. He plays FIFA. I play FIFA and Madden with him. Um, so Why isn't he in jail? Obama? Because yeah. he's a cool black guy. I feel like every president, as soon as they get out of office, should be able to be put in jail by the next president. <laughs> oh, they might oh, actually yeah. be putting Hillary in jail. <laughs> Why? Some shit came out this week. I didn't really look yeah, into it. I saw, I saw that the about. Clinton Foundation was getting more scrutiny from the FBI. Yeah, there's like some shit that came out. No, it was about the Russia collusion. I think that there were like members of Congress that were trying to say that actually Clinton colluded with Russia. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> shit is fucking gay, dude. Who cares? No, the Russian mafia is going to be running our country in like three, three weeks. No time. way, dude. It'll Russian be cool, though. Russia has president. no power. Nah, dude, they do. They just just some guys. It's China, you dude. It really doesn't have any power. You, <laughs> me, yeah. That Gay is. Ass. I got more power than the whole country of Russia, dude. No, you don't. They don't even get the sun there. It's just gray all day. That's why they're angry. They're plotting the whole time. Yeah, no vitamin D. Yeah, vitamin C. You guys, whatever. I'm pro Russia now. Why? I'm against Russophobia. Because your girlfriend. Because my girlfriend's Russian. Yeah. The Asians of Europe. Some of them do look a little Asian because they got all those guys. They're literally Ur- Asian. The dude. Ural. No, I mean. Nah, they're whites. Half of it's in. Not they got half of it. All of like all the stand countries that aren't in the like real Middle East. Yeah, yeah. The former They all Soviet. look kind of fucked up. That's Asia. That's Central Kazakhstan, Asia. Kazakhstan. Yeah, that's Asia. And Central Asia. But Belarus is Russia. Yeah, I guess. Um, I guess technically. Yeah, I'm against Russophobia. They don't have any good food, man. That's they my, don't. That's my chief problem. Borscht sh- can suck my nuts. Borscht sucks dick. Um, I watched an episode of uh, uh, the Chef's Table, and like the Russian cook, he's like, he was like cooking like moose lips and shit like that. that was shit that sucks. like a traditional? Yeah, it's like an Russian old school deal. Russian dish. He he had a he had a restaurant called the White Rabbit, and it was named after uh, Alice in Wonderland. Like, oh, that was some, I thought like, you meant the you were gonna say that song by Alice or Jefferson Air. Yeah, which is about Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking Go idiot. Ask Alice. Wasn't that guy like Christian or something? All right, we got to talk about this, either the shutdown or the women's thing. Let's right. talk about the women's march, which we are missing right now because of our duties here. Yeah. We're going to take a what helicopter you guys think? To, the hel- to the women's march right after we stop. Wait, so it's to protest Trump again, right? No. It, well, yeah, it's, I think, the one-year anniversary of, the, of, him, of Trump. 
Mm-hmm. And then I think it's also um, the Me Too movement. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that has Dude, to I didn't even find it. out about it. Yeah, no one told us. What the fuck? I thought I was on the mailing list. I was. It's also the what anniversary of the Me Too? I think it was. it's also being inspired by Me Too. I think... There's some They're not going to do numbers like last year, I'll tell you that much. Of course, dude. We were there last year, me and we you. We were. I wore a Bernie shirt, and I made fucking eye contact with every single woman I passed. Did you blow kisses at them? Um, no. I you were like, thank you for what, everything you're doing, sweetheart. No, I just shouted dice jokes at them. <laughs> uh, Andrew Dice Clay. Andrew Rice Cray. <laughs> mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> This, I don't think there's a single Andrew Dice Clay parody that hasn't been done yet. Yeah, Andrew Dice Gay famously done by Kumia. Anthony. Kumia. Which is so funny. Yeah. You know, just spot on. Hickory dickory dock. I love sucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay. He literally just did say I'm gay. Oh. Ooh. Very funny. It's great stuff. It's a great joke. I would love to see Dice live. See a master craftsman at work. Yeah, I think it's cool how he did that thing with the cigarette where he'd go over his over head. his head. That's pretty cool. Oh, Andrew Asley. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's basically what he was, though. Yeah, I know. Let's try. And look, there's got to be a new one. No, I don't think so. No, nah, this is like when we did bread puns. <laughs> Andrew W. Clay. Okay. That's good. Okay. Yeah. There yeah. we go, Adam. Thanks. Let's get a party started. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a party going. Hey, bitch. You like, hey, sweetheart, you like the party? Yeah. What's in the bowl, bitch? Mm-hmm. Um, Andrew. Nice. Nice dates. day. Nice day. And your nice day. He's just, a, he's just a like hopes guy. you're having a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, it's your nice day. I like that. Yeah. yeah, he's like a really polite guy. Andrew Lice. Hmm. Spray lice spray. Lice spray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He comes in yeah. when they check kids for lice. Okay. And if they have lice. Yeah, he's like doing he sprays education them down. for mm-hmm. the kids. Uh, I like that. Um. <laughs> And Jew. Yes, yes, okay. Anjou. Kike. Andrew Kike. Oh, okay. Now Andrew we're... Kike. Gay. Gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I think he is what Jewish. What did you read, Dick? I'm Jewish, and I love smoking dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. What about on, on, uh, on Anjou? Anjou. <laughs> yeah. Like Anjou sauce. Anjou. Anjou rice again. Uh. Rice. This is a food one. Gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. I dip rice in our juice sauce and then I suck cock. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Yeah. Well, that's, I think that's good. That's good. So we, that's, we, we that's rattled our, off more than I thought. That's our women's march so, <laughs> segment. Shouts out to the day the laughter died. Yeah. My favorite comedy album of all time. Rick uh, Rubin produced. Yep. What's going on with the Aziz thing? Have we resolved that? Oh, uh, no. Aziz beat the case, pretty much. Did he? Kind of. Well, he hasn't lost anything. Well, but what is he on to lose? What's the story with this girl that wrote the article? Well, she's sort of losing her mind. She was. A, some, oh, they no. asked her to go on headline news, and she wrote this, like, sort of this, like, self righteous, like, email to the woman, Ashley Banfield, the journalist. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I don't want to go on your fucking fake highlights, bad makeup, like piece of crap show. Oh, she, yeah. What? And he's like, no, she's like, no one cares about you. No one's ever heard of you before. Whoa. And like Ashley Banfield was like in fucking Pakistan during like yeah, she's the Afghanistan war. She's yeah, like a yeah. war journalist. Um, yeah. And she's like, I'm fucking 22 and I rule the world. She's like, just kind of sounds like she, it's she's not, drunk. Let me, let me just ask oh. this. Is the website called babe.com because it's for women who are pigs? <laughs> <laughs> nice. There it is. Talking <laughs> pigs? <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. Um, That's what I thought, folks. Do they have babes on there? Is we'll it, chalk, do they they chalk that up to another slam dunk. <laughs> <laughs> By the bad boy of broadcast. 
<laughs> oh, fuck. That is a weird name for a site. That's not porno. Yeah, I thought it was porn. Yeah. yeah. How about Bane.com? You know, mm-hmm. and it's like, I was well, on the worst date of my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you you merely adopted the black voice. <laughs> I was born into it. <laughs> you are some Indian man that just <laughs> pretends to to embrace the darkness. <laughs> was she black? Was the girl black? No, uh, but Izzy no. does black voice. Well, oh, and yeah, then yeah. everyone's <laughs> also saying, people are also saying that the girl who like called disease out in the article who is known as Grace in the article, they're like, oh, it's a white girl trying to destroy a brown man but like it wasn't clear oh, if she was actually white which she 100 yeah there's white. no way yeah, she's there's no white. way she's not yeah. you, uh, that's true yeah yeah, yeah. she's 1000 percent yeah well, white. i feel like aziz Azari has only had sex with white women. yeah that's yeah, what grace sure. is short for is g race good race <laughs> good. <The> good race <laughs> yes <laughs> code in there. threw a lot of code in there yeah. um what else what's another white supremacist code the 14, 1488, right? Well, yeah. that's if you look at it, her article, the Aziz article was, uh, I think, uh, 28,000 words long. Uh-huh. To divide that by. So 14 words goes into that some like 2 tooth, million times. Two mi- mm-hmm. Which is oh, I the actual but what if amount. It, what if it went in 6, six million? million. Yeah. 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 Actually, it does. Now that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 14 yeah. goes into 28,000 6 million times. <laughs> yeah, like 2 million was right anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I love doing math. <laughs> so Big Z's beat the case, huh? Uh-huh. So um, now we get Randy. The he's gonna. Well, I guess something. like you know, like he didn't get dropped by Dave Becky or anything, did he? Didn't everyone drop Becky? I thought. Um, did they? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. It just sounds like he's just publicly humiliated more yeah. than anything. Yeah. Dave Becky's a funny name because it sounds like Dave. And yeah. Shout out to everyone that did Aziz. I'm sorry. Unironically. Oh, uh, yeah. All the people that thought they were Ugh. discovering that. Even the people that were doing it ironically, it, to, at a certain point, it's like... Yeah. Well, Twitter humor is now for people that have never actually been funny. Right. They've, yeah. they've completely turned it into this, like, peel and paste fucking, uh-huh. you know, paint by numbers a way of applying. Yeah. Like, I don't know what this fucking Tide Pods thing is. Yeah, I just asked. It's Tom not about going it. to be funny to me. I don't know what it is. People no, it wasn't a meme. I think it was just people were dying from eating. Like kids Tide were eating. Pods. Yeah, Tide but pods. all you have to do is apply the word Tide Pod to yeah, whatever. To it's like, right, right. The, I'm at the women's march eating Tide Pods. No, right. not even that. Like, Send tweet. You know, um, and it's gonna be great in six hours when Adam forgets he said that. And then I and tweet he tweets. It. He yeah. tweets that, and he's like snickering to himself. <laughs> about his good tweet that he's done. <laughs> and then two um, weeks later when Brandon Wardell steals it, <laughs> he says, I'm bringing back Tide Pods. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that's good. We could just say we're bringing something that was hack six months ago back. Yeah. And, then it's yeah. not, and then we know we're... A lot of it ready. seems like it's just like people that are really good at saving tweets from like 2013. Like... They're like, oh, there's a Chris Saliza tweet that applies to this. Yeah, what the fuck? Who cares, man? I really don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Shit is fucking gay as hell. Make a joke, you gay motherfuckers. <laughs> instead of doing that stupid shit. Jess, instead, call things gay and do a funny voice. <laughs> That's about, real comedy, bitch. Talk about eating pussy. Talk about fucking your own dad. <laughs> for years on end. <laughs> Speaking of, guys, how about a classic? Dad, dad, fuck my dad. I, I fuck my dad. dad. I fuck yeah. my dad. You know, it's fuck funny. I, uh, I fucking... Uh, I told the story about in being in a car and like doing you know parody songs or whatever on a mm. drive and how that like I've ruined a relationship doing that. Yes, yeah. yes. And I always like you know I tell people that story and it's like you know obviously you take it with a grain of salt. It's right, like right. you know there was other contributing factors. To yeah, the it wasn't just the songs. It couldn't just be the song saying. And then I saw that girl recently, uh-huh. and we hadn't spoken. I mean, we've yeah. spoken here and there, but mm-hmm. uh, she was like, "Yeah, you know, like things between us were always like." good except for that you know that big fight we had 
Nuh uh. When you were doing, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> no way. And I was like, really? That was it? And she was like, yeah. I'm like, that's great. I've been telling, that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I've been telling this story feeling like I was exaggerating that detail. But no, apparently, yeah, it was, it was the songs. She was like, I just couldn't, I couldn't imagine myself being with somebody that thought like saying things like that ironically was like funny and acceptable. <laughs> Well, guess what, bitch? It yeah. is. <laughs> Not only is it acceptable, I'm a fucking millionaire. <laughs> I'm going to buy your house out from under you and kick you out on the yes. fucking street. Yes. How's that for yes. irony? That it would be, it's a, that would be Drag ironic, her. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we're on good terms. She's fine. Cool. Well, but yeah. just do it anyway cause for the bit. Right. Exactly. i replace her house with a... With the with the fucking oh, the world's largest MP3 player that plays my own Bruce Springsteen parody songs <laughs> about wanting to wanna tell your dad penis. to come outside. I want to fuck his ass. <laughs> hey, little girl, is your dad at home? Until I'm gay. Yeah. Well, they Steve. sucked off the chicken man in <laughs> Philly last night. Now they <laughs> fucked his dad too. <laughs> Down on the boardwalk, they're getting ready for bottom surgery. <laughs> Gonna see what those lady boys can do. <laughs> you can't suck a penis. Retards bussing in from out of state, <laughs> and they can't pull their pants all the way down to pee. <laughs> can't suck a penis until you're gay. Why Who's not? Cox for <laughs> just because you can't, man. Oh. It's, don't I don't know Bruce. Is Even Bruce girls that suck like penis are gay. Yeah, yeah. they are gay. All of them. <laughs> Look, it's the boss, man. Look, don't ask me. He's I the didn't boss. Write We're the just song. working for him. Mm -hmm. You can't suck a penis. You can't what suck a weird nickname, the boss. That's what everyone calls me. Yeah, it's weird that also like he like would like have like grease on his t-shirt like he's been working on a car all day yeah maybe like, he was no he was Hater. like writing poetry all day so what dude about new jersey the boss is cooler than you dude i'm a huge fan i'm not like mm -hmm. the boss it'd be, it'd be funny like you just say, like bruce springsteen is like a mechanic and he's like coming on all dirty and wiping his brow off and he's just tossing some like you know hot woman in the keys of the car he's like Take it easy. She's like, thanks. And she gets in the car and immediately just blows up. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> yeah, she just fucking, the brake lines are cut. Yeah. He looks <laughs> blue collar. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sick that Silvio Dante was, that? was in his band. What was it? It was, it, was it TV Funhouse? What's the thing where like, Mr. Clean is like cleaning that woman's house and his sleeve comes up and he has a swastika. <laughs> <laughs> is it Family Guy or what? what I don't is remember, that? but that's a that's great so bit. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. I wish I could remember what that fuck that that's was. That's a from. good bit, baby. It's, yeah. He was like Perry Bible Fellowship. I'm not sure. Uh. I don't remember that, but. Also, Mr. Clean, here's my thing Mr. Clean was just gay. I'm surprised. I heard a car alarm go Cleaning off. Cleaning your room is super gay. No, in the 50s, dude. He's like an old man in great shape in the 50s. He's bald. Yeah, but how do you he know he was cleans in the 50s. Yeah, but that was That's also... That's a gay guy. Nah, nah, that That's was a like gay using, guy. using like a buff guy to like sell shit to, uh, to Bro, housewives that were That is a gay man. The only poor. people that were bald and, and ripped and cleaning in the 50s were gay men. No, what about uh, Yule Brenner? Yeah, Yule Brenner, dude. Was Yule Brenner ripped and yeah. bald? And he cleaned. He didn't clean. He Yule Brenner didn't. He cleaned up. Yeah, he cleaned. He did clean up, but he didn't clean. He fucked every bitch in Siam. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> he fucked Anna. Yeah. From Have you ever seen the King and I stuff with no. Yule Brenner? He I plays a not. Chinese man. Oh fuck! Does what he about uh, what's his name? Uh, Telly uh, Telly Savalas. Telly yeah, Savalas. He was not ripped, and he did not clean for sure. But he used to get. A but he pussy. got pussy. He's yeah. bald though. I know he's bald. I know because he's Here's Kojak. Looking at you kid. He was said, that Sto him? "No, Stavros. that's a, no, that's not it." Yo, you. Oh fuck! You burn his funny little Bogart, right? That's yeah, Bogart. you're wrong as shit, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> no, what was his? What was Telly Savalas's? Uh, yeah, I don't know. He would lick a lollipop. He had. He yeah. had a. Yeah, he had you like go, a baby. The way the cookie crumbles. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, who loves you, baby? Who loves you, baby? Yeah, that's it. That's not pretty. That's a pretty good catchphrase. Who loves you, baby? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna take catchphrase. I'm we should all get catchphrases. Mm -hmm. This should be the year of the catchphrase. I would love that. Who dude. loves you, baby? I'm gonna say who loves you, baby. I'm taking that. Who's who's got who ate all the pussy? Was no that one. That could no. be yours. I think somebody already has that. I think it was that Galifianakis. Yeah, yeah. 
Is that on Live at the Purple Onion? Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, here comes Zach Galifianakis and his, who ate all the pussy jokes? It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, special yeah. came out like 2004 or something. Yeah. And people are still ripping it off, kind of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. Is you it 2004? Are. Yeah, people. I mean, we're literally ripping it off right now by <laughs> yeah. trying to come up with kind of <laughs> super, super influential. Uh huh. Um, you know, it's also really influential. APAC, which you are a member of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. We have a lot of lobbying sway. Do you want to suck my bottle, Dick? What if for the listeners at home, I'm holding up a Schweppes orange sparkling seltzer. seltzer water but i'm holding it to my cock i remember one time me and my friend were in a sex an shop and were, we were looking at a strap on and the picture on the box was a man wearing the strap on hell That's funny. yeah and it was like what what <laughs> 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 did your dick go inside of it yeah it's like a dick that goes on your dick is it a pocket pussy inside the strap on what's that is there a pocket pussy inside of it that you could fuck? Oh, I don't know. Imagine putting actually. A strap you know on what? On. That's funny because this happened ten years ago, and I just remembered that I used to do a bit about. This is like one of the first jokes I ever wrote was about that. I forgot that I used to do a bit. What about was it. the punchline? Well, it was a terrible joke, but it's like it's like a dick that goes. Oh on wait, your I dick. remember this yeah, joke. Yeah, that yeah. was it's a like funny the most joke. Emasculating thing. No, how do you remember? It's this? a real I thing. Though. I heard you say that joke for sure. Like what? Like ten years ago? Six no, no, no. Years but ago? that no, no, is no. I, that I, I is did, a I real not thing. Done this I joke promise ever. you, I heard you say it in Baltimore. No. Yes. Yeah, so no, like you must have seen me at EJ's landing or something. No. Yeah, and I remember from ten years ago. Yeah. No motherfucker. He wasn't there. Like, dude. He was the the punchline. The punchline is your your girlfriend being like, um, like, put on the bigger dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember this joke dick this time. Motherfucker, you did it in Baltimore. No, I promise. I well, it is a real thing for micro penis guys. There are like strap ons that oh, you yeah. can put your dick. How did inside. you find out about that? Um, I've through researching through micro. Penis. Google alert for the cure. <laughs> <laughs> you just get a bunch of. You guys have seen songs. my penis. Have you seen my penis? I've seen your balls. I've seen your penis. I've seen your balls from the back. They're droopy. Have you seen Nick's penis? No. Yeah. No, I remember I was pissing. Oh, yeah. Street. I saw your penis in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the single from Stav's folk rock album. I saw your, I saw penis, your penis in the street. <laughs> Yo, I saw Eldis's dick. I've seen Eldis's dick a bunch, but recently he pulled it out and then like tried to snap his I tried to take my phone out and take a picture so he tried to snap it and it got caught in his waistband <laughs> <laughs> so I just saw like his little ass dick get like it was looking right at me I just saw like a direct view into his dick hole it was fucking horrible that, dude. Like, that picture you have which is like a iPhone live picture yes you have Eldis him, running away him naked. running away yeah. naked when you found out he was taking a picture or when he found out you were taking pictures so funny <laughs> I had that as the background on my phone for a while it's the best dude. as, a, as the live photo too so when you touch the screen it plays oh, oh that rules so good he just turns around real quick and he runs his little fat <laughs> pancake ass he is, flat like, yes. shit. he is the ass of like a yeah. 50 year old woman <laughs> yeah. a postmenopausal woman <laughs> right how is he his like hot flash ass he is a horrible how's his ass. ass so flat for being like a kind of a thick dude he's not thick dude i'm thick he's fat he's shaped like a fucking he's shaped like a bowling ball yeah, I remember when he hurt his foot and we had to go pick him up at the hospital and he was just sort of like <laughs> draped over that railing and like clothes nine <laughs> sizes too small for him. <laughs> yeah, that was when he was as absolute fattest. Was, and he didn't want to just admit it and buy larger clothes. Yeah, he wears like size large t-shirts. <laughs> and he needs like a 2X for sure. Yeah. No, he, he slimmed down, but he is, he is falling off again. He's a big boy though. He's like 6'3". No, he's tall. He's like 6'5". Is he? Yeah. It's so funny seeing the two of you guys walk together. Yeah. yeah. No, it's such it really a good, is like, the best red friend. and peanut M&M. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, it's such a good best friend like <laughs> yeah. squad. Yeah. What the, are we going to do today, Red? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Though I am smaller, I am. You can sense my... Do you think the red M&M got masculinity? more pussy? Of course. Do you think he was fucking green? The, no, of course not. The red no, one never got any sexy. pussy. That's, yes, why he's, that's why he's so Yeah, angry the red one was like Nathan Lane, kind of. No, it was yeah, John he was Lovitz. Like, was it John the Lovitz? The red one was Lovitz. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, Look, my my in my reboot, the red one gets a lot of pussy, because I play him. Yeah. But yes, you guys are probably right. The actual... 
original characters played by love it's probably did not get pussy. it's probably gonna be a movie at a certain point like in the next five years the, the m and movie, movie for they've sure. got some strong characters that sounds like a thing that they'd they've be got, like oh yeah we could just make people this. forget about the orange one who's the he's the, the crispy one. one he's anxious that was like crispy m and crispy i believe and there's the blue one which i don't remember what flavor he was blue was like a jazz but he was guy. cool he yeah was he was cool he, he played black saxophone one. yeah yeah um um and the green blue, one the blue one is new and, and the, the green, green one, one was sexy just an absolute slut she no nah, she wasn't slut she was hot sucking and fucking she wasn't sucking her. and fucking well, man we should go to the m&m store after this and get in times square and get some m&m's merchandise you guys want to drive march. into times square <laughs> with my car <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> through, through the, the women's, women's march, march? <laughs> <laughs> that would rule excuse me bro beep 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 <laughs> excuse me he won deal with it <laughs> i would love to interrupt the women's march to go to the m&m store <laughs> I'm trying to go to the stands for men and and men. (laughs) (laughs) Not welcome. (laughs) (laughs) The most fucking frivolous dumb shit. I still think it's so funny when we were trying to find a bookstore in Manhattan, and we. Yep. I looked up on my phone. It was a. It was a women's book, or it was like (laughs) a feminist bookstore. Oh yeah. And we were joking around about Stav just taking an iPad and watching, watching dice, dice videos. Okay, first of all, that was me and Stav hanging out. We were, I was there, dude. No, you weren't. It was me. I no, you guys got mad at me. You, you guys got mad at me because nope. I found a feminist bookstore on my phone. Nope. It was me and Stav hanging out. We were walking around. This is around. absolute <laughs> We were walking around. We weren't... Lo- Why were we looking for a bookstore? Because we were going to Mike's and we were like trying to find like some time. We were trying to kill time between Mike's. Yeah. we. This did not happen. <laughs> 1,000. Me and Stav, me and Stav were walking around. Stav didn't live in New York happened, at the time. Stav was ha- visiting did, from Baltimore. Was visiting. I was there, dude. You weren't there. I was 100. <laughs> There. Me and Stop don't just erase sat that. down outside of the care. bookstore because we were walking. I don't around. care. I was. I mean, There's I was a bookstore there. Bookstore the I don't have to argue that we I was like there. laughing about. It was like humiliating. Watching uh, we were dice a, on, an, on iPad. an iPad. Yes. Yep. And then you weren't there. We told you about it later, and now you've. That's added not true. Up I literally <laughs> found the bookstore on my phone because I put bookstore into Google Maps, and then we got to, and we got there. It was a feminist bookstore, and you guys made fun of me for taking us to a feminist bookstore. Nope. Did not happen. It's then. true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember now. My, now my whole conception of reality is fucked up, dude. Yeah. Fuck that, dude. Don't I would, Nick. I would not be yo. If don't Inception happened, him. I would be fucked. Inception. If Inception happened, I wouldn't know like what you the could fuck change happened. dreams. How about a movie called Conception? It's about a guy that has sex with women while they're asleep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Every time that Japanese guy sees that top, he knows he's getting fucked while he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, I am being dishonored. Uh, I should cause... maybe rewatch Inception. I remember hating it. Yeah, I remember thinking it was mediocre. It was fun. bad. I remember walking out and saying that that shit sucked. You can't suck a penis. We you. didn't start my penis. <laughs> you didn't suck my <laughs> penis. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking bitch. We <laughs> suck my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking dick and eating ass. Sticking your dick in your dad. Being gay and fucking your own mom and dad. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Billy Joel, baby. BJ. Oh, that's Billy Joel. We still have to go see him play. What do you mean, we? Me and Stav already went. Yeah. How about me and Stav go, and then you could just think you were there? <laughs> that way we can save money on tickets. <laughs> we'll only buy two, and then we'll wait a year, and you'll we'll be like, remember when I brought us tickets <laughs> to Billy Joel? I looked Why would I make that up? Why would I make it up? Because you're a liar. <laughs> Why would I lie to you about a thing that we all did? <laughs> uh, damn, yeah. I don't know, man. Either way, I can't really tell. I don't remember what happened. Stav. You do remember. I, I honestly I was don't. There. I really do not. I have a horrible memory. We were going to Mike's. Hell yeah. I, I do remember that trip. Um, that was Nick and his sea captain phase. Yeah, mm-hmm. Nick was living Looking in China. Horrible. I yeah, you good, looked dude. bad, no, dude. You looked so good, bad. Dude. That's cool. when you <laughs> looked fucking your beard sickly was as fuck. You were pale as fuck. Yeah, you, you had bad. bad skin. You had ringworm. Yeah. <laughs> and bed bugs. I looked cool. <laughs> That fucking you horrible slept big on a ass piece beard. of plywood. <laughs> that beard sucked. That's a you great beard. Like shit. It dude. is wild how much you've bounced back just physically. Yeah, he's from like that ripped time. now. 
He just looks healthy, dude. He that looks beard horrible. Is great. You're jealous because you can't grow any kind of facial hair, Adam. That's not, that's not true. It's 100% true. That's not true. I wish I've never had facial, facial hair. hair I had a must, a really nice mustache. <laughs> Your mustache in was December. awful. Yeah. It was Your good, I thought. Pricks. I, I wish I, I could grow it. facial hair, man. The Lord really has blessed me with no physical gifts. You can yeah. grow neck hair, it looks it like. It looks bad, dude. Yeah. I, can, I can just... It, if it gets anywhere other than stubble, it looks like shit. It looks like pubes. So I'm, I'm and I have rosy ass cheeks. big beard again. I would be jealous. It didn't, like, connect when you had a big beard, too. It, it was, connects. like, patchy in a weird way. No, it's nah. just thicker on my chin, so it looked patchy. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And it was Beautiful. long, too. Ugh. Yeah. It was fucking bad, dude. Did you get pussy in those days? Yeah. Really? Looking uh-huh. like that? Yep. Ugh. And living in a box in Chinatown. Did you, you didn't fuck in the box. I did. What? A surprising amount, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. Women came to your box yep. and fucked you. Uh-huh. Wow. I know. How many women would you say? Um, Not a lot. Maybe like seven, but it was like... Uh, that's, for that box, that's... Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to multiply it by four. This is yeah, a horrible right. living well, situation. Well, I think a part of it was just because it was like... So close? The- no, nah, it was like, like I think for women, they're like, oh, wow, this guy's like, he's got the whole piece of shit package. Yes, yes, yes. You know? It's a fucked up, like, they're rock, they want to hit rock bottom. Right, if I looked bad and I had, like, a nice place, it would be like, oh, I'm not doing this. But I look bad and I live in, like, a rat-infested, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. tenement. Or like, oh, these women really hated themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that rules. Yeah. And it was just Tinder or what? Yeah, just all Tinder. Yeah, that's and they came over. Or did you go out? Yeah, we would go out and talk for a while. You forget that I'm like a very charming guy. No, I know, dude. But you also looked horrible. Mm. <laughs> and <he'd> like, <laughs> you know, you're good at chat. You're good at talking online. So Tinder, it would make sense that you did well on it. He's good at talking in person when he has an aim. I guess so. As like in having pussy. sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot when you were a stick man. You're not. You're not like you're. Yeah, no, that's in the past. Yeah, yeah. He's over having sex. Now I'm the one who has sex. <laughs> Stop's the only one. <laughs> Stop didn't have sex until this year. I didn't have sex literally till three, like really having sex till like um, the year before like, I moved. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, you know, I would have girlfriends and shit, but now I, now I'm sex Stavros. Should I get a jacket that says sex Stavros? Yeah, you should. <laughs> a leather jacket. <laughs> <laughs> the way Dice had it with rhinestones. Yeah, we should get, get jackets that say "Sex Stavros." So I get one that says "Sex Nick," and then <laughs> in six months, Adam will be like, "Guys, remember when we all got jackets?" <laughs> it's really all- embarrassing. Sex Stavros, Sex Nick, and Gay Adam. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, you just you objectively gonna- weren't there, dude. No, you're absolutely. No, we thought we, we were. Me and Stav were laughing. We told you about it later. We have to launch an investigation. You didn't tell me about we, it later. I literally t- found the bookstore on my phone. No, you didn't. And where you made that? fun of me for where taking, was it then? It was like by uh, Washington Square. Incorrect. Yes. Nope. No. Yes. It no, absolutely was. No, it wasn't. It absolutely was. No, it was not. Where, where was, was it? It was. Uh, it was in Midtown somewhere. No, it was not in Midtown. It was in Midtown. It was downtown. Nope. For sure. Nope. Got You're it. misremembering, Nick. What was it I'm called? Which I have a feeling you do qu- quite often. No, I don't. Yes, you do. First of all, I don't. I, this, w- you were not there. We told you about it, and you may have found a bookstore later. And then, uh, while we were hanging out, we told you about that thing. No, that happened. Oh, no, it's not. Because actually, that night, Stav and you slept over at Eric's house oh, when yes. I was living there. I do remember that. It was that same day. <sighs> Interesting. Do you remember you guys both and slept we in that living with Brandon? room? Brandon. We Skyped with Brandon and Jamel. I did not have a beard back then. It wasn't, yeah, you didn't have a beard. But that was, it was the same day as that. You just said it was during my sea captain phase. So you're lying about something, Adam. You're lying again. I didn't say sea captain. Sav said that, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it was a sea captain. It was when I first moved here. And it was before I even had an apartment. I was just staying at Eric's while he was in I do remember sleeping at Eric's. But wait, was that when I was? And then visiting? we woke up in the morning, no. and I threw a cigarette on that car, and you go, <laughs> "Do you remember?" No. I like flicked this. I was smoking a cigarette, and I flicked it, and it just yeah. landed on that guy. And then this guy came out, and he was like, "Either apologize to my car, I'll kick your ass." And Adam was like, "I got this." And then three other guys came out, and he fought all of them. What? Yeah. And then he got married to the guy's girlfriend. Whoa. And then the president called him up on the phone and was like, <laughs> "Adam." Barack Obama. This is President Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> First of all, I wanted to 
compliment. I'm going to give you the Medal of Honor for telling the most accurate story. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> exactly. You're, you're, you're actually wrong, dude. I'm not you're actually, actually wrong. wrong. We have to launch an investigation. We'll I investigate, will. dude. After this, I'll look up. I'll find that fucking bookstore in Midtown because I, I remember it was not in Midtown. No, dude. You're look. Here's what the fuck happened. Me and Stav were hanging out. We just sat. Why down, would there be a feminist the bookstore in Midtown? It, I don't even know if it was a feminist bookstore. It was a bookstore with a woman working there. And no, it was like a, they were having like a feminist. It was like a group. leftist revolution. That I do kind remember. Of it, that, yeah, there was story. some kind of thing, but it's like it was orange and purple. Here's the thing: we were just walking around. There was a bench outside of the fucking place, no. and we sat down. No, it was actually the true story. Was it started raining? We were walking around. We were between. We were between mics. You said, "Let's just find a fucking bookstore or something, and go in." And then I looked on my phone for bookstore. We walked there, and then you guys were like, "Oh, lol, you faggot! You took us to a." <laughs> feminist bookstore <laughs> that part sounds and then, right and then the calling you, you guys started and then nick said oh my god what if stav just took a beach chair and like sat in the middle of this bookstore with an ipad and started playing dice videos no because we were all we were sitting we on talking a bench. about yeah Remember, we on the remember bench? we were sitting on that yeah, fucking I do bench? I remember the bench. There yeah. was a bench. The bench. There was no, a bench. No, no, no. Now you're adding a bench. I'm not adding anything. I said, anything. what if he took a beach we chair? We didn't go inside. There was no, no fucking... It was, there was no beach chair. Exactly. No, no. You were saying, was, what if he went inside? inside. Yeah, no. we were just sitting outside this fucking bookstore, and we were laughing There was about, a bench outside. We, me and Stav were talking. We were, Why we, would we, I make up that I was there? Shut the fuck up. Me and Stav were already saying This is such like a like a dumb story. Hold on. Let the man finish. Me and Stav were saying something misogynist, and was like, how funny is that we're just having this conversation yeah. outside this yes, yes, yes. and it's like just how funny it'd be to watch dice videos yeah. on an iPad bring your own speaker yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. that was it that I was, was there the jacket that on laughing the and be like excuse oh. me bitch I'm in the middle of something <laughs> yeah, here. yeah 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 I was there no, I you weren't. There. Yes, I was. You fucking weren't. Yes, there. I was. <laughs> you don't know where it was. You don't know how it happened. It you don't was know downtown. what I look like. Check it out. It where wasn't downtown. Okay, just, just I don't think it was think, downtown, just but think I remember. for a second. Think for a second. I feel like we Why would it, it make any sense? Didn't we? Or maybe I just passed maybe it. Did. Why would it make any sense for a feminist slash left politics bookstore to be in Midtown? What do you mean? It was downtown. No, I was it there. This was in Midtown. No. You I know what it was? It was after it was. it was after the mic at Revisions Lounge. That the does not sound right because the revisions mic was late. No, look, no, it wasn't. the revisions it was at mic seven. was late. Look, the revisions Adam, mic here's was at what seven. happened. It was no, summer. That is not right. Here's, it's true. Here's what happened. Maybe we were hanging out, and maybe we went into a fucking bookstore to hang, and either me and Stav repeated the story to mm -hmm. you, or we fucking rehashed the bit with you there. But the origin of that was me and Stav hanging out. It was like in the middle of the day. Ball. It was in the middle of the day. It was up in Midtown. It and we was, were just like, let's just fucking chill here for a second. We okay. sat down on a bench. I don't think it was definitely not it after was revisions. daylight, but it was later in the day because it was like summer. So like this, like sunset Bro, at like the nine. The mic at revision was at seven. It was by at the time seven. We get out of all three of us got up in the first fucking group and we were out of there by the time. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was like it was around eight. It was like end no, of the day. Too much had to go right for your story I'm to. Telling you guys, I'm I don't telling, know, or man. maybe it was before revision. Okay, that's possible. Maybe we were trying to kill time before it. Man, we should turn this into a spin-off podcast like Serial that's yeah. 35 <laughs> episodes long. <laughs> and it's called Adam the Liar. <laughs> I, hi, I'm Sarah Koenig, and initially I wanted to believe Adam because he's a type of minority. He's both gay and Jewish. It's true. But as I got closer to him, I realized I was just being manipulated by a sniveling liar. No, not by a sniveling liar. <laughs> and then the audience gets to turn on me in the last two episodes when they realize that I'm a dumb liberal fucking moron. <laughs> doesn't believe that anyone charming could ever do anything wrong. No, I How could a Muslim her. man possibly murder a Chinese girl? How could he possibly do that? He's faced so much persecution as a Muslim man in America. <laughs> it's almost like Hey Lynn deserved to be murdered by Adnan. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh, speaking of uh, Muslim guys or whatever, Who? Uh, the guy from uh, the guy from uh, the first what was that shit called on HBO that miniseries where it was like the, the Jinx. No, he was a Muslim guy. Oh yeah, yeah, Reza Reza Re Ahmed. Reza Red. Ahmed saw your boy do stand up at the stand the other night. Oh, he got me too. Huh? He did. I think so. Oh, damn. Well, um, he didn't say hello yeah, to Yeah, dude, me. celebs go to the stand pretty often. Yeah. Josh Brolin's daughter used to work there, and Josh Brolin really? watched me do a set one time. I remember time. that. Whoa. That's the he only time like, I've seen job, Nick happy. Man, great job, man. I'm like, man, can, we, can I be your friend, please? Yeah, dude, Nick was smiling so hard after... 
That's so Josh cool. Josh Brolin said. I mean, in my ideal world, it's me, Josh Brolin, Mark Wahlberg. Yes. You know, we're all hanging out together uh-huh. mm-hmm. on our... What about us? We have three yachts. No. We're on a new <laughs> podcast that you no. can only listen to through solid gold headphones. <laughs> it's only for millionaires. <laughs> and that's also, they weigh a million pounds. So you have to be, you have to have a strong, strong neck, neck and upper, <laughs> yeah. upper back. What do you think about Josh Brolin's What games? do you think about being quiet while I describe my fantasy to you? <laughs> Come on, man. Let the man go. Sorry. We're all, He's we're on all a roll. podcasting. We've got washboard apps. Yeah. Okay. You know, we're on our, all of our uh-huh. yachts <laughs> in the, uh, in the Gulf of Mexico, you know? Uh, going various tropical locales, mm. islands, drinking Capri Suns together. Oh right? shit! Saying racial slurs that you've never even heard of. Whoa! What the fuck? Really? Yeah. That's the, awesome. the ones that only are reserved for the most exclusive of billionaires. Can I come sometimes? Sure. Thanks, man. Adam can't come, <laughs> but it doesn't Why? matter because he'll just include himself later in his memory, <laughs> his false memory of it. I, I was there. Funny it would be if the day that we went to the feminist bookstore, Adam was being like raped by a homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, what do you to... want me to believe? No. No. Oh, okay. No, we want you to face yeah. your trauma. Yeah. No, it was the day that Tim Dillon met Adam <laughs> at Revision Lounge. <laughs> yeah, why don't you have another drink? <laughs> oh, you can go to the bathroom. I'll watch a drink for you. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> God. Oh, sure. You were at the bookstore. Yeah. You were at the bookstore with Adam or uh, Nick and Stavros. <laughs> <laughs> God, I would love to just set, just sick Tim Dillon on you. That would Adam. be so funny, dude. Why? It's just like a, uh, mm. it's like a, it's like the Coliseum. It's like it's like Gladiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just watching. <laughs> Is he it's just Adam naked as fuck, yeah. <laughs> and then Tim, Tim we fed him Viagra yeah. and just sick them on. He's coming out on a on a chariot. Yeah. Yeah. Is Tim a top? <laughs> Um, I feel like he's a, not a I top. think he does it all, man. Yeah. Well, goes, only you would know, Adam. There's only one way to find out. Yeah, why don't you answer that question for us? Yeah. We just ask Either him. fuck him in the ass or suck his dick and uh, get no, fucked. I, mean, I, I would, don't know how I would feel about that. We've talked about it. Like, if me and Stav drugged you and let Tim service himself yeah that would be body. pretty shitty dude. it would be shitty and it would, it would be, fuck, it it would be like, not it would, nice. It would severely fuck you up for the rest yeah. of your life, and I would feel bad. But it would it be. It would be really funny. It would be so <laughs> funny, dude. Honestly, <laughs> it would be so funny. Like the Honestly, idea. I don't think it would fuck. Me I up. would feel so bad. I mean, it would like destroy your life. <laughs> I don't think it would. God it just, damn it, dude! That it would just be l- so fucking horny ass yeah. Tim sucking your dick. <laughs> that Why, fat, dude? ugly motherfucker bobbing up and down on your uh-huh. cock. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so what does Adam Impressive. Friedland do? He just loafs around all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God what damn. are his normal stops? Um, why you does he passed out? Why does he like me? He doesn't like you, Nick. No, no, he wants a you little, like he wants a little twink. Because he respects Nick professionally. Yeah, he sees you as an object and doesn't, you know, because he doesn't think you're an equal. He doesn't respect me. Yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously. So he just wants to fuck you and use you up like a little fuck toy. But that's not that's not like the, that's not what sexual attraction is. I like think it's like if you you can on a you very can shallow only disrespect level. someone to to want to fuck them on a well gay people don't have morality you oh yeah that's true so to them the second they have any positive feeling towards you they don't want to have sex with you well, or they do also I don't know there's no way to really tell with them they don't have honestly you know, if Tim did that to me and you guys did that to me mm-hmm. I'd be ticked. I'd be ticked. You, would you? Would you be miffed? I'd be annoyed. <laughs> would you be like, "What the heck, you mother frickers? Yeah, I would be like, "That would be such." What a- level of Tim raping you would you be okay with? What do you mean, Tim? Like, not, like you're, none. You're, how about this? You're asleep and he kisses your cock for like fifteen. I seconds. wouldn't really care. If you're asleep and he sucks you off, would you really care? No, not really. I mean, like, <laughs> if I didn't know. <laughs> Nah, but we show you the video and we laugh. Yeah, you see I would Nick, be annoyed. You see me and Nick laughing would be really hard at a video. <laughs> I would be like, annoyed. what are you guys watching? <laughs> and it's a video from six months ago of you getting sucked <laughs> off by Tim while you're sleeping. And you're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> that would be annoying. <laughs> you just uh, see a smiling bigger than we ever have in our lives. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if my girlfriend was cool with it, I'd be fine. She would totally be cool. You with wouldn't it. be fine, dude. You'd have to go to therapy if that happened. If you. I got raped, yeah, I'm sure. 
<laughs> sure enough to go what if there. we text Dasha and ask her if, if we can set that up? <laughs> what if you found out Dasha she would set not it want up? Me to do it. What if that was can our we birthday ask her, present though? to Dasha? It is my birthday coming up. Could it's that be Dasha's my present? Birthday Dasha's too. birthday too. You want to go to LA for Dasha's birthday? Yeah, yeah. Just I might fly you. out. I'm going. Of when? course you're going. You fucking idiot. It'd be funny know. if you didn't go and I did. <laughs> when are we going? <laughs> it's the. I think it's next month. Let's set up a show. Don't even know. She's doing a roast for herself. Let's set up a show and do it. Um, in LA, yeah, I'm done. Especially oh, okay. if we're doing Caroline's before that. Well, I don't know you if don't we're know doing. I don't know. Sorry, sorry, keep sorry, your sorry. fucking goddamn mouth shut. Jesus okay. Christ, I've, dude. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. This show is about you lying and getting raped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about ruining business development. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. Whatever, man. I was there, and I'll I'll suck Tim's dick to prove it. Yeah, that would be like a good uh, like Jimmy Stewart movie. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah, geez. I was there. I can prove it. <laughs> well, I'll bring that that large queer fellow over here, and I'll I'll, I'll show you one way or the other. <laughs> I was there. I'll let him finish in my mouth and ass. My name isn't Adam Friedland. <laughs> I would love to sound that way. You can. So, just say it. Just do just it. Just do the voice. Just do it like this. All okay. right. Well, really do it. that'll probably do it for today. Uh, um, we have a show. We haven't book plugged it at all. We have Funny Moms on Monday. This is coming out. I guess that's tomorrow. Uh, this is coming out, I guess, tonight. Saturday. No, I guess tomorrow. 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 Sunday. It's coming out Sunday. It's coming out Saturday. Saturday. So the 22nd, we have a Funny Moms. We have Funny Moms on Monday, the 22nd. It's our first one of the year. It's going to be a good one. Um, and also, then, stay tuned to the Patreon. we got some additional content coming pretty soon. I'm almost, dumb, I'm almost ready to pick it back up and start working on it again. Okay. Nice. All right. Um, That's a good enough tease. Yeah, sure. Well, this is... Yeah, this is the Patreon app, I guess. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it is. Well, then continue doing what you're doing. Yes. And if you're stealing it, consider buying it. Yeah, consider buying it. All right, you guys are fun. Thanks. Okay, Come Town Premium, episode number 286,532. Mm-hmm. Oh, we do a lot of secret ones we don't ever even release. Captain's yeah. Log, start eight. When we die, it's going to be like Prince. When he released all that music, Star Date. Well, you know that would that be a cool name for a service for? Is where you, it's like Tinder, but to meet celebs. Uh huh. Yeah, that's and, Raya, but the only celebs. That the only celebs you can meet are the cast of Star <laughs> Trek. Yes. <laughs> yes. I is bet it all Star Trek. That'd be a good bit. Is is Patrick Stewart releases a dating service w- for women where you can only match with Patrick Stewart, <laughs> and it's called Star Date. <laughs> and you pull out your phone and you swipe right on whoever you want, but no matter what, you match with me. <laughs> You've seen that extras bit, right? When he's on extras and he's like pitching his his no. screenplay to Ricky Gervais. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah. And he's like, you know, in X Men, my character he can. Control things with his mind. But um, I was thinking, what if you could do that in real life? <laughs> so, for example, I see a woman running by, and then I just think it in all of her clothes fall off. <laughs> it's really funny, dude. You should that's watch that shit. Good, yeah. So, uh, an update on Stav's tooth. Now his gums are turning gray. Yeah, that's not see. true. I'm, not letting, I'm I just, not letting you see it. I, I, I just watched you smile, and I saw it. No, that's character assassination. Uh, that's not true at all. But uh, I do have an appointment with the dentist on Wednesday. Character so, assassination. In New Jersey? Yes, you're character assassinating me. These I'm, are all fake claims. I'm the character assassin. <laughs> that'd be a good rap name. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. You Donald Duck, you goofy, I'm going to kill your ass. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I kill characters. Yes, though, <laughs> no, just Disney, though. <laughs> just, yeah. Fucking Jack Skellington. <laughs> you about to get got. You, bit, you thin bitch ass. <laughs> I'm going to pull up on you. I'll fucking kill you. Beanbag girlfriend too. Be- was she a, was she a beanbag? She was all sewed together. Oh, that's true. She was sexy though. Yeah. She you know what I didn't on. get? So the dad, the guy, the her dad is like the guy that made her, right? I guess I don't know. Was it yeah. her dad? Did yeah, yeah. He's a professor that lives in the tower, and he's like, Sally, I don't want you going out tonight. Mm-hmm. She would like break curfew all the time, and then she would break curfew by jumping out of the fucking tower and then she'd just smash into a million pieces and then sew her like arms and legs oh, back Oh, true, on. right, yes. Why doesn't the dad just sew her pussy shut? 
So true. That yeah. she can't go out and get fucking well, smashed by Jackson. He doesn't even have a dick. The dick he isn't does. a bone. It's no, a bone. it's not a bone. He's got a dick, a sharp dick bone that can cut any seams open. No, and that's why no matter what he does, yeah, he'll cut He's open. He's always pussy. gonna get that pussy. Yeah, yeah. Jack Skellington cannot be held from the pussy. Yeah. You don't remember that part of the movie? No. Uh, what's the, how's the song? I, 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 I always I get that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I refer to the pussy as the nightmare before Christmas. Because Christmas is the asshole. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> you got to tolerate fucking the pussy to uh, get to yes. the <laughs> asshole. You hear that? The gay guys that listen yeah, just yeah, so yeah, they yeah. want to fuck Nick. <laughs> he thinks pussy is a yeah. nightmare and he loves asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you got a real shot. Nick wants to show you his Yuletide hog. There mm. we go. <laughs> log? <laughs> no, it it could have worked. It would have been fine. Mm. <clears throat> but uh, He's trying to make she big. was hot though. She had big eyes. You know, I think it's. I think the implication is that she's getting molested. Well, by you heard it here first, folks. Stav's into dead girls. That's not what I said. Yeah, it is. Wait, she lives in the ho- Halloween world or the Christmas world? They all live in the Halloween world. The only person that lives in the Christmas it's world Santa? is Santa Claus. Yeah, and he gets there by accident. No, he's from the Chris. He's Santa Claus. But doesn't he get to Christmas? How do who gets to Christmas? How do they get to the Christmas? The trick or treater kids kidnap him. Santa. Yeah. They go into Christmas. They go into the Christmas uh-huh. world and kidnap Santa Claus on behalf of the Boogeyman. I think. Okay. Yeah. And the Boogeyman is the bad guy of like the night. The whole shit. You have the nightmare world. Did you guys have a gay straight alliance in high school? In your high schools. Uh, that's yeah. what this podcast is. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, that's the true. Straight guys but do you remember? Was it just at my school? But all the no, you're the straight guy. Adam's the gay guy. I'm the, the alliance. alliance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're I. So I'm, I'm, I'm I'm the military strategist. <laughs> you guys are just two gay and straight people that happen to be around. <laughs> I see. I see. My various alliances <laughs> and strategies. Nick brings us together. I'm mm-hmm. the stratego. I don't do shit, dude. I, I'm an I'm a an information broker. Yeah. No, I'm a shadow broker. Alliance. It, we, we are I, tr- I deal in secrets and by that I mean I learn things about people and then broadcast them on my podcast such uh. as Ian's father's train death <laughs> <laughs> other things Ian has asked me about <laughs> 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 uh, oh, okay. If we're well, saying things Ian probably doesn't want to sit on the podcast. Oh, there's uh, plenty. Yeah, I think he was in jail recently. It was pretty. <laughs> oh yeah, he did go to jail. <laughs> Why did he go to jail? He he told me it was a clerical error. <laughs> 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 yeah. Look, oh, well, we ran your ID, and the problem is, is the agenda comes up as a question mark, so we gotta lock you up. <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of discrepancy, you go to fucking jail. That's the rule. <laughs> hey, look, I don't make the rules, pal. Okay. I'm just a fucking. I'm a just. I'm a man that didn't choose to be a police officer. <laughs> I'm I just doing the job police. that I chose to do. Um. Yeah. Why did I say? Oh yeah. Was it? It was the gay straight alliance at your school. Just like all straight up Tim Burton, Nightmare Before Christmas slash Invader Zim I kids. I think yeah. that was a good amount of them. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of gay people like Invader Zim. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? It was like the goth kids were the first ones that were brave enough to say they were gay too. Mm-hmm. I think it's because being goth is gay. Yeah. It's just <laughs> yeah, kind of like it kind of, in, <laughs> it, you know, easily you get Someone sent it. me a good meme yesterday where it's like a knight bowing with a sword and then the knight is labeled as like my undying love and affection or whatever. And then, uh, no, it's a, the night is me. Hold on, let me pull it up. Okay, yes, please. <laughs> keep talking <laughs> please about. Please read this. Meme. Keep talking about gay kids. Oh, did you get sucked off by any of them in the gay straight alliance? Adam? No, my friend Matt was in it though. He was like a gay kid on my debate team. Here he it gave is. me rides. To There's school. me, my undying love and devotion, and then the bottom one is the female goth GameStop employee. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. The one in Baltimore was chubby but had big old titties. At GameStop? Oh, yeah. The mic is making a weird, like, staticky clicking noise, and I don't know how to get it to stop. Which mic? Yours or I don't mine? know. I can't tell. Should I have we, no way of finding out or ever knowing. Should we stop? No, you know what? A, a lot of people... No, we're fine. <laughs> a lot of people don't know this yet, but we're switching studios to the Adam Friedland residence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on. You got to take that out for real. <laughs> you have to take that out. No, you have For to. real, man. <laughs> Come on. Look, we could talk about Ian's it's dead the, day It's dad. a business residence. It's a business residence. Come on, dog. 
<laughs> Please, man. And not for Adam's safety, for mine when I'm here. I used to give out his old address all the time. Huh? I used to give out his old address all the well, time. Well, you can do that again. You never gave out my old I address. I did. Give out yours then, dude. Give out your address. People know my address. What if is you it? if you look up the, the show, it, my address has to be listed because it uh, is that is a that business, is business address. So it's fucking it's very easy to find my address. Also, if people want to send me shit, I'll just give it to them. Interesting. Yeah. The I've only the only hold up is uh, is fucking Amber yelled at me one time because I gave Sam Hyde our address. <laughs> I mean, I kind of get that. <laughs> yeah. Well, he said he was going to send uh, a copy of that book when it came out, but he didn't. Mm. Whoa. Which is fine. I guess me and Sam aren't like fr- like friends. You know. Sure. I've talked to him a handful of times. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. Um. I did see a copy of it at Bobby's house. Bobby Kelly. Ha- Bobby Hacker. Oh. Oh, so Bobby got it, but not Bobby you. got it, but I didn't. But I think him and Bobby are like good friends. How? I don't know. From like they've known. Bobby was the one that showed me World Peace before it like aired. Oh, didn't Bobby do something with Adult Swim before? Bobby does a lot of shit, yeah, dude. Yeah. I rewatched uh, Lost Soul, the Richard Stanley oh, it's documentary, so and Bobby's name is in the credits. Why? He's like boys with Richard Stanley, I guess. <laughs> Bobby's that, done is like. That, is that Paul Stanley's brother from? No, yeah, it's no. Paul Stanley's yeah. brother from. Uh, from Kiss. Yeah, from ACDC. <laughs> Paul. Paul Stanley's brother's in a band called Suck. Nice. Instead of kiss. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, man. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Listen. Love Gun. There's a, a kiss song called Love Gun, and it's about your Remember that movie, dicks. Detroit Rock City? Yeah. yeah. It's a great movie. Berg is in yeah, that. Yeah, it's funny. Aaron Berg, Aaron is, in Berg is in that. Yeah, really? Is. Yeah. Because he's up. got that rocker vibe about him. No, nah, he's. I don't remember what he's... Because it was in like, his credits, and I looked it up, and he's like some meathead. I think he has hair in it. Yeah. I love the Detroit Rock City, man. Yeah, it's But cool that was movie. in the height of my classic rock days. Yeah. I had a little phase, dude. I that's, didn't know that's that a Kiss cool, That's sucks. a cool credit. Yeah, uh-huh. Kiss does suck. Yeah, they suck. Nah, but that movie's, that movieie's good. No, Kiss sucks, dude. Nah, dude. Love Ki- I've, I've always hated Kiss. Love gun. I was never really into them, but I thought that people thought they were cool. There's some good Kiss stuff, dude. Do you, did you, do you remember the moment where you find out that the doors sucked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. That's one of those ones you realize in your mid teens. It's like yeah. the Doors and Sublime. Yeah. You're like, oh, this is really bad. <laughs> yeah, music. It's actually yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but Santeria still, you know, it plugs into something yeah, when I was, was 13 and I was like yeah. sad about a Ooh. woman. Yeah. It was it was weird. <laughs> You're I, listening I, to Santeria through I like, a breakup. Yeah, I liked yeah, yeah. Uh, I liked the oh, Doors yeah. and why? Because it's about abusing a woman. <laughs> is that what it's about? Well, no. He's talking. He's gonna hit the woman. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he talks. I about thought he's like gonna beat up the guy or something. No, he's gonna beat up the woman. And the that f- awful Mexican American she <laughs> left him for. Uh, yes. That di- wow. she's like, I'm gonna, gonna find her? that Santeria and that dirty spick she's dating. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put a gun in their face. <laughs> I don't remember that for, part. Yeah, I no, that's, that's the, you're, you only listen to the radio at it. That's true. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't practice. What's Santeria? Is it Jamaican? Two yeah, joints. Santeria is, also is like some weird, like Caribbean Catholic religion. It's like voodoo, right? It's, it's yeah. all the saints. Two probably. joints is a cover. Of what? Of like Bob Marley or oh, something. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I listen. I listen to that one. <laughs> it's not a sublime. Song. Yeah, but that's just that's a song you listen to before you smoke weed, yeah. and you think about how cool weed's gonna be. Weed's gonna be so, <laughs> that the was sublime true. cover of Two Joints. You're before like, I started smoking yeah. weed, I was like, when I start doing it, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna listen to Sublime. I'm gonna listen, and to it's gonna be cool. And then when the last day of school, I'm gonna play Schools Out for summer when Ooh. I get a car. <laughs> that was my big dream when I was like 12. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm gonna smoke two joints uh, in my car and listen to two joints by Sublime. And then the last day of school, I'm playing Schools Out for summer. It's so funny to remember all your gay childhood <laughs> yeah. fantasies. Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember when I was like five, I imagined myself as the leader of like a gang of but like of other five-year-olds yes, yeah of course. it would be a gang and we would all in my head how i pictured us is just leather daddies exactly no it, that, that, remember when I was, you guys like, made fun of me like, saying i want to be a rockabilly that's yeah. basically yeah, what yeah, it was yeah, yeah. is we'd all have leather exactly. jackets we'd all have leather like, jackets and greaser hair exactly and everyone would be afraid of us for <laughs> yeah. some reason even though we're still five we're gay five-year-olds <laughs> yeah, <it's a> group <laughs> of we're seven chaps. homosexual five-year-olds <laughs> <laughs> Walking, walking down the middle of the street yeah, for some reason, yeah. spinning chain. Yeah, you just whistle and they listen to you. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. 
I wanted to whistle that with was, two fingers so that was, bad. That was, oh, yeah, I can that was a, that. a prominent fantasy of mine. <laughs> Absolutely. I remember being in the shower growing up, thinking about like, yeah, one day when I get that leather jacket with studs on it. Oh, I know. Yeah, and, and a that, cool haircut. Yeah, that's what I thought I looked like. <laughs> that's what, then when I remember when I first registered my, yeah, I was yeah. like, what the fuck? This yeah. sucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fucking cool greaser guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! What were your gay ass childhood fantasies? Adam? I used to think being a hippie was cool. Oh, of course, yeah. that like makes sense. Woodstock yeah, kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I used to think that was cool. Yeah. That's another, Jimi yeah. Hendrix. I used yeah. to think that was cool. Jimi and Stav are the fifties. Yeah, like I'm a, the seventies. You're like sixties. No, there was like a, there was that like seventies like bell bottom revival in the mid nineties. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because of that seventies show and some other things. Was that old, that 70s show in the 90s? No. That 70s Girls used to wear 90s. flares. Really? Damn. Yeah. Do you know what's crazy? Is like, that 70s show came out in the 90s. It was about the 70s. So that would be like, if you had a show now, it'd be like that 90s show and it came out Oh, now. fuck. That'd be cool. Jinkos. That fucks me up, bro. Yeah. Cool shit. It's yeah. almost the 2020s. It's almost like if you had a show that about like the knots. That's how much Damn. fucking time has passed. We're going to die, dude. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm excited to be a 20s guy because one, I'm like six weeks away from just having shredded fucking abs. Mm-hmm. My 30s are going to be great, dude. I'm going to be ripped. I'm going to be addicted to cocaine. Oh, yes. <laughs> be a fucking millionaire. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go Wolf of yeah. Wall Street, dude. I'm going to have no titties and big arms. About being yeah. an intelligence and gonna, broker. Yes. And I'm going to be completely bald, hairless. Yeah. I'm going to have okay. kids. You're going to go completely bald. Now. Me and Stav are going to get those leather jackets and the chains. A hundred percent, And we're going to walk up 100%. and down the street <laughs> twirling the chains. Yes. My nickname is going to be Q-Ball because yeah, that's yeah. like a cool 50s bald guy nickname. Yeah. And you're going to be uh, Cuddy. Cuddy's not bad. <laughs> yeah, you got it's, knives. You got to have knives, though. It's uh, 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 Keith David and uh, Dead Prez. Mm. Cuddy is also the guy on the wire. Seinfeld. The boxer guy. Don't forget. Oh, that's Putty. Never mind. Who's Putty? It's in Putty Seinfeld. on Power Seinfeld. Rangers? Yeah, yeah. It's oh. Putty. David Putty on Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Elaine, give suck me my head. suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get my dick sucked. <laughs> I can't do him. I think Putty he's was too baritone. I think he was only in like he, you think he's like in a hundred episodes. He's like in like seven episodes or something. Yeah, you, I don't think he was in a hundred. I did. A hundred is a lot. Newman, well, you know what the fuck Newman, I'm saying. Newman's seasons. probably only in like 20 episodes. That's probably true, yeah. 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 Uh, you know who the, after all the main you know be people? Funny, you know would be funny is to take, oh, someone, someone who listens to the show, please do this. Take a, Do a super cut of Jerry saying, hello, Newman, but put a beep right after the end. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's that really hello. good. Hello. <laughs> yeah. mm. Hello, Jerry. <laughs> and that's like the, the, the that's the relationship they yeah, have. That's, that's why what, Newman hates it. Because <laughs> he, he calls him the N-word all the time. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, Newman becomes so a much funny. more sympathetic figure if you think <laughs> Jerry's just saying hate speech for no reason he's to a, him. <laughs> he's a government worker. He's a postal delivery man. And this rich fucking stand-up comic mm-hmm. calls him the N-word all the time. Yeah. This fucking meddling Jew, right? <laughs> yeah. Right, guys? Yeah. I mean, I was assumed Newman was Jewish. I was assumed all of them were Jewish. All right, tech review. Uh, I okay. got the iPhone 10. Nice. I keep calling it the X, and they like they were passive aggressively correcting me in the store. I was like, it's "Do you have the 10?" I was like, "Do you have the case for the X?" They're like, "Case for the 10 coming right up." But they skip oh, they, nine. They stop. They wouldn't let you. Why say? do they skip? I would nine? say it. They they would be like, "Yeah, we got a case for the 10." Wait, X, why did they bitch. skip nine? Because I'm assuming the nine's going to come out and it's going to be the same thing as the seven and the eight. Oh, okay. And the seven is the same thing shysters. as the six with like a different button. Yeah. Ugh, they're so gay, dude. I yeah. know. And we're trapped because imagine having green bubbles. Oh, my God. The only good thing Apple makes is the fucking iMac and the... I'd rather have HIV than and green the, bubbles. And the iPussy. Yeah. You guys have that? Did, did you get? I get all the Apple emails, and they got this HomePod coming out, which is like Alexa, except it's like three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, more. yeah, for no yeah. fucking reason. So yeah, it's just and more. It doesn't expensive. work as well. Yeah, it doesn't. But it with just syncs like, up with your Apple Music. And all this it's syncing supposed is to be. Yeah. It's supposed to be a better speaker. So like the sonic quality, which I do have, like a shitty thirty dollars Bluetooth speaker in my room, 
that I might upgrade, mm. or I might move into the bathroom. Get some, the shitter speaker some tunes going while showering. The shower speaker is a big shower one. Shower spe- speaker is tight, and it's also like uh, because I have the watch. You can take the watch in the shower, mm. and you can play music from the watch. I can like respond to texts while I'm showering. There we go. Yeah. Never, never unplug, baby. Never unplug. Dude. <laughs> Absolutely, they can't even I'm going, shower. I'm going off the grid, dude. By being so by on being the grid, on you're on it. No, but off the grid in my world means you stop wearing clothes or leaving your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> but very the, much on the, the internet. The, the grid to me is interacting with people in person. <laughs> yes, yes. And having any kind of social life whatsoever. <laughs> so the actual grid is what you're being yeah, on, yeah, is yeah. going to be on. Right. But being off it. Mm-hmm. Hiding you know. in plain sight. I'm on the grid, the gay related immuno deficiency. Yes, disease. yes, gay cancer. Mm-hmm. Grid. <laughs> yeah, which is they thought. Uh, I rewatched Dallas Buyers Club the other night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think of it the second time? I enjoyed it. I, you know, I, I, I kind of like any, almost any movie McConaughey's in. He's like a really he's good, good. He's, he's just so charismatic and fun right. to watch that even if it is like objectively not a good movie. Kind of some schmaltzy bullshit. Yeah. Like I really hated, uh, was that Nolan movie? Oh, Interstellar. Yeah, Interstellar. That movie was a fucking. Interstellar piece of shit. sucked, I didn't but see like, it. I'll watch McConaughey be like, I just want to see my daughter again. You know, was like his daughter no old when he came back? Yeah, yeah, she, yeah was she was an old. old bitch. And then they fuck at the Whoa, end. Which yeah, nice. he fucks his <laughs> daughter as a ninety-year-old yeah. woman as a as a as a bookshelf. Whoa, he's he's a bookshelf with a penis. <laughs> what? Yeah, is that what time travel does to you? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. first rule of time travel what? is if you come back and your child is older than the age you are when you come back, then you could have sex with them. Nice. That's the first rule. That's cool. The second one is don't touch anything except yes. for your daughter's pussy. <laughs> so wait, wait, in the event that <laughs> yeah. she's older, I had you. I had a movie idea called Skinception, right? Mm-hmm. Where you go to sleep and in the dream world you're a black man. <laughs> That's good. You can change. You understand what a dark skinned life. Mm-hmm. That happens like. to me every night. Yeah. <laughs> but then you go to sleep as a black man. Boom, you're Chinese. Whoa. You like just got used to just dropping in bombs left and right. Nobody, right. No, man. You're like you're like no, maybe, let's be honest. You're maybe six or seven yeah. hours into being a black yeah, guy. Yeah. You're in line at Panera Bread, just calling strangers the N word <laughs> and smiling at them. <laughs> and you're like, This is the greatest feeling I've ever had in my life. And then boom, you pass out and you're Chinese. Yeah, yeah, oh, and oh. then you're saying it and people are like, I don't know if this is cool or right. not. No, you're but a Chinese you're, teenager? No, no, you're not Chinese. You're a black person who has become Come Chinese, right? It's not. It's not that. It's like a yeah. Dream but you were already a white man that became black. Mm-hmm. So you're a white guy. Yeah. So you are a white guy that became black that became Chinese. Chinese. Yes. Yeah. It's a very intellectual movie. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Scott. What do, what do you call it? Uh, layers. Mm-hmm. That's what makes a movie smart. Like oh, onions. You know, when it's about one yeah. thing. You know, so they make a movie, you know, and, you know, you think it's about Jesus, but actually it's about 9-11. Oh, that's good. Welcome to the most intellectual fucking movie <laughs> of all time. It's called Frankie's Pizza, and it's about a pizza shop, mm-hmm. but it's actually about Jesus. Yes. And then it's also also about 9-11. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I love that. Yeah, that's odd. And that then that it's also odd. about class. That's mm-hmm. how we get it into the Criterion Collection. That's right, mm-hmm. that's right. Make sure there's a poor guy who... who has a different life than a rich man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then one of them's Jesus and the other one's the Twin Towers. <laughs> <laughs> what was that Uwe Boll movie where he's a fucking, uh, you dr- you drive the planes into the towers at some point? Grand Theft Auto. Did he, did he, he only make makes a, video game movies. Did he make, is there a Grand Theft Auto game, uh, video? He's uh, made a, he's made a so? movie about every video game that's ever come out. Really? Is Underworld? It, uh, rated R oh, Candy movie, Crush yeah. movie. <laughs> <laughs> By Wait, Uwe who's Boll. Uwe Boll? Where, where, where fucking uh, Peppermint Pete gets raped. Nice. <laughs> uh, I, would, I mean, some of those Candy Crush characters, if, if you make them sexy, would be awesome. Did he make mm-hmm. Resident like Evil? Like pink hair and Mama shit? Mama Cupcake? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm into dumb hair. I like that shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, like, yeah. I like if you have some pink shit. No, he did hair. like Blood Rain and fucking... Uh, Hitman? Did he do Hitman? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Was there there was an Assassin's Creed movie that came out? Yeah, the Fastbender. Did dude, anyone he, see Fastbender it? is in, so, in many so many shit bad movies. movies. Yeah. <laughs> My man's caking up, dude. He's the he's I think the best living actor. You know. Yeah, you yeah. said that, and yes. he's in so many bad movies. Get paid, he's in some baby. Good ones. Too. Get paid. Dude. He's yeah, in very good. It seems movies. like he makes a movie. Every we watched a trailer months. for a movie last night. It's like Haywire, starring uh, Fastbender. Everyone. Yeah, everyone is in it. 
It's like uh, uh, Fassbender, uh, uh, Ewan McGregor. It's directed by Soderbergh. There's all these people in it. And it's like, I have no idea what this movie is. Bro, I saw, I saw, I was going through HBO on HBO Go right now. There's a movie with young Dave Chappelle, Norm MacDonald, and Danny DeVito. And is it good? I haven't seen it yet. I was looking at the trailer. I'm going to watch it. so good. But it's got to be bad because we've never heard of it. It has to be. And it's like the plot is Norm MacDonald is a rich lady's butler. And they try and, mm-hmm. and, the, and, and Danny DeVito works at a morgue. And they try and kidnap the lady's dog or some shit. It looks like shit, but I'm going to get fucking stupid stoned and watch it. Damn, Although, you dude. know what I'm excited for? There's a lot of revenge movies going happening right now. I really want to see Proud Mary, which is uh, oh yeah, black, that's black lady, at, that's black sassy the, lady taken. Yeah, that's showing at the draft house. I want to see that Chinese crime thriller animated movie. That sounds good. I'm gonna go movie pass it this week. The Italian job. The Italian job. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that movie Haywire has fast good bending. Ferris. <laughs> good Ferris. <laughs> no, it's okay. Number one Ferris. <laughs> Okay, number one best Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> lucky, good, lucky, good, yeah, yeah. lucky, good time Ferris. <laughs> Rocky Dragon Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> Woo! Take that. Take that. The f- film industry. That's certainly not a joke we've done on this show. Before. Certainly not. That's brand new content. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's a lot of revenge shit. There's Taken on a Train. It's just Liam Neeson on a train uh-huh. again. Yeah. And then the one I'm really stiffed up for is... Uh, How about Bacon, right? I'm, I'm in already. B- B- a- stop right there. K-E-N, oh, right? Wait. And then fucking uh, like Liam Neeson's daughter gets stolen and he gets on the phone with the bad guys. He's like, I think the British are coming, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, we need $20 million. He's like... That's why I'm hoping Hillary wins. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get a bong and transplant. <laughs> and then they just graft and rape kill, his daughter. They kill, <laughs> murder his daughter. <laughs> That's good. Tom Myers, <laughs> a comedian. comedian. <laughs> uh. Does Tommy. he say a comedian or the comedian? I, I think he says a comedian. A comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's such a good intro. Well, the fucking girl playing. They don't the like song. puns. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he didn't even tell a pun. Yeah. Oh. God, I want that. I want to book him for something, but he'll never do anything with us. We almost. We tried to like. We're all blocked. I've, I've, right? I've, yeah. Numerous yeah. times throughout the years, I've, I've come up with scams to book Tom for <laughs> fictional venues in the middle of the country. Well, there, <laughs> there is a way. I. But think. It, that's always felt like a little too mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's mean. I, you know, Tom didn't know that I considered him a laughing stock for like a decade. I know. It took like 10 years before he realized that I had just been fucking with him the entire yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he doesn't realize everyone does. It's yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah. If he does, I mean, imagine the moment he realizes well, that's what's literally everyone <laughs> is just mocking him. No. <laughs> it's going to happen, dude. It's going to happen. He can't. He can't it's, realize. It's gonna, it's no, gonna I used happen. to pal around with this crew that was like Ron Bender, him, this woman, uh, Dawn Henderson or whatever, who like instantly I had a beef with because she like fucking either like added me on some kind of social media or something and was like, she was like, "Hey, you don't uh, you don't subscribe to my blog or whatever." I'm like, "Yeah, I don't have any interest in reading your blog." Yeah, yeah. And then she like sent me some shitty email back that's like, "Oh, we're supposed to support each other." I'm like, "I have no uh, fucking idea who you are." Brutal. You know, it's this like is I don't, Tom Myers' friend. This was Tom Myers' friend. I'm Playing like, the I, MySpace I have, days. Yeah, it was like I was like, I don't know who the fuck you are. Wait, was she the one that was like Starbucks girl or whatever the fuck? I don't know. She was like her whole thing was she's like. I've done comedy in every city, but she's just like moved around a lot. Right, 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 right. Um, you know, she's a tramp. She's yeah. a hobo. She's like, as soon as I start getting established in one place, I end up leaving and going somewhere else. Yeah. It's like, you, you, what do you mean by established? Yeah, <laughs> you mean people have resigned to the fact that you're a fucking you're annoying gonna, yeah, person that's going to open yeah. mics. <laughs> yeah. There's a gentleman in D.C. who who had a really funny line where he's like, every time I leave a city. The comedy scene blows up. Yeah. Yeah. Where he's like, I was in Austin. I left. It blew up. I was in New York. I left. It blew up. <laughs> the New York scene. Anyways. Um, yeah. No. And then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, it was, I guess it was him and Bender and Irwin. And that was like, that, that whole like crew. Irwin, and so it's like this Irwin. kind of mutual delusion among yeah. all of them. 
But every everyone is left except the only person still kicking is he's the last of the motherfucking Mohicans, dude. Dude, that's Tom why Myers. we gotta support and appreciate him. Well, he quit comedy for a while to call Little League games, and then I guess he came back. No, no, no. I don't think he you. quit he was, comedy to, to, to do that. To, I think that was just a fellow passion no, of his. Stop, he, stop. It was not Little League games. It was the Aberdeen Ironbirds. And and then he got, he got fired from that. <laughs> he got back into it and immediately <laughs> for going on a rant about George he immediately Bush. recorded seven different albums. There's a it. oh fuck I saw the so he's had work. He, damn, he has the, a podcast now. Does he? Yeah. Uh, someone sent me. A, no, he's doing a new album, and the word is the, the title. Who retweeted so his podcast? Someone sent me a someone. Tw- someone who should know. Oh no better. no no no. Judd Apatow oh, retweeted yeah. him. That was awesome during the um. Some shit about Trump. That was fucking awesome. Which, I mean, whatever. And he was like, Mr. Apatow, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, If yeah. you could please retweet this next tweet of mine as well. No, he, uh, someone said that he has a podcast and he was like tweeting at Keith Olbermann. He's like, oh, hell yeah. I run a dem-focused podcast, Mr. Olbermann, and we'd <laughs> love to have you on it. <laughs> Fuck, I'm trying to... Yeah, Words of Mass Destruction was the old one. The, this new one was really good. A really good title, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, he's on Spotify, I think. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, he's recording a new CD. A new album. We've already told the story of how me and Nick were at the last recording. Yeah. But uh, it was pretty funny. You were straight up disrespecting him during your set. Yeah. You said... I remember the one thing you said was like... Because we were in Bel Air, Maryland. <laughs> and you were like, what if in Bel Air in LA there's a... Not shitty comedian named Tom Myers <laughs> recording his album. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, no, it's time for Tom Myers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the nicer Bel Air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, one yeah. people think about, there's a guy named Tom yeah. Myers doing comedy who's like really good at comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you said. <laughs> really good. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Beautiful. Yeah, dude. That was that show was hilarious. I remember like fucking I showed up and I went up to Tom. I was like, You got drink tickets? And he was like, No. He's like, I just have like a food tab. I'm like, Well, can you like get me a drink on your food tab since I came up here and I'm not getting paid? And I, I like went up there to mock him. <laughs> of course, yes, yes. Um uh and he was like, Nah, sorry. He's like uh, any of the money I made for the show I had to pay to for Ron Bender's bus ticket up here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right. Yeah. Ron um, was just drinking flat Diet Coke out of his own big gold <laughs> cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not talking to anyone. <laughs> oh, man. I felt so bad for that guy because he was a nice guy. He was a nice guy. Yeah. And yeah. Then, like, he wasn't for, like, you know, that type of comedian that used to be able to exist, which is like a guy who has nothing other than just like sort of the D room circuit. Right. Right. You know, right. right, funny right. Zone. Yeah, he had he chops. Was, he was all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He wasn't bad. Um, how you get in bed with a guy named Tom Myers, you know, I don't understand how <laughs> you're just a nice person who just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. keeps doing him favors. Anyways. Yeah. I mean, like imagine a, if you had a couple someone... months later when I like told people about Tom Myers on social media, cause I was like, you know, like I, I started telling people about nine in or Tom Myers yeah. or whatever. And Tom realized I was making fun of him. He tried to like shame me for like, Oh yeah. Remember when you, uh, Ask me for drinks at the show because you're a fucking degenerate alcoholic and yeah, just trying yeah, to get yeah. drinks for free. And it's like, yeah, that's kind of part of my thing. Right, right. Also, I was doing comp. Let's, we get paid in drinks. Man. Yeah. Like, it's like if you're not paying me. Yeah. You're not like discovering something by right, telling right, people right. that I'm like a bum. Yeah. No one, no one was sh- like, <gasps> Nick Mullins <Yeah. laughs> drunk <laughs> drink tickets. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Nick Mullen tried to get free whiskey. But I do yeah. think that Tom is like, you know, a pure soul. And I think no. Nainan is obviously Satan incarnate. No, yeah. Tom's just the, like not, not as soul. competent as yeah, Nainan. Yeah, exactly. They're the he same wants kind to be of Nainan. Nainan. Yeah. Yeah, he's, not a, he's a shittier Nainan. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that is for sure the meanest I guess thing I've Nainan said about was, Tom Myers. Nainan was at a Bitcoin conference recently. And I heard were, about salute that. To that. People warrior, were sending man. me pictures they took with him. He keeps fucking. He keeps just. Does someone have a recording dude. of his set? Did he do the Samsung joke? <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> yeah, apparently it was someone trying to charge the new Samsung Galaxy <laughs> S8. <laughs> Why is he? Is he Canadian? I don't know. But he does talk Samsung. Like that. Samsung yeah. Galaxy. There was a big uh, plunge in the Bitcoin. You think? I know, they I know gets... everyone's thinking is uh, what race is this guy? <laughs> My race think... is Bong Hit Transplant. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh fuck! Fuse them together, dude. Put them in together, dude. One day, two men sharing an elevator. <laughs> Hi, my name's uh, Tom Myers. I'm a comedian. I'm Dan Ninen. <laughs> I, I guess we're riding this elevator together. Hey, you don't mind if I uh, just try to charge my phone? <laughs> <for> that, <dude? laughs> No, go ahead, go right ahead and go ahead and charge your phone. I'm just going to stand here and be half Indian, half Japanese. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm plugging my phone in now. <laughs> Little did he know, the Samsung Galaxy S8 blew up or something and merged the two of them into the world's shittiest comedian. <laughs> Starring Ooh. Steve Buscemi <laughs> in brownface as Tom Ninen. I yeah, I'm kind of hoping Hillary wins <laughs> because I'm half Indian, half Japanese. <laughs> and I hear they're hiring Indian turns. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, where do you get your sushi from? Yeah, yeah. Are you talking about eating Hillary Clinton's pussy? Yeah, I'm only 50% clean. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you where I get my sushi from The Bilderberg Group <laughs> Hell yeah <laughs> I get my sushi from 7-Eleven Which I also work at <laughs> Which I also manage wow. yeah. Oh yeah that is oh, good wow. Yeah I forgot that you worked there Oh fuck <sighs> I wish that movie existed Damn. We can make it we could. The world's shittiest comedian. <laughs> One phone, two men. The results, catastrophic. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Starring Wilford Brimley as Ron Bender. <laughs> oh, yeah, who's playing Irwin? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Starring Christian Bale in his fattest role ever as Irwin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you if you're half Jewish, half Japanese? <laughs> oh, fuck, I was photoshopping a picture of it's like a picture of uh, Christian Bill and his wife walking yesterday, and I was uh -huh. photoshopping, and I made him like seven inches shorter than her. <laughs> nice. and the caption was like uh, Christian Bale. In his at five two for his next role. <laughs> uh, I'm fucking mad. He's Cheney, dude. I should have been Cheney. Yeah. I could have played. Dick he Cheney. also doesn't really look like Cheney. Not he at looks all. Like looks Uncle Fester. Like him. Yeah. The man just loves destroying his body for movies. Yeah. That, at this point, he literally must have some kind of weird fetish for that shit. Yeah. The machinist. My man was looking skinnier than my dick. I mean Adam's dick. Yeah. Uh, and then fucking bulks up for as Batman. Batman. Yeah, now steroids. he's fat ass. Now he's fat ass. Dick. Nah, he's been fat before, yeah. wasn't he? It had to have been. Yeah, it steroids. wasn't. Steroids. He had that weird. He, had he that came. He came through like four months later. Nah, he's just. Like he's rock. just better at exercise. No, also, you if you're rich as fuck, you're just weak and you don't understand you are weak how a, how a man's body is supposed to change. That's true. That's I'm gonna true. get into like. Uh, you know you aren't. The, You'll the rings. Whatever you're gonna say, you're never gonna get into. I'm gonna it. get into the rings. The Olympic rings. What yeah, wearing the rings? Wearing jewelry. Yeah. Nuva rings. Toe rings. Yeah. Nuva rings. In your ass. <laughs> it's so I don't get pregnant. Are you friends with anyone with tongue rings? No. Stop trying to change the subject, yeah. dude. We're in the middle of a riff. We're in the middle of calling you Anyways, gay. Does, <laughs> what other kind of rings does, does he, he like? Does wear thumb rings? He's um, the Sonic rings. He's yes. Sonic the Hedgehog, but he's the Sonic the fuck hog, the cum <laughs> yeah, hog. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's the fastest yep. guy to come when something's in. When he falls, a bunch of rings when a fall fox out of his ass. His two dicks is inserted <laughs> into his ass. That's all good stuff. Adam's in a video game called Heads and Tails. Mm -hmm. And it's him and Tails. And Adam gives <laughs> Dr. Yep. Robotnik head. <laughs> While Tails watches. But yeah. What other ring? Uh, Lord of the Rings. The whole yeah. cast of Lord of the Rings. That's fucks you fucked you in all the of them. <laughs> um, I would hmm. fuck them, dude. Would you? I would fuck uh, uh, Orlando, Orlando Bloom. Bloom. Yeah. Of course. How about a doorbell rings? You know, like, oh, who's there? It's a man here to have sex with Adam. 
<laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Also sounds pretty good. A guy, how about this onion rings? And a guy puts a bunch of onion rings on his dick. Yeah. And you eat them off. It's of it. it's Eminem spitting in your onion rings, but he's spitting cum into the onion mm-hmm. rings. And Eminem, Adam's, the rapper. Adams, yeah. Adams, yeah. like, ooh, did you come in this? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I love free cum. I don't get charged extra for. Yeah, it's come on the house. Chipotle is like two seventy five extra. Yeah. How about the exercise rings on the Apple Watch that Adam closes mm-hmm. by engaging in? <laughs> yep. Heavy, what are the exercise heavy, rings on the Apple heavy Watch? Heavy petting with the at these. I'll show them to you. You see these rings here? The activity yeah. rings. Oh, I don't know what about they, those. What, is, what does that say? Um, what does that mean? So you have these goals here. Like so your steps and shit? Yeah. I gotta, I'm, at, I'm at 203 out of 780 calories a day I got to burn. I already did my exercise for the day, which I don't remember doing. What did you, what was it? I don't know. Walking it just goes in? by your heart rate. So mm, I wake up beating off and then I get pissed off about something. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got to hit the damn stairmaster. Yeah. You do the stairmaster? Yeah. Why really? Not? You really should go to curves. I don't think I've ever seen a man on a stairmaster. You'd love to go to you curves. Lo- you love to do the, I would love to go to the, curves. The, 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 the exercises the for women that yeah. they this retired. The stairmaster is very good for you. I don't know what the fuck you assholes are talking about. Going upstairs, athletes do that type of shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, but Running they use stairs. actual stairs. I don't have access to stairs. What do you mean you don't have access what, to stairs? What, am I going to run stairs? up and down my fucking apartment building like an asshole? Yeah. <laughs> no. Stomping around. Also, There's then go to a fucking... You have the same access to stairs that any of us do. Yeah, go, go to a go to a fucking high school and use their. No, uh, I'm not. What am I going to knock on the door? There's a school, high school literally right across the street from yeah, your what apartment. Yeah, we're going to knock and be like, "Hey, I just want to run up." And no, down dude, these it's a public stairs. school. You have free access to. Any adult yeah. man has free access <laughs> to any public school in New York. Elementary school in New York. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. My tax dollars pay for this. Right. <laughs> and if you're not allowed within 100 yards, you shouldn't have to pay taxes. Fat men are allowed mm-hmm. in any space that they choose. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I agree with that. Yeah. You should get into moon bounces. I'd love a moon now bounce. Now that we're, we're millionaires, you should rent a moon bounce every day for exercise. I would get a trampoline, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. But I don't know where, where to put it. Where would you put it? Yeah. The roof, maybe? <laughs> if you slam through your bedroom ceiling. The eldest is like jacking off the bed beneath <laughs> I fall and slide down. That would be nice. How about a, a slam plane, right? Mm-hmm. You lay the woman down and then you go off a high dive. Okay. And then you fucking go dick first into her pussy. I love and that the idea. trampoline goes all the way down to the ground and then bounces back up and it just launches you. That's and good. And that, you just fuck that way. Where you, That's really yeah. good. You, you exit the, the pussy air. about 15 feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then and you, you come down with a lot of fucking... Yeah, That's yeah. a lot of fucking uh-huh. mass. Yeah, That's a lot yeah, of yeah, velocity, yeah. And it dude. kills the woman. It probably <laughs> would. Especially when you're working with, yeah. you know, this little piperino I got. And it's actually legal to kill a woman if you're doing it Cirque du Soleil style. Yeah. Sexually on That's a trampoline, true. you mm-hmm. can commit murder as long as it's with your penis on a trampoline. Yeah. I'm waiting for the Cirque du Soleil to get hit by me, too. Uh, mm. the ra- the Ringling Brothers. Oh just yeah. Yeah, Uncle yeah. Grandpa, or Uncle Grandpa or Uncle Grandpa, Uncle Grandma, some shit like that. Some guy made a girl take naked. Oh, ass pictures. David Copperfield just went down. Oh too. fuck. Yeah. Well, he, no, David Copperfield. Heroes. David Copperfield was like accused of rape like 15 years ago. Was he? And then they just buried the lawsuit with money because David Copperfield is one of those mm-hmm. private island guys. Oh yeah. Uh, and he's boys with Epstein. He like, made insane David, money. David Copperfield is like probably if if you're gonna believe all that pedogate shit. You know. Wasn't he married to like Claudia Schiffer or something or some like supermodel? He's married to somebody hot, for sure. Yeah, famously hot. Yeah, yeah. No, his name comes up a lot. Magic guys get a lot of pussy. Uh, magic they? guys are all David se- Blaine. Gets sex. A lot of, I mean, they're. I guess they're all sex. Oh, sex isn't he criminals. also a rapist? Uh, I guess he got me too. I don't know. David what he Blaine did. got me I didn't too. Read the article. What did? When did? When did this Copperfield shit happen? It just happened. It pretty just, recently. I saw it a couple of days on. Uh, Dude, you're slipping, bro. You didn't I, find out about Twitter Copperfield? moments or whatever. I've been, I've been living a nice life and I haven't been reading the news. Hmm. News free is the way to go 2018. I'm it's telling you. It's great, guys. dude. I've been hanging out with comics again and none of them know anything about shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's great. Yeah. I'm dumb as hell. Yeah, no, no. I mean, you guys are a little bit more tapped into stuff than, than most, dude. I guess that's true. You go yeah, hang yeah. out at the stand and you talk to people and they're like, you know, who's Donald Trump? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They have like no awareness of I know, like, you know, of like anything. Yeah, well, listen, that was the gambler. That was the gauntlet. Wait. That was the gauntlet. Oh we my god, we this podcasters. is amazing! What? Okay, so apparently a woman is accusing David Copperfield 
of sexually assaulting her during the stage act. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> he sexually sexually assaulted British model on stage during his act. He finger popped her? What did he do? He pulled his cock out? A British beauty queen claims magician David Copperfield sexually assaulted her on stage. She says he molested her while performing a trick in front of hundreds of people in Canada. Yo, can I say something, though? That's being really good at magic. Yeah. <laughs> if you can, if you can like mm-hmm. molest someone and no one know, no one sees it. Do you, you he believe was... in magic <laughs> in a young girl's ass? <laughs> Do you believe in penis? Yeah. In Adam's mouth. Yep. Okay, so they were performing a graffiti <laughs> yes, <I do>. trick. <laughs> That's actually my religion. One of my main beliefs is penis <laughs> in Adam's mouth. <laughs> Uh, Oh, this is a great quote from the woman. The (coughs) thing about magic is the deception. Mm. And that's what he did when the audience... That's what what he did with the audience when he assaulted me. Interesting. Yeah. How about a movie called Deception, right? And it's where you go to sleep and someone has sex with you. (laughs) 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 Then you go even further asleep and you're like, wait, now I'm being habit sex with. (laughs) Now I'm really being habit sex with. (laughs) 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 Now I'm really... You also get better grammar as you go (laughs) deeper into the... You get get in deepened into the mind. (laughs) I love being habit sex (laughs) with. (laughs) (laughs) I've become more illiterate as time goes on, dude. Because I stopped reading and now I'm like worse at saying things. Yeah. I'm 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 gonna try and read twelve books this year, dude. One a month. I feel like I could do that. Yeah. Twelve books? That's reasonable. What do you think? You think I could do it? I read here are my goals for the I've year. I've read books. Hundred push ups this year. Twelve books. Yeah. Grow my cock an inch somehow. I haven't just, I don't know how yet. Uh-huh. But by it's one of those things where you you use the secret. Finally hit an inch on the ruler. <laughs> the, big, the big inch. The big one point <laughs> Um, yeah, those are my goals. I would say that'd be like a fun indie movie, you know, like a guy lives in Astoria and his dad dies in nine eleven. So it takes place in two thousand two. Mm-hmm. Okay, his dad dies in nine eleven, so he decides he's going to get into making his dick grow bigger. Jelking, yeah. is that what jelking is? I guess. Yes. Yeah. So he gets into jelking, and then he meets a girl who has autism, and then they <laughs> okay. have like a cute relationship. Yeah, he is. He's not retarded at all. He's not. No, he's you. Uh, well, no, no, no. My so he's dad, like weird. No. He, maybe he works in a mail room somewhere. I'm not weird. I'm very, His dad died. I'm he has autism. The girl boy. also has autism. Mm, I'm, like, I'm writing autism. The, the indie romantic comedy of the year right now. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's like garden. Right, but it's State. not me. Yeah. But yeah, it's a guy. This fictional character. Yeah, it's yeah, nothing yeah. like it's me. It's called Fatter, Louder, Smaller Penis. <laughs> uh, okay. I That's like good. that. Fatter, Louder, incredibly, Smaller Penis. Incredibly fat. Incredibly incre- small. Incredibly small <laughs> dick. <laughs> Uh yeah, that sounds good. I I go yeah. pay money to see and that. It's and it's got that it's got that 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 uptight Asian girl that used to be in all those movies. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, a Asian. lot of Michael Charlie Sarah movies. Yee? Yeah, yeah, that bitch. Of course, Adam would know the her one exact that name. the one that David Cross said like Chingy Chong. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> one of David yeah. Cross's finest jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, then again, he was on like a show with Michael Sarah and friends with him. He probably just thought she'd think it was funny. I don't know, man. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I think it, it is. Funny, I don't know. It is pretty it funny. Is funny. It's also it was like people forget that like four years ago, no one had a problem with any of this shit. Oh, I know. Obama didn't think gay people should get married the first time he ran for fucking president. Like, the world is fucking. Yeah. yeah. You can say whatever the fuck you wanted. Like, the thing is, and though, that's thanks to Donald Trump. I know I've made this point. Yeah. You still can. You mm-hmm. still can say whatever you want. And as we've proven, there's a market for it. That's right. And now, yeah. I'm getting gold eyelids. Woo, boy. I my fucking eyelids cut off and replaced. That'd be tight, dude. With gold Asian style I'm eyelids. I'm getting Kevlar eyelids. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm scared that someone's going to shoot to my eyes. Keep eye all out. the cum out of your eyes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Because it's hurting all the cum, acidic cum is hurting right. your eyelids. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's, and that's what you're doing too, give, Nick. Let's give it a rest. And that's what you're also doing. We've, we've decided. We said we were going to be nicer to Adam when he got back from Africa. That's not true. The first episode we had back from Africa, you were really mad at me for some. Oh reason. yeah, that's right. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> let's go back to being. Oh, mad. here's your mask, Nick. Can I give it to you on the show? Oh, that'd be yeah, great. Go ahead. Damn, I'm getting hungry as fuck. Yeah, you should have had some of that breakfast <sighs> we had. I really should have. The breakfast sons. Oh shit. This doesn't fit me at all. 
Well, it's not none of them fit. What do you mean none of them fit? The fuck! What did I get? You get you got those those Zulu. Oh wow! Uh, Thanks a lot. Sarong. You went to Africa and you got me a fucking mask that doesn't fit. Well, I don't know the size of your face when I'm. It's out obviously there not. This is a like child's. A, face, this is a dude. child's mask. It's like a baby. No, it's a it's a for a woman or a smaller man. This Bro, is not. This clearly not, does not fit my fucking. That face. doesn't fit it's, your face. It's decorative. It's it's not to be worn every day. What you wanted, what did, what did a decorative you mask. mask? You wanted a mask to wear every day. I wanted like this, but to put on, and then it turns me green, and I get really yeah, into swing. We've I made that, that joke. Yeah. No, yes, I you did. made that I point, made the joke. which I agreed with, <laughs> yeah. and I said yes, that's what I want. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll just go I, back I, to I, Africa. If I recall correctly, I don't remember laughing at a single fucking thing you said. <laughs> I said yes. That's the kind of mask I want. Stav laughed. Yeah, Stav laughed. laughed at how he's angry a good I was. Friend. Um, no, okay. So I'll just go back. I'll just get another flight. Yeah, go back to Africa and get me the right size mask. <laughs> yeah. Do you Sorry, have a gift you're... receipt? I'll bring it to any black man. I don't know. If you're... The <laughs> hey, you. Hey, yeah, come here. Exchange this for me. <laughs> I don't know if those two uh, Koza women that I Koza women I bought it from. Is that how you say Koza? Kosa? Well, Koza. Koza. Yeah. Was that like? Koza. Koza. Uh, yeah, Koza. It's with yeah. like the so X H O S. Yeah. Oh yeah. A. And the but I think the X point? is the click noise. Mon poulet. We used to laugh when I worked at the cell phone kiosk about some African guy my uh, my coworker saw who was saying his name. He goes, "My name is Mon poulet." <laughs> Is he say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a click Nombule. in his name. Whoa, is he from Nombule. Southern Africa? Yeah, you know which is That's weird cool. because uh, you think too, and the, um, now I'll say this as an anthropologist. So yes, of course, true. But yeah, from yeah, a scientific yeah. You notice how black people here love apostrophes in their name. Mm-hmm. It probably That's has something to do with the, the click. <laughs> yes, <it>. yes, evolutionarily <laughs> yeah, yeah, speaking, yeah. My, their good, brains. Good afternoon. Develop. My name is Latoya. <laughs> oh, you can't put it after the Le, click. Latoya. Montpellier. <laughs> It's weird mm-hmm. with the mm-hmm. words you can mm-hmm. do the clicking. Getting my penis sucked. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. I didn't realize hey. what a scientist you were. Mompule. Mm-hmm. Mompule. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What a great name. That's a really good name. Anyways, that thanks for the French, bullshit though. mask, I guess. Yeah. I didn't get shit. What is that sarong? That sarong was an afterthought. I could tell. It was not an afterthought, so. Yes, it was, man. Dude, I got what, is, you what even and, is a sarong? I got you and Ari a Stern sarong. It's a thing that lets you like breastfeed your child. No, it's uh, like a, it's like a, okay. like a, you could wear it like as a dress, like okay. a towel, you know, like when you're getting out of the shower. That's not bad. But you could wear that all day long. Hmm. Or yeah, you know, it's, it's tight, dude. It's, I wrap it around my waist. It's a Zulu sarong. Do warrior, did warrior hunter yeah, wear it? Yeah, it's a warrior kind of thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. All right, I'm coming around to it. You and Ari Stern got one. Did I get a sword, too, if I'm a warrior? Um, yeah, yeah. I'll get you a sword. Awesome. Now we're talking. My girlfriend showed me she has a CSA sword. What's CSA? Confederate States of America. Oh, yeah. shit, for real? Yeah. yeah. How did she get that? I don't fucking know, The dude. hard way. <laughs> you, you get one if you have a, a sex with 200 guys before you date Adam. <laughs> they, really? They present yeah. the sword to you in a ceremony. President Jefferson Davis. <laughs> 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 yeah. having sex with 200, <laughs> 200 Confederate soldiers. If you, have, if, you have, if you have sex with 100 versions of guys that have the opposite of whatever Adam's insecure about <laughs> each. Yeah. So a guy with like a normal nose. Yeah. You know, I'm a guy not insecure about a my guy nose. a guy that reads the news better than Adam right, does. Right, 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 uh, right. I, I'm pretty bad at the news too. I'm, I'm, I'm my only insecurity is I'll be. So here comes a front. fake. Here comes a fake no, insecurity. My chest so concavity. I was going to no, say that. Here comes and, a fake one. And then my wrists and hands. I, I think I have feminine wrists and hands. Oh yeah, I just, don't feel like I have a man's hand, hands. Just have feminine hands. Yeah, yeah, they're like lady. Like, not your whole fucking. Demeanor. They're like made for typing. You know, mm-hmm. they're not like they're I, made for jerking. I, you're not good at typing. I have a secretary's hands. Yeah. No, no it's got to be something touch, else. You touch. wouldn't say you wouldn't say you're real of insecurities. Course you wouldn't. It's taken me years to admit both of those things. 
Who cares about your con- chest My nose cavity? is pretty big. I don't know. Maybe I'll get rhinoplasty this year. Yeah, that would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> if dude. I came back, my nose was like upturned. I was like, why do they do that? Why do well, they upturn where's them? the Where's the church? <laughs> 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 Easter is right around the corner. I'm I'm trying to play bocce ball. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have any kids I can wear? <laughs> and I'm with just blonde hair and blue contacts. <laughs> <laughs> Reagan was the best president. <laughs> yeah. Why do they up, do they upturn them during rhinoplasty? Um, I don't know. They make it smaller. I think. How the fuck do they do? They shave off bone. You yeah. have you have a Mediterranean nose. I got I got, I got no problems. With you my have nose. glasses though, so it doesn't. doesn't so I've got like a I little have no clown problems nose. with my nose too. I got a nice little. You have, a little you have a little bump though. Too, yeah, right? like a little clown no. nose. I have a warrior's nose. Looks like a clown's nose. No, it's a stout, nice nose. Nah, dude. it's like it's a little clown. Nose. It's a, it's <laughs> a, no- a <laughs> it's, it's a nose. It's a nose that a fucking guy with a, a broadsword would have. That, you know, I never really noticed it, <laughs> but, but I want to draw your nose now. Yeah, okay. your nose is. I like your nose. And well, Thank the you. light hits it in so many different places. It's got a nice so, action to it. It's so mm-hmm. bulbous. You know what I mean? It is bulbous. It yeah. commands respect. You your nostrils look sort of carved out of out of stone. No, out of like a beautiful marble it's not, like a little lacrosse lacrosse ball with with holes cut in it no it's Nick, not what it's Nick's like got a, you got a nice nose thank you it's not yeah it's like I would say just a standard small. nose yeah it's pretty normal nothing I got cool, a pretty normal nothing cool face. about you know what the, it I got um, like a white supremacist face you know what the Dominican you, you lady told do. me that was doing my makeup before I went on the Israel news mm-hmm. she said that I had the best eyebrows she's ever you seen said on that a man. already oh never mind <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Just repeating a compliment twice. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard this. A professional, a professional eyebrow. Oh, fuck. A professional makeup artist said that about me. So, damn. Shut up, dude. <laughs> I'm just telling you that's a compliment that I received in the last two weeks. It's Whatever, probably man. the only one. That's funny. Are we gonna get assassinated by Israel now? I did. Someone was trying to hack my Twitter this week. Really? Yeah, I got like a million, a million texts in a row, like a password change reset. What the fuck is this? New York Attorney General to investigate firm that sells fake followers. Schneiderman? Schneiderman, yeah. Good. What a nerd, dude. Good. Fuck. Schneiderman was good about uh, uh, Wall Street. Oh, yeah. You sweating at him over there, dude? I have no... Adam has 100,000 fake followers. Oh, fake followers? Yeah. Uh, no, but I... I also have no involvement in Wall Street as well. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Impersonation and deception are illegal under New York law. Dude, Schneider Dan Niden's going to jail for we're fake o- followers. We're opening an investigation into... No, this is bullshit. You're mad? What yeah, you, what I'm you fucking mad. mad. Why, why do, how would, uh, in what world should that be illegal as having fake, fake Twitter followers? Fo- Obviously, I didn't read the story, so there might be yeah, some yeah, other yeah, shit yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know, man. I don't give a instinctually, fuck. Instinctually, yes, I'm mad at the idea that somebody would, would want fake followers to be against the fucking law. Well, that's uh, that's the world we live in, baby. You can, uh, well, Trump would now be that, against the law. I'd say probably half of it. Like any major account like with over a million followers has a ton of fake followers. Oh yeah! Not even because they bought them, just because they just right? follow. I think so. I think I read that somewhere. You could do an audit sub- of someone's account and see like what percentage are real and fake. You were doing this gross thing where you're just pu- picking your boogers and wiping them on a. Well, I'm not like, eating them, so. I, oh, oh, fuck, dude! I'm not trying to look at your fucking boogers, dude. I'm not trying to look at your fucked up boogers. Um, are fucking yeah, gross. that sounds like a waste of taxpayer money. Yeah, it's also it's fucking stupid. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, I don't see that they're doing anything wrong other than being corny as fuck. And yeah, it followers. says that they're using real people's information, hmm. but again, who gives a shit? What do you mean they're using real people's information? Like they're to using to, to make fake accounts. Well, they're stealing people's pictures. Like real and shit. people's pictures. And, yeah, I don't know their names. Or their you know. Hmm. Whatever. Well, you can. I mean, that that bothers me instinctually. I don't give a fuck either and, way. Well, you should. I don't care. You should care. I don't care. I'm too hungry to care. Yeah, but I did get a note from uh, Omri at the Shin Bet Command. Omri Caspi. Yeah, no, he's a he's a guy that works for like the Israeli FBI. He loved the Stavbot episode. <laughs> <laughs> he, thought it, he thought it was really funny. We love apps. We love you, make app. <laughs> you know, make app kill it. You're like actually, the, <laughs> actually, the racist guy made the app. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Why do they sound kind of French? I don't get it. Uh, they sound Israelis? like they sound like because f- they do the R. They do the, the R. R. They sound like they a French the version of, uh, of oh. Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the Israeli accent. Isn't it? <laughs> French Scrooge. French is nicer, I think, than it Israeli. Is? Israeli's more guttural. It is. It's gross. They're yeah. gross people. I'm probably not allowed back in that country. So. Are you ever gonna go? Did somebody? No, from, I don't want Did to. somebody from Shinbed actually tell you they liked the? No, but show? I was like getting scared that um, that like I would someone would try to come for me. I can't wait till you get assassinated. That'd because be so there was funny. also that Richard Spencer, and then those psychos are like maybe <laughs> that was really funny, dude. The Richard Spencer squad or the Israel squad, I think you know. Come for you for what reason? For saying Israel is cool. No, just look at all that like pro. He said it's bad. All but you don't. Add, you, but you went on. You went on the show and, and you came off like a really stupid and articulate. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do that. Unfunny well. guy. Yeah. So <laughs> if anything, it it helps the case for Israel. That's true. You um, came off. You know. You came off like one of those like. Those like SJW kids that gets owned by fucking uh, Tucker uh, Carlson, ben, ben Shapiro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but where she it's didn't... like, wow, watch, look how smart Ben Shapiro is as he debates this mentally retarded nineteen-year-old <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that, that uh, stood up to ask a question, already shaking and you yeah. know, pouring <laughs> tears out of their eyes. Definitely an emotionally stable person that has an argument that they thought out. Yeah, I didn't do a, that good of a job, but yeah, you really I don't think that cares. she did a good job either. I thought it was just a pretty boring. Well, she did a better thing. job than you did. <laughs> Why? You watched the whole thing? I didn't watch any of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going based on what other people told me. <laughs> no, Look, I, I, don't okay. have to, I don't have time for this shit, dude. I've stuttered. got lawsuits I'm fucking dealing with. Are you still suing that landlord? Um, I have, well, bumped it up now. I've got a, uh, um, uh, 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 action is being taken against the entire country of Korea. <laughs> <laughs> he owes you how much money? A thousand dollars? Sixteen hundred dollars. Let's find that guy, dude. Let's find him. Let's break his fucking kneecaps. Yeah. That'll give him some fucking. I'm going to be out. I'm going to be out in LA enough, this he's month. Korean, so he doesn't have kneecaps. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Are they like? Do they have skeletons like? That's octopus? why they bow, dude. Instead of genuflecting like mm-hmm. normal people, they do. don't bow in Korea. And I meet it when I meet somebody. I I genuflect. You uh, know? I, what's genuflect? When you like put the sword down and kneel in front of the oh, sword. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Of course. That's how I say hello to everyone. That's yeah, when standard. I place my order at McDonald's, <laughs> I get my sword out. <laughs> Twenty piece chicken McNugget, please. Good sir. I am on my way to. GameStop <laughs> to purchase the uh, new pornography game. <laughs> oh, that's remember the, that when Xbox came out and they were like, "That's going to be the thing, dude." Is porn games? Oh no, that came out fucking, this week. They had that what that uh, uh, BMXXX and then Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball. I re- oh, oh, do I remember Le- Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball? Leisure Suit Larry too. Do you remember that computer? Yeah, game? you bring this up every fucking time. Sorry, dude. And and it, like I. No one gives a shit about Laser Suit Larry. It's well, a, it was a game you could jack DOS off to. game. No, it's I'm about sure a guy, sleazy guy for that gets fucked like a Windows lot. 95 or whatever. I think whatever. you get like you can get chlamydia in the game. That's you can get cool. yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, raw dog. They came out this week and said that they're now making porn where they um, take actresses like famous actresses' faces. I saw that, and it looks like actually that it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, they've been doing that for years. Dude. No, it's no, it's good, fake dude. News. No, it's not like. Bad Photoshop, bro. Like it's a video with like an actress looks good. on like a naked lady's body. Well, it's like <sighs> it like looks pretty seamless. Mm-hmm. Like <sighs> you hear with. that? That's the sound of me listening to you too much. <laughs> <laughs> Go off about something you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I can tell you, <laughs> dude. I've been learning a lot these last couple of days <laughs> about what. Now, you know what I'm excited for is I was the trying Wii to tell game. Nick about the the Wii game where you use the Wii remote to simulate jacking off. Is that real? No. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Or how about this? You just use your cock. Yeah. You put a couple of those like, you know how they have... Yeah, like, but what I want to do is, is you put a VR, a VR helmet on, right? Mm-hmm. And then you have one of the PlayStation Move controllers. And then you mm. fuck an actual woman. But in the VR thing, it changes it so it's just your hand. And then you can fuck an actual oh. woman to simulate jacking Jerking off, off. Yeah, which yeah. is always better, anyways. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, it helps guys like yeah. me who prefer. Yeah, well, you don't have to deal with the style. nightmare before yeah. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, exactly. it's your own hand. <laughs> All right. Well, well, I don't think we have anything to plug other than Caroline's. February, yeah, that's a big one. February fifteenth, ten p.m. Fifteen dollars online, twenty dollars at the door. Please come to that, guys. Yeah, come is out. the episode over? Yeah, we're done. 
Wow, that felt fast. Yeah, well, not to me. Well, <laughs> once I saw the size of that mask, I knew I was in for a bad day. Come on, dude. I, this is from this is from uh, Ivory Coast. You know what? I, I do actually appreciate it. It's great. Thank you for you bringing it. You can hang it. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I get I a gay it. ass fucking. There's sarong. a naked baby on the head. You see these holes at the top? Yeah, it's for the eyes. No, what it's for is for the strings I'll put through it to turn it into a necklace. Dude, oh, that would be good. awesome. And you should get a huge onk. Like mm-hmm. uh, I'll get an onk. Yeah, and then, and then one of those like beaded necklaces with like a wooden Africa. Do you know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. very er- like mi- early '90s hip hop style. Mm-hmm. Very tribe called are, Quest. I think those are semi coming back. They yeah. kind of were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they they would they just uh, did that. She's got to have it thing. Like there's going to be a resurgence of early '90s. But I, f- I heard that was bad. What? She's gonna have Yeah it. but it doesn't matter Whether it was good or bad Yeah they're gonna do like But you know, you know what It's also guys. like This is already That's already come There's people, already plenty Of early 90s shit Like a lot sure. of black people Have those circular glasses mm-hmm. Again now Like black hipsters Are wearing Yeah them. I mean I'm wearing Champion sweats Yeah That's that's, that's 90s, 90s shit Starter shit is coming back Starter, shit's coming Starter back. shit Three years ago Was relegated to being Like to Walmart. Walmart's Like yeah bullshit And brand. then a couple Actually uh, uh, a former giant uh, He bought um, he bought Starter, and he's like Ooh, Michael it. Strahan. No, Michael Strahan. No, no, no. Uh, I'm blanking on it. Carl Banks. He was on. He played on the other side, opposite LT. He bought Starter, and he's like a fashion guy, and he's like he's making some cool shit. Mm-hmm. Opposite Lawrence Hill. Uh, he's a yeah, linebacker. He's a line lineman. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyways. So Defensive also man. to promote, uh, this is a premium episode. But if you want, there's actually two episodes a week. You can listen to the regular show, <laughs> <laughs> which is on there's iTunes. There's a free one. Yeah, there's a free one every yeah. week. If you go uh, to uh, iTunes, please don't delete your account though. Yes, even though you, there's already a free one. Look, we, it's a, it's a very modest thing that we ask for fifty thousand dollars a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, yeah. I'd like to promote uh, Culture 2 by Migos is out now. If you want to get it on your, any streaming Bitch, you, did, you barely even listened to it. Yeah, I know. Just listened to it for the first time. I just bought uh, Apple Music so I could listen to it. Remember Miguel? What happened to Miguel? He's still around. He's, did got, you cool, see that, he's got weird hair Did now. you see that jump he did at a concert? Where that he was like, like three years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He like almost decapitated With his woman. nuts. <laughs> yeah. He like nuts first. He's like five foot one, that guy. A woman's face. Yeah, so shout out to Miguel. Shout He's, out to Jidenna. Yeah, Jidenna, uh, the classic man. <laughs> classic yeah, yeah. man. Hey, you listening to Jidenna? <laughs> and you can be a classic man like me if you just listen to 97.9. Classic FM. That's high 97. Miguel no, is a... 97.9 Classic a Pino, FM right? with me, Jai, Jai Classic. He's Filipino? I don't know. Jai, Jai... No, that's, that's Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. Too. I think Miguel's half half Pinoy too. Is he? Shout out to all my Pinoys. Hey, this is Bruno Mars, and you're listening to 97.9, the Bruno Station. <laughs> <laughs> and you can be a classic man, just like my good friend Miguel here. <laughs> if you just listen to 97 Miguel, not 90Miguel.Mars.com. Com. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Bruno, we're gonna have to go again, man. You. you <laughs> You uh, you completely fucked up. Uh, oh, also, okay. I I'm gonna Hi, be. Hi, this is Bruno Jadena. <laughs> Bruno Mars Jadena and fucking who's the third guy? Miguel. <laughs> I don't know why that's making me laugh so hard, but I can't. I can't get through that. Well, it's very good, my friend. Hey, you're listening to Bruno Jadena. <laughs> Uh, gang. Also, I will be if you're in Philadelphia. I will be there March seventeenth. What's up, Philadelphia city? Like a good, brotherly good wind. comedy theater. This is the good, good, Are you good that? Bruno mm-hmm. theater. Yeah, that's sick. This is yeah. the Jad Bruno theater. How big is theater? that space? It's like, it's like fifty seats, eighty seats, something eighty like that. seats. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's small. Gonna do two shows. For, welcome Sorry. to Philadelphia, the, uh, aka Uptown City. <laughs> <laughs> Uptown city. <laughs> Uptown city, baby. <laughs> Philadelphia, aka the seventh borough. <laughs> and I'm I'm here as Bruno Miguel Jardin. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! This uh, is a hell year. Man, I can't wait to s- smoke weed and, and do this bit for six <laughs> hours <laughs> <laughs> to myself. <laughs> hey, I'm Bruno Jardin. All right. Uh All right, goodbye everybody. Okay, 
And we've uh, tried to start the podcast twice now. Yeah. Yep, let's and go. My anxiety about the goddamn... Computer? Computer is fucking me up. Hey, man, mm-hmm. don't worry about it. Forget it's even there. Uh, I can't do it, man. Pretend it's pretend like you're having sex. It's hard to be a producer. Dude, I know, man. I want to go back to being just, you know... Just the on-air talent? Yeah. Yeah, man. We yeah. we need a producer, man. No, we, we don't. We need either a I nerd... Mean, I've, just, I've proven that we don't We need, need either a, a nerd that we all make fun of... Uh-huh. Or we, we need a girl. Or we need a girl with big tits. We don't, we don't already have that. We have a girl, and then we also have big. Tits. <laughs> God <Yep>. damn it! <laughs> yep. We have a nerd girl that we all make fun of. And then so together, Stav and I. So we're actually the producers. We should be making half the money. Yep, or whatever. That's true. Yeah. So take that. Me well, and Adam each make fifty percent. Saturday. Um, I'm sure we're all. <laughs> Reacting, we're still reeling from the GOP memo. Oh my god! I wow, can't what it. a bombshell! Yeah, the, this, that one and guy. We has, all read it too. Oh crazy. yeah, I read everyone, it. Everyone front, cares about front this. and back. Yeah. I love how just out of touch the New York Times is with what most people care about. Yeah, who gives a shit about this? Number Russia one, thing? I no mean, one. like who in the who would what kind of regular Americans? And when I say regular well, Americans, are, when I say regular Americans, I mean the people that go into Starbucks with a gun and demand that they write Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the kind of Americans we all appreciate and love. Uh, who, 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 which ones? Show me those guys that it's give all a like, shit about these Russia emails or whatever. It's I, all like baby boomer Democrats. Yeah, but that's a lot of people, though. It's a lot of people. It's like it's people like that my thought Hillary was cool. Stuff, exactly. Yeah. They think yeah. that like Russia infiltrated also, though, our... Who's gonna, memos are one of the gayest things of all time. Yeah, who cares? Who cares about a memo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's a from work. It's yeah. annoying. You want you want somebody to read something? Let's make it a tattoo. Yeah, <laughs> That's cool. right. Yes. Yeah. On his butt cheeks. the tattoo. Let's fucking right? yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get a whole big back piece on Mitch McConnell. That's right. All the fucked up. <laughs> write shit, it on right? his fucked up mm-hmm. fucked up uh, throat, dude. Yeah. You could just stretch that and write a lot of fucking shit on there. Yeah. yeah that, Hillary, fuck or die. And it's a Grim Reaper holding the. That's good. The the scales of justice. Yes. And fuck or die. Yeah, it's Bill Clinton's dick on one side of the scale, and the other yeah. side of the scale is a slice of pizza. Ooh, oh, I see. Yeah. The main thing with the memo is that would be a cool memo. That's a cool tattoo, actually. Yeah. Cool tattoo. I, would, I, would, I would have that tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> the Grim Reaper. It's Bill Clinton's dick, and then a slice of pizza on the other one. That fucking rules, man. I want that actually. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I would read. I would read that. Yeah. I would spend a lot of time looking at that. Yeah, man. Oh, if the fuck. memo means he's gonna finally lock her up, then I'll pay attention. Lock her up, baby. That's that's my policy. If he's not gonna throw her in jail, Hillary Clinton. I'm She'd not probably go care. to a sweet jail. Would it even matter? She'd probably go to Martha Stewart jail. Don't, uh, don't you get to like play tennis and shit? We're at all that gonna jail? go to Martha Stewart jail. For Are we? Town? For yeah. what? Tax evasion? Mm-hmm. Because Adam insulted the state of Israel. Yeah, we're fucked, man. They've been. They've been. They've been uh, destroying our subscription numbers. That's true. It's true. It's all your fault. I'm sorry, guys. Nick, from now on, every subscription we lose should come out of Adam's pay directly. Yeah. Well, we yeah. shouldn't, we uh, shouldn't face no, that. There's no other way for us to make money. The year of making money off crypto just ended. That's right. Mm-hmm. Although, if you do believe in the buying the dip theory, this, yeah. is, this is probably as low as it's going to get. What is it now? Um, I don't know what Bitcoin's at. Ripple hit like fucking 80 cents again. Should I buy some? I wouldn't, dude. I, I I would wait and see what happens. I mean, I think cryptocurrency is fucking it dumb. Could, it could drop again. There might be a little bit of interest now, but it could drop down back to, into the thirty cent range again. I mean, the time to make money off of it. If it can't like stabilize over a dollar, then so a bunch of people just lost money. Then is that what happened? No, oh, not, if, not the people that got in when I fucking was talking about it at thirty cents or lower. Mm-hmm. It was at twelve cents when I was telling people to buy on the show, and then cool. when it shot up to to three or whatever, three dollars. Damn! Anybody who asked, I said, "Don't buy it." Should you sell though? You buy buy low. Sold then. Buy low, I mean, sell high. Right. I mean, sell if you you know want to make a profit off of it. I do. Yeah. Well, you didn't buy any. Yeah, but now I'm going to. A lot of people got fleeced. A lot of people bought cryptocurrency in December, and now they've lost all their. Fucking <laughs> I know. Money. That's what I meant. A lot of people put like that's all their hilarious. retirement into yeah. that shit. <laughs> people are fucking dumb idiots. Shit, people. <laughs> people are so dumb. Yeah. That shit is so funny, Dad. Why can't I go to college? Because <laughs> I'm dumb as shit, and all I take all my financial advice from Twitter. Yeah. From people being ironic on Twitter. Yeah. And they're not going to get that money back. 
No. That sucks. Where did that go? How does that how does the stocks work? So it's just uh, gone? It's not stocks, it's currency. Well it's right? not gone. It's like imagine you it's like purchasing anything else. You have like property that you right you and it's own. worth this it's now. worth less yeah, it's yeah. like if i it's like if you spent a thousand dollars on a television it's like always going to depreciate in value that's true so if you spent you know ten thousand dollars on bitcoin and you now it's like worth nine thousand dollars i mean you just have x amount of bitcoin mm-hmm. nice damn bro stocks huh wild shit Yep. It's not stocks <laughs> yet again. <laughs> oh, fuck. I should have a I'm coffee. so fucking stupid. I don't know what I'm going to do. with. How, what do you invest in? How should, What should I invest in? Cometown, dude. And buy stocks in Cometown? You're just, you're already invested. You don't offer stocks. I am a corporation Should we? Now. Should we offer stocks? You guys should have a corporation. I will. Yeah, hard, I'm going to start a uh, Big one. Dick Enterprises. Yeah. yeah. Super hard cock. What's another word for enterprises? Uh, Industries. Yeah. Halkis Corp. Global. Global super integration, hard super dick. hard dick services. Yeah. About Sexon. Sexon. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Sexon gas. <laughs> Fuel the tiger inside. And you. the tiger's just hard as shit. No, it's like, it looks the same as the, the regular Exxon tiger, <laughs> but the tail is just a hu- long dick. <laughs> But it's coming out of his ass. Yeah, it's wow, out of where the cool. tail comes out. Yeah, of. that's awesome. You fuck someone with your butt. Whoa, uh, you yeah. have a fucking very long dick tail. Wow, <laughs> and then, you cool. gotta, and then in, plus you have a regular dick. I was in night school. Wow, like you're somebody, like a helicopter. Somebody was talking about what if they had two dicks, and there was this kid who was like, "Man, I'll because they were talking about having two dicks," and this kid was imagining. He's like, "Oh, I thought you were saying like you have one in the front, and one in the back." You know? <laughs> He's like, that'd be cool, man. You fuck two chicks at the same oh, time. Yeah. Be like, biggity, 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 biggity. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, I remember, I remember him making that, that biggity, 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 biggity. <laughs> biggity, biggity, oh, biggity, 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 God yeah. damn. God damn. Fuck, That's I'm so old. old as shit. Yeah, dude. It came on after the Super Bowl, the uh, Falcons and the Broncos. No. Yep. That was the first Get episode. the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I was that. in I seventh watching, grade, yeah, I, I remember think. watching the Super Bowl and then watching Family Guy after. I remember that Super Bowl. That's one of the first Super Bowl parties I went to. Yeah. It was this kid, Nick, who was my enemy. He fleeced me for Pokemon uh-huh. cards. He told me that... Uh, Japanese cards were m- worth more than American cards. I thought they were. So he just traded me a bunch of shitty Japanese cards. Oh, yeah. For like, I think I had like a... Uh, a Charizard? No, but I wanted a Charizard. He told me if you had enough Japanese ones, you get a you could, someone gives you a Charizard. Because you know everyone asshole. wanted that fucking Charizard. Yeah. And then he just took all my good shit. But, and now he's married with a kid and wife and he seems very happy. Well, he owes you money. How about... uh? Yeah, he Shartizard, like a Pokemon who's made out of shit. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. He evolves from Shartmander. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. And he then can we'll shoot sh- shit out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Instead yeah. of fire. He shits yeah. yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. And cool. the tip of his tail is... Uh, is a dick. Yeah, but it's, it's covered in dick. shit. Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. if it ever is not covered in shit, he dies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. If his dick is ever Is clean. that what happens to Charizard if yeah. he's not on fire, if he dies? Little, yeah, yeah, he dies. Mm-hmm. If he gets wet? No, if his tail goes out. If the flame on his tail goes out, he dies. So if the shit on Chartmander's cock. like that cock, from Speed. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember that episode of Pokemon where Sandra yeah. Bullock sucks off Charizard. I like the premise of that movie is that if like a bunch of people who have to ride the bus are about to die, that the police would do anything. Or <laughs> 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 this is what we call a freebie, yeah. boys. Pow. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they should figure it out, that out themselves. You know, that's not my problem. Now, if it was a limousine, <laughs> maybe we'd do something then. That's, that's a cool movie. How about a limousine? That's going to explode. That actually is a cool movie. Unless the world's most important millionaire stops getting his dick sucked. <laughs> <That's gotta> right. <laughs> exactly, because in the back it would just be a fun party. Yeah, the driver yeah, would yeah. have to deal with it. That'd be cool. Yeah, Speed 3, dick. Yeah. Then, yeah. It's like, if, <laughs> if you stop sucking my dick... <laughs> I'll explode. <laughs> Is it a certain speed they have to keep going? Uh, Yeah, I guess. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That would probably be tough on your neck. For a girl to suck a dick for two for like hours two of a hour, movie? Two hours, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. I guess at a certain point she could open her mouth and just Keanu could pump. They could well, take it doesn't turns. have to be a girl. I don't know why you would... Look, if You're it's right. a matter of life or death, You're I wouldn't right. trust some dumb man. woman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want someone with like a strong want, neck. Yeah. I want a, I'm a man that's to get true. the job done. You want Bill Goldberg. A Gary Busey type. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know? Wouldn't his teeth hinder his cock-sucking abilities, though? No. They would aid. They would assist. Uh-huh. Interesting. Because you, you also you gotta you gotta make sure you're not enjoying it. Because you, uh-huh. you don't want to bust. Well, you don't want to be gay. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. So, Gary, <laughs> Gary Busey's teeth make him feel. Oh, bad. interesting. He's skinning off a little part of your cock every single time. Yeah. Oh, and it so feels you, bad. Your cock needs to survive. The movie but then, too. what if? Can you stay hard though? What do you mean? If your dick hurts, I, don't know. Gary Busey I already forgot what we were talking about. Of course, <laughs> you can stay hard. You're getting your dick sucked. Yeah, but by Gary Busey with his no, big yeah, ass chomp. Ob- obviously, suck. you've never been molested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stay hard? No, dude. Oh man, fucking Blake has the funniest story. My friend, I don't want to like dox him or whatever. Sure, sure. My friend Blake, who I've mentioned on the show before, multiple he, times. It's very easy to find he, out who he is. He was he was molested, <laughs> and the guy, the guy who molested him, like. Was when he was a kid? Yeah, was like hovering over him on the couch, crying, and he couldn't get his dick hard, and he was like apologizing oh, to him. No, oh, no, dude. Fuck, man. Imagine being that guy. Yeah. You're fucking a child, and you can't get hard, and you're sad. <laughs> that is the fucking worst guy of all time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Normally, this kind of thing this doesn't, doesn't happen. happen to me. Yeah. Here's a couple extra Legos. I was going to give them to you as a, as a warning. Not to fucking tell Not your parents, mm-hmm. but this time. Yeah, I swear to God, if you tell anyone I can't get hard around kids, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to fucking kill you. Don't tell any of the other sexy little boys in your class I can't get hard. <laughs> I don't want my name getting ruined. Damn, that's a brutal one. But mm-hmm. the guys that molested you, they were always hard, Nick? I was I was not molested. You were sucked off, that's right. I was right. not molested. Adam, how about you? I was not molested, but Nick definitely was. I was not molested. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. I wouldn't say... I would say he's a survivor. Have you um, ever been at even close to... Has there been a weird situation as a child where you like... Because some kids like fuck other kids and shit yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. My cousin used to like try to fuck me nice. when we were kids. Nice. How old yeah. is your cousin? We were like, he's maybe six months. Oh right, right, right. We've talked about this. He'd yeah, always yeah. like try to play like, yeah, I'm the princess and you're Mario. And I'm like, right, I remember this. Can we just play video games or something? Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. Wanna, we don't. And have he to had play. a blonde wig. No, he didn't put a wig. He on. had a blonde wig and a pink dress on, mm-hmm. and he was holding his asshole open. Yeah. And he was like, "There's a mushroom in here, Adam." It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, kids like love showing each other their penis. I used to be like a flasher kid. Really? Yeah. See, I feel like I missed out on all that. Everyone sh- looked at little pussies and showed their little dick, and I was too scared to get in the mix. Well, I, I think I said this on the podcast before, but I used to, like, my parents used to put me to bed, like, and they'd have, like, dinner parties. Right, and I'd run right, downstairs right. And yeah, yell, show penis your... Penis party, penis right, party. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. And you'd show your penis to all the dinner guests? To all the adults, yeah. Mm-hmm. They thought it was hilarious. Yeah. It sounds yeah. like a real dinner for scoundrels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that movie's about. Yeah. It's, it's about, about Will Ferrell brings a bunch of child pornography <laughs> to a dinner at Jason Bateman's house. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of guys struggling to get hard we to watched, fuck kids. Nick and I watched the first 10 minutes of uh, Daddy's Home yeah. with Mark Wahlberg. That gets the come town seal of approval. Yeah. I gotta check it out. Based on the first 10 minutes. It had one genuinely very good laugh. Nice. Involving uh, Will Ferrell losing his ability to have children from having the dentist x-ray fall down on his penis. That's and a good bit. X-ray his penis. I bet Will made some good faces while that was happening. No, he was like, this kind of feels weird. Are you getting oh. everything? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I've been running through Dragon Ball Super, not Z. It's after Z. Oh, Dragon Ball mm-hmm. S? Dragon Ball Super. No, there's nothing after Z. That's the last letter. Yeah. No, bro. Dragon Ball Super. And no, then... after Z is one. No, they fight in a big tournament. For then, whoever loses, their universe gets erased. So, everyone has their own universe. Yep. It sounds kind of brutal. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but I've been. Rece- I'm back to my childhood, man. Watching Dragon Ball Z. I smoked a joint last night. Nice. Yeah. To the face. I rolled a joint and then smoked it. Yeah. And then I called the Time Life. I was watching an infomercial for some like. <laughs> 
10 CD collection. Oh, oh, yes. Those are still pumping? Yeah, they're still, <laughs> they're still going. out there. And they got this, like, they got a testimonial in there. It's First of all, it's all just, like, middle-aged, <laughs> like, black couples, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We, uh, entrepreneurs, you know? Yeah, yeah, Entrepreneur yeah. couples. Just the music we fell in love And, the, yeah, this is, like, yeah. they're holding each other, both, like, you know, the man's always wearing, like, a uh, sort of, like, a fluorescent purple button-down. Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. And, and there's this one guy... Linen. This one guy that goes, uh, and the whole thing's hosted by Peebo Bryson. <laughs> this moment, the guy goes, he's like, man, I was actually listening to it, and I was on the phone with one of my friends. My friend called, and he's like, man, what is, what is that in the background? What radio station is that? And I was like, man, that ain't no radio station. <laughs> you know how wait your friend was like paying attention for multiple songs yeah, you're yeah. calling him you're calling him it's like, a half hour conversation your, your friend's just blown away that you would have the ability to choose what music you <laughs> yeah. listen to your friends from before the era of like home recording yeah. <laughs> you have access to yeah. He's like, man, it's called, it's called a songs. compact disc. Yeah, <laughs> yeah com compact disc. C O N P A A C T D I C S. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God damn. Salute to anyone who's still buying CDs. Truly the fucking weird little middle. What are like in the, the middle. You called them? I called, like, I, yeah, I was high <laughs> as shit and like. What was it for, like the oldies or something? That's no, what no, it was, it was like they were like, "Hi, how can I help?" There's like some woman. She's like, "Hi, how can I help you?" And I was like, "Well," and she was like, "Can I get your full name?" I'm like, "Well, I don't know if I want to buy anything yet." I was like, "Can you tell me?" I'm like watching this thing with Peebo Bryson, and it's got ten <laughs> CDs and. This is 144 songs. She's like, okay, and she like knew I was already like immediately. She knew fucking I was with you. Yeah, yeah, I bet you that's forty, like eighty percent of the calls, of the calls they get. And yeah. I was like, can you tell me what songs are on? The album, so I can just make a Spotify playlist. <laughs> she was like, "No, if you want to know what how, what songs are on there, you can purchase the CDs." I'm like, "Yeah, I don't want to know if I want to spend two hundred dollars on." <laughs> that's how much they cost, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like, she, I was like, "That was like, that's a lot of money." She's like, "Well, that's why we have like a, a monthly payment plan." I'm like, "Well, yeah, obviously I can finance the CDs." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a fucking. She was like, "I know what you're doing." She's like, if you can't help, if you if there's nothing else you need, I'm gonna have to move on. <laughs> you should have given her a fake credit she card. She hung up on me. She was like, this is the worst prank call ever. <laughs> <laughs> she hung up on me. Uh, dude, they're just preying on poor old black people. Yeah, right. For that one. How you doing? My name is Sharice, and I'd like to place a little two a.m. order for the ten <laughs> CD collection. Um. I'm on my lunch break right now. That's what I call when I go home and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all, they're all different types of lunch breaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Man. My name is Eunice, and I would like to place an order for the 35 CD collection. The Def Leppard Anthology? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I don't want the Peebo Bryson stuff. I'm more into like the heavy metal kind of psycho stuff. You know? <laughs> because I'm crazy. <laughs> I love the Joker. <laughs> and I want to kill myself. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I want that lady wearing fucking Jinkos and like... I was laughing yesterday about like a pastor, you know, who had just seen Dark Knight. Mm -hmm. And then he's like giving a sermon the next day. And he's like, friends, I'll tell you that I last night went to see the film The Dark Knight, the second <laughs> of the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. And at first I was alarmed by the Joker character. <laughs> but then I came to realize that the Joker character represents our Lord and Savior, Jesus. <laughs> and I thought more about him and how much we can learn from the Joker in our own personal lives and approaching things with such a, a more of a why so serious mentality. <laughs> 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 like Hell the pastor yeah. that's like, mm -hmm. you know, wearing Joker makeup. And, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, I just I identify with him, you know, and I know a lot of you who have been in this congregation for a while are thinking like, how is this different from your nightmare before Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> when you told us all that you were the pumpkin king jackson <laughs> oh hell yeah dude just goth past just a past <laughs> yeah 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 a hot topic old ass man yeah. every new thing he just hops on board with <laughs> yeah that'd be a fun character what are some other some mike he probably had yeah. a my chemical romance phase yeah 
Invader mm-hmm. Zim. Serve your serve your country. Serve your family. Serve God. Bazinga. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you, all of you are laughing because I'm different, but I'm laughing because you're all the same. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as we say our prayers before bed at night, dear Lord, thank you for all that you blessed me with and my family, and please protect me from the clowns so they don't eat me while I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank the original Penguin of Doom himself, <laughs> Mr. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> Fuck, there was one I can't remember about voices in his in their head. Oh yeah, what, is what was that, that one? <laughs> oh god, it's a really good. That one. was voices a really good time head, for novelty. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say I'm normal. Nah, is whatever, that what man. it is? Something like that. That's something so like that. Good. I remember my friends used to uh, shoplift from uh, Hot Topic, uh-huh. um, and they would try and sell. They would try to sell it to the white kids, but they would. They didn't know my friend Paul, uh, an African American gentleman. He didn't know what bands he was getting. So sometimes they were just butt cheek bands. They weren't good. But they then were bad bands. Other times he came through with fucking a little Marilyn Sabbath. No, no, nah, 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 dude. That was this was during my long hair. Playing, the, taking guitar lessons, when you're a classic rocker. rock days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This is when I was fucking playing the beginning you took guitar lessons. Oh yeah, I Did took you guitar lessons. Good at it? No, not at all. I too, my fingers are too fat, and I don't. I lack the discipline. Yeah, we yeah. should jam sometime, dude. <laughs> yeah, Seriously. yeah, yeah. Me and my brothers could play. My Let's brother get the got a ska band back. Would together. you? Would you? A lot get of people upset? don't know that we Sucks. were in a ska band for fifteen yep. years before we started. This we we're called the Upstrokes. Successful journalism podcast. <laughs> That's right. That's why the 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 there's a musicality to this podcast. Mm-hmm. You know, I what listened I mean? to ska the other day, dude. I, well, I just listened to one song that I, I've. Do you know what I'm? I'm my new thing about. is ditch the ska, get into spa. You know, <laughs> okay. No more mighty mighty boss tones. Let's put those rocks on our back. That's good. Let's get yep. some some smooth skinned Asian woman to place rocks mm-hmm. on her back. Uh huh. Take those fucking Vans checkerboard slip ons, throw them in the fucking trash. Throw them in yeah. the garbage. Get dude. some paper fucking get some flip fucking flops. Get some fucking aroma therapy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> get a, a goddamn mud mass. Uh-huh. <laughs> Breast section? No fucking thank you. Mm. More like section of my cock getting jerked off during I, a happy ending. I used to. Spa. I used to be really into ska. Yeah. My first concert was ska. Me what too. was it? The Bonefish. It was the Aquabats. The Aquabats yeah. is that ska? Yeah. Uh, it was the band Travis Barker used to be in before he went to Blink One. I didn't know he had a band before that. Yeah, they like wore like costumes like uh, superheroes. It was pretty gay. In <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, we were describing sucks my dick. They sang songs about like pizza parties. And- <laughs> oh, so this was a. Uh- Pizzagate band. Yeah, it was <laughs> right. kind of a Pizzagate oh, band. I, I, did you see that New York Times article about Brock Brock Pierce, the uh, one of the guys from that uh, that company that you know you watched Open Secret, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so Brock Pierce. Oh yeah, yeah. Guys, okay. Yeah. He's moved to Puerto Rico and like is starting a company like a crypto. He's like, oh, awesome. Brock Pierce is the Mighty Ducks kid, right? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, starting some company that they called like Port Portopia, like but spelled like Puerto Rico, like P U R E. And so and then somebody told them that that translates in Latin to Eternal Boy Paradise. That's incredible. And he's like a pedophile. He's like, right. That yeah. is so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, you know, he was raped in. You know, that rules. Yeah, yeah. sexton. Sex he was sexton. Whoa. It was con- that a fucking a man, a man of the cloth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they sexed him. In. <laughs> God damn that fucking rules. Wait, so rules. what does the company do? It fucks boys. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all like crypto related. No, nah, he's he's creating a community where like everything is done with crypto and all contracts are public. And wow, what a great time to do that. Yeah, my friend. Uh, that I've brought up a bunch of times. The picture, on the show the picture of him in the article is like he, he's dressed like Willy Wonka. He's dressed like awesome. All, he's dressed like every single one of Johnny Depp's characters. <laughs> oh God, Lone Ranger, fucking. Oh, uh, I forgot. He was Tonto in that. Yeah, got the feathers. Yeah, yeah. He's dressed mm-hmm. like that. He's dressed like Jack. Uh, what's his face? Rip Sparrow? Skeleton. Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Yeah, Jack Skeleton. <laughs> Jack Skeleton. <laughs> Friends, I've recently seen the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. And I know you're saying, Pastor Douglas, is that you? Well, no, I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. 
Now, you would think the Lord would frown on eye makeup and a top hat, but <laughs> I find it to be quite comfortable. <laughs> Why so serious? <laughs> what was your uh, ska band that you went to I for went the to first the time? Boston. It wasn't my decision. It was my friend's birthday. So Nice. Yeah. My friend's 13th birthday. Ooh. And then I saw my second concert was the ska concert for this band, the Toasters, who were like legends. They were like older guys. Nice. And then I saw a teacher of mine wearing like a full oh. suit fedora like skanking no yeah. that sucks i thought it was pretty cool at you, the time you thought he was a yeah. cool teacher he yeah. was mormon you know he's probably oh, a yeah. pedophile That's he probably was there. maybe so, but so yeah. shine on the young boys who just want to see a, a grown man skank <laughs> what's skanking exactly it's a dumb it's dance it's a dance that they do to ska the ska uh, dance. Do they, they throw do. their hands and it's sort of like a, you just like throw your leg, you kick yeah, your leg. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah. a kind of a can. I think can I've seen kind of Ian move. do it. Yeah, yeah, Ian was in a ska band. Of course, we've talked about this. Sock yeah, full yeah. of penis. Yeah, Ian's a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> Sock full of penis, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, weird. a fucking concert though for your thirteenth birthday. That's going all out. Yeah, I remember one birthday. I took the boys, Pete, Eld- Pete who now lives with me, Eldis who lives with me, a couple other boys. We went out and checked out Spice World, the movie, <laughs> the movie for my birthday, baby. I think I was ten or eleven. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was big into. It. And by the I way, thought Spice Girls were for girls at the time. Well, I had a cousin. I had a girl cousin who kind of like set the set yeah. the taste for the whole i was very into yeah. boy bands as a as a youth oh i thought that was for gays and yep. girls. Mm-hmm. yeah well you know I th- it was very melodic music yeah. and uh by the way there's a uh picture of the spice girls going around <laughs> present day my roommate joe stats and i and they're looking with him. good one night i came home and he had just passed out drunk to like the music choice comcast channel mm-hmm. for like yeah like channel 999 yeah, or whatever. For, for like baby lullaby music <laughs> <laughs> he's just all fucked up on the couch and it's like bling, 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 that kind of rocks yeah. I bet that is so relaxing twinkle twinkle little star yeah. <laughs> I bet that shit rules dude yeah that shit, it was funny it was a funny sight to see yeah. <laughs> I just fucking yeah we used to, I used to use his Netflix account and it was back when like you just had the queue uh-huh. and then you'd have to search for things and then add them to the queue and then you'd watch things from oh, the right. queue it yes I remember like, that it wasn't where you could like just look through all yes. the shit and one night I got drunk as shit and fucking me and Cubis added like every single gay movie. Like, <laughs> and then, oh, and then, yeah. And then, and then every every like <laughs> movie for babies. So like the Barney's Learning Adventure movie. Yeah. <laughs> Just like because you have to go and delete all of those one, one, by, yeah. one by fucking one. <laughs> So yeah. like we put like 50 movies on there that just, and it destroys your suggested titles. <laughs> right, and, right, right. and then fucking, it's, you know, stats is like, I just love the idea that there's like a gay guy that watches <laughs> <laughs> nothing but gay guy movies and <laughs> stuff for babies. Yeah, dude. I he literally watch por- Barney because he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy from Portatopia or whatever yeah, the fuck. Yeah. That's what gay Rock pedophiles. Pierce, dude. When when me and uh, that girl broke up, I was like on my sister's floor. What do you mean floor. that girl? You mean Dasha? No, Joyce. So um, oh, yeah. Dasha broke when up. When we broke up, sucks, I was man. on my sleep. She, I woke up on my sister's floor the next day. Because she's dating a guy with a cuter dog. That's not true, dude. Because she's not dog, dating me because the dog. She's dating dog, me because she's in love with no, me. No, because your dog stopped working. <laughs> my dog didn't stop working. She's my dating dog somebody that functioned. has a pet sable. <laughs> that would be cool. That'd be a little muskrat. Cool. Fuck. No, yeah. fuck muskrats. A guy that's got a whole muskrat then. <laughs> that sounds horrible, dude. <laughs> fuck muskrats. Yeah, I got 35 muskrats, dude. Yo, fuck that video that rat I put wax. It wasn't a rat. What was it? Some sort of South American animal. I don't give a fuck what oh, it is. So it sucked. You. I got mad at that. <laughs> South American animal? Do you mean a Puerto Rican rattlesnake? Yeah. <laughs> Which is no, technically it, incorrect because Puerto Rico is not in South America and snakes aren't animals. <laughs> snakes are reptiles. Snakes are animals. No, they're reptiles. Reptiles are kind of animals. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not, dude. They're not in the animals. Animals are kingdom. only creatures that lay Somebody, eggs. Oh, okay. Those <laughs> no, are that reptiles. Makes sense. <laughs> Someone tried to no, tell me that... Birds? What? The lettuce was the term for all leafy greens. Yeah. That it was like, uh, she, uh, she was like, yeah, I'm going to get some lettuce in my omelet. I was like, ugh, lettuce. She was like, well, spinach. It's like, that's not the lettuce is no, fucking. No, it's not a lettuce. Lettuce sucks. First of all, lettuce sucks my dick, dude. Yeah. Who the fuck likes, it's just, 
There's no flavor. There's no nutrients. I like lettuce on a burger. Nah, dude. I like lettuce in a wrap to fill it up. Give it no. Some. Put, like put a, spinach in there over lettuce. I like a mescaline, you know, mix. A mescaline with like bl- blend? Of, yeah. The dark one. A little ones. arugula every once in a while. A little bitterness. A little bit of arugula. A little bit of the purple joints. The purples. Yeah. Yes. Red bib lettuce. You fuck with bib lettuce? Uh, yeah, the buttery bib lettuce is good on burgers. Buttery bib lettuce. What is it called? Boston that sounds good, butter dude. something. Triple Boston B's. beans. Bean Town. Bean, Bean Town. And with that, we're going to take a quick break <laughs> so I can get a coffee because I'm about to pass the fuck out and I have spots all night long. Nice. And we'll be back for we're, the second half of the show. There's no ad. If, you get, if you're already getting mad and typing an angry comment about ads being on the premium episodes, that's not what's happening. We're taking a regular fucking break so I can yeah, just get a coffee. Yeah, suck my nuts. We'll be back in a second. Bitch. I'll tell you to shut up if I have to tell you to shut up. Bitch. Hold on. Wait. Is this recording? Are we recording? Yeah, it's recording. Nice. Um, I would never say shut up to you. Hold the fucking mic close to your mouth. Sorry. Yeah. Let's get some levels. Check. There's levels. Yeah, it's working. All right, we're good. How's your coffee that I made you? Shut up. (laughs) Don't tell me to shut up. (laughs) Ah, man, I love drinking coffee. (laughs) Anyways... um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we took a break here, and we, we, we want to tell you about a new plan we have. Uh, mm-hmm. So, I don't mm-hmm. know if you've seen the videos. I, I've seen a couple of, like, flyers around town that's, like, you take a number for whatever reason, but it's, like, that you know, we're sense. trying to make m- raise money to send black kids to go see Black Panther. So, that's why right. would you take a number for that? Yeah, I don't know. Is it you a call the number counter? and then give them your credit card information, oh, I guess. okay. You just... T- Copy the number down yeah. from the sign. Anyway, so I don't have the energy to fucking do it, but if you, if any one of you wants to go and make an inspirational video where you uh, pirate a bunch of pirate torrent the new just Black get Panther a movie, yeah. yeah, just get a screener and then make a bunch of copies and hand out the copies for free to black kids because the most important thing is that mm-hmm. they see the movie. That's mm-hmm. right. It's not that you know Marvel makes money. Mm-mm. That's that's no. not that's not why there's all this media attention being paid <laughs> no. to the Black Panther movie. It's certainly not just a pandering ploy to exploit ba- Black History Month to make mm-hmm. money for a movie studio. It's just important that these kids get representation. It, absolutely. You know on the big screen. So mm-hmm. make sure that yeah, you you find any way to just get the movie to these kids, preferably by stealing it. Mm -hmm. absolutely see i'm not gonna steal it because for me going to see the black panther is all about what you wear to go see the black oh yeah Yeah. yes you got your you got your purple carpet outfit ready i'm gonna get my purple carpet outfit (laughs) yeah real real right but they do this every time remember they did this with training day they were like we need to get these black kindergartners (laughs) 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 yep 12 years of slave yeah (laughs) they made all those those yep Babies, mm-hmm. those um, black babies, see black Ellie? snake moan. They yeah. did that with black <laughs> snake moan. Yeah, they were like, well, These kids need to see this movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember it was big for me as a child when um, the Willy Wonka movie mm-hmm. came out and they made us all the fat kids. They showed us the part where Augustus, Augustus Gloop yeah. <laughs> becomes big as fuck, turns into a blueberry. So that no, was big for me. That's Violet or whatever, man. I don't give a fuck. Augustus Gloop falls in the river. Whatever, man. Who cares? Of chocolate. Hell the yeah. bit works Speaking either of, way. I'm eating all of your Tate's cookies. Damn, I'm Come about to get on, another man. Tate's actually. I'm jealous. Oh, God damn. I'm a lot more a nice warm cookie dipped in chocolate or uh, coffee. Coffee. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. You know what I love more than that? I feel like I'm in France. <laughs> Is that what they do all day? They just eat cookies oui. and dip them in coffee? Eh oui. Oui, oui. oui. Cigs. Well, as a man who went to France this uh, summer. Je suis, je suis blas cigs. <laughs> je, je suis je blas suis... cigs. Uh, je suis... <laughs> J'aime le cookie. <laughs> J'aime le poussi. J'aime manger le poussi. Mm. Manger le poussi. Adam. Mon frère, mon frère. Eh, 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 mette tu pinois dans euh, mon bouche. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oui, oui, mon gay frère. Uh, eh, Adam, il est une faguette. Oh, uh, uh, you mean a long bread. A long bread, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are, yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a, uh, it's a baguette someone puts in their ass. A baguette, <laughs> a a, baguette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've, I've said that on the show before. Really? Oh. I think so. Nice. I mean, probably. Hey, man. Sounds like it. All I know is that's a good bit. Whoever did it. Yeah. God you damn, know. man. Tate's cookies are so good. They really fucking are. I haven't, I haven't so had crispy. desserts in a while, and I figured I might as well cave tonight, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm you've not going to be sleeping. Been, yeah. I've been yeah. Pretty Why aren't you sleeping? Now, you know what I'm doing? I'm trying to just keep my weight in like a five-pound window, so... It's been pretty stable. I feel like I can go a little overboard, and then once it hits, again like a 
a couple, I know that's not how a couple pound works. Yeah, because yeah, it's all water weight, anyways. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But you should go uh, to the Schwitz. Let's call. Let's call this a cheat day. Okay. Yeah. I have seventeen cookies. So that's just a cheat. One meal. cheat day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I. Uh, this might not come as a surprise to many people, but uh, you're off the wagon. I'm off the wagon. Uh, you know, I've been. Do you doing want to talk about your medical issue on the show? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I. Uh, I went to. I went to go get my fucked up tooth fixed, and then I go yeah. to the. Fu- I get an X ray. And the fucking dentist is like, whoa, whoa, we're not dealing with your tooth. You got some shit that's fucked up. And he points to something, like a growth in my jaw. And he's like, you got to go to a fucking surgeon today or tomorrow. And I was like, Jesus Christ, I thought I was going to fucking die. Mm-hmm. So I just spent a whole day just fucking panicking. I make an appointment Can to you go. feel it? I can't feel shit. I don't know what the fuck it is. It just feels like a regular It just jaw. feels like my, yeah. You touch the other side of your jaw. It feels, feels the exactly same. the same. And even yeah. he examined it and it felt the same. But he was freaking out. The first dentist was freaking the fuck out. So I thought I was going to fucking die, dude. That's I thought I was going to get that Roger, that fucking Ebert fucked up, no jaw Talk face type shit. Talk with a computer. Shit. Talk with a computer. Although that would be pretty cool. Yeah. You just have the Stavbot. Sack my yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be cool, actually. Yeah, Stavbot's already. I I'm saved kinda... my friend by writing software. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but I went to an oral surgeon, and he took. We should replace Stephen Hawking's machine with the stop box. Yeah. <laughs> Black holes are gay. Yeah. Um, or they're good. <laughs> or they have big dicks. <laughs> Those are the two. Black holes have big dicks. <laughs> um, uh, and then he sent me to a fucking oral surgeon, and he was much less freaked out. But I took a 3D X-ray. And the motherfucker is in Florida on vacation, so I'm not going to find out if I'm going to die or not for a week. So to cope with that, I have been eating like absolute dog shit. I've been getting drunk. I've been mm-hmm. taking pills. Mm-hmm. I've, been, I've been smoking weed. Stop what if they come that? back and they're like, no, there's just an Oreo in your cheek. <laughs> <laughs> You've missed. There's a series of, of Mike and Ike's buildup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe me and Adam were saying, though, it would be nice if you had some kind of like just easy cancer. You know, you got to do chemo or whatever. Yeah. But it's not like yeah, you're going to lose your hair. Easy cancer yeah. would be great. Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah, fuck, you would have beautiful an hair. hair. You, would ex- yeah, you have an excuse to be bald. Well, I do. I'm not bald, but yeah, yeah. you're right. That and would be brutal. That would be tough. Maybe it would be the kick in your ass you need to finally like turn your life around i definitely wouldn't turn my life around but an easy cancer would be fine yeah because you get all this sympathy for having easy yeah, yeah, cancer yeah. you have a lot of sex from that definitely uh you know that would be nice i guess you get sucked off for having cancer. i remember i remember one kid in college got like this the most the easiest type of cancer and then mm-hmm. everyone treated him like a he kept Hodge calling himself like john's john's hopkins and john's 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 hopkins john's hopkins hopkins hopkins. Yeah. or is it non-hodgkins which is it's non john's Long John, Silver's, John Silver's Long John Silver's Long John. I have Hopkins. Long John Silver's Sloan, lymphoma. Sloan <laughs> and there's, yeah, there's regular Hop Johns Hopkins fem femloma. <laughs> so he had that one, the and kid, he just kept dying. He kept saying cancer. he was a fucking. He kept saying he was a cancer survivor, but it's like. I mean, come on, yeah. bro. You have health insurance. That's like my That's grandfather not that who left before the yeah. Holocaust, calling himself as a exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm, they're probably gonna have to slice up my fucking jaw. Jo- I, I don't know. We'll see what this. Th- what is it like Jesus on the Christ. bone or what? Yeah, it's some weird fucked up growth on my jaw. What does and, it look uh, like? I can't. I couldn't tell. It's just like two lines on my shit. Like I didn't. I didn't see shit. And then the dentist was like, "Whoa, what the fuck?" Like he wouldn't even. Imagine how fucked up it would something would have to look to a dentist to ignore my horrible front tooth. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He wouldn't even. He wouldn't even look at that shit. But the oral surgeon was much less freaked out. So, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe you broke your jaw eating Korean barbecue. Yeah. It's true. I'm going back for my birthday. Do you don't remember? You could have broken your jaw at some point, just not. It's true. He said it could have been a fuck. He was like, did you have any dental stuff done? I don't remember any of that. He said, you know. Did you ever get punched in the face? I've been in a couple fights when I was younger. I played football. I don't know. I've got, I've taken a lot of fucking hits to the head. I have had a couple concussions. You have CTE. I probably have CTE. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna dude. fucking kill myself and keep the my child brain. Touching experience. <laughs> child touching experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you play football, you get to fuck one kid for every football year yeah. you play. The Make a Wish kid that wants to meet you. That's right. Yeah. Ain't nothing in this world free. Yeah. You gotta learn that the hard way. That, that'd be a great story for America. Is a story about a man that. Worked at the Make a Wish Foundation that was raping the children. I mean, isn't that what they said Michael Jackson was doing? Yeah, and he was like fucking cancer kids. Sick kids. Oh, was yeah. he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, I don't think I don't think he fucked them. I think he just slept in the same bed. Bro, he sucked those little nice. kids off. I don't think he fucked them. Yeah. yeah, but you're basing that on what? On do you think the on chemo- I, I think that Michael Jackson had a had a, a arrested development like. 
Shut the fuck stuck up. in childhood kind of thing, and I think that he just liked snuggling with kids. Yeah. I don't think it's that's what happens. That's what happens when you have a fucked up childhood. Yeah. Of course, I you love You just want to snuggle them. Of course, I love having sex with children. <laughs> I think he wants. But when I say sex, I mean playing video games. <laughs> I say everybody should love to have this. I mean, I don't want to say fuck a child, but <laughs> to feel the love of a child, <laughs> to feel the loving way a child just sort of embraces Him on, you. No, <laughs> takes you into their mouth. You're, you're a Michael Jackson didn't fuck kids guy. We didn't deserve him and his talent. Look, he's a as great a society. He's a we great destroyed singer him. or whatever. But I'm not making fun of him. I'm doing Bruno Giordano. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Bruno Giordano here for molesting children. I don't um, think he. I don't think he fucked the kids. He definitely fucked kids. But whatever. what do you guys think? Is Bruno Giordano the greatest artist of all? Mm-hmm. I think I was, it's I a combination the, of the two best artists of all time. I was sitting at the stand last night, and the comics at the comics table were debating whether Bruno Mars was the greatest male artist of, of, of like right now. Okay, and it's like I could not have less of an opinion. Who on cares? Yeah. yeah, he makes yeah. good music, but I mean, whatever. Who, I don't. I don't understand people who give a shit about popular music. Yeah, I still, I still don't understand that like weird type of like the main intellectualizing is, about popular right, right, yeah, like right, guys right. that like Carly Rae Jepsen and stuff yeah like that's that kind big of shit, people dude. love her I mean she's good but like Brooklyn guys yeah, are yeah, like, that's a big thing so it's like actually Carly Rae Jepsen music. yeah so I know this you is mean. actually really smart music and it's not about like like uh kissing I like boy. you I want to kiss you you know hold my hand <laughs> but no you're right Nick people are like writing think pieces about that shit and like yeah, using much too much too big of words to yeah, describe dude. songs. Big about. words can suck my dick. <laughs> dude, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, go on record and say that. Hell yeah, cosine to the fullest degree. If you're a big man. word, I'm gonna fuck your ass <laughs> up. Dude. If I see you, if I'm there's crossing a, your ass out. If there's you a better not appear. In if there's the funny a pages, if the only there's part a, of the newspaper I read. Hell yeah, dude. If Garfield gets up to anything lackadaisical. Uh, you know what I'm oh, yeah. My man's getting his shit crossed the fuck off. Yeah. All I know is if there's an O or an A or any B, maybe a B, that hole in the Just middle. Just those letters. If there's if a those hole letters in that, are in a word. <laughs> if there's, yeah, in a big word, if you have a yeah. letter with a hole in it, I'm going to fuck it. That's what I'm saying. Wait, there are a lot of short words with O's. But I'm, I'm not talking about those. I'm talking You're about talking big about words. talking about big ones. Yeah, you know, you're talking about like if you highfalutin. If I see that, let's just think of some long words. Highfalutin, yeah, highfalutin classic big yeah. word. That's a big yeah. word. SAT word. Highfalutin. Uh, juxtaposition. People yeah. Oh, I'm fucking that. Oh, that word to sound I'm sexy. putting the, the juxtaposition. That's where you like you pull your penis through the jinkos. Yeah, you have sex. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so you Actually, unzip the jinkos. You know what? You leave them on to have sex. That's the juxtaposition. Now, that's when you can't that get a girl's bra cool. off and you get no. her tits over. You position. It's yeah. jugs of position. Uh, you position them to suck. The them. juxtaposition. That's when Jake Busey fucks a girl. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know either, yeah. but it feels right. Sometimes I just let my mind, you know, let it go for a stroll. I just do art. Yeah, bro, you don't have to tell me. I'm a damn artist myself. Yeah, yeah, I'm an aspiring artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll get there one day, man. Thanks, bro. Man, I was listening to it. My friend called me. He's like, "Man, what? What are you listening? <laughs> what radio station is that?" <laughs> I was like, "Man, it ain't no damn radio station." <laughs> uh, I was what telling- radio station are you listening to in your home in the year 2017? <laughs> mm-hmm. Me and my friend, we were talking on Bluetooth. By the way. <laughs> Yo, I was uh, there was a I was in a fucking lift or whatever, and uh-huh. the guy ha- was playing Migos in his car, but he was listening to Pakistani or some shit music in his Bluetooth. Cool, and I respected mm-hmm. that move, man. That's yeah. a hard dick move right there. He I knows how to get like those five African stars. African jazz that some of the African guys. Listen yeah, to. the like Ethiopian shit. Yeah, yeah it's they really They got some pretty. good. They got yeah. some good shit. Uh, yeah, I forgot the word for Amharic music. Or yeah, something. Adam's Amharic. Like, Adam's like, Amharic I really dick. like this. What is it? And this driver's like, Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Do not no. ever ask me what I'm listening to. The guys in D.C., there were a lot more Ethiopians. They'd listen to that all yeah. the time mm-hmm. in caps. They got, Ethiopia's got some good bangers, dude. They How do, about dude. Beat the Ophians? Mm-hmm. I'm from Beat the Beat the Ophia. Yep. It's like Ethiopia, but just about Everyone off. beats off? Yeah. Ethiopia like is cool because everyone's uh, Rasta, right? Everyone looks the same. Everyone yeah. like, I can they tell. All look, they, all do, they all have the same face. <laughs> they do no, have the same face. True. For, they for all, real. They, they, are, they really do, they're man. Beautiful. <laughs> they're beautiful people. But that's my thing they is... They look really good. Here's what I'm saying. We have made progress in our society the, I because... I mean, Ethiopian, Ethiopian old people women think, are hot as shit. And they so definitely are. like 10 of them and you're like, oh, this is just the same bitch over and over. But that's fine. I don't care. Come on. The same hostess... The same twin... Twinkie looks the same. I want to eat every delicious. single one. Yeah. yeah. 
But I think it's progress they're because like, our fathers thought all black people looked alike, but we think all Ethiopians look alike, and maybe our sons and daughters. You know Ethiopians all do have like the same. Exact I know, bone but I'm structure. saying I think yeah, yeah. that's our. And they're all slim and tall. No, I had a fa- and they have big I, no, no, eyes. My roommate Ephraim, <laughs> that was his yeah, real yeah. name in college. He was Ethiopian. He was fat as shit, and he had I, a sexy Ethiopian girlfriend. I was friends with. Salute to Ephraim if you're out there. I'm glad you're fucking her, your sexy girlfriend who had the same face I as you. I bet you if you saw Ephraim again, you wouldn't be sure if it was him. For sure I wouldn't. Yeah. It could I be mean, any Ethiopian man. 100%. Yeah. Eritrean, too. Well, yeah. They're they a little look, different. They look kind of similar. They're Eritreans, basically right next to each other. But I feel like, yeah, they're a little different. A little, little different flavor. Um, yeah. And that flavor. I was friends with a guy um, in high school, get at you, an Ethiopian kid, who taught me like... Get at you? Yeah. He, I... Stole his bit for the rest of my life, which is like mm, interesting. Acting like you're about to kiss a girl on the hand, like, uh, but then you kiss your own hand. That's good. He you stole a that. guy's bit, huh? Yeah, yeah, I stole that. Wow. From him. Maybe that's. But something. he was the first guy I ever saw do that. I was like, that's. Is he the first guy you ever stole a bit from? And then you got addicted to the rush. Yeah, it felt incredible. So it's because of him. I felt like I was flying. <laughs> yeah. Felt so good. <laughs> that's a good move. He probably um, fucked way more than you, though. I don't think he fucked much, but he did burn me uh, Kanye West a college dropout. That's nice of him. Which was very nice of him. Maybe you can burn some copies of Black Panther for my... And hand them out to children. Yeah, for my, my brilliant speak em up campaign. <laughs> speak em up? My fucking ad busters campaign to really stick it to Marvel. Suck our dicks, Marvel. Yeah. Is that even a Marvel movie? Yeah, it is, I think. How about yeah. this? Carvel movies. Oh, fuck. I'm already on board. Oh, wow. Yeah. Stop. I want to know what's up with that little whale, dude. <laughs> Give me the backstory on the whale from Carvel. The Carvel whale? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we see the whale from that story from the Bible where the guy goes in the Jonah? whale. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. And then somebody fucks his wife or something while uh-huh. he's gone. You think he beat off in that inside? For thing? sure. That, that's that, the whale? that whale's I tongue. Off, uh, I was, I was three, four times a day. If I was a whale and somebody was like just nutting and <laughs> inside, inside your stomach. Just yeah. staying there. Yeah. Damn, boot. You're he's shitting in there? Dude. He's shitting and pissing he's and nutting? dumps. Did he have a candle in there or something? Or was it just probably. dark? He was just inside of a dark whale. You could probably see through the gl- blowhole. Oh, it's like a skylight. Nice. A skylight. Nice. Nice. You never you <laughs> fuck though. What was Jonah's whole thing? God was testing him. Yeah, it's always a test with that guy. Fucking God. I would be so fucking pissed Who if I was living Noah? in a whale. Darren Aronofsky. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where oh, he's the one wearing, with Russell Crowe. Yeah, where yeah. he's wearing jeans the whole time. Where Noah, Noah knows karate. <laughs> yeah, he does karate. And he's wearing jeans. <laughs> That's a very funny rocks, movie. Dude. Yeah, it's yeah. very funny. I remember I was doing a bit about it when it came out. That rocks my cock. The yeah, Russell Crowe movie. Yeah. How about oh, Bustle told- Crow? Bustle <laughs> Crow, yeah, that's cool. Are you not entertained? <laughs> he's just covered in cum. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's, he, goes, they, he becomes the world's most famous gladiator because he goes out there and he just busts huge nuts. Mm, hell yes, that's his finishing move. Maximus Nuttius. <laughs> <laughs> Father <laughs> to a slain son. Husband <laughs> to a murdered wife. Maximus Nuttius. Hard dickius. I know I will have hard Are dickius. Are you not getting brained? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thanks, man. Uh, uh, I was telling Nick the other night, but I didn't tell you stop. I went to the Apple store. Nice. And it was like pandemonium. But um, Why? Because it was just like everyone's trying to get a new battery for their phone because that like uh-huh. class action lawsuit. Yes, yes. Of I was course. there and then there was a girl crying because she lost all this shit on her computer and it was just mm-hmm. very intense. And there was like this fucking Willy Wonka like aesthetic hipster guy. Yeah. Like wearing like a velvet blazer and okay. like stupid curly mustache that mm. was just being a complete obnoxious. He was like saying like. Oh yeah, I can wait. Yeah, I got all the time in the world. He was like one of those oh, kind of guys. Oh yeah, yeah. But then I was like really stressed. Which, out by the being way, he there. does. Yeah, yeah. That he guy has does. nothing to do. His parents paid for everything. He just groom his mustache. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But the funniest part of it was that you know they have those classes at the Apple Store. Oh yeah, where so, you learn how to like yeah, use yeah. Pages or whatever. Yeah, so the bitch ass software. This lady was like, hey, "Man, the bitch ass software makes this podcast possible." Yeah, thank really? you, Apple, and viewers and like Tim, you. The, and yes. viewers at home like you. <laughs> so like the les- and viewers at home like you. <laughs> <laughs> the like lesbian kind of. Thanks to all the viewers. Genius. <laughs> Genius bar teacher lady was like, all right, we're going to learn how to 
how to do sketching on your iPad Pro. So awesome. if anyone wants an iPad Pro, Apple Pencil, they're in the front and there's like this black lady who's clearly been there all day just to hang out. And she's like, oh yeah, I, I think I want to have one of them. Let me get one of them. Awesome. Yeah, she's like takes all the classes Why'd at you the do Apple like gay store? guy voice for the black lady? Uh, that's, isn't no, there just, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. What are you doing right now? Oh, this voice? Yeah. Whoa, this you're nailing it. gay black lady That's the voice? gayest voice I've ever heard in my life, dude. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Nick, yeah. isn't that incredible? Yeah. Yeah, let I me close. get one of them Apple pants. No, no, you lost it there. Try it again. Yeah. Um, Whoa, there it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're perfect. Yeah. Let me get one. Say it. You want me to do it again? You're, you're doing it right now. Just say. Do you believe in life <laughs> after love? <laughs> Still pretty gay. Okay, go ahead. Um, yeah, what's happening? I was like laughing at that story about Rose McGowan and that trans woman. That got what happened? Into it. You know what ended up speaking, happening? Shut up. She was speaking <laughs> at an event and fucking uh, this trans woman comes out and she's like, let's talk about what you said on X, you know, so-and-so podcast a year ago when you said that trans people uh, aren't really, they don't have the same experiences as, as women so that they can't, they shouldn't speak, and you know, on women's issues or whatever. And uh, Rose McGowan's like, that's not what I said. And she's like, yes, it is what you said. And she's like, you know, trans people are killed way more than women were raped. were raped way oh. more than cis women. She's like, she's like, it's harder to be a trans woman than a cis woman. And Rose McGowan is like, we have the same struggle, but like, you know, we need to, you know, talk about, you know, this. And she's like, well, what are you doing for trans women? And she's like, what are you doing for real women or whatever? She said real or something no, like no, that. Yeah. yeah. And they, and then they're like in a shouting match, and then the trans woman is like dragged out by security while she's like, "Cis hat white feminism," sit like screaming. Oh my god! But this is all happening at like a Barnes and Noble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So imagine you're just there to get your like retarded old uncle at like a Kindle <laughs> right, or right, a fucking right, nook, right, right. and you're like, "Yeah, I'm looking for a, I don't know, like the Da Vinci Code or something." <laughs> and there's just these two insane people screaming at each other yeah. in the fucking. You know the the show and tell area of Barnes and Noble. Damn. Yeah, dude. It turned out everyone was dragging Rose McGowan for that, and then it turned out that the trans woman, when she was a man and when she was eighteen, uh, got in trouble for did a little rape of Giuliani? molesting a lot of thirteen year old girls. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Um, so yeah, Damn. So, everyone's like dragging. Shout Rose out to that that Cumtown fan that yelled at Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. I mean, odds are, yeah, yeah to, to the Patreon subscriber <laughs> that got into it with Rose McGowan. I mean, we appreciate. I mean, but that is like right. Like, what's the term is turf, right? If you. Trans exclusionary radical feminist. Right. So if you say that, not to be confused with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Or yes. surf and turf. Which yeah. So if you say the being a woman and chop. getting periods and like being you biologically know, female gives you a different experience than someone that is Turfs trans hot, woman. It's <laughs> the hottest kind of woman. Yeah, I feel like they got long that, necks. If you say they're different things, then you're called a turf, right? Which is a bad. Yeah. I don't think turfs are feminists that lay eggs. Yeah, oh, <laughs> and they can't regulate their own body temperature. So they, <laughs> they have to lay in the sun. In out of the lake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what happened with the black lady at the Apple Store? No, Adam was just oh, telling yeah, a story she was about in the a black class. lady wanting to use an iPad, and he thought it was very funny. no, no. <laughs> That a black woman would, that would, would, would be trying to learn. That's not the, that's during not black the history. Story. So fucked up, dude. Adam, day one of Black History Month. Time to go black shame. Yeah, so some, then they were like, <laughs> colorful, shame some colorful ass sisters. <laughs> Shut up. Dude. Trying to go to the Apple store to yep. get her learning did. Yeah. And you, you, this fucking racist white man. Crack ass, mayo ass, motherfucking white boy. <laughs> Crack ass. <laughs> Fucking yeah, so anyway, the lady was leading her on a tutorial for drawing David Bowie on the I- iPad. Uh-huh. And mm-hmm. like she was just responding to literally every instruction. She's like, oh, here's how you do some shading. She's like, oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> you yeah. know, you can just tell. Yeah, that's what a dumb hobby. bitch having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was I thought it was funny. What a fucking, what an yeah. idiot. She sounds stupid, man. Yeah. I wasn't calling her an that's idiot. That's fine. Yeah, I agree. She is All stupid. Right, I'm not telling any more stories. <laughs> Don't come up, don't come on my fucking socialist ass podcast and tell racist ass stories like that. Yeah, dude. this is about turfs. Was, I thought it was cute. This is about turfs. Um, this is yeah. a turf only podcast. No, are we turf? I kind of I I think I may be turf. Oh, <laughs> you're exclusionary of trans people. 
Well, I just think that they're different things. Why can't being a trans woman be different than being a uh, uh, cis woman? It's going to be great when the Why Chapo, they have to be the the Chapo same Reddit thing? thread. Is Adam Friedland turning into Ben Shapiro? <laughs> Yo, speaking of which, have you seen Ben Shapiro's sister's titties? No. Are they oh good? Oh, my God. Y'all talk for Oh, wait. A no, I have seen them. Yes. Are, no, have you seen she's them got that exposed? Big, yes. The more, the, them she's nudes? got nudes? Oh, yeah. Someone, yeah. They were on dude, Reddit she's or something? she's got like Lara Croft tits. They're unbelievable, see? dude. Let me see. Fucking, yeah. What's Jewish it? girls. There are a lot of Jewish girls with like the, tiny them, waists and huge Them big tits. matzo titties. Yeah. It's weird. I remember at camp when girls would come back the next summer and be like, and they just had what the, the fuck happened? Like, had the fucking yonkers out? Yeah, it just out. looked like, yeah. Had the honkers, the big titties? It looks like, you know, whatever their dentist father spent $20,000, but they were just real. Oh, that rules. Yeah. Do you, do you see a fat pair of Jew titties when yeah, you were a little Yeah, dude, kid? I lost my virginity to some dub Ds. Dub Ds. And she got them reduced, and I <laughs> saw her in New York City with her husband, who's like a fucking Goldman like banker oh, guy. Oh, nice. Yeah, and she her tits were smaller, and I was like, well, I guess I won. Got it right? when the getting was good, baby. <laughs> I guess, I guess you he fucked her when she was 14. I guess he never, no, I mean, we were like 17 or something. Nice. Um, he never got to see him in their glory, huh? Yeah, what a fucking loser, dude. Yeah, dude, nice. But she also did have a rhinoplasty, too. Fuck yeah. So, yeah, I got that big schnoz, those big titties. Big schnoz, so. big titties. I take big schnoz, big titties over little schnoz, little titties. Yeah. I guess it's Any uncomfortable day of the to week. have big titties. Yeah, but it's like everyone's like, got a cross you know to what? bear, man. Come on. It's uncomfortable being to selfish. have a big dick and big balls? Come on. <laughs> it is uncomfortable to have big balls. Of course I, it is, but it's great. But girls love them, dude. Like I said, I've been told I have cool balls. <laughs> quite often so that's i don't ever have my balls reduced wait show me ben shapiro's sister's titties he's I'm pulling them up I'm right now man him. have some patience keep filling time yeah. like i'm not saying that ben shapiro isn't a radical feminist yeah you, you what you're saying is you agree 90 percent of the time with what ben shapiro has to say no i don't i do not yes you do how could you say that bruce that caitlin jenner who is a Republican rich white guy? Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. whoa! whoa. Have to bring. Yeah, yes, yes. They're God unbelievable. Dear. <laughs> Good God. God, is that dear. really his sister? Yeah, it's his sister. How old is she? God damn. Oh, her face looks like. Ben oh, Shapiro. that's a cock yeah. in between her titties. Is nice. that a cock? Yeah. yeah. Wait, let me see. Let me. Let damn, me, I would just, love. Why did you fucking? Let me see. Can you hear me? Your I phone? would love to have sex with that Wait, lady in her just, big ass no titties. No patience for your fucking horniness, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm, I, look, I'm approaching this in a very clinical, sort of medicinal way. I mean, <laughs> let me see them. No, come on, dude. Look them up on your own damn phone, dude. I don't want your. But sweaty, you have them pulled up. Your sweaty hands all over my beautiful iPhone. 10. I won't. T- I literally. <laughs> I made you. I made you my twelve hundred dollar cell. Oh phone. yeah, can I say something uh, funny? When Stav is on the group text telling us that he might have cancer of the mouth, um, I was. We were like, oh, my God, dude, I hope you're okay. And then and then Nick replies, um, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, don't get the iPhone X if you guys are <laughs> looking for it because my screen is fucked and I've only had it for a week. <laughs> we're yeah, like, we're up, talking dude. about Tom's <laughs> life or death well, health. And, and then you're you like, the yeah, iPhone <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking By the way, if you guys are thinking about getting the iPhone X, my screen is fucked, dude. Yeah, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna fucking keep eating chocolate bars. Yeah, at that point, <laughs> guys, I, I might like, die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a little ice cream sandwich. Damn, I really, it really is. As soon as I'm stressed, it's over, dude. It's game over. Yeah, but if you find out that you don't have cancer, you're gonna like, you know, hit the new gym, lease on life, new dude. You. Probably, yeah, I'll probably start. Yeah, I'll probably start doing different kinds of drugs to get me on the right path. Yeah, back on that's Addies. Right, finding the good drug. Back on Addies. <laughs> no more. No more. You know, appetite. You know, why I'm don't you stop just do like sex? less Addies or like just like just smaller pieces? Yeah, like a little. Crumb. That's what I do. That's what I do. Yeah, because the full Addy. I'm full like, Addy. I'm calling people that I knew ten years ago and telling them I still think about. I get yeah, like really yeah, yeah. emotional and stuff. I don't get emotional on that. Yeah, I just get very. If I have a coffee and an Adderall, I'll forget about it. Yeah. I'm gonna work hard as shit for two hours. Does Adderall give you diarrhea? I'm so tired, dude. Tonight's no. gonna be awful. Tonight is your spots. How mm-hmm. many spots are you doing? Just two, but I'm like I'm beat. That I gotta, I get, the coffee doesn't work anymore. You want Adderall, dude? No, I can't take that shit. You want to suck my cock? No, that'll fucking break. If you have right cancer, up. we'll suck your dick. I, I'm not Promise. agreeing to that. <laughs> Nick said it was his idea. First of all, I'm gonna stop being friends with you. Have cancer. <laughs> I'm fit, fam, dude. I'm a <laughs> I don't hang 
out with <laughs> sick people. <laughs> All of my friends are strong and fit, and we're never going to die. <laughs> because not- we spent $300 a month at the gym. <laughs> Your shit is like 300 bucks, right? It's 200 that's Damn. so stupid. It's so expensive. But like, I figure this way, because it's like a block away from my apartment, mm-hmm. I was... You do old, go all the time. Yeah, the old the old place I was going, I would take a cab That was brutal. Yeah. You and, can't take a fucking train to go to the gym, dude. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, you're just not going to go to the gym. Yeah. And that is the come town wisdom for today's <laughs> episode. You can't take a train to the gym. <laughs> and for more of these... Brilliant uh, insights. Stay tuned to Come Town Radio, <laughs> the only something. <laughs> is that even? That's not even funny. <laughs> you're, just, you're pretending like the show is closing strong. No, no, it's funny that you blew it that hard. <laughs> Damn, there's Ben Shapiro's sister's yeah, titties. Now you're looking Damn, up too, dude. dude. I'm I'm horny for big titties. That's I'm, I'm on I'm on record as that. You all should check that shit out. I've All never right. said I'm not. Uh, yeah, if you're titties. in the uh, yeah, New York area, Fortune. please come. Caroline's oh, on yeah. Broadway, February 15th, 10 p.m. Tickets are $15 online, 20 at the door. So get them online now. Trying to sell out. If we sell out, we get the club. That's right. We're turning it into Adams. Adams. Place. Yeah. It's well, yeah. We, we named it after our girls. Our girl. Yep. My, uh, no, we're gonna my. name it. Um, uh, Grace's for every year, girl. Grace's for Grace, the secretary. Yeah. That's you, dude. Oh, okay. A show called Grace Anatomy. It's yeah. picture of Adam with a pussy, <laughs> <laughs> and an arrow pointing to the pussy, and it says the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it gonna be big yeah, and fat? Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Welcome to the new and improved Come Town. This time with a cool uh, effect. That uh, oh, we got yes, we got a nice little echo going now because enough people they were complaining about the audio quality. They said what it needs is more echo. It's not rich enough. Yeah, because we do so much singing on the show. I figured we should have, you know, some some vocal, mm-hmm. you know, like a Christina Aguilera sort of thing. Can you suck my dick off? Can, Can you me? make my asshole quiver? <laughs> <laughs> Fill my cheeks with goo. Who is that? Is that Daughtry? Uh, Creed. It's Creed. It's my favorite band, <laughs> Daughtry. Daughtry. <laughs> you know who Daughtry is? That guy from uh, American Idol. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love Daughtry. Are dude. we gonna do this the whole episode? You think? Uh, what? Keep the, the echo. The echo on. Are we actually recording right now? Yes, we're mm-hmm. actually. The recording. light's not on. Yeah, it's, it doesn't record through there. It records on a laptop. Oh, okay. You fucking mongoloid. <laughs> Which is it's also a mongoloid. that's also a song, <laughs> right? He yeah, was yeah. a mongoloid. He was a mongoloid. By Devo, and he ruined the podcast. <laughs> he was a mongoloid. He was a mongoloid, and some black lady almost kicked his ass. Oh yeah, <laughs> and yeah. he didn't have a job, and he <laughs> burned all the bacon because he was trying to impress his girlfriend by making dinner, and he fucked it up. <laughs> No, I actually little Japanese, make great dinners. Stupid Japanese cooking book. <laughs> no, I'm working he through. He was a mongoloid, a mongoloid. I, I, I and actually shouldn't be on this show. <laughs> that is, I'm, I'm going to say I that is the, 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 the first thing lyrics. you've ever said to me on the podcast that has offended me because I'm working my way through the Morimoto book and I'm mastering fucky, fucky, fucky. I am mastering Japanese home cooking more so. like the boring moto no it's mm-hmm. not boring moto. hello boring, moto boring remember how homo. much Chinese people love that fucking ringtone hello, hello moto, moto. <laughs> oh yeah I, I'm getting a telephone call I they think it loved it, immigrants, yeah, immigrants, immigrants, loved it immigrants love default yeah, ringtones. Yeah. No, that's true. That so we're going to go no echo for the rest of this. Okay, that was fun, though. That, that was, was cool. I feel like we were performing in front of a stadium, an adoring stadium crowd. Yeah, we'll get there, man. We're gonna well, actually, own. we are going to get there on Thursday night at Caroline's at 10. That's right, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Live live fucking podcast a uh, full come town no fucking around yeah we got a pretty sweet flyer coming too yeah it'll probably come out yeah, you know the like day of the yeah show. 24 hours possibly <laughs> maybe 12 hours before the show you should see it dude i put some real fucking i put a real college effort actually i might be able to pull it up on the computer now if you, oh, guys nice. you yeah, sent it to it. us no i didn't but it was an it. earlier draft. yeah no i'd still working on the letter without tits on the monkeys the lettering the lettering was sick no it's even better now wow <laughs> Cool. 
Ah, uh, fuck. <clears throat> yeah. Well, uh, are well, we gonna get a pod? Are we gonna get a show with HBO? Po- they're just giving podcast shows now. Two dope Pod podcasts. Save America. Pod suck and America. Yeah, those are our two sister podcasts. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, the Hell Bent podcast coming to HBO. <laughs> When's Chapo gonna get a show? Probably like um, they're gonna anything. probably yeah. I can't wait to drag them down with us. <laughs> I can't wait to ruin their careers. I can't wait to someone tried to us. someone tried to ruin their careers because of um, if uh, Virgil booked Sam Hyde at his show in Williamsburg, someone wrote uh, like what? a big thirteen years ago. Yeah, someone wrote like a big what? medium post about how before Nick, anyone Nick knew Mullen how- and and oh. Virgil Texas are pro weave and Sam Hyde. Thirteen years ago, that guy was funny as shit on the internet, and it wasn't, wasn't thirteen clear- years ago. Like literally two years ago, That's true. <laughs> you know, six months ago. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about him before. Before Trump got elected, and year. you know what? He's probably not, still funny. It's sorry, I don't have the the correct file. Sam is still funny. Yeah, um, but who wrote a medium piece? First of all, what is medium? Some fucking. No I think name. it's, it's just the open mic so journalism. It's just Tumblr, right? Yeah, it's like Thought Catalog, but for articles, not like. Uh, yeah, but anyone can publish anything on Medium. Yeah, it's the same. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Can we publish? Thought, Thought Catalog at least had a submission process. Oh, did it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's like anyone can write something that looks like. Oh, a so it just article. looks like it's real, but it's bullshit. Yeah. It's I like could it's write a Facebook post. It's yeah, a website yeah, yeah. to publish Facebook posts yeah, that yeah. did well with no <laughs> with no character limits. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Damn. I'm gonna post my uh, t- a few lessons I learned from my big, fat, big fat meaty pussy. Oh, nice, dude. That's what I call my balls. How would you feel if you were like, you know, woke up and looked exactly like you right now, but like in a very buck angel kind of way, you just had a vagina? I think I'm close to being like a butch Blimp lesbian. angel. Uh-huh. Blimp butch angel. angel. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I'm plump angel. Yeah. Um, I think buck, I could. Buck, no angles. <laughs> it's all curves. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think I could pull off living life that, as, a woman, as a lesbian woman. Yeah, that fellow looks. Honestly, can I be honest? That sounds great because not a no, lesbian woman, a trans man. No, Buck, I'm gonna be. Buck a, angel I would become a lesbian cake. woman. Sure. Buck angel food cake. Buck. Yeah, we. I think we've said that one before. Um, Maybe. That was Buck really angel good. looks a lot like Stone Cold Steve we've Austin. Definitely said that. Before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you like say about, we, you mean me? Did I no, say that? No, I think I said no, that, actually. No, no I think it was me, no, you actually. <laughs> you know what? I, sometimes I have thoughts and opinions. Yeah, you know? that's true. Usually they bring the show to a screeching halt. Mm. Um, yeah, uh, not at home. That'd be not like your, with, that'd well, be not like at the your, people listening and laughing, that'd be but you like just your, can't see them. Your villain name is Screeching Halt. <laughs> <laughs> nah. And it's me, the Screeching Halt. <laughs> Last week I saw another Criterion film. Oh, shut the fuck up, And it was up, very dude. interesting. <laughs> you Let re- me tell you <laughs> all about Gaining momentum, it. the screeching halt will strike. Dude, fuck you, dude. Here Nick, comes Nick's the been, screeching halt. Nick's been going to, <laughs> to rob the bank <laughs> by repeating the criticisms and reception section of a Wikipedia page for a movie I just saw. <laughs> oh, the fuck. screeching halt strikes again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just saw um, that Tom Hardy movie. This is my sidekick, Tidbit. Come along, Tidbit. <laughs> okay. No, I thought I was Tidbit, too. No. <laughs> Shut up. Right. Yeah. I'm my own sidekick. These are, these are elements of your personality yeah, yeah, that are yeah. actualized as mm-hmm. as villains. That would be cool. Yeah. You go, you get... You and I'm the hero. Through. You were the really anti-Semite. <laughs> Yeah. Look out, citizens! <laughs> it's a very boring man. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! I'm not boring. Right? Trying to get his coins cleaned at the bank, <laughs> that's even though we you, all know that's not a service. That's the origin story. You fell into a vat of coin cleaning solution, <laughs> and then you you separated into yeah. tidbit and uh, and then I got really clean. What are you talking up, about? Man. It doesn't matter. Don't you read? And then books? all yeah, uh, don't you read comic oxidation books? Yes. came off. And yes. I was shiny Yes Yes And beautiful Yes, <laughs> yes. Thank you That's right um, I watched that Tom Hardy movie uh, Which Bronson. one? Bronson 
Yeah, it's yeah. great. That's a fucking cool ass movie. It's, it's good to look at his body in that movie. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's what. That's what I was looking at. Uh, Nick. Did. I actually Arnold haven't man. seen the movie. He's got a. Really? Why don't you tell us about the the critical reviews, Adam? Yeah. What did what did people tell think us all about, about Bronson? <laughs> Why are you critical in, review? Why are you in? Why are you were you, like literally saying last episode that you went to fucking film forum to watch a French new wave film? I went to oh, that to, is pretty gay. to yeah. Metrograph. Metrograph. And I said sorry. nothing about it. You assumed I got the title of the movie wrong. No, I misheard you saying the title you did of the not movie. Mishear. Yes, I did. I'm sitting no, he two and a half feet away from you. <laughs> <laughs> did you mean oh, yeah, Lolita? I, were, I guess the words Lola and Lolita are very different. Oh, shut up. Dude. Yeah, those are incredibly <laughs> different words. <laughs> I just I'm told sorry. You what I did, I and uh, yeah, I'm looking for on, another on, famous on. movie slash book Whatever, that man. Oh, you know Lord. would be shown at Metro. Did you know it was also a book? <laughs> 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 That's right, boss. It is a book. Originally, it was a short story written in Russian, and then his friends told him to write in English because it was so good. Very good, tidbit. Very good. <laughs> They're all asleep now. <laughs> Time to steal the coins from the bank. <laughs> Leave all the bills. I don't want those. Just the coins. <laughs> Breaking into a bank <laughs> and being so boring <laughs> that everyone falls asleep and you rob them. Did you know that uh, <laughs> Nabokov had uh, synesthesia, actually? Um, Is that when you taste colors? Yeah, or, or yeah, it yeah. seems tight, dude. I would or love, you see, I would like, love to have you read, yeah, I take colors all the time. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Black woman pussy. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Or Chinese you think, girl pussy. You think words have colors? Taste the rainbow. You know what nice. I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, cool. I love eating that Skittles. Oh, yeah. You know Green Sweet. bitches. <laughs> Dead bitches that are yeah, blue. Yeah. That's what the bikers We've never actually from. made this clear. Like, do you enjoy pussy eating? Yeah, sometimes. You, you do, sometimes. Unless the woman's disgusting. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, that's obvious. Sure. Yeah. Okay, good. We've all been there. I mean, Stav and I are both on record Avowed as pussy eaters, as loving to eat mm -hmm. pussy mm -hmm. a lot. I guess a lot Certainly. of people assume that I'm incapable of intimacy. Which is like true. No, you like to fuck. True, but only emotionally. Right, right. right you right. like you know? to fuck. I'm sort of like an, a marionette, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he goes through the true. motions of intimacy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Until it's come... As Who's it's pulling come, the strings, though? God. God. The Lord of Jesus course. Christ. There you go. I channel his will. <laughs> That would That's be really pretty cool if emotions we got religious. I've learned from watching that Seventh Heaven. That would be Heaven. so awesome, dude. If the three of us just got religious, <laughs> yeah. that would be fucking hilarious. We pray before every show. <laughs> Hold hands in a mm -hmm. prayer circle. <laughs> Let's just convert to Islam. I, I Honestly, it'd be so funny. It'd be such a good bit. I want to be Buddhist. That seems like the best one. Wait, hold on. We got to talk about how you... You're in a bad mood today because a black lady almost beat you up. Just yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got beat up yet again by that was a great story. An man. older black woman. Um, what happened, Adam? Tell us. Older I thought I was. I was waiting outside for you guys cause, to arrive because we were recording at mine. Uh huh. And I saw a black Corolla down the block, and I thought it was stop, and so I flipped it off. And then it was not. It was an older... Just to be clear, Stav doesn't drive a black Corolla. Stav is wearing a black shirt <laughs> and black sweatpants. So he's about the size of a Toyota Corolla. Oh, but a two-door, though. Yeah. A Torlola. Mm -hmm. uh, Corolla. Corolla. That's my bitch. Yeah. But is it slate gray, actually, your car? Or black? No, it's black. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I flipped it off thinking it was Stav, and then she pulled over and rolled out the window <laughs> and said, fuck you, ho. <laughs> She called me. They called you a hoe. A hoe. How old was she? And I said, "Oh, I thought you were my friend." I, and then she said, "I'm not your friend." That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "No, my friend is the same car as." You. Oh, anyway, it was uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, did she still go aggressive with you even after you explained? Uh, I didn't do a good job at he explaining. He was so flustered. It I was imagine. flustered. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, I thought you were my friend. I think she thought she thought you were trying. That to I was be trying friends. to say like, yeah. Then I was trying to say like, oh hey, like Gladys, we're old friends. Right, like right, you right. know, whatever. You didn't know her though, obviously. I did not. She was a stranger. Is she old as shit? No, she was maybe in her. 40s you know that's awesome she was that I like love, i don't take shit generation i love when, I lo but that's still from, a pretty from funny these kids to call a ki a young person a hoe yeah <laughs> like an older person no she probably thought you were a gay man well yeah of course i thought you were a body boy you yeah. were a body was she take that as a compliment i don't take that shit from no body boy uh yeah. no she was not jamaican she was very she was very much she was very brooklyn interesting jamaica jamaica <laughs> 
Welcome to Jam Rock, Shock right? Up my penis. Welcome to Jam Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaica, Jamaica. You're making that lady angry, Adam. Uh-oh. I was. I was. Pruh. Pruh. Me no want pussy, me gay. Mm-hmm. Me want ball, balls only. The echo just, rules, dude. The echo is very cool. Welcome. Adam Welcome is gay. to Space Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Where everybody's trans. Yeah, do the song. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, the Space Jam song? Yeah, Nick, do, do the, the song. song you were doing it before. Oh, I, can't. I don't want to steal it. I can't remember. You. I got it. All this shit's got to be. Welcome to the gay man. No, no, no. Cut your. Di- what is this something? I can't remember. It's, dude. A j- it's the trans jam. I'm like Robin oh, Williams. Oh, the trans you know? jam. Yeah. The I just want to kill myself. Cut your, di- cut your dick off with somewhere. Yeah, there. somewhere in there. <laughs> cut your dick. <laughs> Do your <laughs> dance. <laughs> Chop your dick. No, I don't remember. <laughs> Fuck. It's the trans jam. Do your dance. Stop being a man in a trans jam. <laughs> yeah, there something we go. Like yeah. There we go. All right. I was doing a couple good ones. Jeez, on the car Michael, over here. we gotta get that dick of yours cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Who sang the Space Jam song? CC Sabathia. CC CNC Music Factory. CNC Music Factory. Was it? I wouldn't be surprised if it was. It wasn't. Yeah, I believe I can fly. Was on that soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All I wanted was a chicken wing. Remember that that remix? Yeah. Oh, we used to do. um Uh. Something about being gay. What was it? I believe I like guys or yeah, something. I believe I fuck guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was classic fifth grade. Yeah, that's good shit. It's classic now. 29 yeah, years old. Yeah. 30, year, 30, 30 year old. Are you 29 now? Tomorrow. Stop. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And I'm Nick, still you're 29? Youth. I'm 29. I love it. I love those. 33? I love those two months a year where we're only one year apart we in age. 35? I'm, uh, I'm 43 years old and you better start respecting me. <laughs> No, I'm turning 31 in April. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to... 420? It's pathetic that I'm turning 31. Yeah, yeah. we all agree. We've been yeah. making fun of you I'm going to start for going backwards year. in age. Are you? Yeah. Benjamin Button? I'm dialing it back. Benjamin Are you going to start getting uh, plastic surgery at a certain point? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of absolutely. Course he is. Dude. Yeah, Who's that guy? <laughs> what's his name? George? What's his name? That, Marison. That actor that's like super tan. That it's older yeah, guy. It's George Marison. Not George, George Marison. <laughs> I saw him in person once. No, he kind of looked like him. Incredible. He's Incredible. How tall is he? That a human can too? look like that. You uh, look exactly I was at like a him. Wizards game. <laughs> you I was have the same a, face as him. What? But much shorter. Shut yeah. the fuck up. You have the the only good things about him you don't have. Yeah. You have all the the only things. thing yeah. that I have in common with George Marison is when we're standing next to each other you and we look face. like you're Billy Crystal and I'm George Marison in my giant because that is our height difference, quite oh. literally. That's a little but jumbled. I see what you're getting at. You know you're what I'm saying. Call it short, I didn't say it. it I didn't say it. That's clean. <laughs> it, could, it had a lot of fat also on you have it. I could have trimmed it. There's that too. You have the same face. I don't have the same face. Okay, you know what? Your nose He's is the same Romanian, size. He's Romanian, right? That's the only thing you have in common. My you nose the isn't that same big. same size as George's nose. I was looking at my nose in the mirror the other day. I'm, Adam's I'm uh, very comfortable Indian. with it. What? He's a hoe Romanian. <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> that lady called you a hoe. Right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, that was... I that got time for your hoe Romanian. Suck your dick. Suck your dick. Oh. It's the trans jam. <laughs> the trans jam. <laughs> um, but uh, Bronson was good as hell, dude. He was, that incredible. guy's real. That guy just fucking yeah, fucks yeah, yeah, people yeah, up dude. and covers himself in you, shit. You never saw it, Nick? I saw like the first 10 minutes. It's so it sick. Off. Why did you good. turn it off? I got bored with it. Really? really? Yeah, I just don't, I didn't care. I thought it was kind of interesting. It's like fucking fights and like fucking and Tom people Hardy's up good and shit. In it too. Yeah. No, I'm just it was the strange. First it was much weirder than I thought it was going to be. I guess because yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. was like, this is such an amazing movie. It's not amazing. It's just tight. It's just like cool. I just got stoned out off my cock and just watched it. Um, I want to be a movie boy. I want I a list that, of movies I watched that, I must watch. that 4K uh, Blade Runner last night. Oh, nice. Looks great. Oh, it was the original. Good. Well, what's better is the soundtrack. Yeah. The original. That's the, yeah. that's what makes those 4K Blu-rays worth it. Is like the the way they they, they come mm-hmm. through on my fucking speakers. Oh hell yeah! Mm-hmm. You got that 7.1 dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how big my dick is. I got seven. 7.1 Dolby surround. 7.1 <laughs> channels. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, yeah, I have seven very little dicks next to each other. <laughs> you just dial them up. <laughs> you just mm-hmm. Switch them like dials. Surround dick. Surround cock. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Anyway you look, there's a little jit coming for you. Killed that one. Oh, uh, damn. <laughs> Another. <clears throat> so Trump came out against the Me Too movement. I can't believe it. I'm scared. What, I, I, I love him, dude. Because first of all, <laughs> I like of him course he came too. out against Me Too. Right. But then also like... 
months late. Right, 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 right. Yeah. He's finding out about well, it now. Oh, he literally just found out yesterday. No, no, isn't probably. it because he was like supporting some guy who hit some guy in the guy his in his hit a woman in his administration? Shit? I don't fucking beat know. Beat two ex wives. Damn. And they came out with like the like the black eye picks. Damn, bro. And now that guy is fucking Hope Hicks. Who's, Who's like that? Picks? She's like that twenty-nine-year-old that's like now his communications director. Oh my! She's God. literally been with him from the beginning of the campaign, and now she's like everyone's left and like. Spices Y'all hear Hope, you know? Hope Hicks likes dope dicks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually, round cock for that. Actually, Hope Bit Hicks apparently during the the primaries or during the campaign but he fuck, like Trump already supported that dude. She a fucked pedophile Lewandowski. like two, nice. two months ago and now yeah. we're like oh he's supporting somebody who did spousal abuse it's like he already got away with supporting a pedophile yeah oh what? and you are already Why are we supposed to care about there the, will nothing will bring him down yeah, yeah. Like, until this dementia yeah, wow a guy that's beating his wife it two, literally two months ago was an actual pedophile right. the, the only thing that's gonna bring him down is McDonald's like yeah, exactly. literally, he yeah. eats dementia like, and a heart attack yeah, yeah. or some shit. Like they're doing cartoonishly evil shit. Like ICE is looking up immigrants that are look like getting health oh, yeah. treatment and shit, and that's how they're finding them. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's but it's, yeah, we're fucked. It's like not Our, him. It's just it's Republicans. You know, it's not like yeah, it's not Trump. Trump and, is just like Democrats obnoxious and pussies. loud. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We're fucked. Um, but Trump should become a pedophile. He should Ooh. rape a child next. That would be interesting. Like, I do want to see what. Well, he, he kept get away talking with. about how he wanted to fuck his. He's daughter. talking about I could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue, fine. But could you rape a child and get away with it? Probably. I think he should do it. Fifty-fifty chance, honestly. I think the evangelical community would be like, "Well, listen, he's against abortion." He's just yeah. imagine yeah, yeah, he yeah. calls a press conference, yeah. and then goes on camera straight up just beasting an infant. Pussy, <laughs> <laughs> fucking demolishing it. Oh no, dude. takes a couple of Viagra, so he's <laughs> yeah, really yeah. getting it, getting it in. Just fight. Does it look small now? <laughs> How fucking small is it looking? <laughs> this pussy's maybe an inch and a half deep. This child is dead. <laughs> and then be like, this he's baby. my president. <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't like the decisions my president makes. <laughs> But you have to support the office. Smash cut to like six years ago, that same guy. N I G G E R. That's what he is. Do you remember they got mad at Obama for, yeah, 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 yeah. for ordering a gay you know what hamburger? I yeah, what's that? Fox News, like for like a week, was getting mad at him because he ordered like a burger with like sautéed mushrooms and yeah, yeah. goat cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like the president is ordering gay hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're disrespecting the office. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, it's pretty fu- it's pretty funny it right now. It is very important to not disrespect the office. The dopest part, the but dopest thing would be if he had a heart attack and died. Like yeah, I guess the yeah. Mueller thing goes on for like two years. A complete, they they have absolutely nothing to go on. It's pretty clear if they had something mm-hmm. to go on, it would have happened already. And I think someone someone it would re- be cool if he died, Adam. And then he just dies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to call him a motherfucking shit ass shit fuck? Hellbent podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is hack, but it, it would be cool if he died. But then also, it's like Mike Pence is just oh yeah, yeah. president. Yeah, We're kind of fucked anyway. How about yeah, this, Pike Mintz? Oh yeah, what is that? What's his? It's a classic political comedy. Pike. Pike Mintz. Is, is that yeah. kind of fish? Yeah, no, he loves. Uh, you know, I'm from Seattle. My name's Pike Mintz. <laughs> I go to the Pikes, whatever that fish place. <laughs> Pikes place, and then Mints is like a Mensa sort of thing. Okay. I'm a genius. Yeah. Oh wow! Uh, so I'm the opposite. Fish? Pike I'm sounds bizarro. cool. I'm a Seattle genius named and, Pike Mints. and I'm not gay. And I, and in fact, I think not only should women be allowed to have abortions, but gay men should be able to have abortions. Mm-hmm. They should be able to adopt, shove a baby in their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just stick a shotgun in his ass and kill the baby. <laughs> That's how pro-abortion I am. Pikemans. <laughs> uh, Pikemans. <laughs> I call my wife daughter. That shit is so fucking awesome. How he calls his wife mother. 
Yeah, that yeah, is it's some tight. weird. But it's, it's like hot, the seventies slang where it's short for motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, mother. Well, speaking of motherfucker, did you read you that, play, Qu- that Quincy Jones interview? Oh yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. That was awesome. well. First of all, he fucked Trump's daughter awesome. ten years ago. That rules. He said Michael Jackson's not cool. He says the Beatles suck at music, which yeah, but he know. kept calling everyone motherfucker. You know, Quincy Jones rules, man. So sick. And then he said that uh, Brando fucked Richard Pryor. Yep. He was oh, the yeah. guy that lied about having cancer. Quincy Jones? No, no, no. That's a comedian. I don't think he lied, by the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he lied so he can get Letterman. No, it was a HBO it was a, Yeah. What if we find out Bat Kid lied about having cancer? Of course that he so lied. Funny. That would be awesome. He's like, I did, you, you can't get me now, you fucking piece of shit. That <laughs> kid's just a cocksucker. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> well, I'm sure we, I think we did a joke on the show already about the Joker kid. Yeah, I yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. The kid that has leukemia and he wants to kill the bat kid. <laughs> it's simple. We kill the bat kid. <laughs> and then the Riddler kid, he's just a gay kid that likes question marks. Yeah. It's crazy that there was a gayer villain than the Joker, but the Riddler is definitely Oh, uh, no, Batman had some gay villains. There was a guy called the Clock King. <laughs> what? He's like, he's that like, like I love clocks. Guy. Yeah. Ahmed? Yeah, uh, was yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a sidekick. <laughs> Come along, Ahmed. <laughs> We've got a meeting. A screeching halt. I'm the Clock King, and this is my sidekick, the Clock Boy. <clears throat> um, there were some gay. I mean, Penguin's pretty gay. He's all cool cock, Ahmed. Yeah, cool. that, was a, that was a classic stand-up bit from my 2014 era. That's pretty right. good. Pretty good. I used, good to be, I used to be a pretty good comedian back in the day. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that stand-up. about. A lot of people don't know that about me, but I used to be good at stand-up comedy. I got back into it, and I've just been doing racist Asian voices. This show's destroyed my ability to be funny. <laughs> I've just been doing racist Asian just... voices on stage and locking eyes with the only Asian person <laughs> in the audience and <laughs> doing the voice. I get this killer new bit about how fortune cookies don't come real unless you say the fortune in a racist Asian voice. That's good. Nobody laughs at it. I like that you wrote a second bit where you need a racist yeah, Asian yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because the president bit's good, but let's, let's fucking bookend our sets with... Yeah. <laughs> Although you do a very good one, I gotta say. Yeah. It sounds like a Chinese. Person. I have too many diaper. <laughs> wow, why I have so many diaper to wear? <laughs> I don't have time to wear all these diaper. I mean, Russell Peters does that and he's huge in China. Mm. And like Hong Kong he'll sell out stadiums in Hong Kong because they're like, that is so that Everybody is- have an auntie who who talk like this. <laughs> Everybody have a Chinese auntie. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I don't yeah. know what it oh, is. Oh, shit. Cernovich retweeted me. Should I change my name to Cernovich sucked me off? Cernovich retweeted you? <laughs> yeah. No, Which, What did he retweet? That side by side with Nick? I think so. Maybe he's a cum fan. Oh, yeah. Cernovich did? Is it yeah. the real Mike Cernovich? I wonder if, if it is. I'm going to change my name. It's probably to... some fucking rose emoji kid whose name is Cernovich. He had the American flag by his name. Yeah, it's probably just somebody pretending to be Mike. Cernovich. What do these people say? Cernovich? Is that his name? I don't know, man. I've always said Cernovich. No, he didn't suck, retweet suck you. Suck my dick. MAGA Trump you. News retweeted me. <laughs> Did he? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, because of your Eve tweet? I think so. Sick, dude. Well done. <clears throat> Good Thanks, for man. Nice sticking up for your friend stuff. Our friend. Our friend Nicholas the Dickless. Mm-hmm. Um, you know that Eve 6 band? Yeah. yeah. How about a band about Eve, Eve called, called Eve 4? <laughs> oh, that's because... It's like a, on the 10 scale. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that's good. Suck yeah. me. It's just it's a slam dunk, <laughs> he's bitch. Tur- he's heating up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the echo. <laughs> like destroying the file. I can see <laughs> it's, just, it's clipping and it looks all shitty. <laughs> People are gonna be so mad about the he's, way this sounds. He's heating up. Shit. He's eating up he's th- from downtown, he's, bitch. <laughs> he's trams. Is that if the NBA Jam guy said bitch? bitch? Yeah, 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 how do we not bitch. think bitch? That'd be great. Boom shakalaka from downtown. He's eating up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
fuck, man. I you know how like people say that that because they listen to this podcast that it's like broken their mm-hmm. heads or sure, in their brains. brains. I hear that a lot. I think it's done the same to us. No, I'm the same no, as I, I mean, ever we're was. just no. stupid as shit. Yeah. I think we've gotten dumber. No, maybe you have. Gotten dumber. Maybe, I maybe you've sure. gotten dumber. Me and Nick dumber. have been this kind of these these kind of morons our whole lives. Oh, so That's you've true. dragged me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was no, never. You, smart your confidence before. is shot because my you confidence just got, is you shot. You just got uh, uh, dragged the fuck out by an uh, elderly black woman. <laughs> no, my like conscience. a fucking Medea character just told you off. <laughs> You, you lack like was the, it Tyler Perry in a the dress? basic level Hopefully. of confidence to stand up for yourself. And I, did, I mean, he kind of fucked that one. To be fair, he I did deserve to get yelled at. I flipped out finger. a woman yeah. like a stranger. Yeah. Not me. If I did that by accident, she said, "Fuck you." Would have slapped like, her no, in the fuck face. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> and what, I don't get. Would never have admitted my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> never apologize, America. Don't fucking yeah. I would act like she had been staring at me or something. That's yeah, I flipped her off. That's good. Yeah, respect the fucking flag and stand up, bitch. I would have seduced her and made her suck me off. Yeah. That's what I was trying to I would have become do. married to her. Yeah. That would have been my wife. I would have got married to her <laughs> and then cheated on her. Holy matrimony. Holy matrimony. What's, how, about, how about instead of mattress girl, matrimony girl? Why don't we have that on college campuses? Absolutely. Hey, so a young true. woman that's trying to marry her rapist. So fucking... Oh. The green... <laughs> 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 a Chris, nice Christian girl <laughs> who understands the way things used to work. Oh, on. yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got a couple goats, didn't he? Uh, uh, it was not, you could just trade women for goats, man. Yeah, that's what you, you can still do that if you're living in uh, Allentown. <laughs> yeah, well, we're living here in Allentown, and the entire area's been destabilized by bad foreign policy. <laughs> and now Allentown's controlled by warlords. <laughs> All of them Islamic. <laughs> By the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most are Uzbek. Ah, uh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm. Now my it? little cousin's raping a goat. How you, how, stop, but I'll he be. lost his leg to a landmine. <laughs> <laughs> In Allentown. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen that? Yeah, Vice Allentown, a town, uh, Warzistan, Warzistan province. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kandahar. Waziristan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. East Waziristan. Um, Actually, it's pronounced <laughs> Waziristan. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's right, boss. <laughs> It is right, tidbit. Have you guys seen that Vice documentary where it's like a a village somewhere in like South America where all the kids fuck goats? No. No, that's That's like how they beat off. Like once you turn 12, you just fuck a goat. (laughs) Seriously, it's it's fucking hilarious. And and there's like old men who can't give up the habit of fucking goats. Like it's pretty good. I suggest you guys. That's my. I can't quit goats. Literally, dude, they just fuck that goat pussy. Instead that's of beating so off. good. And it's like, that's how they practice for having sex with women. <laughs> Dude, that would be scary because <laughs> A, can't like goats like like do a hind... Or maybe they're llamas. Do a hind know, kick really well? Or is that maybe dog, dog Yeah, but that would happen immediately. I'm sure the goat enjoys getting its fucking pussy fucked that's out. The, that's <laughs> true, dude. Goats are fucking Yeah, sluts. they have this like relationship in that town where the goats yeah. are little whores dude they're slutty ass goats you like fuck your friend's cow. goat and then he is like it's mad at you yeah that's true that was my goat pussy There's like no drama. i think it's communal it's communal I oh that's it, good i think so i don't know it's been a while since i watched it but i remember being scandalized i think that's I what it. full communism is right mm-hmm. everyone, everyone gets shares some their goat pussy their animal that you they stand in line him. for bread and then to keep your mind off that from mm-hmm. my understanding full communism is tweeting all day long and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> advancing your media career and <laughs> taking a screenshot and examining, from- yeah examining your behavior from six months ago and pretending it's a systemic problem that doesn't affect you <laughs> oh yeah when it's specifically a thing that you do right yeah yeah uh like blaming all like instead of blaming uh your awful personality blaming uh, late capitalism. capitalism yeah yeah it's that there's too much oh, that was silent but it smelled bad because you farted into a porous windscreen it usually it's not an no, issue n- stop 
Okay. And it's part of the Fine, tr- damn, the Are you on your charm. period or something? Why are you so you you you're, you're wound up? I'm not long. on my period, okay? <laughs> What's going on, Adam? What's going on, man? Chill out, relax. I just woke up. That woman, it scared me a little bit when she yelled at me. <laughs> you could no, no, you have beat her in that. a fight. You want us to take you to Cinnabon after this? I would love to go to Cinnabon. Actually, we should all go on a nice long bike ride. Now that the weather's nice. Um, I would like not, to go this weekend. I would like to go for maybe, maybe an outing. Weekend. I don't want to. What I mean, time like are right your now? brothers no, getting no, town? Fuck no. My brothers are already here. I'm going to go back. How about you drive your car and we'll ride the bikes next to the car? <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. Right. You give us little cups of water. That's not bad. Yeah. I that'd, like be, that. that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just right down Fifth out. Avenue. <laughs> Just really taking up the whole street. <laughs> yeah. beep, 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 beep. Yeah. We're friends. <laughs> We're having a friendship <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> Three retarded men <laughs> shut down traffic in Midtown Manhattan today. <laughs> That'll be chill, dude. We're having a friendship. We're having a nice friends day. <laughs> oh fuck! I think I'm gonna just. Take an edible and eat Korean barbecue. Yeah, that or Israel something. that Israel news channel that I went on uh, had Patrick on last night. I what? saw that to talk about Fraser. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, is that a real channel? Well, the guy that's been booking is just like a come town like yo put me Twitter, on, dude. dude. Yeah, I'm trying to go on and talk it's, about philosophy. Yeah, have me and Stav on to refute whatever Adam said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be to do a pro Netanyahu, We're pro Israel. Yeah. yeah, that's what it takes. <laughs> put on a little fucking. Well, actually, I actually didn't like Israel until I found out. They were racist. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were a bunch of fucking live ass Jews, but it turns out they're white supremacists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not even about being Jewish; it's about being white and Jewish. That's right. Otherwise, they'll sterilize your ass. Are there? Are there? Your, you, you, your Eritrean pussy sewed the fuck shut. <laughs> Are there African Jews? There's Ethiopian Jews. There are Ethiopian Jews. There are. Yeah. When they go to Israel, they cut their pussies off. No, they Whoa. don't. They seal their pussies. They treat them really nice. I would guess. They're okay to them, but who they're not okay to is like the Darfurian and oh, Eritrean, Eritrean refugees. Remember Darfur? Who just up. Well, nothing's ever happened to Jews. To Remember Darfur and then Coney? Yeah, there's the refugees. no like genocide that we wanted to escape <laughs> yeah. that would make other Jews sympathetic to other people trying to escape genocide. It's almost like they're bad people genetically. Um, I don't know about that <laughs> stuff. I wouldn't go there, but. What were you saying, Darfur? Yeah. Did it, what was, about did it? Was it saved? I don't think so, but everyone was. A, I remember everyone had like a tote bag. No, we didn't. I don't Darfur. think we saved it. Yeah. Is it still around? Is Darfur still kicking? Probably. Is that that's not Hotel Rwanda? No, that's no. Rwanda. <laughs> that's a different place. Yeah, <laughs> I thought Hotel Rwanda was a hotel in Darfur. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a hotel uh, in Vegas. Hoots- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's next to the Caesar's Palace. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. Is is Don Cheadle there all the time? Well, Don Cheadle is now the president of Rwanda <laughs> at this point. Yeah, I like that. Hoots- I like that. Tootsies. Is you that know when you know scene in Hotel Tootsies, Rwanda yeah. where Nick Nolte says, uh, "Is he in that movie for real?" Yeah. Oh. Is he? Yeah, he's like the UN peacekeeper. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's that's just right. worn out and hates his job. Yeah, the blue, the blue helmet yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, uh, you have to understand. To them, you're not even. Yeah, and he says the N word. He's like, you're African. <laughs> and I like to imagine that Nick Nolte just completely ad libbed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don Cheadle just like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you see Don Cheadle like visibly angry in the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick, please, you only get one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In your contract, it said Honestly, only one. <laughs> by your, this shows growth because by your own rules, you technically could have said it. I could have because you're quoting a white person. Yeah, but it felt too harsh. Sure, yeah. you well spelled done, it earlier dude. too. I and did. we're on a premium. <laughs> you know. Is this premium? People are paying for that. For that. Uh, Access to that word I don't know I guess it's mostly I, I go on I don't know I violate my own rule Sometimes I just go on How I'm feeling that day Yeah, yeah. man it's, it's not It's not It ain't science This is art dude. Right Yeah This is art What we're doing you know? it, ain't, it ain't the size of the boat; it's the motion in the ocean. You <laughs> That's know? right. That's right. Oh, Hadassah says she has acid for you when we're Hell done recording, yeah, dude. Birthday. I haven't done time. LSD in a long time. I like it. I'm gonna take a little drop of Duchlio, and you should do. A little, we should do a microdose sometimes. Have a nice day. I would love to do that. Nick, you're off psychedelics, right? Yeah. You're afraid what it'll do to your fragile little brain? Yeah, my yeah. Fu- my twisted mind. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't know how just how goth I can get. That dude. shit would be so awesome if you did acid and just like became you goth. became a joke like the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> you just started like the dumbest, most ironic no, bullshit it, thing. He it could wouldn't do. be from acid, but maybe how, from mushrooms. The, why? It's all the same shit. Yeah, no, it's all the yeah, same better shit. Better if I became Stewie Joker, which is that would be incredible. Stewie from you Family start working Guy. Out your yeah, head to get bigger and longer. Yeah, it's like they have that on <laughs> DeviantArt. If you just search for Stewie Joker, it's people really? like drawing Stewie Griffin as the Joker, <laughs> Joker makeup, and you know they <laughs> think create. it's cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, they think that rules. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even doing a bit. Yeah, that was another thing that um, the gay kids in my high school were really into the your like dick, so Nightmare yeah. Before Christmas gay kids they're really yeah, into talk- Stewie oh really yeah oh, really. from Family yeah. Guy yeah cause he's gay cause I guess but it was before he, the, he was gay they what do you just, mean everyone knows he's gay he's been gay the whole time no but like Seth MacFarlane subsequently said oh no this baby is gay I love that Seth MacFarlane <sighs> just like the dog and Stewie are just who he is if you meld them together yeah, well, he's gay, right? Stuff sure. McCall, That's what yeah. people say. But yeah. yeah, He's also so rich that I feel like once you get rich enough, mm-hmm. you, you gotta be You're gay. not anything. Yeah. You fuck you hot women, you fuck boys, right. you fuck, you know. Like Brando. Like Brando. Brando, yeah. oh man. Brando fucked three of the most important black men of the 20th century. <laughs> Who do you say? Marvin Gaye? Uh, Baldwin. That Baldwin. Yeah, James, James Baldwin. James Baldwin was the only actually like out and out gay one, right? Yeah, Marvin Gaye, Baldwin, the and three Pryor. most important black men of the 20th century James Baldwin Martin Luther King Adam Friedland <laughs> That's true That's how he was gonna finish that yeah. list Yeah He didn't suck off Martin Luther King did he That'd be wild um, no, Martin Luther King wasn't gay at all Black American. Yeah, he loved pussy yeah, yeah He's He he got it in Very much so yeah. He loved pussy That's fact, why they called him the king stole all his shit from uh, Baird Rustin Oh that Rustin. gay guy That's yeah. right Damn. Who was a gay man Baird Rustin Oh yeah yeah Um. Yeah that sucks man Being It's it's kind of tough being Yeah, gay. did you see that commercial uh, in the Super Bowl for Ram Trucks? <laughs> yeah, that was fucking awesome, what, dude. I don't know what, what they, they did the King had- family just licensed a full fucking speech from Martin Luther King, and it was just pictures of, like, troops, uh, Ram Trucks, some more troops, uh, American flag, yeah, Ram they used, Trucks. They used the MLK speech to sell trucks, mm-hmm. yeah. which is pretty hilarious. I'm going to look up that hate crime in Vider, Texas, where the guy dragged the guy behind his pickup and see if it was a Ram truck. <laughs> that would be so good. Vider, Texas. Dude, that was one of the most, hate. like, I totally forgot about that one. Crime. Uh, I, yeah, I don't even know. That about shit it. was, oh, yeah. That murder of James insane. Bird Jr. James Bird Jr., yeah. Okay, you just, I'm going to say the thing and then you're going to repeat and go, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The picture they always used of him. Okay, well, we just lost 15 minutes of the show because the computer said uh, disc too slow and just deleted part of the the podcast. So I guess the computer setup is a mistake as well as using the fucking Zoom. Uh, I'm glad that, you know, so much money was spent on all this shit and it continues to fuck up. Um, and that was a goddamn riff. You it guys was a, it was a really riff. good. And there's no minutes. way to there's no way to recreate it either. No. Really, it was a whole thing where it's we we're trying to figure out if it was a Ram truck <laughs> that <laughs> that was being used to kill to do that lynching in Vider, Texas. Actually, you know and, what? You might be able to do it. Again. And I don't know. And then Adam said it was a Chevy, and I was like, "Well, I'll tell you what, man. If it was a Chevy, I'd my boy I'd still be alive. Get her, <laughs> get her done." <laughs> Woo. Yeah. It was as if Larry the yeah, Cable that's guy. Not, Larry the Cable guy. That's Man, pretty... Chevy, Chevy truck, boy, boy, get right up and say, oh, I felt like I just got a massage done. <laughs> yeah. You tell him, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I was in the fucking moment. I God know. damn it, dude. There was dude. more to Definitely, it. I fucking, yeah. I hate this fucking computer, dude. Fuck, suck my dick, Apple. <laughs> Didn't you just buy a big ass dick computer? I did, dude. And that one wouldn't have done it. So this maybe. one, it's like the, it's the fucking MacBook. So if I, t- I tabbed. Well, you also did get the little dick MacBook. I tabbed out of, uh, of, uh, Logic. Yeah, you didn't get the MacBook Pro. I did didn't. You? Cause well, this was just supposed to be for writing. Yeah. Cause you forget, I'm a professional writer. You got a pro, right? For fucking television. Yeah. I tabbed out of Logic to, uh, look up, to do the fans a favor and try and figure out <laughs> how that black man was murdered. Yep. And that would have been right, great. Note to self: only look at my phone while That's doing the good. show. There we go. There only we go. gaming while the show is happening. You don't phone game, dude. Uh, you guys can't see it. I do that. You know, are I do you the off thing. of Candy Crush, Nick? Uh huh. Are you off Candy Crush? 
off of Candy Crush? Yeah, because you were heavy. Oh Candy yeah, yeah. Crush. I deleted Candy Crush. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. got the, the end you of that was heavy. when they put fucking Wi-Fi on the trains, or they yeah. put they put self service on the trains. So right. what does that mean? Because I got into I got into Candy Crush because you used to not be able to use your phone on the train. Oh, so yeah. now you can like well, do you really can't. Like, what do you mean? Text people and you yeah. can. They have. I mean, they have service at the between, stations. Yeah, stations. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And in between those stations, I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> <Yeah>. ah! <laughs> We're off the grid. Yeah, I'm fucking losing it. God damn it, man! I wish we hadn't fucking. That was like that, know, was, that was one was, of the best jokes we've done on really the show and. God damn it, dude. Uh, fucking computers, man. Ah, that fucking sucks, dick. That was... Uh. Should we fuck up Adam? And this has happened before, and I've You're never been... This too. has happened before, and I've never been this mad about it. You know? Yeah, this isn't even the most egregious. Remember that one time we just immediately lost an episode? Yeah. And we had we were on a time crunch, so we had just do it right then and there. Yeah, yeah. That's We lost the whole episode, the and it was like a good times. one, too. Yeah, it was really yeah, good. Yeah, it, it was, was a really good one. We, we were like... Cause it was, we were like all mad at each other before that. And we're right. Like, that was great, man. Yeah. That's like what the show. There was, was like about. tension before. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then it got fucking. We're long. like, actually, we're doing something pretty cool, yeah. guys. And people, people really like it. Damn. Well. Ugh. We'll be all right, boys. We'll be fine. We only lost like have to wait a little longer, but they can suck my nuts. We lost fifteen bomb ass minutes. But. I'm gonna be fucking mobbing with Nick and George Halkius. This so weekend. cute. Can't wait. Is other George coming up? No, he's in LA. Doing what? On vacation. Getting gay? LA getting gay, dude. Getting gay the in only, LA. The only way to go, the only place to go to get gay. I'm about to go there on Friday. Uh oh. You also going to get gay? Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm going to get gay with my girlfriend. Getting gay with kids. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, getting the gay. The pedophilia kids. rebrand. <laughs> yeah. Gay I'm with teaching kids. Children about homosexuality. Yeah. That, that was at South. That it. was South Park, right? Getting gay with kids. Was it? Yeah, we're getting gay with children. There was a Nambla episode where no, there was that one where it's like all the kids are singing. They're like they have some song. They're like we gotta get gay. Wasn't that? I don't remember. Uh, remember that? We gotta get gay. I, I didn't watch kids. that much South Park. I, I mean, watched I, some. I come in and out of it. Yeah, yeah. I, it's I, a very I really, good the show. Only, the only I only watched seasons. I think like eleven, twelve, and thirteen. That's when it was like on fire, right? Yeah. Like, they yeah. have this weird thing where it's like I, they. I thought they were done. Like they had that initial run, and then it's like they dipped, and then they had like a run like a few years ago. Yeah, they were like I, so good. I guess maybe five years ago, yeah, where it was like every episode was so cool. Yeah. But it's also like I also do hate when it's like. I don't want to learn any lessons sometimes. Mm -hmm. I just want, just say, you know, Miss Chokes on Dick. Thank you. That's what I want. That's what I want. <laughs> shitty walk. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, that's walk. what I need from you, baby. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Slave. Yeah. That's, <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> All great stuff. Uh, don't t tell me about, like, I guess libertarianism being right or something like that. Yeah, I think that's maybe part of it. I don't know. But a I'm lot of the fans stupid. are like that. You I'm know? also too stupid to learn lessons. I don't think it's like is about libertarianism, but like that's sort of the fan base is very libertarian. But it's also such a big show that yeah. their fan base is, you know, humongous. Huge. It's like Stanhope too. It's like the fan base is like very. I can't. I really can't believe this shit, dude. Yeah. Uh, that's going to ruin my fucking day for the rest of my year. <laughs> to be fair, though, you're looking for an excuse to be depressed right mm -hmm. now. You're, no, I'm not. You were in a bad mood this morning. I wasn't. And then you mood. lifted what were something. You, in a bad you felt mood? great. <laughs> what? You, went, you didn't go to the gym this morning? I did go to the gym, but I just woke up in a bad mood. Yeah, I, I sort of did too. I don't I got, know why. I got a bad attitude. That's funny. Yeah, I did. Maybe we're all, we're all synced up because I didn't feel great this morning either. You know what? It's like uh, when girls all get their periods mm -hmm. at the same time. We just mm -hmm. get cranky. Yeah, at the girls. Same time. That's who gets periods. I think you mean women. <laughs> Thank you, you. fucking <laughs> asshole. Adam literally didn't know what you were getting at. Yeah. He was legit confused. I, was like, <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to call me a girl. Right, right. But, okay. you Actually, you, you know what? Girl. I was leaving it open ended. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Every diss. Sometimes you jump without knowing where the landing yeah. is. You yeah. Know? Every yeah. diss is like a labyrinth, you know? <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate that. I appreciate my uh, boys. Fuck. How about a character? It's like David Bowie, but he's David Blowy. Mm -hmm. He's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. let's suck each other off. The, the, Let's suck each other off. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Let's stop. I just wish, God damn it, I wish we could Hard find a way to get that to Larry the Cable Guy thumb. thing back. That was fuck. I know. It was really funny, dude. Guys, people uh, listening, you're just going to have to believe us. 
Also, I don't think it. I've made. That's, a, that's the only reason I like podcasting, aside from doing stand up, because you just say something funny one time, and you don't have to f- pretend, right? You know, yeah, and recreate done. it every yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. moment. That sucks. That's the worst part right. about stand up. Is you do a bit, you try it, and it goes really well, and then you try it the second time, and then you're like, that's yeah. No, oh. no, no, no. Just having to recreate it emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. I hate having to create emotionally, yeah. let alone recreate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ground control, please suck me off. Put my penis in your father's little hand. Did you see that video of that Chinese guy <laughs> that, uh, who hates Black Lives Matter? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's like a Chinese like conf- dude in front of a Confederate flag. Oh, oh nice. Singing fucking uh, and it's like, uh, Dixie to arms. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That's and, awesome. And he's like, yeah, Islam is a fucking cancer. We don't want Sharia law. Yeah, it's like a Chinese good old that's boy. That's so sad, dude. Like, yeah, it's what pathetic. a fucking loser you must have to be. Yeah. And you're just so... Like pathetically looking for acceptance in the dumbest possible place. Yeah, that, but see, I appreciate it. That kind of Asian. That and then <laughs> <laughs> who's that one that shot up UVA? Oh, yeah, 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 that guy. No, no, Virginia Tech. Oh yeah, Virginia Tech. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Tech. You, you respect those kinds of Asians, <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> Mass <Yeah>. murderers and, uh, <laughs> and, and racists. racists. Yeah. Well, I respect all kinds of Asians, but I like an Asian guy that's like, you know what? I'm not going to be a stereotype. I'm going to break the mold. I'm going to break the mold, that's but right. really just go all out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wasn't there another Asian racist kid who's like, uh, who there's that gamer that guy sauce? He like freaked out when they ran out of Szechuan yeah, sauce. Yeah, yeah, and then it, they found his. Instagram and, and he's, he's like, like oh, he's a tech guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then there's that gamer dude, uh, Ch- Chong. What is that guy's deal? Why? Did, I thought for the longest time that he, him, and Arthur Wait, were the same. Him guy? and Arthur are just like equally as ugly, but like opposite, like politically polar. Opposite. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so that guy's like an alt right guy. Chong? He's like an alt right, like gamer gay guy. Oh, gotcha. Eel, Ian he's ugly Miles as shit. Chong. Oh, I thought you meant yeah. like uh, Tommy Chong. No, no, no not Tommy Chong. Chong. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Tommy Chong is all right. <laughs> He's now. like, yeah, man. Yeah. There's this like, what about black at, on black crime? Yeah, yeah. Chicago is <laughs> on fire, man. <laughs> they don't know their own dads, man. <laughs> How can you expect them to follow the rules if they don't have a father figure, man? Feminism is cancer, man. I tell you what, boy. <laughs> if, if it be- was a Chevy, you better. <laughs> God Woo! damn it. Get him, Larry. Fuck, and I didn't even get to find out. You know what? I fucking tabbed over to Wikipedia to find out if it was a Dodge truck using that hate crime, and I didn't even find out. You didn't even get to know. I didn't even... God. I'm sorry, man. I don't want to hire a producer, but I do want one of those fucking people that has to Google things for me. Bro, that's what a producer is. No. We could just get a producer. If we get a studio... If we get the the Big Dick Stew, we should just get like a fucking... No, Adam, make your sister do it for free. She's My be, sister? Do you think she'd be good at it? She'll fuck it up, dude. She's incompetent. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she's not, I mean, she's I just don't think she'd be good at this. She's got some fucking sweet hooters, though. You know? That's, that's true. true. Producer yeah, wise. Have, producer wise, like we said, either. My sister titties. just went to a um, FDNY. Uh, 9-11 first responder Ball fu- Funeral Gala funeral. Oh funeral Yeah bagpipes Why Whole shebang Why Cause her Boyfriend's dad What <laughs> She's fired yeah. She's fired <laughs> <laughs> Yeah he was uh, He was Yeah like two days ago She, she went to his funeral He was a uh, like I guess mesothelioma or whatever, like nine eleven oh. related cancer. Damn. Yeah. Now well the government will take care of him. Yeah, but problem. she said it was wild, dude. She said there was like was there an open thousands bar? of fucking yeah, fire. I got a I got a mesohornioma. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's the kind of cancer you get from <laughs> My, the, I'm just piping down Asian girls. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's cancer, one of my favorite Nick Mullen. Nick Mullen stand-up joke is hard. Is the bagpipe joke? I, I don't think what bagpipe joke? You used to tell that joke about like every time a firefighter dies, it's oh, yeah, super sad. Player. Except if you're a bagpipe kind of player. Oh yeah, I forgot that's about that bit. bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's. Oh. Oh, How many died? <laughs> Sharon, we're going to be able to go on that vacation. That was a good joke. Fuck, that was a very good joke, dude. Yeah, great yeah, joke. Maybe I'll get back into that. 
Fuck, oh, I used to know no. how to write stand up comedy. Yeah, I know, yeah. What it the sucks. fuck happened? It yeah. sucks. I can't, I can't even write record anything. a podcast without the disc overwriting or whatever the fuck yeah. that error was. And people are going to hate it because of all the echo we did Wait, earlier. Can you repeat that gay ass shit that guy said to you about the sound quality of the last episode? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can we publicly shame yeah, him yeah, for yeah. saying that? Everybody messaged me and they're like, yeah, it's like listening to an EDM song versus a full oh, recording. Because there's, there's not enough richness in the low I got end. Some, I got Wait, a you want our load. shit on fucking vinyl or something? I got a rich Suck load. my dick, bitch. <laughs> You're gay. You're gay. He's We're turning trans. Full echo. You know what? <laughs> echo. Who, whoever Unless said that. You are gay. Whoever said that in which case you're straight can stop listening to this podcast yeah that's right keep paying the money you pay, yeah unless you pay, pay us money. money but just you you don't you're not allowed to listen yeah we're fin dom we're now. fin doming yeah <laughs> i want to be a fin dom boy dude if i did a wish list on my instagram do you think that was a good joke now i'm mad about all the jokes that i've forgotten i didn't need another reason to be upset today yeah you have a lot of jokes you don't do oh that's terrible yeah that was fuck and it's it, good. You know, it, it makes me think too it's like i wrote that like Completely drunk. I used to just be drunk. Twenty all the time. years old. Yeah, I used nineteen. To just, no, that was actually. A, I think I wrote that in DC. So was that, that in DC? That's like a relatively yeah, yeah. more recent bit, but yeah, I used to just drink and write no. stand up. And, and I was only good at writing stand up when I was fat as shit and sad. Yeah, yeah. Day, dude. Yeah, and now I'm in love, and I can't. It's getting fucking think worse of and worse at comedy. We should just stop having good lives, and then we'll yeah. Be good yeah. Again. You know what it was? Is we'll the last joke I was Russia. happy about about coming up with. Is the uh, what if James Holmes thought he was the Jack Nicholson joke? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that just never did well on stage. And I was like, I think I'm done with stand up. But just because one bit that you loved didn't yeah. work? Yeah, yeah. That happens. Well, increasingly it was like, I'm just writing jokes that aren't for me. I get that. Yeah. Well, that's why you have the podcast. Well, that's what the podcast <laughs> is, right? You can I just guess. you can speak your truth. Yeah. Yeah. And you I don't know. This thing's on the show that I think, like, I, I, like I, I kind of wanted to turn that thing about how the armadillo is Texas's animal because that's it such, sucks That's dick. so good. <laughs> yeah. That is a good The standard. independent spirit of Texas. <laughs> the yeah. self, self-reliant. self Yeah. Yeah, that's There's so good. Stuff that Nobody, I suck my own dick. Nobody, <laughs> partner, let me tell you something. I'm not, I'm only coming in my own mouth. <laughs> I'm a proud I don't need Texan. no woman or man or engine to stick my <laughs> directly down their throat and nut in it. I can do it myself like the steely resolve of a folded up armadillo. <laughs> That's their uh, animal though, for real? Yeah, it's the uh, animal. Is it the state animal? It's the state animal, the armadillo? yeah. It's the armadillo. The ball animal? Yeah. I well, think that, that joke doesn't work if it's not. Yeah, that's true. I can't just say the most yeah. Texas thing you can do is suck your own dick. <laughs> I feel like doesn't don't, don't other people claim armadillos much harder than Texas? Isn't there like a, a college? Team Not on my armadillos? watch, partner. There's only one kind of man that can claim the armadillo, and that's a man that sucks his own dick, <laughs> Texas style. <laughs> it's bigger. Uh. Everything's bigger in Texas. Yep, they call it six six flags over Texas, one for every inch that you can fit into your mouth. <laughs> uh, damn, that would have to be a flexible cowboy, man. Yeah, I remember when I was. Well, that's why they got those assless chaps. Mm-hmm. Somebody what? told me one time they were like, uh, you know, all chaps are assless. I'm like, actually, I don't. Yeah. I don't know anything about chaps. I don't even really fact, know what chaps are. People don't know what chaps are. That's why you say assless chaps. Yeah. Also, it's well, a great also, is the, like, would you be like, well, actually, all all hats have tops. It was the uh, all top hats. <laughs> yeah. Was, what about visors? You fucking asshole. Get them. Fuck. Get them. Yeah. Remember mm-hmm. visors? Remember upside down visors oh, and razors? Was, dude, I want to start wearing visors again because of the Philadelphia Eagles coach Doug yeah. Peterson. Doug he looks Peterson, great yeah. in that Rockin visor. Visors, dude. Um, yeah. Do you remember Chaps Ralph Lauren? Like of the course. the budget uh, Ralph Lauren of line. Course. Now there's Beverly Hills Polo Club. That's that, not. That's not. Here. Yes, that looks like polo, sort of bootleg polo. But it is not Ralph Lauren. No, no. But it's. Yeah. it's Specifically created to get people to think it's Polo. Chaps Ralph Lauren was like what they sold at Dillard's, but then they sold Polo Ralph Lauren at like Nord's. I kind of fuck with some Chaps stuff. Every once Hell in a while, yeah, Chaps dude. gets it right. My mom used to get me fucking Chaps khakis to go to synagogue in. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. I need, I need some new threads, dude. What are you talking about? You buy clothes all the time, dog. 
No, I need chaps. I need new chap stuff now. Let's start dressing like real Maryland boat shoe kind of guys. No, that's not me. That's not my look. Let's get those pink shorts with like little tiny like whales. No, man, I'm going full. I'm going full Russian mafia in the spring. Yeah, me too, dude. Yeah, me too. Look I'm at already right there. Now. You go track pants. Yeah, you know, I'm beanie. gonna get track suits and I'm gonna get a good gym clothes. Davai, davai, davai. I want to look like that. I want to look like some. What's Davai? Divai is like, uh, it's like, come on, come on, yeah, come actually, on. I'm, I'm going to go to Divai. You know, <laughs> Divai I'm gonna, University. I'm going to get my degree. <laughs> it's a Priviat College. That's right. I went to a Priviat school. <laughs> Divai Priviat College. It's for private. Do you just know Russian? What, what's Russian for? No, deeper. It's too small. Yeah. I just assume uh, you only that's know priv- things yeah, that Dasha priv- yeah, yeah, right. I've heard it, but uh, I don't remember you it. You don't remember no. it. <laughs> yeah, he blocked that out. <laughs> There's one for like, you're like, you're really Adam's having my sex. Back, and like, you know when like you in movies when a guy's having a Vietnam one. flashback and you see the <laughs> choppers, but it's just that black woman driving by going, fuck you, ho. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Huh. Good God. Yo, what is it good for? Fuck you, ho. <laughs> Sucking on my pain nails. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, man. One man. That was a very big bummer about that Larry the Cable Guy thing. But, guys, we did it all right. We're going to fuck each Also, other. I have to say on the podcast. Excuse I, me. Are you wrapping up the show? I'm not wrapping up the show. But are I we, have to are say. Are you trying to are we wrap, wrap up not. zone? I'm not. We're near wrap up zone. But is this motherfucker trying to. I'm not to trying to wrap up anything. <laughs> I'm trying to make an announcement. There is okay. no Funny Moms tomorrow night. Um, the only show we have this week is Thursday at Carol's. <sighs> um, That's right. So if you're planning on coming to Funny Moms tomorrow night, we will not be there. I'm planning on coming in my pants. Really? That'd no. be cool. You plan to do that? Yeah. yeah <laughs> You're yeah. like, yeah, today's the day. Yeah. My fucking Apple Watch vibrates. <laughs> you know, just not perfect timing. <laughs> Have yeah. you guys Anybody, come- did you guys watch any of the Winter Olympics? Is it started? I was, yeah. I was watching it last night. We should watch right now. The, the no. figure skating. And they got this big Chinese guy Hell that, yeah. that has a partner, but he's just this enormous gay Chinese man awesome. that loves ice dancing. For Team USA? No, for Team China. China. Uh, we have like an Asian guy for Team USA. There's a, there's a, I think there's a brother sister. Maybe Korean guy. I think there's a brother sister doing Yeah, what? Oh, Zhao, you're talking ice dancing? Zhao Hong or Zhao Ice dancing Hao. sucks my dick. That's basically no, no cool flips. It's right? no flips. That's the best part of figure skating. Yeah, it's Zhang like what Hao? if ballroom dancing was on skates yeah, and there are no that. flips? How is that a sport? In, it's in not addition a to ice sport, skating. bro. Get ice skate. Figure skating rules. What's your favorite winter Olympic sport? Mm-hmm. What's the tightest one? Are there any team sports? Yeah, there's look hockey. This, look at this big gay Chinese guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, he just loves there's hockey, skating. but there are no NHL players this year. The yeah. NHL didn't have an Olympic break this year. I don't year. know, man. I so guess I'll just amateurs. watch whatever's on. Who? <laughs> The Olympic, hell yeah. There's that like uh, skiing and then shooting thing. That's kind of funny. Oh, yeah, that is cool. Yeah. Ski shooting. Yeah, fuck ski, shooting. yeah ski shooting. Ski, ski shooting. shooting. <laughs> they, I mean, they actually, they literally have ski shooting. <laughs> they have a guy jizzing, and then you have to hit the, no, the, ski, the ski ball. They have ski ball. No, they have skeet shooting, where you shoot skeet. No, they have ski no. ball. Well, In skeet shooting is I like where you shoot was clay ball. pigeons. It's clay pigeons, yeah. Oh shit! They have that in the winter. Uh, how no, you doing? There's my, a, my, there's my name is uh, you... welcome. Welcome to to, to t- Temple Lincoln Mercury. My name is Clay Pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Clay I'm, the, I'm the finance manager here <laughs> at, at Temp- <laughs> Temple Lincoln Mercury, where we serve the finest Lincoln navigators. Um, the guy from the the Tongan guy. Came out shirtless and oiled up. In the Winter Olympics? But he was from the Summer Olympics. He was a judo guy, and he just picked up cross-country skiing. Oh, just to, like, diversify. Just to stunt. Just to it's stunt. weird, dude, when Sick, people do dude. that. Well, the point, I think, a lot of the Olympics for a lot of people is the fucking at the, athlete, at the Athletes Village. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. apparently there's a lot of real freaky sex That's kind of shit cool. happening. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's in great shape. Everyone's That's- in great shape. Yeah. Horny. If your if your event is like day two and then you're done the rest of the you time know two to weeks, suck and fuck. it's trying to get your dick wet the rest of the oh, time. Yeah. Not if you're into thick women, you know that's got to suck. Shot put, shot dude. put, dog. <laughs> no, that's the wrong kind of thick. You don't like that? No, There's some yeah. thickums in there. 
No, that's why they track and field they girls need have they need to add a, 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 an Olympic sport of being Randall and. Nah, she's too thick, man. No, nah. that's what I'm talking about, dude. A disgusting ass. I'm no, no, thank you. Know. you. And next up in competitive, looking like a bus. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, fuck. They should add like um, better sports. Go ahead, <laughs> like what? You know, like. Best song. <laughs> Best song. <laughs> <laughs> Most tasty omelet. I would watch that. Yeah. Tastiest I don't follow Randall and she got yeah, I remember. too annoying on social media. Because she was fucking one of Fetty Wap's friends, I think. I think I unfollowed most of the Thick Accounts. Thick so. Accounts? Yeah. Wow, really? Nick, you're really evolving. Am I? Nick is now a Charizard. I am, dude. No, he's not. He's Charmeleon. What the fuck is this? It's Randolin's Instagram. It's her singing with her fucking... Oh, nice. Ah! God damn. <laughs> what? What? I forget how just gigantic her ass is. Adam's not allowed to see. No, let me... <laughs> I, I hate this. And then this Ugh. lower body is unbelievable. Like, that's a disease, dude. It is a disease. But good for her getting her fucking cheeks blowed out. Getting her fucking cake smashed. Dude, I want to do a Puzz 3D of her ass. A what? A Buzz 3, a 3D puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Just autistically reassemble her ass out of 3D pieces. And my fucking... <laughs> two, two loves. <laughs> Autistic problem solving and big fat ass. <laughs> if you were doing that while on a fucking uh, strong uh, Russian girl's shoulders, that's the yeah, only yeah, thing yeah, that would yeah. be better. Riding a train. Yeah, I'm going to do a Puzz 3D of Julia Vinz's body. <laughs> <laughs> Just kissing every ab. <laughs> Would you fuck her? Who, Julia or I, IRL? Yeah, of course. Both of them. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Are you out Abso of your fucking mind? Hey, man, I, who knows? I, don't, I wonder if, like, you know, you, you talk a big talk, but would you walk the walk? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'll fucking... Even though her. she's stronger than you? Yeah, what the fuck does that matter? She she toss you around like a little rag doll, dude. I don't care. She bends you over. I don't give a shit. Pulls your cock back. This is what I call the Michelle Obama, where it's the man is on all fours. <laughs> the man, the and he pulls the, the Michelle the Obama. Obama. <laughs> you know how that's how she fucks Obama, dude. He's on all fours and she pulls his cock back and fucks him like she has a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, dude. Uh, the Michelle yeah. Obama. Yeah, dude. That's what Julia's going to do to you. Yeah. She's gonna hit you. She's gonna hit that smooth Michelle Obama. Uh, Sam Hyde had a tweet one time that was like, uh, "Inside source tells us uh, Michelle Obama, huge slut and size queen, fucked over a hundred guys." <laughs> <laughs> Very nicely done. <laughs> it's a good it's like, and, and it was like, it starts off inside with like an, source. It's like an insider. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually one of his best. Th it's just like. Cl Shifting the fucking tone so quick. Yeah. You're like, from something that's okay, all right. And then it's like so inappropriate and ridiculous. He's so funny, dude. He's hilarious. Yeah. Too bad he's a fucking Nazi, I guess. Yeah, but so are we. No, we're not. No, we're, we're not, not, Nick. Adam is. Are. He's Israeli. I'm the only Nazi because I'm a pro Zionist. <laughs> You're pro Israel. Mm -hmm. I'm not, dude. I'm a member of Golden Dawn. Much different. In Greece? No, I'm not. How come Zionism, fascists. it's called Zionism, but it's got nothing to do with Rastafari? It does, dude. Zion, they dude. They smoke that good loud, dude. No, Actually, just... they just legalized weed. That's like become like a new Israel propaganda thing. It's like Israel is like, it's cool. come here for weed, for weed. Right, right, right. Yeah. <sighs> and definitely no apartheid. Yeah. Like the 30 miles down the road. You get to shoot a road. missile at a Palestinian child. <laughs> <laughs> and smoke dumb. a big old blunt afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to do that Nick would you like to push a button could you kill someone if all you had to do was push a button and then they die no what person no absolutely not I could not do that I would have to I, well I want to feel their life <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hands around it's the be up close and personal that makes sense 
And that totally makes motherfucking sense. Yeah, it's like Mike Diesel used to tell that story about killing a man at a bar for like stepping on his wife's foot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was just like, he had this like fake story he would tell about like, you know, and it, it, say whatever you want to me. Do whatever you want. Right, right, right. Classic. You do not disrespect Classic. my wife. <laughs> Classic. And he's like, you know, the guy gets into it with him and he fucking, I took him to the ground and I felt his life. And slip out of my hands. Incredible. Yeah, and then the wait staff is like, we saw what happened. We got this. And they took care of, like, the wait staff covered up a murder. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah. Mike Diesel thinks he lives in the John Wick universe. Yeah, yeah. It's like he just, everyone is there to support an assassin. Mm -hmm. Which way to the Richmond funny bone? <laughs> One night only, the Baba Yaga <laughs> in Soviet Russia. Ah, uh, fuck, that movie's so good. Yeah, dude, I hope I they make a third one. Again. They will, they definitely will. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe I'll watch John Wick this afternoon after my bike one. ride, my pissed bike ride. <laughs> uh, I like having I a nice heard, pissed afternoon bike ride. I heard a rumor that it's going to be kind of like the the tower or the raid. Where it's John Wick versus just a big ass building. Oh hell yeah! And dude. I would my That's dick would cool. get so hard for yeah. that dude. Did you see uh, Dread? Uh no, is that I good? did. Dread was good as shit. Yeah, it was in really fact, good. In fact, we should you should come over. I'll get Dread on 4K Blu-ray and we can watch that. That's not a bad idea. Do you Although, have I don't the feel new like Robocop? The, the the best part of Dread, and this isn't really much of a spoiler, but eventually he, like kills the bad guy. Of course, yeah. What? <laughs> and at the end, at the end, he like kills the bad guy, and like it's just. You know, the climax of the movie, he kills him, and uh, he just looks down and he goes, Yeah. And that's it. That's, <laughs> thing, that's like the cool line at the end of the that movie. Rocks. Just, yeah. <laughs> that rocks. Shouts out to Dread. We should, um, yeah, we should also watch the new uh, Robocop. Is that good? So good. Really? So mm -hmm. sick. Okay. Yeah. I am Homo Cop. Homo Cop has to be done. There's Actually, no both Robocops are really good for. Different reasons. But okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. I also just watched Training Day. Shit All right. Rules. Okay. How yeah. about Lobo Cop? And it's a wolf cop. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From New Mexico. Yes. Yeah. The Lobos. <laughs> Is there someone named Rebecca Lobo? Mm hmm. Who's that? A basketball player? A former yeah, WNBA yes, player right. for that's the right. New York Liberty. That's right. She's good. <sighs> oh, boy. She's hot. All right, well, I guess Hunter we can wrap this up. Yeah, Caroline's so. this something. Thursday, Thursday. The 15th at 10 p.m. Uh, well, look look out for that uh, poster the next to The should be coming any minute should now. should be coming any, any yeah, day yeah, now. Yeah. We've sold half the tickets so far, so get yours now before they sell out. They're uh, cheaper online, too. They're 15 cheaper online. online. Yeah, buy it online. Do they have they service save. fees? It's not going to be $5 worth okay. of service yeah. fees. They will be cheaper online. Yeah, why would you fucking say that Come out on, loud? You got, God damn it. You're such a bad business We're man. trying to sell tickets, I'm just, Actually, I'm very good at business. No, I'm good You're at bad business. business. You're both bad at That's business. That's why I negotiated a better deal for us on this one than you fucking the pumpkin on the last one. Did no, you your job was you to negotiate the, the deal on the last one, and then we asked you the day of what the split was, and you said, oh, I actually never asked. What the fuck are you talking about? The last Carolines? No, Black Cat. No, actually, no, no. it was Stav who negotiated that one. Oh. We just did the. I ran all the numbers by you, assholes, by the way. Yeah, it's true. He did. No, yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I get into business mode, you forget that I am a retired used car salesman. <laughs> Years hawking retired. fucking Nextel phones. A forced retirement. Angry black men. Mm hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. I know, the I most know. dangerous game. The most dangerous game. <laughs> selling ringtones to black men. <laughs> and then I became the hunter. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll see you guys Thursday. Come out to the show. And uh, bring me a birthday present. Yeah. Give me oh, a yeah. Switch. And then everyone in attendance will see Nick and I <laughs> giving Stav his birthday presents live. It's going to yeah. be very cool. I still gotta, there's only one more component left to Stav's birthday present is the packaging. Mm -hmm. We've got an idea for packaging. It's going to be fun. Oh, great. <laughs> Can't wait. And Can't wait to see. Adult film performer. The thoughtful and cruel thing <laughs> you guys have prepared for me. <laughs> adult film performer Bailey J will be in attendance. Bro, don't to, even mine's, mine's so to good. To give dude. stuff. My present's so good. I added to it. <laughs> to I, I didn't stuff. tell Adam yet, but you I added it. added a new I, element? There's a new element. Oh, <laughs> great. I'm excited. Uh, I hate this. <laughs> All right, guys. See you Thursday. Bye. All right. All right. You are now entering the 36 chambers. <laughs> what would they be? What would Wu-Tang call?
the, the, the pussy, the asshole, the mouth, the ear, the other ear, the mm-hmm. nostril, the other nostril. Mm-hmm. We're at like button. eight. Belly button for sure. Tikal. What is Tikal? That's uh Please Tikal my ass. Tikal, yes. I love yes. getting my asshole Tikal. <laughs> One of my 36 sex chambers, my asshole. It done stay flexed. I got a a tight sphincter flexed permanently. Thinking about a man named Victor. That means champion, warrior, Mm -hmm. Wu-Tang. Yes. The sex warriors. Yes. Japanese style. Cut Mm -hmm. your dick off with a sword. My dick's real small, but I got a sword. Yeah. Wu-Tang. Killer bees. That's it, son. Hey, son, tell him what's good. I don't know. That's I, pretty I can't. good. Thirty sex chambers. I, yeah, thirty sex chambers. I wish I was. I could freestyle. So that'd be good. Yeah. Sometimes that, when I get really high, I can freestyle. Sometimes when I get really high, I get racist. Yes. Well, that's what I mean. When I say freestyle, I mean I get high and I scream obscenities. Yeah, that's the N word. Mm-hmm. Some other spicy the classic. Ones. The N word's sort of the Coca Cola classic of Absolutely. the source. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. You just enjoy it. What's uh, Pepsi? Um. Is it? Uh, ooh. I don't know. The one for Jews? No. I don't know. I wasn't even included. I was thinking in terms of Pepsi products at large. You know, mm. so you go, N-word is Coca-Cola. Of course. Sprite is also the N-word. <laughs> They're pretty much all the I guess, N-word. you know what? I guess the answer here is I love soda. And then they do this, they do the thing Except where you- Except for grape soda. You go outside here in Astoria and you say all the slurs at once and that's called doing a suicide. <laughs> You will get jumped. That's, That's right. We're back in Astoria. Mm-hmm. This time we're in the sex, the sex Stavros' sex chambers. The we're thirty my, sex chambers. We're in my room. I'm lounging on my damn bed where I've had sex with lots of women. And Nick is on Eldis's office chair, which we rolled in from his room. Mm-hmm. He is still in Paris. Eldis Actually, is... I think he's in London now. Where's my chair? <laughs> Where's my chair that I make beats on? <laughs> That's right. Eldis does make beats. You know, if you're I was going to steal Eldis's MIDI keyboard. No, don't do that. I got my own, but good. I was going to take his. That's good. You know? Mm-hmm. That's me. Smash and grab. That's right, dude. Someone lets you into their home. Tactical. <laughs> and you steal, you pa- steal their roommates' Powerfully things. tactical. I get that. You know, it's just for my time in the military. I can't... I get it, man. I know. So you can't turn that switch off. You know, it's like, where did my MIDI keyboard go? I'm like, yeah, Nick took it. He's like, why? And you're like, you know, he's a veteran. Yeah. You know how they are. Mm-hmm. PTSD, probably taking shit, don't belong to me. <laughs> uh, mine is pussy tastes super delicious. I prefer to take shit that doesn't belong to me. <laughs> yeah. PTSD. Um, I'm also prone to violent outbursts. You know? That's PTVO. PTVO? I don't know. I'm just, I was just describing the symptoms now. I wasn't doing the letters anymore. Oh, okay. Um, speaking of buying shit, shout out to everybody that's uh, made the uh, the grand opening of the Come Dot Town mm-hmm. store uh, a success. I know the prices are. Uh, I know you're being gouged, but hey, you know, drop shipping. You got to have. You know, the margins are so small, you got to rip people, really fucking rip people off. Yeah. So if you're the guy that spent $69 on the gayest kid in school backpack. <laughs> Salute to you, my hey friend. Hey, man. I Thank pre- you. We got, I, if you, you come to a show, I will sign uh, my name, Both Stav's name, nuts. Adam's name. I will sign Adam's social security number. That's right. Directly on the backpack for you. And I will sign my name uh, in your asshole with my tongue. That's a promise. Um, that's cool. You remember when people were like, you know how you get a girl off? You'd spell the alphabet on her pussy. Yeah, that's lazy to me. Yeah. I eat pussy from the heart. I don't need a fucking, I don't need a fucking, you know, step-by-step guide. Yeah, why do you follow a system? Absolutely. I close my eyes and I'm I a, Yeah, I'm a... I'm, I'm on a cliff with I'm an fucking, artist. With wind blowing through my hair, because when I close my eyes, I have long, beautiful hair, yeah, you know? You, you wear the pussy hair like a toupee. <laughs> that's right. I have... I I have a beautiful toupee made out of all the pussy hairs of all the women whose pussies I've ever eaten. Mm -hmm. Every time it grows larger, (laughs) it's just a giant, beautiful fro. That'd be like a cool. That'd be a cool way to pick up girls. It's like, hey, girl, I know you think I'm bald, but I actually lost all my hair. Eating pussy. That's right. Eating other pussies. I'm eating pussy at the at this. I break you the sound I barrier. lost my teeth. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. So I became a toothless bald man. Anyways, do you want to go see I Tanya? <laughs> I like I Tanya because I'm a feminist. I would support a movie where no, a, wom- a woman has never done anything wrong. But it's so funny because Tanya Harding is a horrible person, and they make is her she? look pretty cool in there. 
Yeah. She was in on the plot 100% in real life. I don't know anything about that story, and I really don't give I a do. shit. I was kind of annoyed that they made that. Anytime there's like a trend, you know, I mm-hmm. buck it. You know what Whoa, I'm saying? Whoa, dude, that's cool of you. Yeah, dude. I'm so dumb. you're telling me what's what's popular, you go the other way? I go the other way. All the wow. time. Every time, dude. <laughs> but no, all, all this like the 90s true crime stuff, it's like, you know, it's just annoying when like it the, enterta- the entertainment industry will hit it out of the park. And they've always done this. So they'll hit it out of the park with one thing and they're like, OJ. that's it. That's got it. Let's fucking, let's just, just beat this thing to death. Right. I mean, you know, that's... The they, OJ doc was good as hell. Yeah, and then they do it... I mean, they've, they've done it with, like, look at all the fucking Marvel movies. And it's because of what? Spider-Man? Spider-Man was really good. No, it wasn't even that good. No, the first Spider-Man? It wasn't that good. It was great. With Tobey Maguire? Uh, I don't remember it being that good. Yeah, I remember it being good. No, dude. Yeah. Your dick is actually small. It was not good. No. Batman Begins, My you dick fucking was retard. That's big why, at the time. That's why... That's, first of all, everything. that's DC. Second of all, it's not But that's why all the shit came back around. That's why everything was doing... Well, because of reboots. Batman Begins? Hell yeah, dude. Spider-Man, you're right. Spider-Man was the first one to like kind of get Spider-Man it going. Spider-Man was the first big... Marvel blockbuster that wasn't a complete piece of shit. X Men came out first, and X Men kind of sucked. Sucked dick, yeah. But, but when, it was still cool because everyone loved the X Men. Yeah. I went to see. Fuck, maybe I'm just kid. talking from personal experience. But when I when I saw Spider Man in theaters, I was like, that was perfect. And I remember thinking like, oh, they should just do this. I mean, this is like such an easy formula. So right. I guess I was kind of complicit in that because they the studios read my thoughts. Oh and my they went god, on, dude! So actually, wait, point. how do you buck a trend if you started it? Um, because. Uh, at the time, people thought superhero movies were bad because they had made a bunch mm. of bad ones. So I was being, I was, you know, counterculture. Mm. The beatnik thing to do back then yes, was yes. to like those movies. You were that guy who uh, who wrote Jack Kerouac. You were Jack Kerouac. I'm Jack Offawack. Jack Offawack. <laughs> Jack Offa Man. <laughs> <laughs> on the load. <laughs> yeah, on the load. <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, I don't support I, Tanya because the villain is made out to be a fat man, and that's just, that's against our community. He's not really the villain, though. Yes, he is. They make the husband out to be, actually, no, they kind the of make Nancy Kerrigan villain. out to be the villain, because she didn't the enjoy the Olympics. Yeah, fucking That's bitch. the final note in the movie, is like, you know, I may have contracted to have that bitch almost killed, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I came in 35th place because I'm a sociopathic, you know, drunk, but... She got silver, and she wasn't freaking smiling. <laughs> she wasn't freaking smiling she and Napoleon. <laughs> no, like, but that's how she talks, I think. Freaking laser beams. Yeah, yeah how about you don't? <laughs> um, I saw Black Listen, Panther. Listen, Sadie. I guess Sadie got in trouble. Did she? Yeah. For what? Um... For I don't know, the shark not putting the shark. That was a fun episode. Remember when we did that? Yeah, yeah. You want to run that back real quick? Uh, what? F- woke bastard. And oh yeah. Fat. Yeah, there was a lot of good shit this on is that good one. Stuff, man. The Australian retard. Uh yeah, it's a classic. Yeah, that's back when we, you know, we podcasted for the love of it, not just to peddle gayest kid in school backpacks. <laughs> yeah, not to sell sixty nine dollar <laughs> backpacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck dude I'm gonna become a backpack millionaire I love that dude I know I love that idea oh, yeah I love it cause it has nothing to do with Cumbtown we've <laughs> exactly. never mentioned that backpack <laughs> there's no <laughs> It is solely a backpack that says gayest kid in school. It's not even like a, a, a spin off of a riff. Yeah. It's just. I fucked up the lettering too. I made yeah. it like all scratchy and shitty looking. <laughs> Salud, baby. Salud. Hey, how about this though? Suck my. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> S my D, and you'll see a world of anal A tiny little penis. Just Take my pants. In. Off my legs, <laughs> and you'll discover a tiny little penis. <laughs> That's about you. What? Yeah. No, I started doing that. I Don't know. Turn but my you're song the... against me. Why? Because it's about my song is about being gay. I guess you're right. Thanks, man. I guess it means you're a right. Lot. I shouldn't be doing that. I was laughing the other day about a movie. You know, you've seen Rear Window, right? Of course. So it's Queer Window, and it's mm. just an old handicapped guy that's homophobic, and there's <laughs> two gay guys across the street to keep fucking each other. <laughs> In front of the window, and he keeps calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking queers are doing it again. <laughs> All right, Mr. McDougal, please stop calling us. I just got to wait till you see. I'm going to stop them. And then they come shotgun, over to his place. Sniper? And then they have sex in his apartment. What? At the end. 
What the fuck? How does that happen? I don't know. That's how rear window ends. Really? I think. Actually, you know what? And I know people are going to get on my case for this, but I've never seen the original rear, rear window. Me I've either. only seen the Shia remake. LaBeouf. No. The Christopher Reeves oh, remake. Oh, yes. That came out right after his accident, mm-hmm. where they're like, we got to find something to put him in besides live action Pinocchio, where he's just <laughs> a, a marionette. Is that real? Yeah, he's in a rear window remake. No, no, no. was the Pinocchio? Was he a marionette? Oh no, no. no. <laughs> he was string up his. Yeah, he's yeah. Just paralyzed. Weekend at Bernie's, starring Christopher Reeves. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, that's so funny. He plays like, Uma Thurman's character in the paralyzed scene in the in Kill Bill. Oh yeah, she's he's in the, the one that gets fucked by Chuck. Yeah, it's yeah. Like My name's Buck, and I'm here to fuck. I used to be Superman. <laughs> I'm fully caught. Con- my head is fully caught. Con- he's he's, no fuck he's just getting fucked, and he can't feel it. He just feels the back of his head slightly moving up and down against the pillow behind him as a janitor has sex with his limp body. Please stop! I was Superman. Please stop! I, I was friends with Robin Williams. Isn't that weird? I was. Um, Me and Robin Williams went to Juilliard together, or something. I was the reason people didn't like superhero movies for twenty years. <laughs> Please stop fucking my ass. That I can't feel. <laughs> but your soul feels it. It's true. It's a Danny Glover is his guardian mm-hmm. angel. Love his ass. Your soul feel it, don't it? <laughs> Just because your body can't feel it, don't mean your soul can't feel that thing. <laughs> Wait, Danny Glover from Angels in the Outfield? <laughs> yeah, but, no, but he's now he's the guardian angel. From Kill Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I like this movie better. All right, <laughs> so it's Christopher Reeve as Uma Thurman and Kill Bill yeah. getting fucked yeah. by Buck, and then Danny Glover from Angels in the Outfield is his guardian angel. His guardian angel is explaining like, "That's how you know God is real, son, because you might not be able to feel your asshole getting stretched out by this here toothless janitor, but your soul feel it." You so feel, you so feel every drop of nut in there. Go ahead, ask him how many squirts he did. I bet it's four, isn't it? You knew in your heart it was four squirts, not three, not five. He had, you felt four pulses in the soul, and that's how many times he nutted. He tossed four little ropes right up in your cold, loose, broken asshole. Oh damn! Please stop. Please stop narrating my rape. <laughs> yeah, he's in the room. He can stop it at any moment. <laughs> yeah. Can you please stop this from happening? I got next. I'm sorry. I, I used up all my magic making sure a pizza got delivered to my other client <laughs> within 30 minutes. I know that seems like a waste of my angel powers, but he really wanted that pizza. <laughs> oh, fuck. What else did Chris, was Christopher Reeves in other movies? All I know him from is Superman. He must have had like a big career, right? Wasn't he like a famous guy? Um, I think he played the dog in The Mask. That's right. That was him. That may have been a Jack Russell Terrier, though. No, I'm pretty sure it was him. Oh, it was. He was friends with Robert Williams, though. Didn't they go like acting school together? Um, that's what I thought. Did they? I think so. And Robin Williams went to acting school? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's why he was in all those movies. Yeah, what the fuck? I was hoping that era would come back where you got to just be like kind of a shitty comedian for a while and then they let you be like a famous movie star yeah, that what makes the billions fuck? of dollars. What was it? But you couldn't be good at com. You'd have to be weirdly good at comedy. Like Jim Carrey and Robin Williams. And yeah, like, you'd have that's to be true. Like, I guess Kevin Kevin Hart did that shit. That's true. I was, I, I was hoping maybe me and you would get to be in like That'd be fun. Ocean's 8. Oceans six nine. Oceans eight is the guys that have sex with the the ocean ladies. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, because Oceans six is coming up. Is Oceans that... eight is coming out, or it okay. already did, but it was, you know, people it already only... came out. I I don't know. I mean, no way. I, like I feel like I feel like Oceans eight was coming out, and people are like, the girl power, but they kind of blew that load already, and then Black Panther came out and people are like, oh yeah, nobody gives a shit about women. Right, right. We're right back right, there. Right, right, right. The fellas. That's what we want to see is fellas. Black fellas. Mm-hmm. Black Panther rocked. I saw it in, uh, I went at 11 a.m. matinee and I was like, this would be great. Like everyone's, it'll be fucking empty and it was nothing but school field trips. Just lazy ass teachers being like, yep, this is mm-hmm. learning. Going to see Black Panther. Lazy ass teachers. Yeah. I'm tired of these lazy ass teachers. I am too, man. Taking kids to see fucking Black Panther on yeah. a school day. 
I'm supposed to be there. And then they're just like, it's the same teacher next week. It's like, Daddy's Home 2 is in a very important <laughs> film. These kids need to know that there's daddies that come home sometimes. It's important for children without a father figure in the home to have multiple of them, four of them. Mm-hmm. Will Ferrell, mm-hmm. Mark Wahlberg, John Lithgow, I think. Is he? I only watched the first 10 minutes of Daddy's Home 2. It was funny, though. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. Um, there's also a mentally challenged young man who was moaning throughout the movie. And the little kids, the young. Oh, I kids. thought you meant in Daddy's Home too. Like that was a character in the movie, <laughs> yeah. just like a mongoloid that's like. Uh, no, but that's seen? actually exactly what the guy sounded. If like. If that had happened, I'd be like, "Comedy's coming back, baby." <laughs> and all the little kids were laughing at him, and it was, you know, mm-hmm. kind of fucked up of them. If I, th- I think. Yeah. You know. That's my. That's well, what I, I guess to say. I guess we know the obvious answer is that the next movie to come out needs to be Retarded Panther. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I think that we already had it, you know they did the gay version of that movie like 50 years ago Pink Panther of mm-hmm. course yes yeah yeah that movie's about a spy that has to suck off guys to get secrets right yeah by the way, I would be so susceptible. If there was a sexy... I've seen commercials for that Jennifer Lawrence movie where she's like a sexy Russian lady who like fucks to get secrets or whatever. What, what, what are you talking about? Bread, Scarlet something. Bread, bread, bread Scarlet? Scarlet uh, something. Sc- Scarlet red Bread? something. Scarlet Bread? No, no, no. Red, red Phoenix or some shit. Red f- Bread? No, no. She's like a Russian bitch. And she's like a double agent or something. But it's a bread movie? No, Red. Oh, Red. R-E-D. Oh. Uh, and I guess the plot is she's a secret agent and she fucks for secrets. And uh, I would, if I had any secrets, I would, immediately if a hot girl wanted to fuck me, I would give them to her. Oh, I mean, I people tell me secrets and I just immediately go tell everyone. <laughs> Regardless of getting of getting the thing pussy is, that people don't understand is like I'm a storyteller. Sure, I, lo- I love telling stories. Mm-hmm. I love any any kind of juicy details, gossip, tidbits. It's not that I'm trying to fuck you over as a friend. It's just like I'm a journalist, mm-hmm. you know. And I sure. need to. Re- nobody will publish anything I say, so I have to just repeat things you say to me in confidence to as many people as possible. as many people as possible. Specifically, the people you don't want knowing about. Mm, interesting, you know. So, give us an example. Like, let's say someone told you, uh, I don't know, a family. <laughs> no, uh, let's say someone told you they fucked, they cheated on their girlfriend. Uh huh. W- would you tell? Who would you tell right away? Uh, well, you know, I would. Yeah, I wouldn't do that shit where you, you know, tell the girlfriend. Sure, you obviously, would tell. I would use that information to have sex with their girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of, sort of like telling them. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if I would do that either. No, you wouldn't. In fact, I think I would be on the man's side. As, as a matter of principle. Ooh, how about this? Woman cheats on her boyfriend. What do you do in that situation? Uh, then I also try to fuck the woman. <laughs> because she's already cheated once. That's true. They're all, yeah, she's a whore, clearly. Yeah. Well, they're all whores. I was reading this book yeah. that was saying how they're all whores. I was watching this uh, Jordan Peterson video the other day. Yes, exactly. Norman Norman likes Jordan Peterson. Does he? And he sent me <laughs> he sent me this video where Jordan Peterson goes, and I think that uh, if you look at uh, autism, and uh, you know, I mean, there's a theory that autism is actually uh, an overexposure to testosterone in the womb. <laughs> So, you, you could deduce from that that uh, autism is hypermasculinity. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. You know, all those jacked autistic oh, I, I, I mean, That's the thing. It's like, I don't really fuck with Jordan Peterson, but his whole thing is like, you know, let's call things what they are. You know, <laughs> is that what he sounds trip. like? I've never heard him yeah, speak. He's, yeah, he sounds like air slowly leaking <laughs> out of a, a already like weak old balloon. <laughs> you know, three days after the birthday party, yeah, type yeah, of yeah. Shit. After yeah. the after your infant died, <laughs> the day after its birthday, and you left the balloons on the floor of your efficiency apartment, you pick up one of those balloons and you slowly let the air out. It's like trans people aren't real. <laughs> But 
His whole thing is like, you know, let's call a spade a spade or right, whatever, right, right, you know. Right, right. None of this PC and it's like, shit. Actually, autistic people are hyper masculine. Right, 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 right. Is he autistic? Oh, sure. Yeah, the people that sit around watching uh, sh- television shows for four year old girls <laughs> that it will be permanently dependent on their mother and can never leave home. Wait, Those is, are... that, is that autistic? What's that? Is that autistic? Oh, yeah. People that are like bronies, that's autism. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. You bet your ass. Okay. Autistic is a little less bad, or it's not as, you know, debilitating or whatever as regular medical retardation. Medi- <laughs> your son is medically retarded. <laughs> yeah. um, is, he, is, is Jordan Peterson autistic? Um, I mean, I wouldn't think so, but after he said that, maybe. Yeah. Actually, autistic people have very big dicks. Yeah. They're actually the guys that fuck the mm-hmm. most. Um, it's actually, uh, it's actually gay to get pussy. <laughs> it's a study that I've done recently. I've, here at the University of Canada, I ran a study that says that if your dick is under four inches, it's actually big. And that if your dick is over eight, that it's small. <laughs> and so if you're a, an autistic retard with a four-inch dick, you're actually the, the smartest, most fuckable guy in the world. And if women don't have sex with you, they should be in jail. <laughs> thank you. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Woo! Mr. Peterson, thank you. Mr. Peterson, a question? <laughs> question from the audience? Mr. Peterson. <laughs> What about my dick? How does this look to you? Um, it's smaller than mine. I don't need to look at it, but I have the biggest dick. Please give me money. Hell yeah. Canada's yeah. foremost scholar on getting pussy, mm-hmm. Jordan Peterson. I was just about to say that I was just in Canada, but I wasn't. I was in Boston, <laughs> which felt like Canada. Have you, You've been to Canada before. You went to Montreal. I went to Montreal. What's you the northernmost you've ever been? Probably Montreal. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I've never been to Canada. I Montreal. Montreal. I, w- I was thinking about buying property in Alaska. Yeah, you, you were on that Alaska tip for a while. Yeah. Well, there's no property tax. You can just buy it and sit on it. Mm-hmm. That's you know? what you did with my dick earlier today. I did. I, what? <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had record scratch sound that effect. That would be good. We could get sound effects. We could. I just need to bring that MIDI keyboard and the computer set up. And then no, I got the little, I got the dongle. I could do Tim Allen, you know. Oh yeah. I was laughing. The, I woke up the other morning imagining a version of Home Improvement where uh, Tim Allen's like, rah, 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 rah. but it's just he's saying the N word, <laughs> <laughs> but in that same like kind of voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Jill's like, Tim. <laughs> was there ever a single black person on Home Improvement? Never once. Never. Never once. Never in a single episode did they ever have a black person on that show. <laughs> And you can look it up. I guarantee you that's the truth. I feel like I feel like I'm remembering a black guy wearing a tool belt, but I yeah, I just I think it's just a guy from the office. No, you're just remembering a time you went to Home Depot. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gay. Uh, uh, that's the sound I make every time I, my dick goes into pussy. Is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, my, uh, I go. Uh, Actually, <laughs> actually, this actually. <laughs> every time I come, every time I come, it sounds like the weekend singing. Yeah, ah. it's Jordan. It's Jordan Peterson. He puts his dick in a girl, and he's like, "She's like, is it in yet?" And then he's like, oh, sh- "Shut up!" And he starts punching her in the face, <laughs> and then she's like, "Are you punching me in the face? <laughs> Are you punching me yet?" <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, is my man married? What's Jay Peterson up to? What's that? Do he JP? be getting pussy? Does JP get pussy? I don't know, dude. I don't really know anything about Jordan Peterson other than is he somebody. Scott Peterson. Somebody came up to me. I I found out about him like a year ago. Uh-huh. Somebody came up to me and they're like, "Do you know who Jordan Peterson is?" And I was like, uh-huh. "No." They were like, "You would love him." Also, <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, which means I wouldn't. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because again. Nobody knows the real me, mm-hmm. you know? Nobody yeah. knows. When people zag, you zig. Yeah. Because um, when people fig, you... F- Never mind. You know, I'm hard to... People know my art, you know? Mm-hmm. They know the, yes, the, the, art. the presentation <laughs> I have. 
but they don't know the real me that oh. a man is in his art, you know? Mm hmm. Dude, that's actually must be tough. Nobler. Oh, yeah. He's got a code. <laughs> I love that you have this window so I can look at the horizon while yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look pretty majestic uh, actually yeah, yeah, saying yeah. this dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, almost an intellectual. What do you think of my plants, dude? They look good. I just started doing bonsai. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, but I got, I got, got, uh, I got seeds, so it's gonna. Oh, take... you're gonna trim. You're gonna grow them from fucking scratch, huh? Yeah, dude. I'm not adopting a plant. Yeah, why? What, like some woman with a broken pussy? <laughs> you think that's your child? <laughs> it's not. Look, if you adopt kids, you're a fucking bitch, dude. <laughs> your fucking dick doesn't work. Your balls and your pussy are broken. Yeah, that's true. You can't have. You can't make your own children. Nick's right about that. <laughs> I can't imagine being so much as a coward to adopt a child. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that is very fucking true, man. I want to actually adopt a child, dude. I want to make one and I want to adopt one. Yeah, I want to adopt a bunch of black kids just to take them to see Black Panther every single day mm-hmm. for the rest of their lives. And then they fail all the regents because I've just been taking them to <laughs> subsequent viewings of Black Panther over and over again. They've never learned anything. Dad, please. We don't want to see them. You are going to sit here and watch Space Jam <laughs> until you're Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> you need this for your self-esteem. Dang, We're going to watch please? every single fucking episode of Martin. Can I learn math, please? No. <laughs> You're going to watch a, a, a version of Amadeus that I've color corrected to make Mozart black. <laughs> I just want to read that. I don't know what, what letters are. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning the Crip alphabet. <laughs> The only letters I know are C-R-I-P <laughs> from the gang signs you've taught me. <laughs> from the hand signs. That would be a great character to do. You just, And by character, I mean an actual thing people do and a way to live your life is you adopt a black kid and then you go around with like a bunch of like pan-Africanist clothes on. Oh, the yeah. I mean, technically, you do have a black child. Do I? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, in oh. that scenario. Oh, I just got worried for a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ronaldo Fink Mullen. Yeah. What was your fake baby's name? Was that it? That was it. Ronaldo Fink. <laughs> That was so awesome. I still can't believe how many of those... For everyone that does... I don't know if we've talked about it, but Nick, when he first moved to Baltimore, pretended to have a son on Twitter and Facebook... And then, like, three days, like, people were, like, congratulating him, and he did a couple bits about him, and then he, I think he got tired of it, so you just said he died. Yeah. And then you did in an R.I.P. post. In, a, in he, a beer fire. Yeah, he said he died in a beer fire. But I was posting all this bullshit about how I can't afford, like, a crib, so he just sleeps in my, like, laundry basket. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And we were like, ooh, jeez, I don't know about <laughs> yeah. this. And, uh... And you posted an R.I.P. status, and you used Jada Kiss. Was it Jada Kiss R.I.P.? Who is, is that? Is it Jada? No, that's not Jada No, no, no. Kiss. That's uh. Oh, R.I.P., we just killed the club. Yeah, that's Jeezy. That's right. That's right. Yes, yes, yeah. young Jeezy. And you posted R.I.P., my beautiful son, Ronaldo <laughs> Wayne Mullen. R.I.P. And, and you R. R. had to link the YouTube video to that song. <laughs> R.I.P., we just killed the club. <laughs> and then, like, people... <laughs> I remember a couple different people came up to me personally and were like, hey, man, I've been trying to reach Nick to, to, give, him my, <laughs> to give him my condolences for yeah. his son. And I was like, what I was like, bitch, fuck? I'm at the club. <laughs> you can't reach me. <laughs> oh, R.I.P. We just killed the club. <laughs> Patron out the cup almost killed the thug. R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> just listening to that song because your son died. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck. A little funeral, a little baby yeah. funeral. No, I remember when we went to uh, Tom Myers' album recording. Yes. And uh, I saw him, and I was like, Tom, you have any drink tickets? You know? And he's like, no, nah, they didn't uh, They didn't comp any of my stuff. And he was like, uh, oh, congratulations, by the way, <laughs> yeah. on your son. And I was like, what? And he was like, congratulations on your, having a son. And I was like, oh, thanks, Tom. <laughs> Yeah. God damn. It, like, you now would be a horrible father, but you then, it's like, yeah. would be criminal negligence to have a child. <laughs> it would be so fucked up. Yeah, dude. Just living in that clown's house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a raped army clown. <laughs> <laughs> you and your son sharing a three bedroom with a raped army clown. His ex wife? His drunk ex wife? Yeah, his ex wife in the other bedroom. <laughs> 
Just listening to podcasts all day. <laughs> wow, foreshadowing, dude. Who yeah. would have known? Yeah, dude. That shit was so funny. I met up with her. It was that night uh, I did Magoobies and then like blacked out and I had to sleep in your brother's room. Yes. And then I was still drunk when I woke up, so I was like, oh, it just dropped me off at the shopping center and I'll just kill eight and a half hours there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll just, yeah, I dropped you off on my way I'll to sit, work. I'll sit in McDonald's you... for eight and a half hours did while you're Did she drop work. you off or did I drop you, you off? You dropped me off there because you were going to White Marsh for work. For work, yes. And uh, after like- Back when I was a fucking paralegal. 40 minutes of sitting at McDonald's, like knowing I was just going to throw up if I didn't, <laughs> you know, get more alcohol in me right. or whatever. I called her, and then she came and picked me up in a zip car. Hell yeah! And then spent her disability money at the liquor store. <laughs> and then we went back to her place, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm still trying to get my kid back." <laughs> I remember the time you spinning it as like, "Hey, there's people worse than me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep oh, drinking." Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're like, dude, it's pretty nice it. knowing some people. I remember are feeling that way. I was like, "Fuck, I'm a fucking drunk, dude." I'm like. <laughs> Just a complete fuck up. And then I hung out with her and was like, I guess I'm okay. Dude, there was a pep in your step for a week after hanging out with her. <laughs> you were like... <laughs> God damn. What a... Damn. I love Baltimore, man. Mm-hmm. I really do. I want to go back and just buy a, buy a house and make it a fucking... A fortress, dude. Yeah. Have gun turrets on it. That'd be cool. Keep everyone away. Yeah. I want to buy like three houses and make them knock all the walls down in between them and make one big ass. We house. should all buy. We should buy a studio for down there. I would love to, dude. Let's do it. I can. I got we the cash should. for that right now. Let's fucking do it. I'd go in. And <clears> the thing too. is, if I bought property there, I would want to buy commercial property so that I could use it for like warehousing and shit. There's probably shit you could like. Zo- that's both. You could do both. Yeah. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Definitely, like depending on the neighborhood too. Yeah, yeah, dude, I want a little fuck it, because it would be cool to have a little spot down there. Go down, be more, get my nuts licked. I'm thinking about buying a house there, too, if I can save enough money this year. Yeah. Why don't you just pay off your parents? Do your parents have a mortgage? It's paid off. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say, you do that, and then you can lord it over them. No, I don't want anything to do with you my You twist fucking... your parents' arms. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, say, yeah. listen to me, you fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I own you. <laughs> Evict my father and mother. You can feel it in you. You can feel that dick in your ass, don't you? <laughs> That's the dick of your heart. That's your a- your heart's ass. <laughs> He's not just fucking your ass, ass. Son, son, feel, f- listen to your heart and listen to your heart's asshole. <laughs> and you can feel that dick going. <laughs> you hear? That's the sound of your heart getting raped. <laughs> Is my dad gonna come back? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. I'm trying to manage this baseball team. <laughs> I, can, I can only do two things. Manage baseball teams and make pizza show up on time. <laughs> Is that even an angel's power? <laughs> Are you just a delivery guy? <laughs> <laughs> Man, Angels in the Outfield. What a fucked up movie. I know. Uh, my favorite part about that movie is, like, first of all, the ridiculous premise. I love it. That a man can give his son up at, for adoption at 12 or 13 <laughs> I know, years I old. Know. A fully formed, like, human. Yeah, right. He's, like, a year or two because, away from Because he doesn't want to go to Home Depot and get house keys made so the boy can let him in, uh, <laughs> in by himself after school. <laughs> Was that it? Was that what started it? The mo- yeah, the movie starts and the dad, played by, like, Dermot Mulroney or some shit, is, like... Uh, I want to go ride my motorcycle. Yeah, I thought he was going on like a motorcycle. He's going trip. on a motorcycle tour, and he can't bring his son with him, so he puts his son up for adoption. <laughs> <laughs> and the son has to go live in a in a foster home. And then at the end of the movie, you know, he's like, "Well, he's like, Dad, will we ever be a family again?" And the dad's like, "Yeah, maybe if the angels win the pennant, you know," which is Love like it. so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you know, to sarcastically threaten your son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the angels suck dick, right? Yeah. That's the whole point. Right, yeah. And, uh, and... <laughs> yeah, right, you fucking idiot. Maybe if you learn how to fucking dunk a basketball, you child. Yeah, right. He's like, they're in year zero of a 35-year rebuild. I yeah. will not have to worry about this <laughs> at all. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, the angels win the pennant. And, uh... 
And then he's like, Dad, can we be a family again? And he's like, Nah. Nah, fuck you. You're gay. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Welsh on that bet. I've been getting so much pussy on the road on this motorcycle. Well, anyways, the my favorite part is at the end when like Danny Glover like comes to the son or the the main kid, and he's like, Pack up your shit. I'm taking you out of this fucking shithole. I'm gonna be your dad now. And then the black kid who he's friends with just starts crying in the background. <laughs> and then he's like, oh boy, I get to be adopted by a man I've been friends with for, I don't know, a baseball season. Yeah, maybe? yeah, 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 seven months. <laughs> yeah, right. It's this, it, this old black man is <laughs> <Yeah>. going <laughs> to be my father. Instead of like the nice matronly white woman that only had like two kids in her ward and she seemed fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, I, I, how is it that he has zero relationship with her? I know. Anyways, so he goes, I'm going to be your dad now. And then the black kid starts crying, and he's like, wait, I don't know if I could leave Anthony behind. He's like, oh, oh, yeah, I guess I'll adopt him too. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know him at all. <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, he just adds on. He's like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adopt I'm, him. Listen, all. I'm going to rape both of these children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like so funny because it's like he just let that boy cry thinking yeah, he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to lose his best friend, yeah. not get adopted. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, uh, Angels in the Outfield, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, that movie used to always be on in my at my uh, doctor's office, either that or Fern Gully. Yeah. And what I remember from Fern Gully is that... I used to love Fern Gully when I was a kid. Is that that little fucking Tinkerbell knockoff type bitch was sexy as shit. Uh-huh. That's what I remember from Fern Gully. She yeah. had a little two-piece. Yeah. Kind of like a furry bikini type of Tim thing. Tim Curry is the bad guy. It's pollution. He rules, man. Tim Curry yeah. knocks everything out of the park. Yeah. Except, doesn't he have some fucked up disease now? Um, he can't, like, really move. He's in, like, a oh, wheelchair. Oh, he's got part, or, like, MS or something? I don't know. It sucks, dude. The living sucks. The world, everyone dies or gets fucking sick of shit. Yeah, dude. That's why you gotta, you know, you may think it's... Life is gay as you fuck. You may think it's stupid, but if I could be serious for a moment, like, a lot of you guys probably spend a lot of time depressed or whatever, and it's like, you just need to, like, bite the bullet... Buy a sixty-nine dollar backpack. backpack. Do the things that are just gonna make you happy. Because you're gonna look back on your life and you're gonna say, "What was I happier with? That sixty-nine dollars that ended up having to go to child support, anyways, <laughs> yeah. or a fun backpack, right? That I could not give to my son, who I'm not allowed to see." <laughs> hey, maybe what you want is a, a a t-shirt with a naked me and my butt cheeks out. Those are, there are Stavi Golden Angels tees out there now, too, baby. Yeah. Buy some of those. Fuck, I forgot I got to go to the post office after this and mail off all those shirts. Oh, fuck. That's going to be... Man, I'm so glad I figured out a way to not have to do fulfillment yeah, myself. Yeah, that sucks dick. To, if you're one of the 38 people that got a shirt, I'm on my way to the post office today, or, well, I guess yesterday. It's Saturday. Hopefully, they're not closed by then. Oh, fuck. But I got to reconcile... Man, I had, like, one guy that's, like... Send everything. I send the PayPal. He pays. And he's like, oh, by the way, that's the wrong zip code. Here's the right one. And it's not even close. Why like, would... I don't know how you fucked that up. Yeah, but... dude. Fulfillment sucks. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Let me see what time these motherfuckers close. Oh, they're closed. Oh, the post office is closed already. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there's your answer. I guess the shirts will be going out Monday. <laughs> There's one right here, too. That sucks. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I took a lift here, then, instead of just fucking biking. That's fucking gay as shit. Yeah, I just wasted $30. Then, again, this is like another cost of, like... Mm-hmm. Write that off, baby. Well, I, I will write it off, but, I mean, you don't make any money selling fucking merch. I know. You know, I thought, like, oh, well, I do <clears throat> everything myself. The margins would be higher. They're really not. Yeah. They just suck. You just have to do more work, and... Yeah. I mean, they're, like, a dollar higher, and you worked, like... Five, you know, ten hours or some shit. Yeah, and working sucks my hog. That's yeah. my. That's what I think anyway. Working does suck. Ooh, I just had a hot flash. Really? Are I think going I'm through menopause. Yeah, I'm going through menopause. Let me see your pussy. Is it dried up? It is. Hold on. Whoa, dude, that's a very dry. Hold on. Does that feel better? Sounds like your mouth is dry. Also. Does it feel better? What if you went through mouth pause and you weren't able to eat oh, anymore? No. Is that what's happening to your tooth? Yeah. Yeah, by the way, we didn't speak about it, but uh, I bit down too hard on a chicken wing with my fucked up tooth, and now I can't eat with the right side of my mouth, so... Yeah, it looks like it's going to come out any time. Literally, there is a hole between my tooth and my gum right now. There's a hole in the middle. I could squirt... Stav's mouth looks like, you know, like a cartoon gets fucking hit in the face with a sledgehammer, and then they, like, (laughs) smile, and it's like a piano, (laughs) (laughs) and then the keys fall out. Yeah, dude. 
So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going to the dentist three thirty on Monday, and we have Funny Moms that night, and uh, maybe I'll be fucked up. Yeah, I want to smoke a cigar. Do you want to? Yeah, maybe I'll leave these. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave these shirts here, and then I'll just bike up here, and then do because I don't want to have to take a lift back. How are you getting back? Train? I'm gonna take the train. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take the train back, leave the shirts here, bike up here, do the post office shit tomorrow or Monday, I guess. Okay. And then uh, bike home. God damn, I gotta take a huge dump too now. Is that worth it? Uh, it's worth it to not take a, another lift. It'll save me thirty five dollars if I take a lift back home. Why can't you take them on the train? I don't want to drag that huge bag on the train. I thought you were strong, dude. Uh, I'm strong in short bursts. You know, okay. like I can fuck for like thirty seconds. I can fuck for. And it's the I call that the women's opportunity to come window. <laughs> That's, you better get your shit off in that 30 seconds that I think I'm pleasuring you by furiously the, the jackhammer. F- fucking as hard as I can. <laughs> because that's what women like, to be just vigorously fucked like a, you know, like a, a spastic. I mean, some of them do. Uh, Yeah, sometimes. They really like a, a nice hard dicking. Yeah. You know, which can be tough when, you know, you don't have the core strength to do yeah. that. You know, or the or the aerobic stamina. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not, I'm not talking about anyone specifically. I sometimes I think I I don't think I would be strong enough to to have gay sex. Mm. I feel like that's why those guys are all in shape. It's true. You got to be fucking strong. They're athletes, dude. Yeah. Fuck. I couldn't keep up. Unless of I, course, I, unless of course you're fucking somebody that has a guardian angel. That's right. <laughs> in which case, <laughs> that seems like it'd be pretty easy. I guess I would have to get fucked out of just necessity. Yeah. Because I couldn't do the fucking of That's a man. That's the bare necessities. <laughs> the simple bare necessities is Mateo was fucked. talking about, he was like, I can't be a top. He was like, there's so much pressure, you know? It's like, you're fucking someone the first time. It's like, so much easier. I was like, damn, I want to be a bottom with a woman. Yeah. Is that possible? You literally just are on the bottom. I guess that's true. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Although sometimes it's yeah. I fell asleep one time. On bottom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Were you still hard? Uh, yeah. That girl was so upset though. <laughs> of course she was. Dude. That's <laughs> so disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "Did you fall asleep?" I was like, uh, hmm? You're "Like what?" Well, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was just. No, I came so yeah, hard. Yeah, I, mean, I, just, I went into a trance. Sure, probably, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what is, uh, is class dismissed? <laughs> I've never fallen asleep while getting fucked. Yeah. Or s- I've got I've fallen asleep while getting head too. It's really? nice. Yeah, both falling asleep and waking up to head is nice. You know what? I could see falling asleep to head when you're yeah. tired. What feels better than just getting your You know what's the best feeling slopped. is falling asleep while taking a shit. That hasn't And happened then you just before. collapse into the bathtub. In the bathtub. No, you you take a shit in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah, you're shitting in the bathtub. <laughs> and you That's just fall I'm... into the kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get the dye best. all over your nuts. <laughs> There's a sponge in your ass. <laughs> That's the greatest feeling in the world. There's nothing better. The faucet is just fucking split your balls <laughs> <Yeah>. in two. <laughs> yeah, I love it. shoving my head in the garbage in the kitchen and, and then shitting, shitting in the inside hallway. the refrigerator. <laughs> You pass out like that, just with your your dick in the garbage disposal. I like to get my feet up in the freezer, and then I stick my ass in the vegetable crisper. And just right. doze off right. while yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. diarrhea drips right, into right. the fucking zucchinis. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> my roommate comes up she's like what the fuck are you doing I'm like what does it look like I'm, just- I'm trying to go to sleep bitch okay I've had a hard time falling asleep recently I'm taking a goddamn nap <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing like that, man. <laughs> the greatest feeling. <laughs> oh man, this show is so much dumber without Adam. I know, dude. <laughs> but it gets me good. <laughs> Shitty. <laughs> Just the only thing out is your ass. Your head is fully in the sink. Your feet are in the freezer. <laughs> 
<laughs> Diarrhea trembling down your balls and into a <laughs> container of Greek yogurt. <laughs> oh, my foot. My abs hurt. <laughs> my, my powerful laughing abs. Mm-hmm. Yo, I saw this. I was in Target the other day. Mm-hmm. And they have this coffee. Let me see if I can pull up the picture of this shit. Uh, you know, it's like, oh, I look at the Keurig cups. Mm-hmm. Yes, So the brands are like, you know, 8 o'clock coffee, donut sure. house. Green and, something. Yeah. Green pussy this, coffee. This one, I can't figure out for the fucking life of me what this brand is. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing Man Coffee. Laughing Man Coffee Company. Laughing Man Coffee Company. It's a picture of Hugh Jackman and some black guy planting... Is that Hugh Jackman? It's Hugh Jackman. It says it because every purchase helps coffee farmers, and then it's attributed to Hugh Jackman. Whoa, who that's signed weird. the box. Yeah, so it's like his Newman's own brand curry cups called Laughing Man, which is, is he known for laughing? I don't think so. Also, like, every purchase helps carmy fa- fa- farmers. Yeah, it's fucking coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing they That's what, yeah. The I mo- guess it's If probably... it's a charity, the money goes to somebody not involved. Like, retarded people. Sure. It, maybe that's who the laughing man is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. It's probably a yeah. laughing. Also, this I mean, the picture of the two of them, it looks like they're about to have sex. It does. It is pretty emotionally charged, sexually charged. Right. It looks like they're about to, for the first time, have sex with each other. Mm. Well, there's probably a lot of gay, you know, African coffee farmers that aren't allowed to be gay. Yeah. And maybe that's what that's what they're laughing about. Hugh Jackman like the, is gay. The locale. It looks like they're on a plantation. <laughs> That's why you like it. I don't. I, you know what? I, plantations get a lot of flack for <laughs> the slavery aspect. Sure, yeah. but they are very beautiful places. Yeah, but it's tough. Anytime you're in the South and you see something that's named anything plantation, that kind of overrides how beautiful it is. Uh-huh. It's just like, ugh, I don't know, man. I don't feel comfortable there. Yeah. I, I know that it's like that's why I was like, you know that eye. place, Soup Plantation. No. It's like a, ch- a soup chain. Soup really plantation? called soup plantation? Soup plantation. That's horrible. I don't yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't get it. We d- I don't need to hear the word plantation anymore. Yeah. I don't like it. Anyways. No, Shut- it is a nice... Call a it nice, something else. I would buy property down there. In Where? A swamp, in Louisiana. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that'd be nice. I'd I like do one like of those yours. hover boats, you know? Yeah. Getting the ra- wrestling gators. Come on, getting sucked off in a fucking fan boat with a Hawaiian shirt flapping in the wind. Yeah, it was dude. better than that, dude. You're right. Going to sleep. <laughs> getting big. <laughs> yeah. You got your your Falling fucking asleep, both your hands and, and beavers. <laughs> you got your dick getting slowly tapped by that fan, that big fan on the back of the thing. Oh yeah, baby. asshole, directly in the freezer. <laughs> in, yeah, in the freezer. You got a freezer with you. you <laughs> Uh, um, nah, I would buy. You know what? I, I want to play uh, Resident Evil Seven again. Never played it. It was great. It just it was Is that the one that, on GameCube. No, nah, it was the one that came out last year. Oh, didn't play it. Yeah, the one on GameCube though. You can buy I like that one. I almost bought last night the uh, HD remix of that. Mm. The HD version for PS4. Hell yeah, dude! Which I might replay that. That game's fun too. That's a good one. Get high as shit. Scare yourself. Oh yeah, I that's like the only being, one I played. Yeah, it was the only one I played until I played the. Seven. Yeah, I want to get an emulator. I want to get all the Nintendo and GameCube games. I got that shit. You do? Yeah. I want to set up well, a I got laptop that, to I, my screen to my projector. I outside. can set all that shit up for you because they oh, have yeah. they have a uh, they have a, a, a Wii emulator Ooh. that like works perfectly. That rocks. It actually works better than the actual Wii. That fucking rocks. And then because those Wii things are Bluetooth, you can just pair them with... You can get Wii remotes and pair them with the computer. Mm. And then if you put like a, a six terabyte hard drive, hook it up to it, you can just have every GameCube and every Wii Damn. game right there on your TV. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my old laptop. Because I got... I now nah, gonna... you should get like a nice... Get like a, a better computer. You think so? Yeah, get like a... Um, I don't know. Like, a, I don't know if a Mac Mini would still be a good. I'm, I'm, I don't want to advise you on that because I don't really know, and I'm sure somebody will like DM me immediately saying I recommended the. Wrong well, someone thing. tell me what to do, guys. Yeah, you DM me and then own... also send me a picture of your titties. Yeah, if it's a woman, you know what to do. Mm-hmm. You leave the tech advice to the hyper masculine autistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the very masculine guys with big ass dicks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they fuck the best, according to Jordan Peterson. Um, or listen, if you don't have tech advice and you just want to send me pictures of your titties, that is also fine. But either one of those will do. Yeah. No, you should set that up. I'll come over. That'd be fun. I'll fucking play, uh, uh, what's good? What would be good on that big ass projector? 
I guess I think the Tony Hawk on GameCube was fun. Yeah, that one was fun. Yeah. Elder sometimes shreds on the P on the on the fucking Tony Hawk game on PS4, but it's not that good. Yeah, the new Tony Hawk's apparently shit. Because when I got the PS4, I was thinking about getting it, but the reviews are like... Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, apparently it's garbage. What's that game, Overwatch, that everyone plays? Yeah, I guess a lot of people play Overwatch. Everyone's playing Monster Hunter now. I don't know what that is. Uh, Battlefield 1 just added some, like... Yeah, Battlefield 1's great, dude. It came out, like, a year and a half ago, and, like, every two months they add a whole new expansion for That's free. That's tight. Yeah, you pay for the premium pass. You just get, like, every piece of DLC for free. That's tight. So, yeah, it becomes, like, a new game every, like, two months. Dick licking chompers. Yeah. Is that what DLC stands yeah, for? Yeah, she's got them dick sucking teeth. <laughs> 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 that would be cool if someone had teeth in on the bottom were a bunch of little mouths. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, like, n- right here. What, like a kaleidoscope mouth? Uh-huh. Right at the... Right, so, at the bottom of your top teeth and the, the top of your bottom teeth... Instead of edges, there's little mouths. Oh, and so they, they all suck the your smooches? dick. Mm-hmm. And they lick it and suck it. Yeah, that would be probably feel really good. Yeah, a bunch of little mouths in inside of a little huh. inside of a bigger mouth. I guess I've never considered what would feel good. <laughs> I'm that's, too dark for that. That's kind of all shit. I think about, man. I only think about what feels bad. That's you, man. That's see, because I think I'm going with the culture about feeling good, but not no, you, not me, dude. I think about dark stuff, you know. Like, what are some examples of dark things you like? Like the movie of? Ghost Dog, Way of the Samurai, <laughs> and how I relate to that character. Just a lone swordsman, mentally wow. retarded, probably, living yeah. on top of a building in Queens. Mm-hmm. Or Jersey City, I think, is I where they remember. shot that. Yeah. Just fucking around with pigeons. Is that, the, is, that the, is that a black movie? Yeah, well, I don't know if it's a black movie. A bunch of black people in it? There's black people in it. Is it like Jim Dog Jarmish? In it? No, it's Riz is in it. Okay. I'm thinking of a different movie. Yeah. There's a, there's a right, well, Riz is barely in it. He's in it for a second, but he scored the movie. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Riz is good at scores. He did he did a couple other scores. Yeah. Bum 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 bum. Now I want to listen to Liquid Swords, even though that's Jizza. It is. It's I love great, Liquid Swords. It's a great dude. album. That might be my favorite Wu Tang like affiliated album. Yeah. Uh I was what's, also, that, what's that first Ghostface album? Fish Scale? Is that it? Uh, I don't know. That's remember. a good album, too. Whichever is like first. Raekwon's is good as hell, only built for Cuban links. Yep. Mm-hmm. What is the first fucking Ghostface album? Ghostface has a couple like older ones that are good as shit, too. Yeah. I, don't, I never really fucked with Wu Tang. Really? Yeah, not really. I liked. I mean, I did. I actually haven't listened to. I mean, I've basically just listened to. I, I loved Liquid Swords. I loved 36 Chambers, but I didn't listen to like. Like a couple of their later, like the later albums. Yeah. And then fucking uh, ODB is just so fucking funny. Yeah. And he's got, I mean, his albums are great. Mm-hmm. Brooklyn Zoo rock. I mean, I know it's just one song, but that shit goes the hell off. It's it's just, it's nice to see someone who is probably sort of like retarded that just like, he has no self awareness whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And he loves to fuck. He fucked a bunch. I think he had a bunch of illegitimate children. ODB. Did he? Mm hmm. I'm glad I don't have that. You probably do. No, I don't. Did you ever? Did you ever ghost? Did you ever raw dog? Yeah, of course, all the time. Well, but I've had all of those women killed. (laughs) (laughs) Really? Yeah, dude. That's part of being a ghost dog. That's part of the way of the samurai. Is it? Yeah, samurais were weird because they were pedophiles, right? That doesn't come up in ghost dog. Do they fuck their? I mean, I thought yes. that's, I thought Greek people, I thought we had that on lock. Nah, dude. Romans did it. Samurais did it. The English still do it. <laughs> I'm serious. Actually, I guess you're right. Yeah, fucking Everyone in Parliament. English, English boys' school. That's you how know? you get into Parliament, right? You have to get fucked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. That's the thing is, like, people are like, oh, yeah, a Hollywood pedophile conspiracy theory. It's like, oh, yeah, a thing happening that's been going on in every culture throughout history. Yeah, that's wild. I guess you thought we were done with fucking kids. No, but... human behavior doesn't change, dude. You think they're going to be fucking kids Can't teach an old dog new tricks. That's, That's why so it's true. up to Elon Musk to save us. Mm-hmm. Replace our dicks with robots. With big fucking fat I robot want a, cocks. A nice wide Roomba dick. Could you feel things if your dick was a robot? Uh, you could feel it in your heart. <laughs> you feel it in your, your soul's dick. They could figure out a way to like put in some kind of electrode into your brain that connects to the robot dick. That makes you feel pleasure. An electrode. Electrode. Yeah, my favorite Pokemon. (laughs) Tube. 
<laughs> that, was, that was Diglett's first name is Tube. <laughs> Jeez, Brock, what's that? It's my fucking cock, Ash. <laughs> Isn't that a Pokemon? Nope. <laughs> it's my dick. Why does it have a face on it, Brock? <laughs> Shut up and suck it. <laughs> what are you boys up to? Get out of here, Misty! Misty, you fucking thin-legged whore! <laughs> Don't come back until you get periods. <laughs> we're, we're training. <clears throat> the nurse was hot. Nurse Joy could get it. Nurse Joy? So could, I don't, the, I don't Rock, so I don't could the lady from Team Rocket. I don't remember that character. I remember Team Rocket. Who doesn't, dude? Meowth. I remember, yeah, Meowth. The like Jewish weird, cat. Like Brooklyn Jewish cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who loved coins. Oh, boy, getting coins. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Ba -dum, bum, bum, yeah. bum. He spoke. None of the other ones spoke. No. Yeah. Pokey, Pikachu just said his name. Yeah. They all just said their names. So, I guess we should... Uh, Take a look at the New York Times here, like I said I was going to do. Okay. Until I just scrolled through my uh, my fucking Instagram mentions. Would you get anything good? No, I don't know. I guess there's a question now about whether or not they seek the death penalty for this kid in Florida. Oh. Which is like, the answer is no. Yeah, don't. Just don't. If you're against the death penalty, you're against the damn right. death penalty. I know I've made that point before, but it's just a time to reiterate that if, you know, if there's a limit you can reach where you think that we should euthanize people then you know just support it for everything yeah f yeah retarded people. minor traffic <laughs> violations retarded people <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know if you don't if you don't win on prices right <laughs> that's right <laughs> let's get the shit high stakes as hell yeah do you see the thing about bill gates not knowing the prices of things because he's rich Oh really? On Ellen and Ellen being like isn't this funny it's like, yeah but you know, he's you know he's a self-made millionaire his parents weren't billionaires they were just extremely r rich yeah, <laughs> they're just regular, totally self-made, mm -hmm. just like Jeff Bezos, that little fucked up, cockeyed piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Let's fuck that guy up, man. I don't fuck with him. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Oh, that's we how we're it. gonna take him down. Yeah, my friend is uh, working at Amazon, and he's talking about how he's doing like contracting work, and he's like, "Yeah." I actually don't want to criticize Amazon because they might be our future business partner. I'm trying to release the uh, gayest kid in school backpacks <laughs> through Amazon, <laughs> featuring Amazon Prime. Free shipping. Oh, I get that. Mm. They're a cool ass company that pays their employees living wages. Do they? No, they're oh. horrible. They, it's it's horrible to work there. Oh. People have to like fucking wear diapers in their warehouses because there's no time to like piss and shit. Really? Yeah, for real. In that Baltimore warehouse, that was a big story, especially during the holidays. What did you just blow across the room? A piece of my nail that oh. I bit off. Okay. That was funny watching you have to eat a bagel with a fork and knife because your tooth is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, dude, I could only I had to cut it up into little pieces and throw it in the left side of my mouth and chew it with my back teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should sucked. go to the hospital. I'm going Monday to the dentist, bitch. Yeah. Well, I What if I die on the dentist, dude? Will you be able to do Funny Moms on your own? I'm going to do the whole damn show on my own. Everybody's dropping like flies. Not me, though, because I'm resilient and powerful. Yeah. Guys, please, oh, by the way, please don't comment on my Instagram about me dying. Uh, my mom reads those comments, and she asked me what's going on. I'm trying to keep it from her so that I might have cancer. So I don't, by the way. I'm fine. Uh, I just have some weird fucked up growth that they have to take Yeah, he, he just says a tumor that needs to be biopsied that they had to rush him to a maxofacial surgeon to get looked at <laughs> because it could be cancer. So it's not, it's not cancer. It's, it's just not. something that... Could and very likely it's is It's not cancer. cancer. It's some fucked up lump. My lovely little lump. It's my cock. <laughs> <laughs> All the girls go crazy for my little... My lovely little lump. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The I got Black Eyed Peas sucked. Oh, horrible. They fucking sucked horrible. such dick, and I fucking hated that group, and I don't understand why they were so popular. I know. Will I Am sucks my dick. Mm hmm I thought it was Wyclef for the longest time, but it no, wasn't. It is not Wyclef. Fergie, though, could get the salich. Mm -hmm. I did want to have sex with Fergie. Wyclef is what? Fuji's, right? Yeah. Fuji's are good. Sucking my dick with your penis. Mm -hmm. One time, one time, fucking my ass with your dick. Sucking my dick with your mouth <laughs> and your asshole <laughs> for so long. <laughs> Making my dick hard <laughs> inside you. 
Sucking my penis. Man, what a fun way to listen to the radio. Till it comes. All right, well, we got to find something to close on here. Um, hmm. We had so much fun. I, in my mind, last the weekly episode was an hour of that Batman thing, but realistically, that could have only been five minutes. Like, yeah, five, six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what we talked about, yeah. except shitting in the uh, kitchen. <laughs> 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 Which is that? There's no way that's gonna be funny to anybody. No, but goddamn it! Like, <laughs> 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 Feed in the freezer. <laughs> oh, ah, fuck. Shit. All right, hot riff to close us out here. Uh, hmm. Really, something bad. You know, I'm always like, let me look at the New York Times, and I forget that the New York Times isn't funny. I should be going to something like Yahoo News or whatever. Go to yeah, go to e fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see something funny? Yeah, where's where's that the website that all the stories are like a woman whose tits were too big to fuck her retarded son? <laughs> <laughs> is that a website? No, no, but those are the kind of headlines I need. Right, I'm going time. to efucked dot com. That's not a news, so no, it's, it's videos. Porn. News analysis. The Cam Whore Awards. Mueller is gaining steam. Should Trump worry? No, he shouldn't. No, dude, Trump's gonna fucking he's gonna he's gonna survive at everything, dude. I can't wait to go to the Trump Library, dude, the presidential library. Yeah, it's gonna just be like pictures of women he's fucked. Frames. I can't wait until Trump on live TV drives a monster truck through the New York Times <laughs> <laughs> and CNN buildings. <laughs> fucking yeah, just dr- drives Grave Digger directly. Yes, directly Gives a Stone Cold office. Stunner to the fucking I don't know who's the boss of the New York Times. Um, Bill, Editor Bill Pat Pullman. Bill Pullman? Mm-hmm. So he stone cold stunners Bill Pullman. Today is our oh. Independence Day. <laughs> There's a lot of different types of people. White people, black people, other kinds of black people. <laughs> but today we're facing a new race. Aliens. <laughs> the real... <laughs> Even you, Earth boobs, can realize. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In my time as president, I've said a lot of hateful things about. That's for, did we do that bit about Independence Day if the president was like an alt right guy? I that, don't remember that. That everyone hated him up until a- aliens came. Because <laughs> they don't really tell you what kind of president he is. You're right. You never get a feel for it. Did yeah. we do that bit on the show? No, Maybe no. that was something I was just thinking about independently. I don't think we did, but I don't remember yeah. anything we've ever said on the show. A lot of my my presidency this thus far has been pretty divisive. I know I built my campaign around calling people lazy spicks. <laughs> but, but, but. That's before I knew about the aliens. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Alt right president. Damn, how fucked would we be if aliens came now? Mm-hmm. That shit would be hilarious, dude. You know, I like the aliens. I made a good deal. At first, the I said they weren't going to take over the country, but. I played golf with one of them, <laughs> you know. Why does that motherfucker love golf so much? Golf sucks dick, dude. Golf's great. No. I'm terrible at it. I've only played it twice in my life, but I love the idea of being out in a field and having more money than other people. That's, okay. I'm with you with the money part. Driving around a tiny car. I like The car, tiny car like is cool. Vehicles that are the wrong size. That know? is funny. It is. I mean, you they do have snacks. Any at the sport place. involving a vehicle that's the wrong size, it's either for the richest people in the world or the poorest people in the world. It's either monster trucks or golf. That's true. You're right. You know? You're right. But the actual act of hitting that little fucking dick ass ball, I don't want to do that. Yeah. If it's if it's if you drive out to the middle of the field and there's a ping pong table there mm. and each hole is a game of ping pong. We talk about how I love that you. the premise of Happy Gilmore is a hockey player is better at golf than everyone else because hockey players aren't gay. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Golf yeah. guys are too weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, okay, all right. It's a good one. That's already we already, you already talked that. about that. Carl Weathers is in that, huh? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. He's pretty good in that. You got a dick shoved in your ass, boy. <laughs> you can feel that, can you? <laughs> they call that the Shining. <laughs> <laughs> is that, <laughs> is that Scatman that? Brothers like talking to the little boy and getting his dick hard? You feel that? It's hard, isn't it? <laughs> they call that the shining. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. One hot riff coming right up. I don't know, man. OxyClean, huh? <coughs> we got that right there. You oh, know, yeah. Billy, Billy uh, what's his name? Billy. He died? Yeah, Billy something. 
Got anything on him, Billy? Uh, what if that was Billy the, Mays? That was the Billy that Trump was talking to when he said, "Grab him by the pussy." Oh, that's good. That's yeah, good. yeah. What if President, it was Billy Mays? President Chia face. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What if it was Billy Mays to Billy Bush? All right, that's probably fine. You guys are listening to the Hellbent Podcast. We are. We have out. a show at uh, Come On Everybody this Monday tomorrow at uh, It's Funny Mom. So come out. We don't know who's on it yet, but please come to the show. No, no, no. Also, I'm at uh, House of Blues in Boston, March 22nd. Oh, Check yeah, go out. see that shit, buddy. Uh, also, uh, I'm in Philly, March 17th. Come dot town. Check out the uh, limited edition Gayest Kid in School backpack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fine, you'll be the coolest kid in your fucking school wearing our cool kid, Gayest Kid in School backpack. All right, thanks, everybody. My Suck cock, my heart. cock, my tiny little cock. <laughs> Suck it Suck off. It off. Uh, come, come town me. premium. That's right, you stupid. Guess what? This is the final um, good episode. <laughs> um, because things, I don't, I, I can't really tell you why the show's been good lately. <laughs> yeah, it's just this feeling I've had. Yeah, it's just been fun what to would you do say, it, like, man. Three episodes ago, yeah, something like that. Something Whatever. changed. I think you know what? It might just be that we're in Astoria, which is yeah. Like, those are probably just the fun Astoria vibes. Yeah, it's that Astoria is cool, and the weather's been shitty, so yeah, I think that yeah. that's kind of it's mm-hmm. definitely that's been cheering me up. Who knows, man? Yeah, there's really no way to tell what variable is different. Mm-hmm. So we'll just have to enjoy yeah. it, man. Fortunately, for whatever reason, I don't think there's anyone on this episode who knows how to do math. So <laughs> figuring out that variable, you know, if the show had somebody that knew how to do math, maybe, you know, we could tell you what was what mm-hmm. was making it better. But I feel like it would also make the show worse. Yeah, it would make it gay. If in there some was ways. someone that was uh, in some fashions. Yeah, if there was like. A guy that was smart for this show, but dumb for Chapo. For any other, for yeah, <laughs> specifically Chapo. Yeah, yeah for specific, or the rest of the world. A show like that, you know. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Not yeah, specifically yeah. Chapo Trap House, but <laughs> I, I'm imagining a guy, hypothetical of course, mm-hmm. who for a while was, you know, just trying to use this show to get on Chapo. <laughs> you know, up until up until he realized socialism wasn't as cool as... <laughs> You know, yeah, a guy anyway, like that, a hypothetical guy like that, yeah, just, just a, returning, mm-hmm, just coming back from <laughs> Las Vegas, <laughs> a, a theoretical, you know, not a real person, but if there was a guy, a character named Adam Dickland, maybe. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't wait to do the show again, fellas. <laughs> Uh fuck, dude. Yeah, well, well, hey, man. No need, no need to dwell on that. You know. Yeah. Let's enjoy the time we have together. Yeah, dude. You know? It's been, it's been. I've had. It's been one week since I sucked a dick. <laughs> Who am I? My pastor that makes me not gay anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's been. Mm-hmm. It's funny because, like, if you think Christianity is like, if you think homosexuality is a sin in Christianity. Mm-hmm. And that Jesus died for your sins. That's like one of the things Jesus That's died true. for. It's like mm-hmm. sucking dick. It's sucking true. Sucking a guy dude. off. Yeah, getting fucked in the ass getting, big time. Yeah, blowing a dude. At, uh-huh. def- at, Drinking you know, a man's cum. In the bathroom. Out of a little beaker. Regal while you're going to go see Despicable <laughs> Me Too. You just leave your son in the theater. You make eye, you make eye contact with and you act, catch a whiff of another man in the mm-hmm. bathroom. Yeah, you can tell from dryer. his pheromones. And then you, you He's guys, also gay. You guys kind of like look at each other for a second. You're like, I'm just, I'm sorry, and then he just aggressively shoves you into the handicap stall, and you slam the you're door like, shut. Oh, yeah. you just, your belt jangling, you can't get your pants off fast enough as he violently fucks you. You know, you get so f- flustered. You come back, and your son was like, "Dad, where are my gobstoppers?" And you're like, "I, I don't know." And you just look at the ticket stub in your hands, and you, you say, "This isn't my beautiful house." This isn't my beautiful wife. <laughs> yeah, so G- Jesus died for that, too. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucking nuts through chaps. Yeah. 
Sucking nuts through a pair of faded Wrangler jeans. Hell yeah, dude. Levi's. Mm-hmm. 501s. Mm-hmm. The preferred jeans of busting in your goddamn <laughs> pants. There's actually, there's a website. It was like creaminmyjeans.com or something. That's cool. Or creamyourjeans.com. And it's like just, it's a community for guys who are really into nutting in their pants. Really? I would have thought cream in the jeans was about a woman getting horny. Nah, it's like, it's like busting in your Wait, fucking pants. Wait, did you pants. format the the card? Are we going to have enough space for yeah, the Yeah, I did, episode? yeah, yeah. Okay. I formatted because it, it was at 49 minutes. Yeah. The first time around. Um, I've had... Three I've, dicks in my ass today. I have never had sex. <laughs> uh, suck me, baby, cause I'm gay. Suck my, my penis. My hard ass dick yeah. is killing me. Um, and shit. I hate. All right, no, there's something I wanted to talk about, I guess. Oh, I just I did that Colbert submission. Oh, That's, nice. Yeah. Think you're going to get it? Of course not. <laughs> I've never gotten anything off submitting. People just really? want to hire. Yeah, the people want a bad boy on staff. That's, That's true. why I get hired. Yeah. They want a little bad boy to spice up the room, mm-hmm. scare the the women that that wind their way into those jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you yeah, you're the bad boy, and I'm just the cute boy everybody mm-hmm. wants to. The hang ideal out with. writing room is like you know, three Jewish guys that are actually good at their jobs, right? <laughs> uh, a, a mentally ill black woman, mm-hmm. you know, just mm-hmm. literally. Mm-hmm. Mentally should be hospitalized. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, who is is funny? You know, yeah. when she's not losing her mind, of course. And then uh, you got the like super diversity hire that's just a corpse hooked up to a <laughs> you know a machine that keeps a trans it alive. Indian corpse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A trans Indian corpse hooked up to a machine. Um, who never contributes anything at all. Uh, some kid who is popular on Vine, mm-hmm. and then me, and I'm just covered in swastikas, and I'm like, what if we do a sketch where we we, we write the N-word in gasoline and set it on fire? That's good. The, yeah. the mentally ill black lady would be all for that one, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we actually get along because, see, we, we overcome our differences by making $6,000 a week. <laughs> That's how that's that how me and the racism. mentally ill black lady we bond over catered lunches. Being and, richer than yeah, people right. that work an honest living. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Having a job where you sit in office chairs and eat goldfish all day long and pick fucking lint out of your belly. And even body. when you're being good at it, you're yeah. contributing nothing to society. Yeah, you do nothing. You sit there in the chair all day and you're like, uh, how about this bullshit pun? <laughs> yeah. And then and then you're like, Yeah, I'm stopping Donald Trump. And that's what being a TV writer is. It's true. Mm -hmm. And uh, my parents are losing their health insurance. Yeah. That's why I like to go back out into the real world, you know, stand-up comedy. That's right, brother. That's who really knows. Mm -hmm. That's who's got their finger on the pulse, is guys that go up at night and do jokes that people wrote on Twitter six months ago. (laughs) Yeah, but they're fucking screaming them, dude. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I do love stand up and I'm happy to be doing it again. I do I'm I'm happy to be back and doing stand up again. I'm thinking in bits again. You know, it's making me be- a better podcaster. That's really why the show's been better, is because I've been doing stand up. So yeah. I, I'm able to come up with all the genius bits on this show. Oh, like, for example, what about we were talking about it for a while, Cat Williams. Oh yeah, I'm out writing for Cat Williams. <laughs> <laughs> now I got a new Cat Williams bit where Cat Williams is complaining about Arliss. He finds out about Arliss. There's part of a larger chunk where I confuse. I think NWA stands for, you know, who's watching Arliss. <laughs> And it's just, <laughs> it's just different types of black people watching the show. Uh-huh. Arliss, yep, I guess. But yeah, Cat Williams, like shit. They should call it N I G G E Arliss. They ain't a single damn black man on that show. <laughs> they ain't got one on there. I love that one, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which isn't actually true. No, there's a ton of black people. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. about sports. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. mostly black people. That's true. Bad show, though. I remember they did a Ronaldo Balkman episode. Yeah. He was a... Uh, Shit, don't sh- tell me about Ronaldo Balkman. Everybody know he gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was a bust for the Knicks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... So that's my little R list tidbit. Anyways, that's, I got a fucking... that's the next shirt coming to the store is the NWA logo, and then underneath <laughs> it it says, uh, "You know who's watching our list." And I don't mean the end. I'm not. It's not that I'm not saying the N word, but I'll put it on the shirt. The shirt will say, "You know who." That's watch-. that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Shit, you gotta have. You can't have a show name got two dollar signs in it. Can't be entirely black man. <laughs> 
how you only going to have one black man on there? He tucks his damn shirt in. You got two dollar signs in the name. Yeah. yeah. I never seen it, but I trust you, cat. <laughs> I don't know that show, but <laughs> I bet your observations is on point. <laughs> Oh uh, fuck, mm. dude! I got this fucking fake tooth in my mouth now. Mm-hmm. I got the damn flipper. Yeah, I hate it, dude. Mm-hmm. It feels unnatural. Yeah, I want to be toothless again. Maybe I think I'm gonna be toothless for my boys. I'm gonna be tooth, but then when I have to, you know, mm-hmm. for corporate America. I, that's the thing, man. Is you are you supposed to take the fake tooth out during sex? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think you can eat pussy with it, but I think I'd rather not have it on. Yeah, it that's might true. be fun to eat pussy with a hole in your mouth. Man, you had no tooth for a day, and you're acting like that's your natural state. No, nah, it's just this is my na- not a fake tooth is not my natural state. No tooth is more natural than this fake tooth. Huh? It's a flipper. It's not like a. It's not an implant yet. What do you mean it's a flipper? I can fucking pull this out in a second. I know. Yeah. What is you got like a little retainer? In there? Nah, it's just it just kind of fits into your mouth. It's plastic. How does? But where the where does the rest of it go? It's just right here. It's plastic. Hold it's on, in the let me, back. Let me put my glasses on. So pull it out. Oh, that's how much it is. Yeah. Okay. Just some little fucking plastic shit. Oh fuck! God damn it! I'm putting it back in my mouth because yeah. I just have to get used to talking with it. Oh god damn! Uh, I, it feels weird, dude. Yeah, I bet it feels weird. <laughs> what a fucked up life you live. <laughs> I really do, man. I'm not gonna. By the way, I, I, I my mouth has to heal for like five months before I can get it before I can start an implant. Then it's gonna take another two months to heal from the yeah. original. It's gonna that be. It's gonna cost like six thousand dollars. It's gonna be too. expensive as shit. It's gonna be like yeah, and uh, I don't have dental insurance, and um, uh, I'm not gonna until I'm 30. I'm not gonna have a tooth. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the rest of my 29th. My 20s are gonna be toothless. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna end them. Yeah, toothless. Let's see. You know. Maybe pussy juice will help the tooth grow back, lady. <laughs> actually, the dentist told yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me. Actually, I got said? another diagnosis, <laughs> and uh, he said it was good to get nudes, although I should keep getting more of them, yeah. and that only, the only thing that can cure the tooth is pussy juice. Yeah, so, so send stuff pictures of cups of pussy juice. No, no, let me eat your pussy. Yeah. Uh, in a respectful manner. We'll go out for a nice seafood dinner. Yeah. We'll get some scallops. And then we'll come back to my room, which me and Nicholas are in right now. Uh huh. And you can tell, Nick, this would be a nice room to get your pussy eaten in. Yeah, especially by a bald, toothless man that's morbidly <laughs> obese. Not morbidly obese. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> your tooth just came out while defending yourself <laughs> about not being morbidly <laughs> obese. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, dude! Uh, Listen, fuck. man, I, I it's can't a novelty. imagine. It, women are so funny that they'll like fuck they'll fuck somebody. I know, yeah, fuck somebody like you. Uh, it's wild, and it's not even like because like a guy will fuck a disgusting woman, be, but only because it's like this is going to be hilarious, or he, just because you're horny and you're like, I have to get the poison out of my balls some mm-hmm. way. Yeah, yeah. But women like, lo- like, are very stoked. They to need fuck to be harmed. Up. Yeah, I guess so. That's, That's what they part want. of it. Yeah. Is they want to be? They wanted to be damaged, and it's not like this would be a cool story. It's like oh, I imagine myself as some sort of artist that has these experiences, getting fucked by a bald toothless man. <laughs> 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 no, I, think, I don't know. I think they're I better actually, people than us. I have no see. idea why anybody does anything. I think women are better than men. Yeah, yeah, me too. No, in in certain ways, yeah, I really yeah, do believe definitely, that. dude. They're the better men are just. Scum. I mean, men are worse than They're women. They're pigs, aren't they? What is, what is it that you just said? Mm-hmm. Men will fuck ugly women to laugh about them. <laughs> and that, women will do it because they're good people or something. No, it's not because they're good people. It's what it's. Do, are you fucking somebody for comma or for comedy or for drama? You know. Ah, uh, interesting. TBS versus TNT. They, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Men are TBS very funny. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what okay. I'm saying. Okay. You you just fuck some really f- just gross woman. You're like I'm, I'm like Ray Romano over here. <laughs> oh, everybody, Debra. Everybody loves me. Let me stuff your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Ray Ray Romano. I'm Ray Romano. I love stuffing cunts. <laughs> Come here, you fucking whore. <laughs> Everyone remembers that classic episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. Let me fill your fucking asshole with goo, you the fucking The title of that slut. episode was Everybody Loves Having a Stroke. <laughs> Deborah, you fucking cunt. 
Raymond. Dude, Ray, why are you doing a really shitty impression of yourself? <laughs> Ray, why are you doing a really bad Ray Romano Raymond, impression? can I also stuff Deborah's cunt with jizz? Is that Brad Garrett? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyway. He's got his own comedy club, huh? Yeah, in Vegas, I believe. Vegas. Man. Should we go to Vegas, dude? No, but somebody should stay there. Stay where? <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Um, have you ever been to Vegas? No. Never been to Vegas, never been to Tokyo. Only two places I've never been. <laughs> everywhere else, though. I've been everywhere Tuscaloosa, else. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Tim, Jakarta. Timbuktu, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mogadishu. Mm, that place is sexy. I did the club in Mogadishu. Oh, yeah? yeah it's pretty cool. Mogadishu Hut. Um, it's the world's oh. most libertarian comedy club. <laughs> Where's Mogadishu? Somalia. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. They got that good pussy over there. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know what they say about Somalia. Yeah. You go Black Hawk down on some fine... I'm on the Black Hawk go the down The freshest on some pussy. HIV you could possibly get. <laughs> that shit's green still, mm. you know? Nice sour Looks HIV. Like, yeah. Nice sweet, sweet tart, you oh, know, yeah. berry. That's right. That's Which, what I like. I love sour candies. Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't. Mm-hmm. But if I did... Mm-hmm. Sour pussy. Yeah, people say it's racist to make AIDS jokes about Africa as if AIDS isn't like an enormous problem there. Yeah, I guess. It is a problem. It's it's a huge problem. Well, it's that's not. why I have to buy all this, you know, Bono affiliated merchandise to try and solve the problem. We're both head to toe covered in red merchandise. Yeah, I'm wearing right nothing now. but Bono gear, dude. <laughs> I've got red Bono sunglasses mm-hmm. on. I'm tweeting from my Motorola Razor. Oh, yeah. The Red Razor, which yeah. I did have, by the way, in did seventh you? grade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Red Razor? I was fucking stoked, dude. Yeah. I was fucking hard. That shit was that expensive. Razor. I know. Yeah. I remember uh, I used to sell those. That's sell those right. at the fucking kiosk. I was trying to save up for a... Uh, fuck. Nextel, probably? No. Those were tight. Brr, brr. No, I had like some bullshit prepaid phone, some like candy, Poor bitch. candy bar phone. I remember like I was so excited when I got it. I got it as like a birthday present, and then uh, some kid offered to buy it from me for like twenty dollars, and I was like, "Man, fuck you! It doesn't like it cost way more than that." And then we went to the <laughs> store, and it was twenty dollars. <laughs> I was like, "He was actually like giving you a deal. You get it by used." They were all 20. making fun of me for having a twenty dollar <laughs> phone. <laughs> was it the Nokia, the brick? Yeah, it was a, that's a cool. Fo- that was a classic, though, dude. Yeah, yeah. The brick is a classic. Play a little snake on there, mm-hmm. set it to vibrate, put it under your nuts, and jerk off. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I like to do is have my testicles <laughs> vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've had sex before. <laughs> yeah, I'm love, jacked off. I love when you put your balls in a woman's <laughs> pussy and they rumble until you come. Yeah, isn't that what sex is? Yeah, I don't know. Should I become a sex nerd? Should I get into that? Cock oh, rings yeah. and shit? For sure. Yeah. You would be good at that, dude, because you don't Why have not? any emotions. Again, that's key to being a sex nerd. No. Um, one this time I did, I did try... The thing is, I do have... Um, I'm not actually autistic. I've just... I've, I have... I do... I think I have irony poisoning. Mm. I remember the other day I was kind of depressed, and I was like thinking like, what if I just let myself feel the way I want to and I did it for a second I was like oh no, no oh it's no. horrible yeah, yeah yeah I know that's why I stopped doing drugs and I'm like sad dude yeah that's like these last three weeks I've not done any drugs because I was just getting fucked up to not be scared that I'm going to die mm-hmm. and now it's like now I'm thinking of that shit now I'm thinking about how every relationship I have falls apart because I'm a fucking piece of shit yeah no you can't do that shit you need to just should get I do drugs again a little bit of cocaine watch Titanic again forget yeah, all about your own mortality good. That sounds pretty good, except edible and watching Mulan for me. Yeah. Damn, I want to do that. And then order fruit, bad food. Watching Mulan. I love watching a nice Disney movie. It's time to cut off all your penis (laughs) so you can become a girl. (laughs) That's what that song is, right? Mm -hmm. It's time to tape up your titties (laughs) and become... Trans. (laughs) Trans. <laughs> She's got the biggest clit I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And you can tell she was a You know who you are man. in Mulan? You're the gay guy with the raspy voice. Who's that guy? No, you know I'm that? the I'm clearly the fat one. The giant bald fat one. Oh yeah. I mean that's Poo? a no What's brainer. His name? Yeah, Popo? yeah. 
Poe. Yeah. He likes what the bitches cook like. Yeah. And he's got all the bitches, too. Poe's yeah. got a couple whores. I forgot about deck. that. But you're also that guy. Fine, I'll be that guy, too. I don't give a What's fuck. What's that guy doing in China? Just a homosexual from Queens? <laughs> <laughs> he's not like, gay, dude. He's a tough guy. Oh, my guy. God. I love I love being in Shangzhou province I get where I was born and raised. You're so right. My mom was a hairdresser. I grew up in a <laughs> salon. Bro, I didn't even consider that guy being gay until this oh, moment. Oh, yeah. No, he's a fucking... He's, he's supposed to be the tough guy, and he's clearly a gay guy. No, he's like a fat <laughs> homosexual from Flushing. <laughs> No, he's got scars and shit. Yeah, yeah, the scars from where my mom dropped a curling iron on my face <laughs> when I was growing up in that that hair salon here in Zhangzhou Province, right under, right above the little Italian deli, <laughs> off the Yangtze River at the intersection of Forty Third Avenue and Steinway. <laughs> and then who's the other the little twink? There's another twink. Is there? Yeah, I think so. A little dragon? No, not the dragon. There's a skinny guy that's in their crew. Eddie Murphy? No, that's a dragon. I don't know. I actually had not seen Milan until like a year ago. Oh, that's a good movie, dude. Disney movies are good, bro. They're, they're a tight 80 minutes, yeah. okay? Here, my favorite double feature is a Disney movie and an action movie. Yeah. You watch Mulan, then you throw on fucking, you know, Total Recall. Have yourself a nice little afternoon. How about Total Retard? That's also that's a good. That's a good little <laughs> little jump off on that. I don't know why that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. I had the dream where I wasn't retarded. You're like Quinn. You have Down syndrome. That's why you sound like that. <laughs> no, I'm from Austria. <laughs> like he, not from he Austria. takes his shirt off and it's just no. Look how strong I am. I'm a spy. They're like, no, you're retarded. <laughs> that's why you're that strong and jacked. You're not a muscle man from Austria. You're a mentally retarded man with regular <laughs> mental retard strength. <laughs> no, it's not true. <laughs> the guy takes his shirt off, and instead of that fucked up little guy, it's a tattoo of a train. You yeah, know, he's retarded. Okay, sure. You know, or, or just a regular retarded guy. Or he lifts belly. up his shirt, and it's a retarded guy. He's like, hello. <laughs> 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 Wait, this is the leader? Yeah, yeah. Here I am. <laughs> Hello. And then you find out the rest of the guy is just a helmet. <laughs> uh, that's a good-ass movie as well, yeah. man. Did you guys see the Total Retard remake? Mm-hmm. Colin Farrell. People say the Colin Farrell one's good. I liked it. People don't say it. I say it. I probably I, told you. A couple you. other people have told me that. I enjoyed it. I mean, it's like it's one of those things where critics hate it because it's not as good as the original Total Recall. Right. But it's still good. I'm gonna check. Like it out. Dread was great. The new Dread. I don't know how p- critics felt about it. But I couldn't. I can't watch that one because it just feels like it's a ripoff of uh, the Tower. The Tower. Or, yeah. Yeah. Um. No, I've got I like the hardest it. dick you've ever seen, yeah. and I can swear before we're through, I will fill your asshole up with goo. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, dude. Thanks, man. I couldn't tell what that song was until the end. It's Mulan. It's time to suck onto a penis <laughs> until <laughs> it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That song's good, dude. It's good, man. These yeah. movies have bangers, man. You know Jackie Chan sung that shit in the, in the Chinese version. For real? He's the voice of the Chinese guy. Whoa! In the Chinese version, that rules. Jackie Chan's my personal hero. I love him, dude. Yeah, I I adore Jackie. Chan. He's got those little fluffy, fat ass dogs. Yeah, Jackie Chan really is like probably the greatest living American. Uh, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I saw that new movie. It was pretty good. The Foreigner. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't good because they tried to cram too much plot in there. It was about the IRA and some gay shit. But when uh, when it was just Jackie Chan getting back at people, it rocked. That part of the movie fucking rocked. Mm-hmm. But there was way too much like, you know, Pierce Brosnan supposed to be in the IRA or some gay shit. I don't know. It fucking sucked. But uh, the parts that were just Jackie Chan going the fuck off, those fucking ruled. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Jackie Chan, didn't he do porn also? Did he? I think he was thinking of Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, I think, I, I think I've actually asked this question on the podcast. Man, how, how unfortunate would it be for Jackie Chan if his name was Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> Good luck saying that one, Jackie. <laughs> oh, fuck. I've got the hardest dick you've ever seen. Um, <clears throat> what are some other reasons you love Jackie Chan, man? Rush Hours 1 and 2, of course. Um, Police Story, Rumble in the Bronx. Yeah, hell yeah. Classics. Never seen either of those. 
Um, there's also Bumble in the Bronx, where Jackie Chan is pretends to be a woman on Bumble <laughs> to have sex with Puerto Rican guys. <laughs> is there a reason he's doing that? Um, it, it's so when he kidnapped well, his daughter. He, in the movie, something? he's also Mulan. So oh shit! He has to pretend to be a girl, of course, to get into the Chinese army, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so he's practicing by fucking a bunch of Puerto Ricans in the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that yeah, makes yeah, sense yeah. to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, Hong Kong cinema is it can be convoluted at times, but I mean, <laughs> it's, it's they're good movies. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it sounds yeah. good to me. I really, I only watch gay porn for the choreography. You know? <laughs> is, I appreciate yeah. the cinema cinematography of it all. I watched a porno from the seventies, and it was like well acted, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it was like uh, some lady, some like boss. Made a lady suck his dick, and she spit his cum on her shoe on his shoes, and I really believe that she didn't want to suck his dick. Oh, you know. And then yeah. like another scene, she's got her titties out, and she's fucking a different guy she likes. I remember having a racist moment where one time where I was like, because I never understood guys that were like upset about interracial porn. You mm-hmm. know, like that doesn't that yeah make sense to me. But I remember looking through like Pornhub one time, and they had this like video that was like. White lady fucks her black boss. And I remember thinking to myself, her boss? <laughs> <laughs> Who's got that joke that it's like they watch interracial porn because they just like to see a scenario where a black man is a boss? Uh, nobody. Someone's got that joke. I don't know. I'm not just accusing you of stealing it. I'm just well, saying. That anecdote I just told I did on stage like 10 years ago. So. Oh, really? Yep. So if anybody if anybody wants to talk to me about bit stealing, <laughs> I'll see you out by the flagpole, <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in my ass the entire flagpole. Yeah, Nick is gonna sit on the flagpole yeah, and put just, it in his ass. <laughs> then he comes out to the like the back of the school with his friends, and I'm there with all my cooler friends. I'm standing there with my arms crossed, and the flagpole is all the way up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Where's and Nick? Can, Look up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bitch. Then he just runs home and cries to his mom. I'm like, I can see you from up here. You fucking loser. <laughs> you got him, Nicky. <laughs> hey, one day I'm going to put my fucking ass in that flagpole. Yeah. One day I'm going to cram the entire Twin Towers up my ass. <laughs> It's a story of like a young gay guy from Staten Island. His dad's like, you see them towers, son? One day you're going to fit both of them right up your fucking ass. <laughs> Gee, thanks, dad. And then it cuts to September 11th, 2001. <laughs> no! He's the first responder that dies saving people by carrying them out of the rubble in his ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, he joins the Marines, you know. Yeah. They're like, you know, they're doing the thing where they're all meeting each other in boot camp. They're like, you from Philly? I got a cousin from Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. No shit. I got a brother in Chicago. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, I was going to shove those towers up my ass someday. <laughs> Uh, but now I'm putting a bunch of bacon and yeah. Korean. Now we in my gotta ass. go over to Iraq to defeat the Germans. <laughs> We're gonna go over to Al Pakistan to <laughs> kick these fucking Nazi sons of bitches. Ah, uh, fuck, dude! I love I love a good war movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, God damn, dude! You know, I've been watching Queer Eye. Did you see Heartbreak Ridge? No. Was it good? It was, uh, I mean, it was that cool one didn't looking. Look, that one didn't look that good to me. Yeah, it was pretty boring. I really don't like that guy. What's his name? Andrew Garfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's obnoxious. Well, the whole point of the movie is like he doesn't kill people, yeah. which sounds fucking gay as shit. Yeah, well, enough people fucking die. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's cool, then. It's, pre- it's pretty fucking violent. I mean, okay. he, like he's not shooting people, but... People are constantly... He's just standing there while people's brains explode. Oh, next fuck. To That's pretty tight. Yeah. <laughs> you mean, know what not, I watch? It's not a movie about a fucking mailman. You know what I, you know what I watch? A cut of that movie where it's just like a half hour of people dying. Yeah. But was, I don't want to watch a stupid fucking plot of some guy who won't kill because he's yeah. a bitch. I actually just picked up Dread on 4K. Really? You should come I by. I watch it. Yeah. You should come by. Come by uh, old, uh, the old Bed-Stuy compound. Mm. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, I'll come by, baby boy. Yeah, I also got uh, 
that Bioshock remastered in 1080p. Ooh. I started playing that again. Dude. Bioshock was like one of my favorite games. I, those games were just too complicated for me, dude. There was it's too a much. first person shooter. It's really not that complicated. You gotta pick at all. up uh, like items and shit. Yeah, some items. Isn't that is that that's it's not one? a it's not a fucking RPG. Wait, is Bioshock the one where there's like you're thinking of um, Mass Effect? Maybe. Nah, the one where there's like nuclear Fallout. Fallout. Oh, is that Fallout. The same one? They're same similar, style of game. They're, nah, they're similar in their like look. I guess like or at least the 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 artwork is similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Fall, Fallout's like a post-apocalyptic. You know, like. But, uh, but do you have to get? Items I've never played the same Fallout. Way? Nah, Bioshock's pretty straightforward. It's too much. Fallout was too complicated, bro. Bioshock, you have like weapons, you have guns and shit, but then you also have, uh, like, um, like it's like this dystopian underwater city. So like, no, the the the. So the other weapons. Plot seems cool. The uh, the other weapons are like, um, like shit a that fish alters that sucks your, your dick. Yeah, it's like a fish that sucks your dick, and <laughs> you know, a gun that says the n word. <laughs> <laughs> but underwater, it's like... Bloop, bloop. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, have you played any of those South Park games? Huh? Have you played any of those South Park no. games? No. That, as Blake was playing one of them, and I went over there, and you have like there, it's like an RPG, and it's like narrated by Cartman, so it's like, now you have to pick your, your, your race. You can be elf, mage, specter, or Jew. <laughs> 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 it's like, that rocks, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, you can just play the game as a Jew. <laughs> Fuck, I should play those. Those are right around my, you know, that's that's as complicated as I like. Mm-hmm. Grand Theft Auto, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want it to make sense how much shit I have to carry. Yeah. I want to be able to get a fucking bazooka out of my pocket or some shit. Yeah. And not have to, like, lose items. I don't want to have to, like, cook meat or whatever. Yeah. It's like, maybe I would like to cook some meat every once in a while. Like, Red Dead Redemption I really liked. Is it like Red Dead Redemption? Um, Sort of. I mean, Red Dead Redemption is just like Grand Theft Auto with horses. Yeah, basically that's what I like. Um, Yeah, Bioshock's not. I mean, it's yeah, it's a first-person shooter. Yeah. So You know what I liked? Uh, me and my brother, I like, I, there's not that many games that are fun to play on co-op, dude. That shit yeah. sucks. The one that was fun was... uh. Left for Dead was the last like online. Left for Dead was really fun, and then there was one where it's like uh, like a bald guy with long hair. A bald and his guy friend. with long hair. Yeah. Uh, it's like named after them. Oh, um, bad. Um, oh yeah, Lock and something, Maybe something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was fun. I played that with my little brother. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That was a fun ass game. Whatever the fuck it was called. Yeah, I can't remember. Damn, I want to know what it was called. Yeah, I remember what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, but there's not that many good co-op games. We can just fucking you and a bro, you and a bro can just fucking throw it on, mm-hmm. just run through that shit. It's yeah. fun to do. Yeah, everyone now they got to play everything on fucking line. Fuck that shit. Yeah, everyone's playing that one game. Ah, <sighs> where you I die know, who once. Cares? Or it's just boring. Video games yeah. are fucking boring to talk about. Whoa, dude! I thought you were a game guy. But yeah, they're fun to play. I fucking don't enjoy talking about them. I love talking about them. The I things I like to talk about, dude, literature, art, pussy. You know what I'm saying? You were reading like a bitch at the diner today. Yeah, just because I had to ride the fucking R train all the way here. It I is fun to, I'd ride, stopped, to ride I'd, on the train. I, I developed a literacy, and the reason why is because I don't have, I just take cabs every Right, day. right. I'm not on the train for hours. It is fun to read on the train. It is great. I used yeah. to just ride the train around and read all day, back when I was living in Chinatown. What what were you reading today, my friend? Get your uh, f- uh, f- foot off my shit. Why? Or take your or take your shoe off. I'm I'm reading how to fucking disrespect people's homes <laughs> by Tim Allen. <laughs> Fuck their wives is number one. Damn, I get this weird itch on the side of my hand all the time. I don't. Is know it ringworm again? Is. No, I do have ringworm again though. It's up on my arm. How, dude? I don't you know. you I live a get, better life these days. I just get fucking ringworm all the time, dude. That's it, you're an unclean bitch. Yeah, probably. It's gotta use soap, you dumb motherfucker. I don't think soap will do anything about ringworm, yeah. thank you very much. Yes, it will. No, it's a fungus. Yeah, well, if you're a cleaner. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. Get I the just, bacteria, antibacterial someday soap. I'll, someday I'll live outside and all of this will pay off because <laughs> it won't be much of an adjustment. <laughs> I want to live in a, a, a mini house. Yeah. That shit seems cool. What, like a little Airstream trailer? Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, if you get fat enough, every house is a mini house. <laughs> no, dude, I want a mini house. I always wonder about those guys. You know the people they have to cut out of their homes? 
Yes, I do. It's just like one day they get up and go to like breakfast, and they're like, they just they're like, hmm, and they just can't get through the doorway. They're like, I guess I'll just go back to bed and have someone bring me food. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they ever. Yeah, there is one day where it's like that was the yeah. last day you got up and walked like, to get Everybody food. says that shit. They're always like, wouldn't wouldn't you just stop at a certain point? They're like, how do those people get that fat? And then the people that are saying that are usually like pretty dumpy. Right. You know, and it's like, well, you didn't stop at being a gross, unfuckable loser. Mm-hmm. You know? Sure. It's like depressing. So you continue eating. So right. the answer is no. There isn't some like, you know yeah, what? But they... I'm going to stay here at a beautiful 375 pounds <laughs> where people like me and I don't live a life of constant pain and agony before I become a real piece of shit that gets its own TV There show. is a definite difference between just fat enough to not fucking too fat to get up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> too fat to use your legs is definitely more extreme than yeah, just it's more extreme. ugly. <laughs> it's more extreme, but the question of, like, how do you get there? Like, isn't there some... Like, you just lost a tooth. You're probably not going to lose any weight. You'll continue... I might. Nah. Yeah, I probably will. Nah, dude. You're every gonna... year I lose a little weight, by the way. You're going to eat yourself. I am life. five pounds fatter every... Less fat every year, actually. Five pounds, huh? Mm-hmm. I've gained five pounds back. I've been doing a lot of snacking. You have been snacking. Yeah. You ate a fucking uh, eggs, steak, corned beef hash, toast breakfast. Mm-hmm. The corned beef hash on top of the steak is a gentleman's move, and I respect it. Yeah, dude. You think I haven't been eating breakfast my entire goddamn <laughs> life? I don't know how to have a meal. <laughs> oh fuck, dude. I've been I've been eating good two days, and I have a headache because of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about hitting up an ice cream truck. Oh fuck. Why don't they have them during the winter time? It's not winter now. Yeah, it is. It's literally winter. No, nah, it was spring like a week ago. No, it's the the seasons have <laughs> yeah. You know what ended. I'm saying? It was nice, so they fucking okay. It's 36 degrees outside right now. It's fucking winter. They got the they got the trucks out that one nice day when we were walking around. Yeah, and they didn't put them back in. The, yeah, the ice cream truck. You know, what I like holder. is uh, country cookies. What are those? It's uh, it's like. I call them ice cream. I remember as a kid, oh, I didn't know what to call sandwiches. them. Cookies. They're not ice cream sandwiches because ice cream sandwiches are the rectangular black and white ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cookie ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. shit. Called country cookies. If they're made by uh, Blue Bonnet, is that the fucking... Fuck, did we, get, did we get those at the Amish market at one time? I think so. God, they were good as fuck. That was such a great day. It really was. That was one of the best days of the last four years. <laughs> it was a good ass day. Or I guess that was five years ago. Was it? No. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that remember. was five years ago. God damn, an Amish market is nothing like it, dude. Get that fried chicken, get some fudge up in your system. Yeah, the best part of the Amish market is making contact with all the women who have never had sex and fucking them yeah. while you look at them. Yeah, we all fucked them. Well, you know, women. just eye fucking No, them. I did also. Yeah. I fucked them regular style. I like to use my... Cock and pussy style. My powerful good looks to... <laughs> you weren't good looking back then. Yes, you looked I like was. shit. I've always been good looking. You were in that fucked up sea captain phase of your life was i yeah you had that fucked up beard did i you were gaunt and but still fat somehow yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're pale as shit you look bad dude i looked good you're you're looking good now you're fucking you got that you're looking like a little ripped little slut dude thanks man yeah dude i would fuck your ass or get my ass fucked if i was gay by, <laughs> by you depending on what i liked yeah hold on i think i have a say in both of this dude i got this <laughs> My belt is like ripping out all the fucking, all the pubes on my lower stomach Uh-oh. and it's fucking excruciating. Shit, dude. I had to get a new belt. I broke my other belt. Mm. I don't know how I did that. I, looked, I don't know either. I was buckling up after a nice long piss and <laughs> fucking broke my belt. Your index half. fingers are too powerful now. Right, af- right after I, 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 I had to, right before I had to go up at the stand. Oh, you were playing hurt. Yeah. Man, some fucking bitch like, uh. She's like, like, like the guy hosting the show is like, oh, this girl's texting me. She wants to fuck you or whatever. I'm like, uh-huh. great or whatever. He's like, I'll introduce you to her. I'm like, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. And then she like comes upstairs and she's like, fucking, oh, that go. Yeah. The other night. It's like women are allowed to just like touch your face. She literally like, did. If you had done that to a woman, that would be I would, assault. I would be in fucking jail. Yeah. And then like, I want to fuck She's doing you. it like while I'm talking to other people and other people don't react to it. And it's like, this is fucking annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. 
But I don't give a fuck. That's your problem, dude. Yeah, it is my problem. Fuck not you. that, like, you know, I'm not saying that we should change the laws or whatever. No, that's what you said. No, You're I'm a little just bitch. saying women need to cool it, but this guy shouldn't be allowed to finger me <laughs> without asking. <laughs> Stuck. Oh, that's a takeaway from that story. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. one time I can be sort of I'm uncomfortable. Saying, I got Brock Turnered in the middle of that fucking comedy club and nobody says yeah. a goddamn thing. Not quite. She didn't grab your cock. Uh, well, you weren't there for that part. Whoa, she grabbed your cock? I'm not, no, but it felt like it. <laughs> Wait, that was actually me. I have my, so the thing is, is I tuck my dick around the back of my pants and then up the back of my shirt. Uh, so anyone that puts their arm around my shoulder is technically mm-hmm, grabbing my interesting. cock. Interesting. Yeah, every time I wear a scarf, that's actually my dick. Mm-hmm. I wrap it around my neck for warmth. Yeah, the, th- the truth is, I'm actually, I don't, I was born without a spine. Ah, so you're always hard. The doctors have inserted my penis up the skin of my back to create a spine out of my hard dick. <laughs> Interesting. And Does it, it come back out so you can fuck with it? No. So you you don't have a dick to no, fuck? No, I fucking. just use one of my balls. See, I've got very <laughs> tall balls. Dick-shaped tall so, balls. So, okay, you've got one tall rigid ball does yeah. it get hard or is it always soft it's all, well it's always ball hardness it's which always is ball hard <laughs> but your ball is a particularly hard ball no your ball your balls aren't as hard as your dick no you have soft balls yeah i don't you can like squeeze your balls i mean yeah I mean, it doesn't feel good when I squeeze my balls, but no, I if don't. I had to guess, do, do my ba- are my balls closer to soft dick or hard dick? They're closer to soft dick. Uh, then you got something wrong with your fucking balls. Dude. No way, brother. No, I. You have rigid balls. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like somewhere in between a hard boiled egg and a and a and a. You know, it's probably more like a lacrosse ball. No, that, that kind of hard. It's a it's a hard boiled egg. That was good the right the first time. Nah, my balls are harder than that. Do they hurt when you pinch them? No. You feel no pain in your balls when you pinch your balls. Nah. You're full of no, shit. No, I've got rugged gear, dude. You've got, you're full of shit, or you have like stage whatever ball cancer. You just no. have lump, like just two tumors in your nuts. Yeah, I got hard nuts, dude. I got. A, I'm a hard individual. <laughs> Suck I'm, these look, hard balls, man, bitch. Some of us are ready for this world, and others are pussies. Like that's you. true. I have soft balls, and I'm not ready. Yeah, this is why your dad doesn't like you. He felt your balls. balls he felt soft? your balls day one. He said it's something wrong with this boy. Yeah, he came into the doctor's office, he said, rushed out of right to my balls, <laughs> <laughs> gave him a little squeeze. Yeah, <laughs> wearing his Westminster Dog Show T-shirt. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this <laughs> to a dog, but also a man. <laughs> They did I, that at Mr. Olympia, right? The guy comes around, he reaches mm-hmm. around the back, and he grabs yep. the competitor's ball. You flex your cock. Yeah. Which I guess would be getting hard. Yeah. So I guess we should talk about uh, Black Panther, which just came out. Should we? <laughs> I don't know. Let's talk about Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, man. Is that is, is that coming back? It's back. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. How are they bringing that back? The premise is that gay people all dress different? I don't know, but it's pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's one gay guy that's way over the top, but hey, man, Mazel Tov. How about a show called Chinese Accent for the White Man? Mm-hmm. You know, yes. And it's a guy that's like, um, I'm 36 years old. Um, you know, I've been a bachelor for a while now. My dating life is okay, but uh, I'm kind of looking for like a change in my career, maybe, or or maybe something more stable. And they're like, let's meet Wang. He's a consultant all the way from Zhangzhou province. They're like, yeah, I teach him how to talk different. And the guy's like, okay, I really don't understand how this is going to accomplish my goal of trying to get out of my copywriting position to become an advertising executive. He's like, no, you have to say different. And he's like, I have to say different. He's like, much better. <laughs> So the, like, premise, <laughs> so the premise is that he just learned to talk that way. He learns to talk that way. And he's like, I'm trying to get big promotion in office. And like, Peterson, I don't know what's different about you, but I'm loving it. And guess what? You got the corner office. And they're like, six months later, everything's so much better now. I can't thank Shangju enough for helping me talk different. Coming wow. up on Chinese Voice for the straight guy. <laughs> That's man. That's good. Thanks. I thought it was Chinese accent for the white man. Yeah, I don't know, dude. <laughs> there's no through line to any of these dumb bits. Well, I'm I'm for one. I'm offended that there's no yeah. through line. Are you? Yeah. 
Yeah, and I'm going to fuck your ass as a result. Damn. That's uh, but it's funny because on Queer Eye, it's like there's like four guys that like one, they basically are like, oh, just be more confident. One guy just remodels the house. <laughs> like there's only one guy doing anything. Yeah. Everyone else is like here's a here's a pink shirt uh-huh. and believe you know it's like here's some moisturizer and a haircut. And then one guy's like, yeah, I just fucking completely get, I had an addition to your whole fucking home. I fucking bought furniture. Like he's the only one, the little blonde guy who looks like a fake ass John Early actually. Yeah. There's one episode with a cop that I did not like, but other than that, it's, it's pretty fun. Oh, they gay up the cop? They gay up a cop. Yeah. yeah. And they have him like, have him. He's like, instead of shooting black teens, how about you start fucking <laughs> Sucking them teens. off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never thought of it that yeah. way. <laughs> and they're like, the cop's like, uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm like, I really love the look of my new apartment, but it's pretty cool. And it's just a bunch of like paintings of like Trayvon with his pants off. <laughs> just a big veiny hard yeah, cock. Yeah. Just a huge dick and Obama, In a hoodie. <laughs> Obama with his, his hand on the on Trayvon's shoulder, giving a thumbs up and they have the same dick. They have the same exact it dick. It connects or, yeah. or? No, it looks, it, it looks, it, it exactly, looks, it looks the exactly the okay. same. I was thinking it might be like one mm-hmm. thing where it comes out and it like yeah. worms over. Uh, yeah, like Michael Brown just like, but, but drawn all like muscly, <laughs> like like fucking like deviant art Bowser. <laughs> his veins all over his body and he's like leaning back in <laughs> ecstasy. His hands are full of cigarillos and, da- and Darren Brown's <laughs> fucking him off. He's talking to Darren Wilson. He's like, he's blowing him. <laughs> They're like, well, we printed all of these out. They're oil on canvas, oh. and we had the print shop find all of these on DeviantArt. <laughs> print them out for this police officer's apartment. Coming up on Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Hell yeah, dude. That would be. I actually kind of want that painting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Michael Brown. Wear, wearing the little, like, the little, like, cap and gown. Oh, yeah. His graduation. Yeah, yeah. Just like a. A racer, racer string like tank top version of a mm-hmm. graduation gown. Getting sucked off by him. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Pretty good. There's a. Uh, they did one with a gay guy, which I thought was bullshit. Oh, they, but they gay- helped him come out of the closet. Queer eye for nice. a queer eye. Queer eye for yeah. a queer guy. But he came out of the closet and it was very touching. Yeah. And there was another fat little old guy that I, that was very touching as well. It's a good show overall, man. Uh, Got a couple eps left. I'll let you guys know my thoughts on the final two. I want to get made over by gay guys. Yeah, they're like, we're sorry, we can't. They see you, and then they just fucking they <gasps> they, like, <laughs> they like poof and disintegrate. <laughs> like when like when fucking Obi Wan gets his head cut off, they just evaporate, and all of their expensive fancy clothes collapse on the ground because they can't do anything with you. I mean, it would be really hard. I don't have any hair. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know what you like. Half of that show is giving someone a haircut. Yeah. And like, or like trimming their beard. I have horrible facial hair. Yeah. You're the like, Lord really you a little Dom DeLuise hat and a bowling shirt. It literally would just be a little hat. Yeah. But I don't want a little hat, man. I don't want to be a hat guy. <laughs> you should get this. Those little like Greek, the little uh, yeah, uh, like, yeah, yeah. like fisherman hats. What are, Maybe what are I those would wear called? those. Yeah, Greek fisherman hats. Yeah. That's the only little. Wait, gay. is that what they're really called? Yeah, Greek? they are fisherman hats. Yeah, that's the, the not the newsy cap, the little thing with the little black hats. Yeah, with the rope around yep. it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I might wear those as a nod to my culture. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Beanies I'll wear, I suppose. Maybe it is time to transition into hats, or just get a fucking wig, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be toothless with a fucking beautiful wig. That'd be cool. That you get would a be weave. Cool. Yeah. Fuck, this tooth is fucked up, dude. It keeps almost falling out of my mouth. If only someone could give me some pussy juice to heal it. Ask, ask Weaves, the search engine. If Adam were here, he'd go, ask Jeeves. What is that? It's supposed to be like, it's just you're asking a British guy? <laughs> <laughs> what, it's like the British search engine? <laughs> uh-huh. It's like the premise is that he's British. <laughs> Like, yeah. yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's the premise. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you ever fuck with Ask Jeeves? Did you ever use any bootleg ones? No, there I was remember a bunch of bootleg ones. I remember I used uh, Hotbot back in the day. Yeah, there was some. There was a bunch. Lycos, of... yeah, in the back in the search engine wars. The search engine wars. You forget about those. These young younger fellas don't mm-hmm. know about that. 
Oh yeah, these young fellas. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know about they don't know about uh Hotbot and Lycos. Remember Lycos had Who had the, the best porn? I don't remember. I don't I don't I remember just I forget how Bing sometimes you could look at porn. Okay, Bing is new. Bing has not been around longer than like four or five years. Bullshit. Bing is brand new. No way. It's brand fucking new, dude. No, Bing was no not chance. around. Bing was like ten years old. No, it's not. At least. Well, I guess time goes by pretty quickly. Or maybe fifteen. And Bing is there's no way Bing <laughs> is fifteen years old. I'm well there was right. one search engine that maybe MSNBC's search yeah, yeah. MSN, engine. M S N yeah, MSNBC was uh around back then. Or something. Wait, is MSNBC? Why is it? It's a website, and it's the it's the liberal Fox News. Right? Well, it was MSN, not right, MSN right, right. was Microsoft Network, and then MSNBC was. I guess it's the comedy. Oh, they're not. Wait, they're not related. Yeah, Bing yeah. is a web search engine owned by by Microsoft. Yeah, it's eight years old. So MSN probably just became Bing then. Um, if Microsoft owns it. Yeah, Live Search. Uh, what's what it was based on semant semantic technology, Microsoft and Yahoo and <laughs> Anyway, man, there was yeah. one that you could look at titties on in my middle school. You could do that on all. No, on all it was engines. blocked on most of them, man. Yeah, at Roland Park Middle School, it was anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, the Rams. What was your middle school mascot? Huh, I don't remember. The gay guys. Yeah, it was the gay guys. <laughs> um, I don't remember using a search engine. I forget how I got pornography. I feel like there was. I used to jack off to like a Newgrounds game where you could take clothes. Oh off yeah, and I remember Britney that Spears. One. Yes, that was. I remember ma masturbating that a lot, and then also like downloading shit on Kazaa. Kazaa, of course, was big. Um, but yeah, I don't remember googling or searching for pornography. I remember, I got in trouble because I. Uh, on, when it was still AOL, when it was still dial-up, I emailed Pete, who's now my roommate, uh, I emailed him a picture of Trish Stratus in a bikini, mm -hmm. and he printed it and put it under his bed. <laughs> and our fathers found it. They were hanging out one day, and then Pete snitched on me immediately. And I got in trouble for emailing a picture of Trish Stratus. Why do parents time. care about that shit? I remember, like, it, like any time I heard about a kid who's like, dad bought him porn, I thought that was absurd. But, like, if I was a dad, I would just, you know, because I would want my, make sure my son's, you know, being sure, safe about it. Sure, sure, sure. I don't want them overdosing at, like, a friend's house. Mm -hmm, on pornography. Right. I want them masturbating in our living room, 3 With p.m. With me there, knowing it's safe. supervising. <laughs> yeah. Chaperoning. I just want. I prefer. It's the same yeah. way I feel about him having it's, sex. Do it safely. They're gonna masturbate to stuff I know is clean. It's mm -hmm. not laced with anything because it's videos of me and my wife having <laughs> sex. <laughs> and that's what my son and his friends. Yeah, are I don't want my son. Yeah, exactly. I don't want my child like yeah. supporting uh, uh, sex trafficking. Yeah. So the only way I know that's safe is mm -hmm. various videos of me with my wife with a flashlight, yeah. fucking a cantaloupe that I microwaved, yeah. things like that. Yeah. Just it's, jerking off. Whatever, it's me man. licking my wife's asshole until she comes in my mouth. <laughs> and by coming, I mean shitting. Has diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I want these boys to know what love is. That's that's the real porn. And it's like, and, and Boys, honestly, it's not just, just my son. I'm yeah. gonna go run a school, it's hand out DVDs to his friends, son, any child I see. My son and his friends are masturbating in the computer room, and I just walk in and I have a remote control that turns the computer off, <laughs> and I'm like, "Boys, don't stop, don't be scared, <laughs> close your eyes, and keep masturbating." And I'm gonna tell you a story about how I met my wife, <laughs> because I want you to jack off, but I want you to jack off the love. <laughs> That human connection. <laughs> it was one one cold night in December, <laughs> and I was uh, high on cough medicine because I had had a I had had the flu about a month prior and couldn't stop drinking Nyquil because I had quit drinking some years earlier. <laughs> And there I was, high in my Chinatown tenement, swiping <laughs> aggressively as fast as I could through Tinder until some dumb Indian bitch <laughs> was down to just come fuck me instead of having to talk to her for more than five minutes. And well, she showed up and I lied to her and said I was wearing a condom and I wasn't. And that's where you came from, Brian. Keep, keep masturbating. You, you boys keep masturbating to this. Because at first I was horrified because they're weird 
a oppressive father <laughs> wouldn't let her get an abortion and i didn't have the money for it either so <laughs> nine months goes by and i'm thinking i'm trapped in some financial prison with a fucking mixed race son <laughs> that i it's too late to kill so now i guess i gotta take him to fucking soccer practice or whatever <laughs> bullshit is required of me and yeah keep, keep, but you yep, know what don't stop Do yeah not stop keep going guys keep <laughs> masturbating <laughs> Because what what happened was is I ended up fucking that dumb woman throughout the pregnancy, and I watched as her tits got bigger, <laughs> and eventually it was kind of nice. <laughs> and now the thought of you know nutting and anything but a just completely blown out postpartum <laughs> pussy, and those big dark chocolate nipples. <laughs> Mr. Mullen, I'm soft. <laughs> Keep tracking on. You want to come to my fucking house and use my computer? You are going to masturbate to the things I tell you about. Love. Like the Beatles sang about. That's my generation. The Beatles. What are you listening to? DMX? <laughs> you fucking asshole kids and your DMX? You we were DMX? just playing on the computer. We weren't masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Look, who's this kid with the glasses? He doesn't even have pubes yet. What are you, gay? I'm six. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Yeah, so that's how I'm going to raise my son, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Uh, I probably will have kids. I bet you... Uh, you you're not going to have kids, are you? Uh, am I am or won't? Will you? I'm hoping I develop the courage to kill myself in the next five years. Yeah, you won't. You're a coward at heart. I'm not a coward at heart. <laughs> to kill yourself, you are. No, that's not true. I have I have an iron will. I bet you won't kill yourself. I will. Bet I bet you a thousand when dollars when the time is right. Put it in your will. Yeah. Leave everything to me. Okay. Nice. You realize I only have like twenty thousand yeah, dollars. But yeah, it actually could be kind of a hassle. Like take. It's insane shit. how little of the money from the show I've saved. Oh yeah. It is pretty fucking stupid of you. I don't. I don't know how I spent it all. Yeah, it's not anything crazy either. It's like I mean, look, a bunch of cocaine, sure. Yeah. Uh, pff, cabs, I guess. Yeah, it's mostly cabs. Cabs, cocaine, and like diners, <laughs> like <laughs> getting seamless and shit. Yeah. Um. Uh, also, eight hundred dollar wheels. I mean, I guess you did buy a bunch of dumb shit. I did. I'm trying to see this time right here. Well, yeah. How are we looking? I don't know. I'm ready to go back to the CrossFit gym tonight and work on some gymnastics stuff. Are you going to do backflips soon? I don't know if I could ever learn how to do a backflip. I don't know. I want to learn handsprings, but there's no way to, you know, I don't that you just learn in a field. By go yourself. to a field, dude. I guess it's too cold for that. Well, we'll no, I'm we'll, trying to work on front levers. <clears throat> I hold nah, on ice cream like trucks are second. out, man. It's basically spring. Yeah, that's true. So, if an ice cream truck's out, it's not winter yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's my goal this year is to, is to hold a front lever for five seconds. Mm -hmm. And to uh, be like that Chinese guy that eats airplanes, piece uh, by piece. Oh yeah, the guy who eats metal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> it's probably bad for your ass cheeks. No, it's probably good for. I your mean, body. you shit out metal, right? That guy's dead by now, right? The guy that just—it's got to be completely scratching up his <laughs> organs, right? Even if he can somehow stomach yeah, it. Yeah, the guy. <laughs> there was multiple guys because there's somebody in the Guinness Book. You can get in the Guinness Book of World Records for like eating the most pennies. <laughs> 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 they yeah. should not encourage that. I know. It There's a so bunch of dumb shit in there. <laughs> yeah. It's the Guinness Book of World Records has accidentally killed like 500 retarded people oh, yeah. by like, okay, go ahead, stick your dick in the outlet as many times as you can. <laughs> Some guy Most, goes, okay, here I go. <laughs> Most untreated melanoma. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Most times shouted the N-word mm -hmm. at a Wu-Tang Clan concert by a white man. Yeah, BBC News Health. 350 coins found in man's stomach. Whoa. Is he dead or alive? Um, 350 coins found in man's stomach. A man who was admitted to the hospital in France with stomach pains was found to have swallowed 350 coins, an assortment of necklaces and some needles. Jesus fucking Christ. The 62 year old had a history of psychiatric 62? illness. Yeah. Had a swollen stomach when he was admitted. He couldn't eat or go to the toilet. But doctors at Cholet General Hospital were astounded when they carried out an x-ray to see what was wrong. They found a five and a half kilogram mass, the equivalent ah! of a bowling ball, in his stomach. The man's family had previously warned doctors that he had a habit of swallowing coins. <laughs> 
<laughs> in fact, doctors had removed a few coins from the man's stomach in past hospital visits. The man underwent surgery to remove the coins of Jerry in 2002, five days after he had been admitted to the hospital. Surgeons found coins worth 4,050 francs. They believe the man swallowed the coins over the course of 10 years. Jesus fucking Christ. The coins and other items were so heavy, they had pushed the man's stomach down between his hips. Ah! What the fuck? He likes eating coins, said Dr. Bruno Francois, who treated the man. When he was invited and came home, came in some homes, he liked to steal coins and eat them. <laughs> Hell yeah. So this man is Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre Berkowitz. Yeah. Doctors say the 62-year-old was suffering from a rare condition called pica, a compulsion to eat things not normally consumed as mm, food. Its name comes from the Latin word for... Hebrew. <laughs> Wait, what was the first word? A P? Yeah. The first letter was a P of that word? Or yeah. was it something else? Pika. Oh, yeah. K I K A. Yeah, I was reading it, so I couldn't. Sorry, do, man. It's all right. I couldn't put the joke together in my head. No problem, brother. Uh, <clears throat> oh, fuck, dude. This guy eats coins live on America's Got Talent. Why are the producers allowing these people on the show? Because they don't give a fuck. That's so funny. Because they just want good television. Man died after eating coins in a magnet. Oh, fuck. And a magnet? Mm -hmm. Oh, if you had a magnet on that on that French guy, maybe they could get it out that way. Stick one of those big magnets down in his stomach and then r pull it up through his mouth and shit. Did these fucking stupid Damn. doctors I think of that? One night I was drinking like a lot mm -hmm. and I ordered wings and then I was trying to Salute. suck the marrow out of the wings and I ended up. The next morning I woke up and I realized I had just eaten all the bones. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is. I have not even ever done that. <laughs> and I love yeah, I wings. just crunched them up and ate them. I guess they were pretty soft, but I chewed through and ate a bunch of chicken bones. That's awesome. Yeah, Norman was like, you're probably going to have to go to the emergency room, but I didn't do anything about it and I was fine. Nice. Yeah, if dogs eat chicken bones, they'll die. Because <laughs> they're so sharp. Take that, dogs. <laughs> Guess who survived? How funny it would be if that's what killed me? Oh, that would be awesome, dude. It's like, yeah, it's a Darwin Award drunk That man. would be really fucking funny, no joke. Ate a bunch of chicken bones. Sliced up your asshole. Yeah. And big intestine and small intestine. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. Sorry, I started reading this story. Uh, I would love some chocolate covered strawberries today. Would you? Yeah. You're a little you're a little fucking slutty boy, dude. I know. You want some chocolate covered strawberries? I'm trying to go to the fucking ball. I'm trying to get taken to the ball. I love the idea of you just get alone at your home <laughs> <laughs> with a fucking fondue pot making yourself chocolate just, covered just strawberries. Slowly jacking off with lotion in the living room. <laughs> Amber comes Demigo. home. She's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> Just jazz in the background. <laughs> I'm having a romantic a evening. You fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> You're in a sorry room. that some of us get pussy. <laughs> There's on your TV on your big ass TV. There's just a slideshow of you flexing. Yeah, you're yeah. watching. No, it's me watching that fucking Time Life infomercial with Peebo Bryson. Yeah. Music for middle aged black people to have sex to. Oh fuck. We had a once in a lifetime, but I just couldn't take it because my dick was small. <laughs> if ever you're in my arms again, this time I'll get over how many guys you had sex with before we started dating. <laughs> <laughs> Peebo Bryson plays the hits. Hell yeah, dude. I hope I hope my wife fucks a bunch mm -hmm. before we marry. Yeah. I think so. Your fucking wife, dude. Yeah, I'm going to have a wife, I think, at some point. Maybe. Yeah. Although, I don't know. I'm 30, and I haven't had a good fucking relationship once. Yeah, you've never been in a successful relationship. No, never. Yeah. I always ruin it. They all could be fine, but then I get, like, you know, up in my head or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> I trick a woman into fucking me and being in love with me, and then I get and then I get scared. Do Even you? though I've already done the hard work of tricking them to fuck you, What do you get scared of? I think a lot of people say that and then it's just an, it's a way to like cover up the fact that they're narcissists and they just want to fuck other people. No, I mean, sure. I'd like, like, oh, you know, I just get overwhelmed with commitment. It's like, no, you just don't care about that person actually and you manipulated them into liking you. 
because, no, because, because you're a selfish person. No, because which I, is fine. A lot of people are like that. I mean, like, look, there's definitely a, a a part of it where I'm like, yeah, I'd like to fuck other women, but there's also like, um, uh, I because uh, there's also an element of like, well, if they're hot and they fu- and we fuck good, it's like. I don't want to get back out in that fucking scary ass open market, dude, where most of the fucking you're doing is bad because it's like first time fucking and shit. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. See, I think for it- me, first time is the best. What? Yeah. I'm like, uh, I just hit it out of the park, right? Really? Right, right from the jump? Yeah. And yeah. after that, it's like, I've already proven that I can do this. So you're just phoning it in? Yeah. No, nah, I mean, I need a couple warm ups to really get going. You know what no. I'm saying? No, I don't you, know. You I think- blow that house out day one. Not me, baby. Gun in, gun in her mouth, you know. You sure, pull all sure, the stops. sure, sure. I, I, I pulling uh, hair, shoving the gun in her ass. Oh yeah, knife to the two throat. different guns, one yeah. in her ass, one in her pussy. Yeah. I'm jerking I'm off. I'm doing gun kata. <laughs> Bitch, you ever see Equilibrium? <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, dude. <laughs> yeah, just, I forgot what two, we were talking about. Two guns, like Denzel and <laughs> Training Day, pointed at her head. <laughs> Yeah. Knocking them together. <laughs> Shit, I didn't know you get wet, Jake. <laughs> My name isn't Jake. <laughs> Denzel yeah, says, like, uh, "What are you into?" She's like, "I'm into choking." I'm like, "I'm into Training Day, starring Denzel." <laughs> Why don't you call me Alonzo the whole time? <laughs> Denzel says the the phrase "Walk your little baby nuts" <laughs> in that movie, and that might be my favorite phrase ever uttered in cinema. Why don't you walk your little baby nuts? <laughs> Walk your little baby nuts over. <laughs> yeah. He's got uh, a fuck. sweet whip in that movie, dude. Seventy nine Monte Carlo. Yeah, his wife's hot too. And that's it? the official. The official car of Come Town is a seventy seven Monte Carlo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why? That's just the car of Come Town. <laughs> I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Okay. And that will never change. My Should mind. we buy one? Uh, if you can find one. Should we buy one and you could take it on tour? Yeah, that'd be sweet. Make Adam sit in a little tiny ass backseat. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. Oh fuck! Should we plug shit? Are we all about done? Um, House of Blues Boston sold out April fifth. I'm probably gonna be at Umar's show in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, that's a good ass show. Um, yeah, I gotta figure out ticket pre sales online because we're gonna do it that way. But um, your boy's um, gonna be at uh, the Good Good Comedy Theater in Philly, March seventeenth. Please cop your tickets. Let's sell that motherfucker out. Maybe I should do that shit too. You should. It's What's a great the capacity? Place. It's not that much. I did. Uh, you do two shows, maybe even three. Um, yeah, it's good though. It's a really good. The the people that run it are really great. They fucking get comedy. I've done a couple shows there. It's fucking awesome. All so. right, yeah, maybe I'll do that. You should. Okay, all right. Uh, oh yeah. well, also funny moms. Funny uh, moms is coming back. You guys, I did the last one by myself and nobody came. <clears throat> March twelfth, funny moms. I think we already have a couple. I have. I, I I've already started working on it actually because I, we mm-hmm. were so embarrassed that no one came and we have a couple good comics on it. Yeah, let me check who's on it. Um, and then. And then we all, uh, oh, Andy Haynes and uh, Chris Stefano are both doing it, and we haven't booked the rest of it, but some good-ass comics. We also have merch. Uh, I have Stavi Baby shirts. Nick has fucking Andre Steakhouse shirts. Yeah, come.town <clears throat> is the official Come Town store if you want to buy shit. Now, I, I wouldn't, I would, in the past, anybody's wanted a shirt, I said, find somebody who's selling them, you know, I don't care, use the name of the show, whatever, make your own merch, but... Uh, because people asked, I set up a fucking store, and then they have the audacity to bitch about the prices, even though I'm doing fucking drop shipping, and there's, like, overhead costs, so if nobody buys the shirts, I lose money, and even when they do buy it, half the time, the shipping costs will eat into the fucking profit margins enough that it doesn't make it worth my time, so you are... Uh, required <laughs> to buy that gayest kid in school backpack. Yeah, sixty nine dollars. Yeah. Also, people have been asking me about the discounts for premium subscribers, and again, I don't know. I have to figure out like how the numbers shake out because looking at the deposits and credits to my bank account, it's like I'm not really making even with like the the merch selling pretty well you just don't really don't fucking make that much money so i mean i would I, I would consider offering discounts to the premium subscribers to the extent that it like nullifies whatever fucking profit i'm making i'm just breaking even because it's like yeah low maintenance or whatever but the integration of like patreon with shopify is bullshit what i would have to do is like export the entire patron list which is constantly changing gay individually yeah. mail everyone discount codes it would be single use damn fuck that's that kind shit. of a fucking headache that so what i might sucks. do is 
I'm thinking about it is just order shirts, hold my own inventory, set up a separate site Ugh. just for premium Ugh, subscribers. That and then, horrible. Yeah, I mean, but you know, I told people I'd do it, so that would I would have to just do the fulfillment myself, like I did with the handful of shirts that I sold. Um, Damn. Which, by the way, are all now in the mail. Uh, you should have gotten an email with tracking information um, if you bought one of those shirts. There's only 38 people that did, but if you're one of the people that nabbed leftover Andre's shirts. Did you link to my shit? Because my shit's on my friend Fred, uh, Chris's site. Byfred.co slash Stavi Shop. There you go. All right. Well, uh, thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. All right, we're going to have to just get the episode started because we are running out of time here. It's, it is at three, but this is going to take an hour and a half to record this, and then I have to go home, and then I have to get my laptop, and then hour I have to get to... Yeah, on average. Really? Well, it'll be 2.30. Yeah, it'll be 2.30 by the time that like things are done and I can get the SD card out, and then i got to go home. i got to get... Uh, my backpack, and then I got to fucking put things together to go meet that the bookkeeping guy. Yeah. So, nice. Is my is my mic on? So um, we'll, we'll figure that out in post. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your mic is on. It's a good hat day. Yeah, we're you know, all wearing hats. We're all wearing I'm hats. Not. Me and Stav are sharing a hat. Yeah, that's true. We should get tandem hats. It's just connected <laughs> hats. <laughs> I love that yeah. idea. One in the front, one in the back. <laughs> That'd be fun. We I'm, should get like those uh, horse costumes where one person's the leg. Horse. Yeah. Yeah. The one human horse the they, yeah. Should, they should both be the ass, though. They should, there should be two asses and one dick. We should get one of those um, Chinese New Year dragon things. <laughs> Hell yes. Yeah, it's yeah. it's going to be great when the Chinese community discovers Me Too and the guy that's always at the back of the dragon and gets Me too <laughs> 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 Dragon segment number 37. <laughs> Beloved dragon segment. <laughs> called out for his horrific conduct with his lips into the asshole of the guy that looks exactly like him in front of him. Do you think they all just fuck each other? It's a train of ass fucking men? I've been saying recently, I don't think Chinese people have sex with each other. Yeah. I don't get it. What do you mean? I love that dragon thing, dude. Because I, I like to imagine, because Chinese are kind of like... They're kind of like white trash, sort of. Okay. You know, they spit indoors. and They're the white trash of Asians. Yeah, it's sort know. of. Um, sort of the white trash of the world. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> just to imagine them, because like, they do that dragon. It's not just for special occasions. They do that dragon pretty often. When I lived in Chinatown, there would just be a dragon in front of my apartment. Just sometimes. like a Wednesday dragon? Really? Yeah, so I always like to imagine that like rules. Dwight Yoakam and Sling Blade. It's like, fuck it, I'm getting the dragon together. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight, please, no, not tonight. He's like... Larry, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking maybe we get together, turn ourselves into a dragon. <laughs> hey, buddy, keep it down over there. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm friends with the sheriff. <laughs> when the sheriff comes by, he's, he's part of the dragon sometimes. <laughs> sheriff, he's got the dragon head. We invite the sheriff over. We all do the dragon thing. I love that idea. Yeah. I've never seen Sling Blade, but... Oh, oh yeah. it's great. I'm putting it together. He's you know? referencing the dad. Every time he gets mad at the mom, he says he's getting the band back together. Yeah. He's like, fuck it. I'm getting the band yeah. back together. Dwight Yoakam is like such a good actor. He's so funny. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, great well, in Panic. I thought that was uh, Billy Bob's character. No. Dwight Yoakam. Dwight Yoakam is a country music singer that transitioned into acting. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's what a lot of stuff. In? You'll recognize him. What else? Um... He was yeah, in. Very few fuck. people have been able was to he, make he the music, David. music to acting transition effectively. Yeah, Rihanna was in Battleship. That was a good actor. Harry movie. Connick <laughs> Jr. Was he an actor first? Or I don't know. Movie? He's also got a daytime talk I think show he did now, both. Yeah. Which is weird. I like Harry Connick Jr. He was on Will and Grace. I remember from my watching Will and Grace days. Mm -hmm. You know what I thought? I thought Janice Dickinson was on Just Shoot Me until yesterday. Oh, no. That's it's, not her? It's not her. No, this lady doesn't have of, big titties. You're thinking of uh, uh, Wendy uh, McCauley Williams. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Who who is on the show? But no, I thought in addition to her, the Janice. Oh, there Dickinson was another character had a recurring role on the oh, show. Interesting. I was like certain of it. And you think there's some other big titty old model that was on it? Maybe. Um, I don't know if she has big tits. Janice now Dickinson. Can, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Could, no, because you know who had big titties on just shooting. Yeah. Oh yes. Laura. That Sanchez lady with Como, the weird yeah. like mouth. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. She got I, the fuck. She had a gap tooth. 
She looked like Lawrence Fishburne with I double E's it. hits. I would fuck the hell out of yeah. Lawrence Fishburne with you double E's. You really think that's titty milk you're drinking? It's <laughs> <laughs> titties filled yeah. with cum. <laughs> We've talked about. What are you saying that I can fuck your huge tits? <laughs> <laughs> no, Neil. I'm saying when you're ready. You won't have to. <laughs> Neil just comes in his pants with a giant tits. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> I looked up Laura San Giacomo recently. You suck the blue tit. You wake up tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> dream's over. You suck the red tit. I'll show you how deep this pussy goes. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I guess that's the question. Have you Would seen, you fuck Lawrence Fishburne if he had huge tits? Have you Montana seen his Fishburne? daughter? Yeah. yeah, his daughter's porn. No. She just has the face That's of basically the Lawrence answer. Fishburne. That is, yeah, she did. It's just a woman. So Lawrence maybe the Matrix Fishburne. is real. Yeah, it's oh, true. Shit, yeah. dude. Yeah, I think she fucked up Brian Pumper, famous big dicked black porn star. Yeah, is that that's the guy weird. that was trying to do uh, like that's pranks? You, you're Brian Pumper? Mm. <laughs> In blackface? Yeah. Was he, he's trying to do like street pranks for yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he tried to transition. they were all like really mean spirited. Yeah. <laughs> and then you would like go to his like Twitter and he would like do like a, you know, like, I don't know, hitting a grandma with a pie in the face. And then you would just see him getting his cock sucked like a tweet later. <laughs> 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 this is giant big ass dick. <clears throat> but Montana Fishburne had some kind of strange, um, I don't know if there was ass pimples or just some kind of freckle, like, like strange acne? freckles on oh, her yeah. ass. Yeah. It didn't look like freckles. But um, I remember that throwing me off a little bit because otherwise, I would a ten out of ten. But you know, obviously, I would fuck her with ass pimples or whatever that would is. Would you fuck her with like those really small sunglasses that absolutely? Wears in the Matrix? Yeah. yeah, I would. I would. I would pinche, pinche yeah. nays. <laughs> I would insist she shave her head and put on those glasses <laughs> while I fuck her. Mm. <laughs> I'm wearing a long duster, and my dick is painted like a gun. Yeah, it's, it's all black. I like uh, that. Uh, we do like the Matrix, but Joey Pants plays Ralph Cifaretto. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow gotten out of you know, the whole time. He's like, I just want to go back to Jersey. <laughs> like he thinks the Matrix is just New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. He, um, I tell you, ignorance is bliss. <laughs> it's also, you know, they say racism is ignorance. So put two and two together. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I enjoy saying the N-word so much. When Morpheus isn't around. <laughs> would Ralph be bald in the Matrix? Or would you have he, ha- he was outside bald of the Matrix? In the Matrix movie, She's right? a horror. Yeah. First of A, he was, she, she was, was a, a hooah. Hooah. <laughs> B, he's a made man. No. <laughs> yeah. He's a man. That shit is so fucking funny. He's just like whenever you start rooting with those guys, you real they're like, look, man, by the rules, you can murder a woman. <laughs> My yeah, that <laughs> you can't you can't even like punch a guy about it. <laughs> that episode all he did was punch him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can yeah, that's right. He takes it as a major disrespect. He murdered, he someone murdered on a, the property. A young prom- like woman yeah. with a great pair of We're tits. gonna get a little house and we're gonna raise the kid together. Yeah, yeah, no. She's like, Ralph, I'm pregnant. And he's like he's like uh He's like, what, what should we name it? I guess she's like, what should we name it? He's like, uh, if it's if it's a girl or if it's a boy, we'll name him after me. And if it's a girl, we'll name him after you, Tracy, so she could grow up to be a cock sucking slob just, <laughs> just like, like her mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <Hooray. laughs> First of all, she was a hua. That's a, that's the same episode where he's like on coke and too into the gladiator. Yeah, he I like keeps so. like doing the old the school speeches. gladiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The no, 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 the Russell Crowe oh. one. Yeah. Weren't they wearing, who was watching, oh, he, Tony watched the old school Scarface at some point. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah. I th- I'm pretty sure the release date of that movie is May 5th, 2000, Gladiator. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I might be wrong. That would be impressive. I don't know, man. It's just one of those <laughs> stupid things that's been in my head yeah. since the movie came out. Yeah. Let's that's look it wild. up. I'll look, look it, up. it up. Yeah. God, that is. I'll look it up right now. That is uh Gladiator fuck least date. It's a bad movie. It was pretty good. It was pretty sad the first time no, I realized it. Gladiator's was... Gladiator's not a bad movie. It's, it's good, dude. It's bad movie. No, you fucking The dialogue hate it. the dialogue is oh, just that's like what we're watching it for. Yeah. Oh, May fifth, two thousand. That's <laughs> yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah. I know I don't know why. Why? I don't know. Do you know any other movies release date? Um no. I remember <laughs> I know when I think I know when C D ROMs debuted. <laughs> <laughs> Debuted. I don't know, like October. What do you? Twenty 
third, nineteen eighty three. Jesus Christ! Do it, Adam. Yeah, look it up. I, 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 that one might be wrong, but yeah, there's certain dates that she just did, get stuck in my. What do you mean head. debuted? Like they ran yeah, like the, Windows the first commercial release of or when they invented them. Oh, nice. But what do you even put on a fucking CD in nineteen eighty three? I don't know. Thriller compact disc nineteen eighty two. Sorry, October nineteen eighty two. Hmm. Not even the right year. So fucking idiot. Oh, yeah, That's the end fucking of that. stupid Sorry. motherfucker. Shut up, Nick. Damn. Yeah. I'm going to pull up my nuts and I want you to suck them now as penance. Yeah. Zip. Plop. I just put my nuts on the table. Can yeah. you suck them, please? No. Thank you for sucking them, Nick. That's not what happened. Everyone, see, everyone knows it's not me because you have that missing tooth now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's missing tooth sound. No, yeah. that's Nick sucking my nuts. And Adam, you'll back me up here. Nick no. is sucking my nuts. Like, you sound like, you sound like a horse with fat feet. Nick. Walking through a park. Right, you sound Mark. like uh, the British are coming. Adam, yeah. isn't Nick <laughs> sucking my nuts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Hear that, everyone? <laughs> Nick sucked my nuts for getting the date of CD-ROMs wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why <clears throat> I have that gladiator shit in my head, though. Oh, what gladiator shit? Oh, the day that it came out? Yeah. Well, and I used to love it. that that's the way memory works. Did I, you guys see it with your dad? I no. did see it with well, my I dad. I saw it with my dad, yeah. Yeah. I think it was one of those kind of like take my your mom. boy to go see. Yeah, yeah. Me and my mom rented it from my dad. The did that with Troy? Showing me Troy, with Troy? was like yeah, important to me or important to my dad. <laughs> but Troy, I like. Troy's a much better movie than Gladiator. No, you think so? Oh yeah, Troy, I thought was a piece of shit too, but I've only seen it. Maybe I enjoyed once it because it's you know I was I was that was in my fucking I was a big Greek mythology head as a little boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that Troy's, interest, that was, Troy's yeah. interesting. That was truly my shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It contrasts all these different ways that like men specifically look for some degree of immortality or longevity or extending their lives beyond you know. Yeah, yeah. Like it's researching Italian. Italian. Uh, yeah, Americans. one of them is literally fucking immortal. The other one is mm-hmm. like his, his dedication ankle. to his family. What's that? Except for his ankle. That's okay. Yeah, we all know that. Huh? Nick? Shut up. Literally, huh? Bitch. What if it was his asshole? What what was that was what if she put her finger in her at in his ass and dipped him in the river Thames? Or uh, yeah, sticks. Then his ass yeah, would the be river his own sticks. <laughs> the River Thames. Yeah, yeah. The River Thames is where <laughs> is where Greeks go. Whatever, man. Shut the London. fuck up. <laughs> is a is the wrong way to say river in <laughs> England. I think it makes more sense to call it Thames. It's cooler. Or you say Thames. Is it Thames? Yeah. It's Thames. Thames. That makes no fucking sense. Yes, well, that's Thames. just how they say Thames. It. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Yeah, like I mean, I'm the ass. It's not how I thought it, her name was uh, Hermoin mm. when I used to read the books before I, the movies came out. I thought it was Edmione because that's, the Greek, cause that's the Greek. That's the Greek. It's a Greek name. Hermione. Yeah, and they say Hermione, and that shit sounds dumb as hell. If you ask me personally, I think so too. Whatever. <clears throat> yeah, I fucking used to love Greek mythology. I I remember we went to a Greek uh, a Greek, Greek mythology school trip. Is great. Um, that shit was fun. Learning about that in sixth grade. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. It they took cool us to the museum. They fucked, they fucked people. They fucked people as like like they animals disguised. sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Zeus's like disguise was a bull, and he would fuck bitches as a bull. And Which shit. is it's, but I mean, like the Bible is filled with plenty of shit like that. It's uh-huh. just that like like the presentation is boring. Like Christianity could do a lot better sure. if it like yeah. Where's the Xena of? The Bible. Mm. Warrior Princess? Yeah. Why is it fucking Veggie Tales and all this bullshit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody wants to see. Yeah, they had warriors. You could make like a cool action movie out of some oh, Bible yeah. shit. Mormons try to do that because they God, have like... God killed an entire town for being gay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's fucked that's up. That would be a badass guy. We get Dwayne The Rock Johnson <laughs> to play God. Just a bunch he of... goes to San Francisco. <laughs> it's a movie called Walking Straight. <laughs> <laughs> no one realizes at the end it's about Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> I just think it's a fun family movie about Dwayne the Rock Johnson murdering homosexuals. <laughs> but you wait, this is God. a religious analogy, and people get mad at the end. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> trying to sneak Christianity into our secular gay bashing once again. Can black people have anything before these honkies come and ruin it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hell yeah, dude! Uh, Isn't there a story where like someone, like the bunch of people, fuck his daughter, a guy's daughter, or something? Uh, in the Bible, like he pimps out his daughters and shit. Yeah, people what fuck their daughters. I don't Esther. know, man. Esther, that's right. Esther, the Queen Esther from from uh, 
from Purim? I don't fucking know. Yeah. Or is that from Purim? Yeah, does, Purim. does Queen Esther suck it's dick? It's Purim right now, I think, or it just was no, Purim. No, it was Purim like a week ago, yeah, two week weeks ago. ago. Yeah, um, That's Jewish Halloween? Yeah, it's like Jewish Halloween. Yeah. Put on a costume. Did you see, like, did you see the pictures of the kids in... Uh, in, in South Brooklyn, mm-hmm. like the Orthodox kids all get like drunk in public, like 11 year olds just get really? wasted. Yeah. And what <laughs> their costumes are tight. always like, they do like black fit. They have like no like concept mm-hmm. of, Oh, I was no. trying to work on a bit about a black Panther about how like everyone thinks it's good now, but come October when every elementary school is filled with white kids in black, <laughs> they're going to think twice about it. <laughs> <laughs> Did the other, the other like, Jews are in, in blackface. Yeah, I saw a picture of one of them dressed as just uh, one of those Chinese ladies that collects bottles. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his eyes taped back and yeah, shit. Yeah, he's wearing like a triangle Chinese hat. <laughs> <laughs> he had, like, it was really cute. He had like a mini shopping cart just filled oh with plastic bottles. Oh my God. Bottles. It was pretty inventive. There's no way this happened. There's a picture on Instagram of it. I'll find it. Yeah, let's you. see this. <laughs> um. What, so you get fucked up on Purim? That's the only cool shit Orthodox Jews have ever done. Yeah, they give kids alcohol a lot. I mean, that's like a big part But they part do that before they molest them too, don't they? Um, yeah, I think that there is molestation. Orthodox Jews really yeah. molest. Or is it Hasids? Is there a difference? Um, yeah, there's... I mean, there, Hasids are Orthodox. But a, a branch. Yeah, it's part of it. Yeah. Damn, imagine getting fucking molested by like a dirty-ass rabbi. Did you see that documentary, One of Us? No. It's about like three Jews in like South Brooklyn. And one and, of them gets. And they, no, fucked. they try to leave. It's about like oh, trying shit. to leave. And yeah, then how you, hard. You brought this up before. I'm trying to find this shit on Instagram that you're lying about. Well, how would you find oh. it? He wouldn't find it. Adam. I'll find it for you. My sister showed it to me when I was in Vegas. Oh, oh so you didn't see it? No, no she I'll showed find it to it. him. What do you mean you didn't see it? So this story you told about <laughs> seeing this, he did see oh, it. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> I was actually out of town though. I like this him. picture Here. Though, of Goofy and Kobe. Okay, there was another <laughs> one, but this is this is not the Chinese one. But well, that's is, not the one. Yeah, but hold this, on, dude, you can't just one. deflect like I'll that. Find the other I was one. on your side oh, until now. Oh yeah! Wow. Okay. So not what you were saying. Yep. That's no, totally there different. is another one with a Chinese hat. So you just showed us a different one. Yep. Are they Not Trump? Was here. that were they Mexican? Yeah, they dress up like Mexican. Oh god, they just have no concept of like <laughs> political correctness. I guess. Yeah. Or, um, well, they should be punished for that. Say, I think this should be the all the time outfit. Is yeah. the, <laughs> if they dress like clowns. Orthodox dad, and then the children should be clowns. Hold on, bitch. I'm not done. <laughs> this wrong, phone, motherfucker. There's more. There's this like one's, a, wait. Hold on. I don't know if this is a costume or that little girl's actually getting married. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a four year old girl, by the way, guys. By the looks <laughs> of it, four year old girl in a bridal in gown. A, yeah, in a gown. This is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> she has no choice what to do to her because. <laughs> It's God's guy. Uh, uh, God says that uh, you can fuck her as long as it's through a sheet. Oh yeah, we should talk about. But France. it's through a Little Mermaid sheet. Big yeah. France news guys. They created an age of consent. Well, hold, hold on a second, because we're, we shouldn't move past uh, the Chinese kid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 let's find this Chinese kid out. I'm going to find it. The people need to we know. Yeah, plenty of time to talk about France. I just want to make sure that we know. <laughs> Whether or not <laughs> a certain somebody <laughs> is embellishing a story again. Uh, I mean, you know what I don't get about that? Why you do that is because like there, the, you could just say there was a girl dressed like a bum, which is already funny. Which is yeah. real. No, there is one. You dude. have to. You have to like. There was a lot of funny ones. You have to add a little spice to it and say that she was dressed like the one triangle of the hat. You know what? I'm starting to turn on you, Adam. I don't think it's true. I'll either. find it for you. You know, well, you said your sister sends it. Why don't you just text? You know, her, dude? saying that kind of I'll shit. I'll text Zoe right now. Why don't I? If text you her? if you had told that you story to a federal her. agent, you'd be in jail right now. That's true. Well, I lie all the time, guys. Yeah, I'm a compulsive liar. There's, There's plenty true. of stories in, in That's this. The only city. truth he's this, told. This fucking. I'm a storyteller. Did you see this, did you this see beautiful big beast fish? of the city? You know, mm. there's plenty of things that go on. Like just the other day, I saw a guy crazy guy <laughs> yes actually on the way to your house i saw a guy waving his penis <laughs> nice. Street. hey guys he just finished pissing hey but, sorry about that guys. well now, yeah it's funny because like i saw i saw this guy and he had his dick out and he's waving it and i was like oh this is hilarious he's jacking off but he was just he had finished pissing <laughs> on the sidewalk oh, he's doing a shake and he was just shaking his dick off yeah. 
which is like you live in New York long enough, you're like, oh, whatever. Right, yeah. right, right. That's not cool. Yeah. I want to see it engorged and getting yeah. beaten off. How much it yeah, desensitizes <laughs> you? It's not only has to be masturbating, but he's got to be masturbating to like the tree or something. Yeah, weird. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, or biting he's his be own wearing nipples. A Chinese hat. Yeah, Chinese hat. You got to fucking spice it oh, up. Oh, looks like someone put their phone away. Stopped looking for. It. I, I thought we were going. I text Zoe, though. Okay. Zoe will send it to me. All right. Well, listen, Nick, in, uh, before the episode ends, with 10 minutes left, if we haven't gotten we'll anything, call her. you have to, we'll you have call to find her. She's, it. You know, she's not doing anything important. Right? You have to find it. <laughs> All right. Um, you fucking liar, dude. I've stuck up for you, dude. I'm telling oh. you, I'll find it. I'll find it. Give me 24 hours. I'm, I need to go to South Brooklyn. Do a little photo. Gonna plug shoot. It, yeah. <laughs> no, give me this. My tooth is in there. Is it? Yes. Oh, that's what that is. It's my tooth cone. <laughs> I had to take Guys, my tooth you, out you, to eat a burrito. Say, what's, what are the odds that Stav loses another tooth before he can get that implant on that one? Uh, I am going to lose another tooth. We should get All a right. bet All DSI. Right, that, another, <laughs> you should keep that name out of your mouth. Oh, yeah. We should get a betting website. To... Hey, I don't know. Those people do great work, Nick. Yeah, I know, but it's like... I know what you mean. I'm, yeah, I know. I, he shouldn't have said it. Yeah. I for free, dude. I've said a lot of things. You I you have fuck said. for free? Not for free. There's a million different reasons why you shouldn't. You know? I don't know them. I know them all. I can explain them to you in detail as soon as the fucking show's over. <laughs> well, I can't back wait. you into a corner and shove my finger in your eye. Oh no, me? No, him. Oh, okay, good. Because if uh, you do that to me, we're about to rumble. I'm gonna fuck your ass. No, dude. dude I would 100%. love to. I would love to. And I wouldn't even be mad about it. I would love to fucking brawl with you. <laughs> to fight? Yeah. Stop. Can you fight? Just ding your fucking head off the wall. I feel like if no you way, get angry, I've seen you get angry. I think like if you get angry. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have superpowers, dude. You can maybe Hulk up. Nah, I'm the know, Hulk. The people who say that are the people who always get their ass beat. Yeah. No, I, I mean, when I get angry, dude, you don't want to see me because I've never been in an actual fight before in my right. life, and I have a fantasy about how I'll kick hey, the other whoa, guy's ass. I, you know, but really. I huff and I puff and I get thrown under the fucking ground and choked out. Have never, you been never in, me, in dude. an adult fight? No. It's no. been since I was in like, I'd say middle school. My, my, my expertise in fighting comes from having lost so many of them that I've reverse engineered what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've already lost a tooth. I look scary because of that. You know, like I lost yeah. in a brawl. I used to play hockey. Mm-hmm. You know, this I is was a, an enforcer. I was an enforcer for the fucking Lachachuglia family. The Lachachagla. <laughs> lots, of, lots of chocolate. Lots family. of chocolate <laughs> family. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, I mean, I don't ever want to fight. I would like, I would love to live the rest of my life never having to fight again because you it's going to happen. I mean, you're bound to get into fights here and there. Yeah, but I'm a man of peace, but. If you fuck with, listen, you can fuck with me, mm-hmm. but if you fuck with Look, my dude, friends, you say or whatever my you want. Yeah. You, fuck, you, you insult me, spit in my face, yeah. fuck my ass, have sex with me, have sex with my fucking body, make me sleep on the bottom bunk. I don't care what you do. You know, you come in my cell in the middle of the night, you fuck my mouth, you bash all my teeth out, you have sex with me, you make me wear dresses. You put fucking Kool Aid on my lips so I look like a woman. Make me wear fucking makeup. You smuggle, you smuggle makeup smuggle in a prison up. in mm-hmm. my ass. <laughs> you felt you forged the medical documents to have my anus surgically removed by the prison doctor so that I'm loose. I'm constantly loose. I need a colostomy bag to shit in because so, my ass is only purpose now is to be a vagina for you. But you say something about my friend. <laughs> You say a single word about my friend. <laughs> you even fucking mentioned. Guess who's not getting their fucking cum swallowed before <laughs> rec time. That's right. I'm going to pretend and I'm gonna spit it out in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. That's basically what I was about to say. So don't even think about it, man. Yeah, don't. Maybe I'll get jacked and start becoming up. Maybe get into fights after that. Yeah, dude. Should you go to like join an MMA gym? Maybe. Yeah, maybe That's I will. That's like a thing. Uh, Greg Stone, very funny comedian. He joined an MMA gym. He said it was cool. And maybe I'll do that. Did he yeah. get wait? Good does at he fighting? go to UFC gym? No, I don't know. I don't know where he goes. Um, he doesn't go there you anymore. You should get into something specific, like ju- Brazilian uh, jiu jitsu. Yeah, maybe or I will, dude. Maybe I'll rumble. That'd be cool. I just wish I could get better at jump rope. What do you mean? How are you bad at jump rope? I can't do... Uh, you don't have good coordination? You practice it and you can't do it? No, I can ju- I can do jump rope, but I can't do consistent double unders. Mm. Uh, I, can't get the, I can't figure out the fucking time. Sounds like you're a bitch to me, dude. Nah. 
Yeah, I just checked. Hold on. I'm going to fucking draw all yeah, over your bitch. body, dude. I'm going to get a Sharpie and cover you Joke's in Joke's on you. I love that. All right. Well, we'll wait until you see the things I draw. Uh, whatever it is. That's my favorite like the shit. Sistine Chapel. I love the Sistine You're Chapel. you be covered in angels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you look so fucking beautiful. Like a goddamn cathedral. God's, God's finger and Adam's yeah, yeah. finger go to my ass. That's where they, they, that's where they touch. Yeah, you're on the train. Black teens are like, my man got painted. <laughs> <laughs> Look at oh. my man looking like the Renaissance. Uh, somebody said that the Sistine Chapel is like little and, and not that cool. Yeah, that's what yeah. they said about uh, not my penis. Your cis- cis- Sistine millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> is that bad? bad? Yeah, that's bad, 16 right? millimeters is very bad. Yeah, yeah it's, it's 1.6 <laughs> centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm bad. glad I, I was. I, that what is that gamble. really? Yeah. Bad. I could have just said you had a big dick because I was going to go centimeters. Oh, that wouldn't be that bad. So, no, nah, that's still small. How much? How much is a 16 centimeters? That's not 16 centimeter dick. Is you guys like want to guess a good dick? That's it's like, like seven, eight inches. No, 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 no way. I say four inches. Was it 2.2? Shut up, dude. To the, to the inch or something? What, so your guess is eight inches. I'm saying four and a half. Yeah, no, it's got to be somewhere around six. Okay, because a centimeter is. Like two point two, I thought six point two nine. Yeah, six point yeah. two nine. So that's not bad, actually. That would that's I would take a sixteen centimeter dick. I think that's a, around what I get hard. The two, uh-huh. the point two nine, I would really appreciate. Yeah, you know, I think we're right about six. Maybe I get to six point one on my tippy uh-huh. toes when my dick is really stretching. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Maybe with a cock pump. I still haven't used it. I'll use it by the next time we record. Oh, it's just covered in dust. I spent three hundred dollars <laughs> on your birthday presents. <laughs> <laughs> that guy made that thing. I mean, that was the dumbest thing. purchase of all time. The cock pump would have been great. Yeah. That weird the way <laughs> cock torture device. I, it's like, it's... <laughs> Cause it's so much funnier with yeah. that, dude. I mean, I, I was God, I was laughing good. for like. No, you're right. Days. It is it is the, hilarious the, to go on the dark web <laughs> to buy me a cock like I guess stretching but really torture device. It looks like dinosaur bone. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't yes. look. I don't exactly understand. And I, I wish you could have smell that when I opened that box. The smell that came out of it. Yeah. It smelled like Dr. Pepper. It smelled like yeah, like formaldehyde or something uh, like uh, weird, like whatever fucked up sick laboratory this guy made yeah, this dude. shit it's in. Some guy, some guys garage in texas he's, yeah. he's making these dick weight things <laughs> dude those what emails love, were man. the best part. do what you yeah. love brother the emails where he yeah. told nick never in my, in my 20, 20 years, years i've never had any kind of requests like this <laughs> <laughs> i bet that guy can make a really good pocket pussy you know yeah he definitely has a series of fucking machines in his garage have sure. you ever beat off to fuck machine porn I used to jerk off to Howard Stern, like no, Sibian. no, no, not Sibian, like levers and shit, and like a dildo, go, like one of those birds that drinks water, but it's a dildo and a I woman's pussy. That shit, I can't really get off to that. I was just I asking. Know. I haven't either. I've yeah. looked at it, but I'm like, I'd rather, you know. I could, I could jack off to like something rough between, like a sure two guys. Two guys, you know, holding each other down. It's not gay if it's if, if it's, it's rough. Really if it starts as a wrestling match, it's <laughs> not gay. <laughs> I told you, right? My friend went to that uh, at yeah, the yeah, kink yeah. We've talked about that armory. Yeah. What about you, Nick? Have you jerked off the fuck machines? No, no, no. Because it's like I start thinking about like you know the engineering behind yes. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, I wonder what kind of screws they use to fucking get that nah, on the floor. Well, it's just a sawzall with a fucking dildo where, uh-huh. you know, sure. the blade would have gone. Mm. Right. Do you have one of those? Which is, like, interesting because I always imagine that they just put the blade in the dildo. Uh-huh. Oh, no way. It would no cut through, way. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to see happen. Dude, Nick just smiled in a way I've never seen you smile in my life. <laughs> <laughs> You've clearly thought about this so much. <laughs> Just some bitch accidentally getting sawed in half. Imagine having to go to the fucking emergency room and explain why your wife's dead. <laughs> like what happened? I'm like, they, I, we went, we went to Home Depot and I, <laughs> I thought the dildo was sturdier than it was. <laughs> oh god! And would he think he would slice right in half or? Like a cartoon, um, probably. There's a picture of like uh, he, there was like one of the one of the medieval, uh, Medi- medieval, medieval, uh, one of the medieval uh, torture, like during like the Inquisition or whatever. There's like heraldic art of uh, they had a torture called sawing. 
Oh god. You know, so they had all sorts of fucked they had the up most shit. Like fucked up iron shit, bull man. Yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just put you in a fucking yeah. a bronze bull and then shut it and then put, like start a fire underneath it and you would fucking like broil <laughs> to Jesus death. Jesus Christ. And what they liked it is because there was holes where the nose is. So as you cooked and screamed like steam from your like burnt oh, fat it's a good bit. would come out of the it's a bull's good bit. nose. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, they also had the watch Adam do stand because that's like that's first of all to die to be burned to good. death uh, is yeah, horrible, yeah. Uh, but to add a claustrophobic element to it is uh-huh. like uh, how long would that take? And that's, it's like uh, it's because those people pissed off God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they're the ones that did something that God didn't like. God was like, "Chill, I like what you're doing, bro." <laughs> so this yeah, is yeah. The, Putting people in a big-ass like, tea you know, kettle. People talk about, like, oh, ISIS cuts people's heads off. It's like, that's relatively fucking humane yeah. compared to, like... The Inquisition? Yeah, one Some shot. of the shit that all those... Uh, and I happen to be a hotep, so I believe that most of the ancient... <laughs> or the, the medieval English were black men. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, with, actually, those, with those black those Christians... Egyptian, were doing, yeah, those, those are Egyptian, Egyptian techniques. Those Egyptian <laughs> British people were doing... The white people, which came along in the 1930s to defeat the Nazis, who were also black, by the way. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. And Max was telling me uh, the other day, he was showing me on on Stormfront these posts, these guys were saying that like, uh, actually, hip hop, rhythm and blues, and rock and roll like were invented going. by white people. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And uh, so they're like, yeah, actually, the first rap song was this Swedish song from 1920 or awesome. 21. And we like, <laughs> we like looked it up on YouTube, and it's just it's the gayest shit. It's just like a, a simple like like guy like a, a drum beat and he's like Fear to the fun for the fun to the <laughs> that's a really good finish impression i can't do that language that's yeah. the only that might be the only impression you can do far from here again far no, 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 no. that's terrible stuff no it's Fear. really good yeah yeah i'm gay yeah, <laughs> actually, it was invented by the whites <laughs> and then ruined by the black. Okay, you peaked. You know, yeah. uh, we'll take we'll take it from here. I think my fucking yeah. tooth is getting sharp. This second tooth, it's getting it's doing, sharp. It's doing a lot of chewing that it wasn't before. Yeah, and it's like it's kind of hurting my lip. Time to get that shit pulled, dude. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is one by one. Uh, I'm gonna you're, get it filed down, or maybe I'll you're file like that it. little <laughs> alligator game where you push the teeth. In. <laughs> you're like the fucking cartoon where it all turns into like piano keys. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After I get my shit slopped. Yeah. Oh fuck. God um, damn it. Yeah, so I guess we should talk about France. They have an age of consent now. Good for them. Is not, I mean, n- the last Before they did not. F- truly free Western democracy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Pour over. one out, it's over. It's done. These fucking regulators getting in, you know, it's none of their fucking business. Uh, I, can't, I can't understand. I mean, is France not French anymore? That's my mm. question. Yeah, it is not. You, I mean, you can still. What is it's fifteen, right? Old cheese, 15. old grapes, young pussy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they're. That's the. That's, that's, the, the, that's on the slogan. <laughs> old yeah. cheese, old grapes, young yeah. pussy. It's each stripe. Yeah, the yeah. red, white, and blue. Et yeah. vin, et fromage, uh, young pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what old or young is in French. Petit pussy. No, Petit is little, small. You fucking. Yes, your dick. Petit. Non, non small French pussy. Note, bitch. Well, the young. No have small, small pussy. Old people can have small pussy. Yeah, young people can have big pussies. You know, yeah, that's true. Don't be such an ageist. Yeah, I, I, I owned, <laughs> owned as fuck. Honestly, yeah. it's embarrassing. Ah, met mon, met mon pinois dans. J'aime les. Met mon pinois dans poussoir d'enfant. J'aime les <laughs> poussoir d'enfant. <laughs> poussoir d'enfant. <laughs> Et s'il vous plaît, mets mon pimoire dans euh, euh, poussoir d'enfant. Ah. Je mange la pussy de. It'd be great if we all learned French and just turned this into a French language no. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> It's just our. Ah, euh, bien, bien, bien. Euh, Bonjour. Bienvenido. Bienvenido. Uh, bienvenido. Bienvenido. Uh, 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 es baguette. Bienvenido a Comptan, uh, el podcastisto. Je, uh, je ne suis pas. Uh, je m'appelle uh, Adam Frivlons. Uh, Juden uh, de... <laughs> de... Juden de... de, 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 de uh, 
Joke Thief. Fuck. Fatigue. That means tired, but it sounds like fat and gay. Yeah, so that's yourself. No. You're describing yourself. Actually, I'm tired. So, yes. Je, <laughs> je, um, I am tired. <laughs> so, I am fatigué. Uh, Qu'est-ce que c'est uh, uh, le uh, délibérer? Non, non, non. Je suis travaillé. Non, monsieur, monsieur, mi bol. Mademoiselle. Mi teste caliente, mojo caliente. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, he still speaks Spanish. <laughs> <dude>. My balls <laughs> are hot. Mi teste caliente, mojo caliente. No me That's gusta. That's still my favorite part of the of the of the, the rape day labor character. Is that his balls get hot? That he complains that his balls are hot. <laughs> well, that can happen, dude. Uh, oh fuck, dude. <clears throat> yeah, so shouts out to France. Yeah, dude. And but they also get this: cat calling is illegal in France. Really? And like racism? I thought it only was illegal, illegal, right? No, no. cat calling is illegal. And I was saying to, to to Libby, or well, I don't know if she wants to be associated with the show, but uh, uh, Libby Watson. Jesus what, fucking Christ! Are you, you fucking retard? retarded. He just said, "Just bleep <laughs> it out, dude." <laughs> He literally just said she doesn't want to be. I associated. forgot. We were I don't know. I mean, I don't know what she wants. I mean, you know, she came to our show in DC. Oh yeah, so sure. that means she yeah. Wants well, I'm friends with her. But you're friends a, with her. There's a lot of people that are friends with me that don't want people knowing that they're friends with me. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm, almost I, I, I'm not even sure that's the case with her. But right. I mean, certain people that like what you know, kind of people you want to say their names. Uh, you know, you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. A good point. <laughs> I, I, I'm happy to be associated with the show. Yeah. Mm. About that, Adam, we've kind of been thinking about a couple things. Yeah, it'd be better if you don't in public. You don't say that you're part of right. the show. I mean, the show kind of the show kind of peaked with Kamitsa or Gordon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I really we got film. You should have like the first episode you came back. You should have tried to bring up Kamitsa. Yeah, <laughs> so try to bring it back. <laughs> so what, can you tell me about it? <laughs> I just watched the Tim Burton <laughs> Kamitsa or Gordon. <laughs> Is it just me, or is this sex sex so bad that I shouldn't have to pay for it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Are you doing a... Do you have to... The the yeah. cranberry song? No, you fucking retard. No, Come on, on, Drake. It's Drake. Oh, free. I thought you were saying, do you have to, do you have to let it linger? No, it's not linger. It's for free by Drake. Oh, okay. Yeah. For All free right. By well, and DJ Khaled. I was Khaled. very confused. DJ, yeah. DJ yeah, yeah. Khaled. I know that song. It's a good song. You, you ever realize you know, that Big Sean has dick. never had sex? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Big, Big Sean heard my bit. <laughs> Did you guys say on the podcast that he, he that he hung out with his? Oh his yeah, we told that story. Of, fuck him, dude. That's oh, like okay. that's fu that's a fucked up thing to do. Because he because uh, he he texted me. He's like, "Why is everyone saying I hurt your Felix?" Okay, like, he, he did. didn't yeah. hurt my feelings. I was just <laughs> that's a huge. That's a that's like a dick move. Yeah. Oh, that sure. he he you know? hung out with his and his as friend. friends instead of going to him privately about it and saying, "Hey, would you just <laughs> like that? Yeah, yeah. announce it to our audience of six million people?" <laughs> yeah, one for every life lost. No, where at McDonald's in the Holocaust. <laughs> no, oh. Adam, don't bring, don't start this again, man. What okay? do you mean? Do not start this fucking propaganda on the show. Mm -hmm. Six million. Jews, Come on, dude. Eleven million people in general. That it was, was only six. It was only gypsies, gypsies. It was only gypsies and gay guys. Gypsies, homosexuals, political enemies. People into Beyblades. <laughs> <laughs> Think about all the like. If you did a genocide now, all the stupid types of people you'd have to kill. Also, yeah. How how fucking easy was it for the Nazis that there was like obviously Jews are gone. You know? uh -huh. I mean, yeah. And then uh, no really brainer. all you got left after that is like gypsies and handicapped people. Yeah. And then the three or four gay guys that existed back then. Yeah. Yep. Now they're like, fuck, there's people that think they're breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> we got to kill all of the, the people that identify as Jimmy Dean sausages. <laughs> yeah, they got a whole tumbler. The Fuhrer everyone not who's ever like this. Everyone who's ever had a tumbler's got to go probably. Yeah, just probably. to be safe. That's the only reason to get on Tumblr. To get killed? I wonder what the guy who created Tumblr thinks about it now. Because he was 19. You know, Tumblr was created by a 19-year-old. Was oh, wow. it? Yeah, he did it mostly while he was in high school. Damn, wow. dude. He, yeah. he must be rich as hell. Do you get paid off that? Of course. He sold it to... Yeah. Who did he sell it to? Facebook, Facebook or, or some yeah, shit. something like that. Google. <clears throat> oh, we got to talk about Shkreli. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Shkreli got my man got the, locked the hell up. The fucking hammer on him. Pretty funny. Would the cool take is to say that he's went to, he's going to jail because he was defrauding rich people, but no one cared. Not the age or whatever. That's no not the cool cared. take. It's the correct take, and it's yeah, also yeah. like, I mean, it's a seven year sentence is fucking ridiculous. He was for like, what de- was he doing for a hedge fund? He was like lying. He was to deceptive investors. about like how the money was being yeah. used and and manipulated within the hedge fund. But uh-huh. the net result is the people that he lied to made more money. Whoa! There was, there was an enormous return on investment, like that performed well. And when you like give your money to any kind, like, yeah. you pay you pay somebody to manage your wealth is because you want to outsource the risk. Right. Essentially, it's yeah. still a risk. You're still you know having somebody invest and gamble with your fucking money, uh-huh. presumably. Yeah. Right? Sure. So, I mean, if he's like... I mean, obviously, it's against the law, you know, and the guilty... What did he lie about? He didn't the, tell them what he was investing in? No, nah, he used money from, like, one of his other companies to... Um, uh, to, I guess, when there was losses uh-huh. that were incurred to fudge the numbers so it looked like there was a return <clears> until... The stocks eventually, like stocks he had shorted, eventually performed the way he wanted them to, oh, okay, so that the yeah, return yeah. could happen. So he yeah. like made the right play, but the timing was off, uh-huh. or something to that regard. But I mean, he didn't lose anybody any money, and it's I mean, not to really defend Martin because that's not really mm-hmm. the point. Sounds like what you're but doing. But it's like yeah, it you look at the financial collapse and like the people that you know oh, no destroyed the jail. fucking economy. Yeah, yeah. No one, went nobody to went to jail. Yeah. And for people to look at this and be like, yeah, finally we got one of those guys. It's like he's not one of those guys. Yeah. You know, you don't like him because you don't like his face. Yeah, or, he does have a bad face. And he's yeah. annoying. He's, yeah. he's annoying and he's, he's a like a bitch. fucking all right guy. And yeah, it's yeah. like uh, back when like the, the thing happened with him raising the price of that medicine. And some people don't really understand the details, which is right. like you can be mad at him for what he did, but it's still like pretty common practice. And beyond that, it's like, oh, yeah, big it, pharmaceutical companies do it all the time. But yeah. beyond that, it's like like it's not, quote unquote, the AIDS medicine. Uh-huh. That's not what it was. Yeah. Uh, Daraprim still costs seven hundred and fifty dollars a pill. That uh-huh. hasn't changed. Uh-huh. Nothing's changed. Nobody yeah. really gives a shit about that happening. It's a convenient guy to point at and say, "Oh, this guy's representative of all these things we fucking hate." And it's right. like, well, no, he's a he's like a from an immigrant working class family. Yeah, but he's, he's Albanian. A smart guy. He's Albanian. Fuck yeah, fuck the Albans. Is he from South Brooklyn? Him and yeah, yeah. So fuck fuck him. He's got a greasy fucked up hair. He's got a, just a very he's got punchable a little, He's got a little rat face. Yeah. And he's an Albanian. So good. I will say that. Seven years, not enough. Hope he gets life. When everyone was telling him to go on Comtown and we called his Periscope, it was that five minutes I talked to him on the phone, I really, I really got a really terrible impression. Yeah. Now you know he how, was like, awful. now you know how everyone feels about you. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> well, it, it, you know, it was a, yeah, I, I consider it a wake up call. Fuck Martin Shkreli. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Although now we get to hear the Wu Tang album, right, or something? Yeah, I'm trying There's to think of an analogy of like why it bothers me, but it's like it's it's something where it's a guy because you share the same political beliefs. No, it's like it'd be like if a if like a mall cop who's not like a real cop, it's just a fucking right. security guard wannabe police officer mm-hmm. who had like publicly made statements in support of Darren Wilson or whatever or George Zimmerman, but like those are just his yeah. fucking opinions. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to jail for. I don't know, some kind of like just sort of slapping bullshit. a black yeah, man. No, not slapping a black man. Not even not even that, because it's like again, what he went to jail for is lying to rich people. Right. So I and I, I can't really think of a, a the right I mean, I don't the reaction to this girly thing bothers me. And it bothers me on like a visceral level. Right. You think and because it, 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 it I, I I'm not sure I can articulate exactly what's wrong with it, but it highlights this desire that presumably progressive people have to they're just waiting for an excuse to punish people and hurt them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and they want to be cops themselves and they, they in their mind I mean it's like the same right, you're sending people to prison it's like, it's like yeah. you're celebrating sending someone to prison who's just like a fucking doofus that you should hate <clears throat> in his free life or whatever. Like, he shouldn't get seven years. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I guess their sense of justice It's sort is, of just like me, too, when people were, like, excited every time a new one would drop out. Well, that's different, though, because that is, that's, yeah, that's, that's like... 
Why is that different? Real rapists that were doing horrific things to the world. And no, what, no, what I'm Nick just, is saying, I'm, no, saying I'm, no. I'm, I'm sure, yeah, it all falls under the same categories. Like, I don't have an impulse to be like punitive and, and, and like, uh, right. to take things away from people. I don't have that. There's people I don't like and I'll make fun of them. Uh-huh. But, like, you know, I'm not going to be happy if they go to fucking jail, especially if it's not, if it's happening in a context that furthers like systemic problems that we should presumably be against. Right. You know? Yeah. Like if if Richard Spencer was shot by the police with his fucking hands up, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't be like, great, good. Yeah, that's, I hope that cop that's gets the best off. analogy is that it, everyone would be celebrating it. Of course like they a, would. A police yeah, killer. They'd be like, finally, one yeah. for our side. Yeah. Like, right, have any right. fucking principles. That's not how it works, yeah. Well, um, that, that would, yeah, that would kind of be a wash if a cop kills Richard Spencer. Why? Because they're on the same side, cops and Richard Spencer, right? Oh, because they're uh, neo-Nazis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take that. Yeah, that's good. That's me being fucking very woke, bro. Yeah. yeah. Or, or you know what? It would be a good example if a police officer shot Richard Spencer because Richard Spencer had a gun, and then the police officer was found guilty of murder, and the people were like, good. I mean, they wouldn't. You uh-huh. know, they'd be like, oh, if he was black, they wouldn't have happened. But if a police officer was found guilty of, like, murder in a case where it's like, no, that really was a justified shooting or whatever, and they're uh-huh. like, you know, good, maybe the cop will get raped in prison. Mm, you know, yeah. it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's convoluted, but... yeah. Something about it bothers me. Well, whatever. Fuck him. He's Albanian. That's my take. Yeah. El, your best friend is Albanian. Yeah, but I remind him every day he's racially inferior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You, <laughs> You're just mad because a, a guy that's just as cute as you, Martin Shkreli, went to jail, Nick. Yeah. You look like Martin Shkreli. First of all, I'm, I'm the most attractive. No, I'm cute. I'm the most attractive man on the right. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, the rights, the rights, George Clooney, basically, <laughs> the clown prince. Yeah, the beautiful clown prince. <laughs> the beautiful clown <laughs> prince. <laughs> the hot Squidward of the alt right. I think my new one now is the Sultan of Racism. <laughs> <laughs> you already the, get a turban. Set to the Dire yeah. Straits song. <laughs> Who looks good on the right? That's a good question. None of them. No one. I mean, Mitt yeah. Romney's a Paul sexy Ryan man. looks. He's but he's a, got a weird. No, elf I mean like the racist face. guys. Oh, the very right. Ra- Baked Alaska. Guys? That's a. I don't sexy think. Guy. I don't think Mitt Romney's racist. I don't know, man. No. Yeah, I really he's don't think he's a racist. Geek. Yeah, he's yeah. just he's just a rich white guy. Yeah, yeah, but he's pretty. I don't know. He's still like he tied that he, dog to the. To he, the I mean, he's like car. he's not racist, but he also probably thinks that all black people listen to the blues. <laughs> yeah, for sure, <laughs> yeah. for sure. I yeah. mean, he's racist, right? Like, aren't rich white Mormons racist? You're you're We're racist. All ra- that's yeah, well, their racist. church, as they're, far as everyone is racist, there's no way he's not more. Their racist. church didn't accept black people right. until the seventies, unless you're wearing like right. special spandex. Unless you could, you weren't allowed to talk to black people. uh, And then they kicked out a black guy for fucking. Yeah, I know. Bullshit. That is bullshit. He can't help it. He can't help himself. Uh, The funny. I remember during the Mitt Romney election when everyone was like roasting him for being a freak. They came out that like him and his wife every night before they go to bed at like eight seven forty five at night. His his like five kids would like wait at the bottom of the stairs. And all wish their parents off to bed, like yeah. like the, the like fucking the sound of music or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, God damn, that's a fucking freak. I bet family. instead of the, the Von Trapp family, it's the Von Dutch family. And oh, that's wearing, sick. like trucker hats. Cool. Like, <laughs> Shibby, <laughs> Shibby, damn dude. Yeah, I, I want to like, get, dude. Where's my car? <laughs> Where is my car? <laughs> I want to get sucked off by your own a Von Dutch hat. <laughs> just get like bronzer all over your nuts. From where those, from like a yeah, I remember that look, dude. Like um, yeah, you wore it. That was your no, look. No, uh, yeah. it wasn't my look. You looked yeah. like Nicole Richie. Hot mm-hmm. girls in high school. The Simple Life, starring Adam <laughs> Friedland. <laughs> Hell yeah, that was a good show. The Simple Life. Mm-hmm. I did beat off to that and Paris Hilton in general. To the sex like, tape, just the idea of Paris Hilton. No, the sex tape pictures of you can see her titties and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I thought I thought she was hot. I guess. Yeah, I think I was more wrapped up in society. Society dictated what I was beating off to in that moment. It still does. Sure. Bro. You think so? No, man. Yeah, I'm I, in the I beat remember, off I matrix. When I was like 22, having like this, like it just like it like fucked with me. I remember being in Austin, and girls started wearing like those like 
90s like wireframe round glasses and the mom pant when the mom pants first yes. started uh-huh. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, and all that shit and it was like it should have looked bad but I'm instantly I'm like oh, I guess I'm attracted to yeah, it because yeah. well, that's just what hot like, girls oh, I were doing I don't have, yeah I don't have a choice in, yeah. as to what I like like when jogger pants for like the first week it was like why are women wearing sweatpants and mm-hmm. yeah. thinking it's sexy but well, now, I'm for that though now it's like super sexy no I mean I also think if you just you just get used to hold on like, though because all it is is hot women doing anything is sexy like, right and yeah. if they're doing something stupid it's almost hotter because like they're dressing like moms but then it's like oh they take their pants off and they're just like sexy as shit yeah i'm in i like the little i like the little misdirect mm-hmm. uh-huh you know what i'm saying little, yeah. little plexiglass vagina window through mm-hmm. the pants that's uh-huh. right show off the vagina yeah <laughs> show off that pussy yeah it'd be funny if fashion was like <laughs> controlled that's like the one industry that is gay men and not straight guys right. yeah. I guess but it would be funny if it was just dominant it's like every fashion show it's just a woman completely <laughs> down the runway <laughs> with a shoestring shoved mm-hmm. up her fucking nose <laughs> that's it that sounds but, pretty good yeah this fun is called uh, suck my dick <laughs> <laughs> that's good Sure. Um, <laughs> should we talk about this Instagram Live video? Yeah. Sure, you seem to know about this. Hit us with the deets, Nick's baby. Nick's real hot about this news story. Well, I read it today. I guess these girls, they thought no one was watching their Instagram Live video, and they said the N-word. Uh-oh. Mistake number one, keep that shit on the podcast. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Something about video makes it way worse yeah, if it's yeah, just yeah. audio. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then I guess Twitter went fucking nuts, and they got the girls like suspended from school and like. Damn! Imagine if you like ten years ago, you could have gotten suspended oh, from school boy. and had your scholarship revoked because you said the n word with your friend, brother. <laughs> if you if they had access to me and Eldis's G chats yeah. from when we were like seventeen, oh dude, just not just the I racist could shit, fill but the every... Library of Congress uh-huh. with with all the fucked up shit I've said in private communication. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Yeah, well, Although they were doing an Instagram live. Because that's the thing, man. It's like people say, like, there's never a reason to use the N-word. And it's like white people that agree with the black people saying that online. But even the black people know, it's like, what you really mean is you should never use the N-word in public. Right. right. You're out of your fucking mind if you think that they're... The same way you shouldn't jack off in public. But people need to come. <laughs> yeah, if you don't people, come, yeah. you get like you get angry, you get agitated if you don't yeah. come in enough days. And it's the same right. with the N-word. Yeah, yeah. Every morning I start my day, I just scream as loud as I can the right. N-word into my into pillow. Into your pillow, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it's inherently funny. Anything you can't say is I know, funny. yeah, obviously. But I do think... But to be fair, I think the- there's plenty of people that don't say the N-word, even privately. Um... I don't buy it. I think so. We are very... Let's put it this way. Yeah, you know what? I think you're right. I think anybody that's like a woke shithead probably used to say it a lot. Used to is different than those. But I also think there's just like nice people that just don't say fucked up shit, dude. That's true. Like there's people who don't say cunt, you know what I mean? How do you sing a song if you can't say the N-word? That's good. You should do that as a bit. Yeah. You should, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a like really... Maybe, that maybe is, you're in your car and that, your black friend is sitting yeah, next to you. That is <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. original joke, Adam. <laughs> it's like, what I'm are just you saying? It's, what it's would you do? It's not a joke. It's just a fact. <laughs> and then maybe as like a derailment thing at the end of the joke, you could be like, yeah, we were listening to uh, The Beatles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's good. Also good. Can I use that? Yeah. Yeah, we were actually listening to In the Mood. <laughs> just, we're listening to Ode to Joy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh man, just singing into that tune. <laughs> the N word to Ode to Joy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We're singing. A, we're listening to a song that has no lyrics whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. We're actually listening to NPR. We'll see, yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Gross. We're listening to the part, the sing along part. We have to say the N word. Mm-hmm. She was. um she was interviewing Don Cheadle, so you know it came up a bunch. Yeah, Do you know when that he was being disrespectful, <laughs> she had to kind of put him in his place. You know, Terry Gross is a nickname. No, it's not. For what? Why? Her last name isn't really Gross. What is it? It's because I don't know what it is, but oh, <laughs> it's like because <laughs> it's like the it's gross. like Johnny Rotten. Is that what you're you know? getting? To? Oh, she's it's a sort punk. of like yeah, it's like a punk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a punk rock name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that could have been funny if you didn't completely fuck up that <laughs> yeah. joke. Yeah. I was trying to figure out where I was going. With <laughs> yeah, <that>. yeah. <laughs> I didn't feel like you had it, but that's good. Yeah, mm. thanks. Johnny Rotten, Terry Gross, Richard Puke. <clears throat> yeah. 
Stavros Penis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we should start a punk rock band. <laughs> I'll be dips on Stavros Penis. <laughs> it was very funny when, when uh, Nick and I went to Guitar Center. I'm already toothless. Put me a leather jacket, dude. I'm Stavros Penis, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a Guitar Center to like buy gear. I guess Nick got a mini uh, keyboard. And I got an electric guitar. Oh, oh yeah, you still have that guitar? <laughs> yes, <laughs> hilarious. Um, but Wait, what do you mean you still have that guitar? It was I thought three weeks ago. he thought he was going to return. I it. thought I was uh, thinking about returning it, but you know, why, dude, you make money now. Just spend it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's cool. You're about to I get just a felt pathetic being too. thirty, buying my first electric guitar. Why? I don't know. You're supposed to get that when you're like fifteen. Mm-hmm. Well, we were like, we walked in, we were like. We were like, you know what? <laughs> we're like literally so bored. We're starting a band right now. Dude, what but, are your punk names? Um, hmm? I don't know. Nick, Adam. Nick, Nick Chink. <laughs> yeah. Because they're just supposed to be offensive words, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They, okay, Adam, your turn. <laughs> Nick had his locked and loaded, dude. <laughs> Stop roast penis. <laughs> Nick Chink. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam? Um, Adam. Adam. AIDS. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. A- Adam AIDS. <laughs> yeah. We got it, dude. Whoa. Punk. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, thanks. Nick farted off mic. I did. I'm not going to disrespect a gear by... <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm a full of chili. That chili aged perfectly, mm. by the way. Oh, nice, nice two-day-old chili is good. Congratulations, yeah, that friends. fucking good now, boy. I thought it's been much more than two weeks oh, or two days. It's been years. <laughs> <laughs> I've been aging. One of those like stupid uh, subscription man companies on Instagram where you can like pay $30 a month to be a... Ernest Hemingway or whatever. Oh yeah, like those boxed. Things. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have like little little barrels so you can age shit. Oh, fucking! <laughs> you can Jesus like get your yeah, your fucking like Johnny your Walker and then whiskey? You pour whiskey into a tiny little barrel. It's like so that in a year you could drink like one nice but glass it's, of whiskey. It's whiskey that someone else made, right? Don't look. If to the three women that listen to the show, don't fuck those guys. Yeah. Tell yeah, your friends, please. don't yeah. fuck those guys. Don't allow them to fuck. A man that wears like suspenders, you know, mm-hmm. a man that's like going out looking like a groomsman. Don't fuck yes. that guy ever. Mm-hmm. You know, I do. They do. Those guys have sex. They do. Unfortunately, they do. Well, we're, we're being sexist because there's also dumb bitches. that just dumb bitch versions of those dudes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's bitches that love the Lumineers out there. That like there. kind of, yeah, that it's like, it's sort of a very like 2008 hipster. It's not even 2000. like a, yeah, kind of like right, a w- yeah. Willy Wonka kind well, of Well, it is, yeah. It occupies yeah. that space yeah. in cults. Because I guess we're here in Brooklyn. We're at the the vanguard. Mm-hmm. Of, oh, we're in the, the bleeding uh, edge. We're yeah. in the center of the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Yeah, I mean, I literally look like a mentally retarded boy being brought to Bud Pud Golf and <laughs> Stav is missing a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't get more high fashion. Yeah, yeah. This is good. I'm yeah. in sweatpants. But yeah, it's like I think about like, you know, like, you know, people who live in like fucking Virginia or whatever. Mm-hmm. They're just now getting into beard oil. And oh, no, you're oh, yeah. right. You're yeah. right. You know, they, they dress like hipsters here from like five, six years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Kinane used to have a joke about like the hipster in every town means a different thing. Like, like they're like, he's in Cincinnati. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, my my boy Dave's a total hipster. He's like, why? It's like, he wears like uh, sneakers. <laughs> 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 yeah. We should move to Cincinnati. Be the coolest guys there, dude. Dude, they, have, they penis. eat chili on spaghetti. Adam Ains and Nick Chink. Yeah, chili mac. You do that here with macaroni. Is that a since what's this? That's like a Cincinnati thing, though, right? The chili. Skyline spaghetti. chili. Skyline chili. Mm-hmm. It looks like dog shit. Yeah. Well, all chili kind of looks like dog shit. Yeah, but with under spaghetti, no thanks. Or over spaghetti, I suppose. Biscetti. Why do children call it that? Because they're dumb as shit. I always they're wonder about that shit. It's like how kids don't. Remember the, like, uh, aww, aww. Yeah. You know, like every fucking child. I remember tri- all. Yeah, everybody did, did that shit. The, ooh. You no, know, the, like, aww, no, aww. aww. Oh, yeah, yeah, the driving know, thing? Not no. the driving thing. What, what? If somebody was in trouble, they would oh, just, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, escalating, like, you know, like, crescendo. It's human awing. nature. It's like baboons. Yeah, it is like baboons. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nobody did that. Though. Nobody's making monkey noises. <laughs> I think some. I mean, but that's we evolved to yeah. awe. 
I don't know. Own. I didn't come from no where monkey. Fuck, where the fuck does that come from? The children all just know how to say the same shit. Oh. Where's the hot lava game come from? I think it Why is, is natural that universal? to go. Ah, it's not universal. Every do, kid plays. Hot, I did not do that shit until you didn't play Flores Hot Lava not until a couple years ago. Yeah, like a not until you were in like six months ago. I started yeah, doing it. Yeah, yeah. It's that's pretty when cool. I got into it. Not stepping on cracks. I literally didn't. I didn't find out about that shit until like college. No joke. Flores Hot Lava. Yeah, you didn't have that in Greek Town. Not really. I don't think what so. What games did you guys play? Smash the Jew. Yeah. Uh, uh, sn- uh sniff out the Albanian. Yeah, yeah. Um, suck off a little boy. But you were, you were the little boy as a kid. Yeah. Did you do anything with like... Remember uh, how fucked up the game... Kilo dough? The game Smear, Smear the, the Queer, queer. was? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... What is that where you wipe your feces on a gay Yeah, person? you find a, a gay old man as a, as a child. The better, the older and weaker, the better. Mm-hmm. And then you shit in his, on his face. When I worked in a mall when I was 15, there was like an old trans guy that would walk through the mall in the mornings that had like a little like sun hat with a date. Hell yeah, on salute it. to oh, that guy. Shit. That's, yeah. that's yeah. an early adopter. Like, trainers in like a dress, like a sundress, <laughs> just fucking... He looked like uh, Clint Eastwood and Gran Torino. <laughs> well, she, she looked like. Yeah. Clint what are you Eastwood. spooks up to? <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, being an early trans person, salute Grandma to them. Torino. They they really took the yeah. Grandma Torino. They took the knocks. <laughs> it's about it's a movie. It's a movie about like an old clinger from Mash. Oh yeah, <laughs> he finally got home from Korea. He just kept dressing like a woman. Yeah. It's a r- da, ba, da, 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 da. So did I rock my dick. Is that what Altman's son wrote that song? The da- Su- Suicide is Painless. Suicide is Painless, yeah. yeah. Did he? Damn. Yeah, I think so. It's, it's very f- funny. 15 year old boy. You know, did you he? could fuck him if you were in France. That's nice, dude. Yeah. Is he hot? Um, I don't know. Well, Good I don't songwriter. Know if, I don't know if I want to fuck him. He's not hot. Uh, Robert Altman's son? Mm hmm. He's old now, but He's at the time, old man, yeah. did anyone see the new Jumanji? I no, I was gonna movie pass it with Jonah the other day, and it feels like go. they just take a bad idea and they're like, I don't know, just put the Rock in it. It's yeah. the Rock and Jack Black, yeah, and um, and Kevin Hart and uh, some hot lady. Come on, that's a fucking huge cast. <laughs> that's a block, but like Kevin Hart and the Rock are probably the two biggest movie stars right now. No. No. I want to watch Girls Alicia Trip. Silverstone. <laughs> That's and, right. Uh, Raquel Christian Welch. Slater. Yeah. <laughs> the, the trio. Rock. <laughs> Rock Matt Hudson. Dillon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The biggest mm-hmm. movie stars right now. Oh, shit. Probably. Yeah. Uh, uh, Carrie Elwes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Elwes. <laughs> um, 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 uh, Sally Kellerman. Sally Fields. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, fuck. Who else? Yeah, Tom Scarrett for oh, sure. Oh, definitely the Scare <laughs> Man, <laughs> the Scarecrow, yeah, yeah. Dennis Farina. <laughs> yeah. Get that mustache jumping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How'd you like to get your pussy eaten by He's that mustache? Dead, right? Is he Dennis Farina? R.I.P. If he is, yeah. probably. Do you guys ever eat? Isn't isn't like some kind of uh, oatmeal type thing called Farina? Yes. Do right. you guys ever eat it? No. It's pretty good. No, is it? Well, that'll be the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, funny Moms. We have Funny Moms. Funny Moms tomorrow night, uh, the March 12th. 12th. At Come On Everybody at 9. We've got a good lineup. Good lineup. Hot Shalewa, lineup. Shalewa, Sharp. Chris DiStefano. Chris DiStefano. Andy Stefano, Haynes. We might add another person. Andrew Haynes, our old pal, friend of the show. <clears throat> um, yeah, so Boston, uh, March 22nd is sold out, and a lot of people keep messaging me asking if they can I can get them into the show. I don't think so. I don't know. I think it's Can you add out. another show? I might. Be, I, it, look, if I can't add another show, I'll just book another show in Boston like in a month or two. So I can come back and then, you know, like, yeah. it's whatever. I mean, I'm trying to work out a new hour. This first show is probably going to be fucking terrible. <laughs> I mean, I'm being up front. Are you doing an hour? A lot of people think I'm doing a bit by saying that, but like, no, yeah. you're going to get 15 minutes of new material and then me going into my feature act from eight years ago. So that is, it was a good act. Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I mean, I have like, there's people who know me now have been right. listening to me talk. They're like, why is he talking about... Call you know, center stamps. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. We're getting a fucking call center. <laughs> that's a, the call center bit's good. That's very funny. I think that's the first bit I ever heard you do. What the call center? The thing? call center one. Yeah, the old people trying to use the computer. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am in Philadelphia on um, three seventeen this, uh, this weekend. It the first stop doing that. What the fuck are you doing? Stop I'm having a good time, dude. Stop. <laughs> Goddamn. I mean, three seven. I'm I'm there this weekend. This Saturday, the first show is already sold out. Uh, the second show at 10 is almost sold out, and we've added an 11.30 show. So please buy your tickets to that late show. Maybe I'll do the late show Toothless. 
You know? Oh, yeah. so get tickets to two shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah get tickets to two shows. The, it's I'm Toothless <laughs> Tuesdays every Sunday at the live nightclub. <laughs> Are you ready for the most ethnic ass comedy show yeah. you've ever seen? Um, so yes, I twelve dollars to get in, thirteen dollars to exit. Nine <laughs> comedians, one of them has a gun. <laughs> um, so yes, please come tomorrow and to our shows in Boston, Philly. Good night, everybody. Bye. Yeah, have fun, sir. Nah, I'm, we're gonna go. We're gonna go commando on this. We go raw. I'm gonna go raw dog on this one and see what happens. I'm I'm excited, guys. Your eye is closed shut. My eye is swollen shut, right. and uh, I'm I'm ready to. We're, we're all gonna look like pirates. Yeah, dude. What's your you're, you're, you're toothless. Pad. I'm gonna have an eye missing. Adam, you're that gay ass parrot. Yeah. Yes. You get to yeah. sit on my fucking shoulder. That'd be what? fun. <laughs> yeah, squawking. Quark, yeah. Palestine should be get, exterminated. I, I'm gonna get a little. <laughs> said that. I'm gonna get a little dildo, a little strap on, and I'm gonna strap it over my shoulder like a bayonet <laughs> or like a, like the bullet, the bandolier. Yes. Yeah. And then you're gonna just mount onto it. Beautiful. Yeah. And that the dildo will go up your ass and hold you in place. Yeah. Mm. And then we'll get a nice fake beak for it. Or we're just going to paint your nose. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, a bunch I got of, the beak. We're like going to we're gonna paper mache a bunch of Jolly Rancher <laughs> rappers to your fucking nose. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, where's the cheapest cereal? <laughs> <laughs> that's your that's your your catchphrase. I just shared that thing it's with you. T- toucan, uh, <clears throat> toucan, uh, mo- moisha. Yeah, toucan, toucan two cents. Slow mo, two cents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. Right. Nick is might be yeah, losing you an have eye. Conjunctivitis? Is I, I don't know. I mean, I can self diagnose myself with whatever. But I think it's AIDS. Do you think it has anything to do with when you were asleep? We, me and Adam, took turns beating off into your eye. No, yeah. because cum is actually made out of the same shit that's inside your eyeball. So. Oh, that makes sense. It it's is the same true. color. It's stored yeah. in the eyes. So why don't we just cure blindness that yeah. way? I think you know what it what might have been is I made eye contact with a gypsy. <laughs> 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 I went to Brighton to get some <laughs> some Georgian food and one of their one of their elders looked at me in the eye <laughs> and I said, "What the fuck are you looking at, cunt?" And then she bl- uh, she like what she what that that movie? blew a powder in my face. Oh, thinner. Thinner, yeah. yeah. That um, it sounds like you've been talking to my grandmother, who believes yeah. in that kind of thing. Oh yeah, your grandmother, who's not Greek. No, she's Greek. She's Macedonian. How about this? Your slam right? mother. You know slam what I'm talking mother. about? Yeah, yeah. Because she, yeah. she fucks. Oh, she fucks. She, fucks. Yeah, she yeah. would have fucked in her day. She just she just uh, grew up in a time where women only had to fuck one man. They still fucked. She didn't fuck that much, dude. She I can didn't. tell. No, but she was a cutie. They used to call her Snow White. Because her skin was, was so, so white, pale, and she wow. also, and they also used to call her uh, Chinese. She also, <laughs> because she had high cheekbones. She <laughs> fucked uh, seven midgets, also. Yeah. Yeah, 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 There were seven village mid- midgets that each had their own type of mood that uh-huh. corresponded with their name. Mm-hmm. What, what was? Because what was this dumb one? I, this is probably rapey. No, nah, it was like sleepy, snoozy, grumpy, dopey, dopey. That one was that retarded. was the retarded, was the retarded one. one. But then there was one that was just like Eric. Was there? Wasn't no, that's there? the prince. Prince Eric is the prince. Oh. That's a uh, Little Mermaid. Is it? Yeah. No, one of the dwarves is just Eric like Garland. they ran out of things. So. Oh, really? Oh, rest of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even. That guy's just a loser that everyone dunks on. Yeah, he thinks <laughs> he's scared of Russia or something. I don't know. He's scared of Russia. Yeah, he thinks Bernie works for Russia. Or something. Well, he's right, oh, dude. Are you doing some? Uh, are you doing some Hellbent Pod? <laughs> he brought up. He brought up Eric. Garland. Yeah, he does a lot of tweets or something. Whatever, man. How about this? Elon fucks, but it's, it's Elon no, Musk. No, no, we already, I already said Elon bust on the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's better. You're right. Yeah, that, Elon, was my, that was my Instagram display name for a while was Elon bust. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. How about Elon Tusk, like the... Uh, the Fleetwood Mac yes, record? Yes, like the Fleetwood oh, Mac record. Yeah, the like follow-up to rumors. <laughs> yeah. I thought I thought it was like like that one mo- horror movie where yeah. someone gets It'd be great if, walrus. if the, like, all the songs oh, on... that's a cool movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the songs on rumors were like... Uh, um, uh, people are saying I'm gay, but it's not true. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff people say, but you can't believe it. <laughs> he does. That was another name. guy with the mustache and yeah. the same shirt that I have. No, it's a girl a with a guy's name. It's Lindsey Buckingham and but Stevie Nicks and Stevie oh, Nicks. Uh, Damn, yeah. someone has to. Lindsey Buckingham's a good ass name. Yeah, yeah, it is a pretty cool name. Lindsay fucking him. I, you know what I, I forgot and that I remembered, I relearned the other day is that Richard Gere's middle name is Tiffany. 
Fuck yeah. No, it's not. It is. That rules. It's a legitimately Tiffany. Tiffany wow. gear sounds like a hot bitch. They got to mention that, that at I'm going to go get a paper towel. Okay. Nick has to fucking drain his eyeball. <laughs> this is so <laughs> ridiculous. He's, it looks like he's crying. I love um, how like it seems like sort of like the angel of death is following us. It's true. So yeah, like <laughs> we're, this is final destination. Final yeah, destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We keep dodging like I, I dodge cancer. Uh, Nick has fucking eye goop. Yeah, I'm toothless. Oh, Jesus. Christ. No, this is just this is what turning 30 is, dude. You know, yeah. body just starts this breaking. Is, yeah, you, uh, yeah. You know, I mean, everybody deals with this kind of stuff. You start losing body parts. Sure. And, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is turning 30, not and not having health insurance despite <laughs> making a lot of money yeah, <laughs> yeah because yeah. you can't get it together with the website <laughs> the shit is pretty expensive though it is if you make money it's expensive and it's not worth it yeah like like this is this to go even if i had to go to the doctor today mm-hmm. yeah and they say we're gonna have to cut your fucking eyeball out yes. and give you a prosthetic which will be an eight ball yeah, yeah i yeah. promise yeah. you <laughs> if i lose an eye we're popping an eight ball right maybe a nine ball no eight no magic i think magic eight ball, eight ball yeah, yeah. Signs point to no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'll ask you a question. And you'll just, shake your it's, head. It's, an eye, uh, it's a little eight ball and then a triangle that says no means yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah she's like, did you turn your disability into a rape joke? <laughs> that would be yeah. incredible, man. <laughs> right. Like, you're not allowed to criticize me. <laughs> Remember, oh man, the yeah. mullet loophole. Oh, yeah, People yeah. are gonna get fucking uh, amputated yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and getting like a, a I rim. am I am eye tarted. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I bet a movie about the Special Olympics, eye tarted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, about a blind figure skater. Yeah, well, about a retarded figure skater. Yeah, just <sighs> stuck in the little yeah. pen area. Yeah. Up. People didn't it. like me because I had Down syndrome. <laughs> I wasn't like the other girls who weren't retarded. <laughs> she's she's like that I scene where she's crying. That scene where she's crying and she's like, she's going up to the judge's booth and she's like, the Velcro just won't stay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got cat hair in the Velcro. <laughs> Please, <laughs> my fingers are covered in Skittles. I can't get the Velcro to go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I tarted. I tarted's pretty good. Mm-hmm. The w- the mom would still be just as abusive, probably. Oh yeah, yeah even more so. Yeah. yeah, you never supported me. I made sure you didn't choke to death on extension cords. <laughs> that was my job as a mother <laughs> to make sure you weren't able to chew off all the lampshades in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! What if there has there ever been a savant like like a retarded athlete that's just mm. like really fucking good? I mean, um, powerlifting. I, I mean, mean most athletes. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. There are, Phelps. there are, and this is interesting because I looked into it because there are videos of guys with Down syndrome competing in powerlifting. There's a guy with Down syndrome that competes in like places every time. Hell yeah! Because. Um, but like down, there's no such thing as retard strength. But yes, Down syndrome guys, they they're their so limbs if, have the same the same like muscular capabilities as, as anybody a, as else a, does, yes. but their cores are really fucking weak. Oh, but I guess if you put a belt on, like a weightlifting belt on them, that can like mostly negate their inability to oh, develop mm-hmm. like real core strength. Interesting. Um, Did you look into whether retard strength is real because you were thinking about merging with one uh, to like t- take it to the next level? Uh, what, where I just like live in one of their stomachs like crank? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 or maybe yeah, it's beast, <laughs> retard. <laughs> 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 he's just like lifting the car up, he's like lifting the plane. And he's in the little, tra- what's the training area called in X-Men? It's, it's kind of like the holodeck. Room. Yeah, he's the in the danger, danger room, room, but he just turns it into the yeah. Teletubby set. Every, every room is a danger room. When you have <laughs> mental retardation. Any room that's not covered wall to wall and rubber. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Short of Tommy Lee's Big Bird Room. You guys know about that one? What? It's Tommy, just, Lee, Tommy the Lee Rocker? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got his dick dressed up like Big Bird. No, no. He's got a room that's all Big Bird. Like the walls what? are Big Bird feathers and shit. I don't remember that from his it was from his cribs. I just remember him driving that boat with his dick. Yeah, yeah. honking the boat horn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a formative uh, memory of mine. Was seeing him do that and it thinking took- that my dick should be that big. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I yeah. didn't. I had already watched a lot of porn before I found the Tommy Lee 
uh, uh, Pam, Pam Anderson. Anderson pornography. Pam I, Anderson I, what Lee. I watched a lot as a kid was the Tommy Bahama sex video. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just a guy in just a fucking... The, yeah, it's a guy just uh, downing <laughs> vial after vial of Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not working. So then he's just fucking like just blasting Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. And like uh, hovering scary. over his like just taut skin leathery wife that's like come on baby get it hard for me he's like I'm fucking trying it's in Myrtle Beach South yeah. Carolina you don't understand the pressure I was in up no you weren't you got a deferment that's right I own a, a car dealership that's what I've been doing for the last 40 years that guy's got to get the little pump on your balls pump on your oh yeah the yeah, Reebok yeah, pump yeah the Reebok pump yeah, I'm gonna transition to that when I'm like. Yeah, it sounds 50. like you should. Yeah, I'm gonna get to maybe even sooner. Maybe sooner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you should get the pump in your tooth. Ooh, a cock pump in my tooth. Yeah. Oh. Just press a little button. Nah, you know what you need is like a little like like uh, one of those pull chains. So you'd be like, and then your dick gets hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then like a little lamp. You do it. You do it. And then there's a speaker installed in your head that does like the. Motel Six guy going, we'll leave the light on for you. <laughs> every time you turn your dick on, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we'll leave the light on for you. We'll Motel get the dick hard for you. Yeah, you should, yeah, you should convert six. it to a clapper system. But then, like, you go to oh, a concert. Shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. you go to a concert. <laughs> and your <laughs> dick's going up and down violently, knocking the guy's yeah. hat in front of me uh, off. I'm He's sorry, down. I got a yeah. clapper installed. I thought yeah. it was sexy. Yeah. It's probably we're probably going to get to the point where in like ten years you can be like, Hey Siri, get my dick hard, <laughs> <laughs> Alexa. Alexis. Make my dick hard. <laughs> Bro, that's the future I'm holding on for. Yeah. She's like, well, how did you do that? Yeah, I got a bunch of computer chips installed in my dick and balls. <laughs> Bro, some guy, I my friends had, a, his grandfather was an Eagles fan, and he died when they won the Super Bowl. He held on to life. That day? Yeah, literally that day. Like after, on Broad Street? No, no, like in his he fucking home. Yeah, yeah. He ate he ate shit. But what's what's gonna happen? Once they make Alexa, now was his final hard, word uh, hard A or hard R? It was so, a super hard R. Super hard yeah, R. yeah, he hit it hard. <laughs> yeah. Like the end of God Planet bless of the Apes. R. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have we done that as a joke? I think so, probably. Yeah. Um but uh, that's that's how I'm gonna die as soon as you can make your dick hard with Siri. Yeah. Once that happens, and I do it one time. I'm Shouting like, the N-word? beep, uh. beep, <laughs> beep. Yeah. Fuck that! I'm not dying Just in a hospital. Smile on dude. your face. No, I'm dying out in the woods. <laughs> Back where from whence I came. <laughs> the woods of the New York City hospital you were born yeah. in. <laughs> I was born in motherfucking Baltimore County, baby. GBMC. I was born in San Monica, California. I, I, I kind of wish I was a home birth. Yeah, yeah. You wish you were in a little bathtub coming out swimming. Yeah, yeah. That shit's always you do fucking that in Russia. Take pictures with your mom's pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember. You know how I, I, I was a kid because my mom told pussy. me when I was a kid. She was like, "You can have a baby in the water, and because of like you know, babies dr- like breathe amniotic fluid. If you have the baby in the water, the baby will be able to breathe water. <laughs> like wow, a like fish. a fish, like a fish, until you take it out of the water. And so, like, I'm like, why didn't you do that? I could have been f- yeah, the guy from amphibious. Waterworld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I wanted to be amphibious. <laughs> I was mad that my mom didn't you shit didn't, me out. Didn't into, shit you in a bathtub? Yeah, right. So you just don't come little tadpole nicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you beat off with just a little, <laughs> little fucking nick. Think about how awesome that would be. I could have lived in a tank. I wouldn't have had to go to school. I wouldn't have yeah. had any friends or learned anything. Ever. Awesome. Did you see that movie, the fish fucking movie? The Shape of the Water? No. That could have been you, water. You could have fucked some weird mute woman. I could have. Oh, you well. St- you still can. Yeah, I guess I can. You know? Now that now that I won't have eyes. Yep. Now that I walked in, my dad was watching it um, last week, and at the very beginning of the movie, she's it. got scars on her neck, and I'm like, oh, she's a fish too. And then he's like, what? Fuck, fuck, what? And then I like left the room and then like two hours later. You're just in the other room. You're in the other room and you just hear him. Fuck! (laughs) No! (laughs) (laughs) Just an hour later. (laughs) God damn it! (laughs) She was a fish? She was a fish, yeah. Oh, what the fuck, dude? (laughs) Nice spoiler. Another movie ruined! (laughs) I can't spoil a movie I haven't seen. Yes, you can. (laughs) <laughs> Let's try and spoil movies we haven't yeah. seen. Yeah, yeah. Adam comes in and it's like the first five minutes are like, oh, they're fast, but they're also furious. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Not again! <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing about uh, you know uh, Idris Elba, yeah, being the new James Bond or whatever. Idris Elba. Already f- yeah, 
What's that? I think it's Elba. Elba. Idris Elba. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jessica, Jessica Alba. Alba. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, Idris Alba. Yeah. I just created a master race. In That's my a head. beautiful person. Um, just and, uh, Jessica. And by by Alba when I say I created Idris. a master race in my head, I imagined white people coming and killing the two of them. <laughs> Okay. And creating I a perfect society where <laughs> we don't have to deal with any more Idris Elba's. Any beautiful black ruining people. the character of James Bond and that <laughs> yeah. that perfect franchise that's never produced a bad movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every three movies until one of them is okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's probably well, he's just such a bad. pure, beautiful, ethical person, James yeah. Bond. You know, yeah, he's yeah, not yeah. a fucking murderer, semi rapist, <laughs> basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I know this is a four year old story, but I was laughing the other day. <laughs> Imagining black James Bond being like, what is your name? You know, and then he's like, uh, James Bond, James ass Bond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. I love black James Bond. Mm-hmm. What about Chinese James Bond? Oh, good idea. But dude. they already did black James Bond. That's basically what undercover brother was, which was a great movie. It was very funny. Undercover, undercover brother, brother was, really was so fucking good. Shouts out to the God. Eddie he's got Griffin. he's got that Friend orange he's got the orange soda dispenser in his Cadillac. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little watch that sprays hot sauce. Oh, something. dude, Eddie Griffin had a an awesome like. There's this video of him being like just saying wild shit about Cosby and being like, hmm? and like the guy's like, so what do you what think? Do you say? His his theory is that like, okay, he's like, all right, all right, what was everybody doing in the seventies? Cocaine, uh-huh. right? So what do you have? You, what do you have to come down? Quaaludes. Uh-huh. He's like, he's like, he's uh-huh. like and he's like, and you know, and he's like, you know, them girls were doing cocaine with Cosby. What do you think happened? And the guy's like, so you're saying he didn't rape anyone? No, he, he willfully just, took. Yeah, and then he's just, and then he just like. Like knowingly smiles at the camera and is like, well, there it is. You know, he never says it. But he's this. always like, what, what is what is a penis, right? Yeah. <laughs> what does a penis do? It goes inside of a vagina. What do these women have? Vaginas? Okay, I rest my case. <laughs> he's your, awesome, dude. He talks with your so excellency, much authority. I rest always. my case. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think your excellency is an honorific used in for like some office in a, in like in the American United government. American government. I remember looking it up. There's some bullshit office where uh-huh. like. The official honorific is Your Excellency. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I think George Washington, people started calling him Your Majesty, and he's like, no, I'm, I'm too good of a guy. Yeah, 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 call yeah, me yeah. That. yeah. I want to be called Your Excellency. I think Your, your Excellency, Excellency was like Postmaster General. No, I think it's Managers Maybe. of Discovery Zone. You have to call <laughs> yeah, that yeah, Your yeah. Excellency. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your Excellency. DZ, the, baby. The, slot, the uh, rope swing is not working. And run into a little tube at the Discovery Zone, <laughs> away from the fact that you were molested. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we should go to one of those indoor like the everything is a trampoline places Fuck. yeah those are cool yeah, the the yeah, yeah. i want to play slam ball. man i really want to learn yeah, i want to learn i want to learn how to that do back handsprings been more popular i yeah. can do a front lever now okay so i'm, I'm getting do back handspring i want to yeah that's the next gymnastics thing <laughs> nick is gonna be a gymnastics yeah, guy i'm he's, already a he's gymnast. mad gymnastics yeah. i can dude. do a front lever you know how fucking hard that shit is it's easy dude i is could do it but i don't feel like it yeah on rings on rings yeah oh because that's like crossfit yeah i don't feel like it i could do it but i don't feel like you could do it i could i only do it like two months to get up to that it's boring i do like vince vaughn in old school with a stove cigarette yeah 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 that's cool that was pretty cool actually yeah when the really fat guy they did the gymnastics thing and then the really fat guy like did a bunch of flips oh yeah that's that would be me versus that would that scene yeah 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 yeah. yeah. oh cool good yeah the rings are cool dude (laughs) old school's a great movie you get get fucking (laughs) jacked on those rings i'm about to get jacked off on those rings yeah holding myself up getting my little fucking pricky uh, nubbed off (laughs) yeah dude you know what i'm saying tie your dick to the ceiling and hang (laughs) from it oh and then just that's cool. I'm doing a visual thing, guys, but it, there's a way that I would jerk off. I saw a picture of a guy doing that. He's got his dick and balls tied to like a rope, and then he's hanging upside down like a bat from the ceiling. Awesome. And is he humping the thing? Or? Uh, he's just hanging I don't from know. He's just oh, hanging man. upside yeah, down. Yeah. Like, yeah. Damn, that sucks. What is that's, that? That's like that Nine Inch Nails video, right? Yeah. I like mean, it's, it's called what? Suspension, I guess. On your, Off your cock? Yeah, off his dick. Suspension what? play. Yeah. Wouldn't it just pop off at a certain point? No, can't the cock pop off with the stem? No, it's like any other skin. Like if you just train skin enough, it'll develop enough like fibrous. There's meat underneath there that could pop off. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming you don't just start off hanging. <laughs> yeah, you got to work up to it. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do? Just it get takes it. years of preparation. Oh, okay. Yeah, he probably yeah. has like resistance bands, and then eventually he worked his way up to being able to hang from his cock and balls <laughs> upside down like a bat for that one picture that goes on the internet. It's not like you can invite people over to be like, watch this. <laughs> Even your best friend. I couldn't do that with you guys. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We would support you, I think. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't need support. No, I can no, hang upside would. down from the ceiling like <laughs> that. Support. <laughs> support. Yeah. Support. No, it's a fun trick. You bring it out from the <laughs> parties, quinceañeras and shit. Yeah. Welcome to my castle. <laughs> like, I don't know if I like this, Count Fagula. <laughs> <laughs> Please watch how I sleep. <laughs> I'm like a bat. I'm yeah, not no. technically gay. I just you hang from my cock. You must be careful this the razor. <laughs> it's just looking calm off of it. <laughs> um, Bra- yeah. Bram Str- Stroker. Stroker. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but what's Bram? Um, ham strokers, ham, ham, ham strokers, yeah, yeah. Fabula, yeah. Wow, ham strokers is just good on its own. I slam in the back of my fagula. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck, knob zombie, knob zombie, knob slob, slob, knob slob, slob knob slob slob knob Sir, call a dick and a eat on an ass and a drink. My dad's come, I'm a fagula. <laughs> <laughs> now Rob Zombie is the guy in yeah. White Zombie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the lead singer. Yeah, interesting. And then I think he went solo. And then Idris Elba is Black Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! That man is name's Rob. Rob ass zombie. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, fuck. Let's see here, boys. Can we all make a pact to name all of our firstborn sons' middle names ass? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. I still yeah. want to change my middle name to Vel. I just need someone to do all the work. Mm. I like the paperwork. Yeah. I will change my, my eyes middle name. already feeling better. Yeah, you actually look a little better. My mom oh, would Now as soon as I said that. <laughs> huh? <laughs> What's that? No, nothing. No. Your mom would yell at you? Yeah, if, you if I made my middle name Vel, she'd be like, well, we gave you a perfectly good middle name. Yeah, but my middle name is my dad's name, and no one in my family respects my father. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So well, here's what we can do. None of us have been confirmed. We'll just go get a confirmation. Mm-hmm. We're at a Catholic church? Yeah. And then, uh, do you have to get confirmed uh, Greek? Uh, no, you just have a baptism. The yeah, I was baptized, but I never did a confirmation. There's no confirmation in Orthodoxy. You just uh-huh. get baptized, and you're good to go. Confirmation is like bar mitzvah, basically. Yeah, there's yeah. no bar, yeah. bar mitzvah type shit in the Greek church. You just yeah. get you just get olive oil rubbed on your little baby dick when you're oh seven God. months old. What's with all the penis shit in the churches? Because they're all gay. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's so awesome and simple. <laughs> They I mean, all like half of their uh, paintings uh, are just of little babies with their they're little hard cocks. And they're like that penis is God's penis mm-hmm. as a baby. Yeah. Whoa, cool. Knife, he's got dude. a knife and he's Thanks, pointing man. it at him. We should do a knife episode too. That's I another great how much episode. I enjoy doing this. <laughs> the blade. Um, how much you enjoy holding the blade? What's up? My name is Eyeball. <laughs> I'm just, about to scare these kids straight. <clears throat> It'd be great if they did scared straight man on the street where it's just a prisoner that they allow out of prison to go to like schools and threaten <laughs> children. <laughs> you want to go to, you want to get fucking raped, I say? <laughs> it's like a Montessori school. <laughs> <laughs> kids aren't doing anything wrong. <laughs> Damn, a scared straight guy at a Montessori school would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just some rich kid. Why don't you fucking create something, bitch? <laughs> Why don't you use your fucking imagination to make up your own type of math, essay? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cholo <laughs> you want to get fucking raped <laughs> why don't you fucking make a nice make a, a fucking 17th century French carousel out of them fucking Legos over there and that's your fucking homework <laughs> instead of reading bullshit <laughs> who gives a shit about George Washington how do you feel muchacho <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude. That's a good ass. I'm trying to encourage you to learn in your own way. (laughs) (laughs) Bitch. (laughs) I love it, dude. That's our that's our fucking that's our exit out of the podcasting game. <laughs> we fucking hire ex cons to, yep. to do fucking Start rich kid schools. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool, dude. Have galas for our nonprofit. I love that shit, dude. Yeah, and then you know, and then we also fucking cast them in our own, and then we do movie. We do fucking our own Fast and Furious, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and then we use their teachers yeah. just as the cholos in oh, the movies. That's it's cool. perfect, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? We yeah. don't pay them. We don't pay them. Mm. 
You know, because then we'll just because it's slave. It's like prison slave labor. Uh-huh. One of my illegal. shitty jokes in my Colbert packet was a mock up for uh, when they're talking about arming teachers. But stand your ground and deliver. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate doing packets. I mean, yeah, I love doing packets. It makes me feel like I'm doing something instead of you know. Yeah, you have something to work on. Continuing to play Battlefield, which came out almost two years ago now. I'm horrible at fucking any. You're homework, still doing dude. it, dude. Ba- they keep releasing there was an expansion. They keep releasing DLC, and it's like a whole new game every yeah, time. Yeah. I mean, it's still World War One. The best war, dude. The best war. Back you when know? people still had like capes, and you know, got their feet all fucked bayonets, up, bayonets, horses, with funguses foot. and shit. Yeah. yeah, Andre the Giant was too big to fight in that war. Yeah. He yeah, got a deferment because he Too was big giant. World War One. Yeah, for real. He was that old. Yeah, dude, he's old as shit. I didn't really. Yeah, it's actually now. it benefits you to be a smaller guy in like warfare because you're a smaller target. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, you'd be good at war, Nick. You'd be good at war too. You little tiny bitch. Yeah, you mm-hmm. guys are both little That's fucking faggots. Very sneaky. Yeah, yeah, you'd suck off all the other soldiers in the trench and yeah. fill yeah. it up with cum, and then they'd yeah. float oh. above the. And then everyone's head would behind get, enemy lines. All yeah, my yeah. stats, send Adam in. all my stats, very low, but my sneak stat one hundred. Super yeah, high. Yeah. yeah. Deception yeah. ten. <laughs> <laughs> Lying thirteen. Yeah. Right now, I'd be an okay target, but I'm gonna hit my growth spurt any day. So. No, you'd be the chef, dude. I would love to yeah, be yeah. a fucking army chef. Yeah, Are you yeah. kidding me? Of course, me? you'd be the army yeah. chef. That would you fucking rule. Peeling potatoes. I would be, I would yeah. be like that. four thousand potatoes. I, I, I'd be like <laughs> the way out of the war that way. <laughs> the fun radio guy that's doing impressions of the general. <laughs> yeah. <all> the <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you boys. Uh, <laughs> you why don't you come over here and shuck my cock? <laughs> like, ah, that's Artie. <laughs> <laughs> He's always fun, and then he dies in like the second to last episode. Yeah. And like, we didn't realize how much we'd miss him. Yeah. That used to be the path towards being a comic. Like no one like went to Mike's. You were just the funniest guy. I saw a picture. I saw a picture of like Mickey Rooney or something, like entertaining the troops in like World War II. And he's just like doing an impression of a Chinese guy. Incredible. Just taped his eyes all the way back. He's like, oh, what's up? What's up? They like flew him to Germany to do that. Anyone could have done that. (laughs) Literally anyone. Put this man on a plane (laughs) in wartime. Gasoline is expensive. Yeah, right. fucking precious. <laughs> <laughs> this, man, this man to fucking wear fake buck teeth <laughs> and yeah. pretend to be Chinese. Put a rice paddy hat on and go, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. me no raggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me no raggy democracy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so offensive to the actual Asian people that they're fighting in the war. Yeah. Like they're yeah. spying on that. They're like, God damn it. We gotta fucking kill yeah, all yeah, these yeah. motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, did, wasn't Grandpa Simpson like? Didn't they say that during the war he like was got out of it by being a sexy lady or something? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember that. He, like, inter- maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, no, no. I, I just kind of what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, is yeah you're probably right. Something. But he was there was that the flying hellfish episode. Oh yeah, where he was like, which is I th- I remember that episode specifically as where a he kid. Rose tits because flying hellfish was the only episode I hadn't like never seen. Interesting. And, uh, you know, because it used to come on. Yeah, yeah. All the time on rerun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, well, no, that episode wouldn't come on. Oh. Uh, Yeah. Like, I I used to be able, I would watch The Simpsons in syndication. And. uh, Yeah, after school. Yeah. Fox. Yeah. And and from, like, the couch gag, I knew which episode it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the shit Bart was writing on the board. I'm like, I know which episode this is. And I would just watch. I feel like I watched The Flying Hellfish when it happened. Um, Maybe. wasn't Wasn't that, like. Fuck, when was that shit? It's like season like seven, maybe, or something. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I remember like just I had never seen it and it came on one time and I was like, Holy shit, this yeah, is yeah, the yeah, episode yeah, yeah. I've never seen. Yeah. Yeah. That one and uh the trouble with trillions would never come on. So anytime that came on, it was like Which it, one's that? That's the one where um Burns has the trillion dollar bill. Oh that, that, you, that one never came on? Yeah, that I just never like said yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, Can I see it? Can Mr. See Sim- it? Mr. Simpson, <laughs> yeah. Please, please cover your ears as I say the secret word. Cheese. It's like that <laughs> photo booth. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, your yeah. eye is fucking freaking. You look like Two Face right yeah, now, yeah. dude. Yeah, Harvey you look half Dead, evil, baby. dude. Actually, it's not as bad as when when you, when I answered the door, I laughed literally in your face. It was. It's it, as I soon as you mention it, it starts like getting fucked up again. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like fucking psychosomatic. Dude. Yeah, dude, yeah. it's cursed. It is that gypsy. Yeah. If we ignore it, it'll go away. Um, you know, it's like the opposite of Jews. Yeah, I was looking. It'd be uh, cool to be Two Face. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he can't be. he's got a coin. Rachel, 
You, you want me to throw acid on your face? Yeah. Did your he face? ever? Did Harvey ever fuck Rachel, or was he just like her before? Yeah, yeah, he was fucking her. They in were the, they in were the booed Dark up. Knight trilogy. Oh, were they? Yeah. yeah, and that made Bruce sad. Yeah, yeah. he was bummed about that because it wasn't like that in the cartoon, right? Or I don't was think it? so. Oh, the cartoon was all sex, dude. Yeah, everyone fucked. I wanted to fuck Harley Quinn during the cartoon and Poison Only Ivy. for that accent. Yeah, hell that yeah. trashy fucking Jersey New York bullshit. accent. Yeah, yeah. But Man, she, those those are the hottest women. Just you know, she, like Mona Lisa. Hey, Mister. Yeah, that yeah. Kind of shit. Yeah. Just some fucking. Just stuff my snatch, boss. Right. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Hanging you out gave at the, me diamonds and Hanging out at the, you know, at the Wawa. Yeah. Pregnant, mm-hmm. cigarette. Yep. You know, drinking. Wife beater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no bra. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That kind of bitch. That kind of sexy that ass. Real, yeah. Big bunch of, bunch of keys on a lanyard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 She's kept every key for every ex-boyfriend. Right. <laughs> she just goes She's in. She's just living in like a, a, a 1996 Mercury Sable <laughs> with like cigarette burns yeah. all over the seats. <laughs> She's got triple g tits that she can literally drive like a car with yeah 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 <laughs> now we're talking baby that's a, that's what that's what the world needs more of is fucking, big awful tits i'm fucking stiff over here what is it with like women when they get yeah certain women when they get to a certain age they just get the biggest you know who we on. need to fucking really call out the guys that are like actually i like small tits fuck you <laughs> you're all, you hear that pal you're on notice <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're coming for you <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> the, we have certain political beliefs on come down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I you're getting like, you're getting yeah, exactly. Funny. I like small tits. Exactly. I like big tits too. Mm. I like all type of tits. I do actually like a nice Not tits. me, because I'm straight. I like all titties to be fair. I love yeah. titties so much that I will suck yeah, of course. every size titty. But you know a free tit, dude. Not not I just look. I was thinking the other day, I think it's fucked up that men don't have the tits. You know what I'm saying? Have what? Uh, Stav is correcting that. Yeah. That's I right. feel like women shouldn't have the, the tits. It should be that should be our thing. Is to have a big old fucking Oh, pair. like us, like guys. That's like, a guy yeah. thing. We have the tits. The women are all don't have tits. <laughs> gotcha. The women should get nothing but holes. <laughs> and then we got all the things. You know what I'm talking about? Just fucking a girl, she's sucking your tits. We got the balls. <laughs> like, you're just fucking yeah, yeah. holding her down. We got the balls. Like, <laughs> we got, we got the balls. We got tits. the big ass tits. <laughs> yeah. Long hair. I got Botox. I got huge DSLs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Women should just look like a. Like like a just a like Tits a, are a mannequin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no facial features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah. holes, baby. <laughs> just holes to stick your dick tits and balls inside of. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. I want a big fat ass. <laughs> The fucking forty yeah, seven big ass <laughs> <laughs> wide hips. flat ass. Right. They don't right. even have a pussy. It's one hole that they <laughs> shit and piss and fucking come and yeah, make talk babies out of. Yeah. They talk out of. Yeah, it's <laughs> a mouth. They eat and shit and piss. <laughs> yeah, fuck. you want one hole? Maybe That's just the <laughs> ideal bitch right there. <laughs> Ideal woman 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should be in charge of the government. <laughs> we're, just, we're just fucking buying shapely fucking clothes all day together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, dude, how do my fucking... Uh, yeah. How's my fat ass look? Yeah. <laughs> we're buying thongs for each other. <laughs> you fucking high heels. Yeah. 46 inch ass. <laughs> triple G tits. <laughs> yeah, look at Big these ass small dick. ass tits, you fucking yeah. dumb idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's not it, Victoria's Secret is for guys now. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I got fucking I got like nipples that look like prescription bottles. <laughs> yeah, dude. Let me yeah. chew on them shit. Yeah, Little yeah, slim yeah. gyms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little slim gym nips. Yeah. <laughs> 17 inch nipples. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's all. I'm fucking so hard thinking about that. <laughs> But the perfect. We're gender. wearing makeup. <laughs> we got yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. long, beautiful One hair. The most, the most legendary <laughs> genders. <laughs> We're wearing pearls. <laughs> <laughs> the view An is evening ours. gown. <laughs> <laughs> And then like a top hat <laughs> and fucking Jordans, <laughs> high heel Jordans. <laughs> All the woman hole pussies are like, shut up. <laughs> keep them and in cages. Start, yeah, then yeah, we right. kiss our boys. Get back in the kitchen. 
<laughs> the way we fuck is we kiss each other on the mouth but put our dicks in those holes. Yeah, you yeah, know, because yeah. we're not gay. We, yeah, we, we make <laughs> out with each other and suck each other's tits. <laughs> and at the end, you just insert yourself. <laughs> one pump. <laughs> one into, pump into a woman. <laughs> to technically not be gay. <laughs> The ideal world <laughs> where we're gay and trans, but technically we're not. <laughs> I would love that. Oh, that's, that's hot. <laughs> oh, fuck yes, partner. Mm. Do you got it? Can I have that extra coffee? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I was gonna. You want to split that? No. <laughs> well, actually, we probably shouldn't. Because yeah, let me eye. get a cup. Pour it into your mine. cup. Yeah. Send me half because you already had a coffee. You have, but you I bought a double size. I bought this for myself. Oh, you said so. You're saying a free coffee. I didn't get one. Yes, I didn't us. get. You already had one of the free coffees. <laughs> I didn't have any of them. Dreidel, I'm dreidel, disabled dreidel. too. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and now you're putting your fucking hands all over the mouth part. Well, you're not the sick one. Or I'm not the sick one. I'm I know that doesn't one. mean I want your fucking gross. He's right about that. everything's gonna smell like pennies now. Shut <laughs> up, dude. Every sip. Pennies taste great. <laughs> they taste like a girl who's on her period. That's not true. Metallic. Oh, um, that's cool, dude. Yeah, they also all taste like coins and guns and uh, women's pussies. Yeah, I <laughs> only eat girls out on their <laughs> All the shit that makes periods. the world <laughs> bad. <laughs> like, that's right, Ed. You ever notice how a pussy uh, tastes like guns and money? Whereas <laughs> 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 a cock tastes like the Bible <laughs> and, and, and the man's breast filled with man milk. And nourishing the liquor. Mike's of life. harder lemonade. All our tits are filled with Mike's harder lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> None of that gay Mike's hard lemonade shit. Yeah, yeah. it's even harder. <laughs> like my dick when I see my boys in a shapely outfit showing off their titties and butt. Is Dasha masturbating in there? <laughs> she does. Yeah. Uh. She tends to. I heard a noise. Especially immediately after. I'm excited for their podcast. (laughs) Anna and Dasha's podcast? Yeah. We're announcing it to Cub Nation. Um, Yeah, for you guys who don't know, I came up with the idea for a podcast. (laughs) Now it's a real podcast. Dasha and Anna. I was going to have them fill in for Stav and Adam when Stav was having his medical emergency, (laughs) Mm -hmm. but I didn't do it. Instead, I sat at home. Yes. Oh, man. Shuts out to to the gods. I can't. I might just hire a cleaning crew to come in and... Your apartment? Yeah, yeah. Once, should, I, once Amber, Amber moves Amber out. Moves out? Yeah, really. <clears throat> yeah, you should. A just boy's paradise? Place. Yeah, I'm going to have to repaint most of it. Man cave. It hasn't been painted in like eight years. She painted the living room. She painted the living room. Blue. But there's like, there's spots on the wall where Ernest has like rubbed his mouth against so much that they uh, turn brown. Uh, yeah, he likes doing shit. that. Yeah. What if, if Ernest is gross, brother? You? Yeah, maybe. I could have developed. I mean, there's so much fucking dander in the apartment. I could have developed. Right, how we, how were we doing the apartment? We knocked down all the walls. Open concept. Of course, open concept. Open you concept. gotta go open concept. Three. I'm kind of against that, dude. Three open giant concept. lazy boys. I'm burnt, I'm burnt open, out concept, open concept. Uh, bathroom. No, Keep I'm, the toilet Here's open. my thing. Yeah. My thing now, labyrinth. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of doors. <laughs> Mate, so I dress up like David Bowie. Yep. Mm-hmm. Double D mm-hmm. tits. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you should do with like tails. I used to think like uh you know like Scooby Doo like I wish I could uh, do a David Bowie impression. I could Suck do David my Bowie. Dick no, you can. Yes, I can. You, no, you're just gonna do a British accent, and no? it's not gonna sound like David Go ahead. Bowie. I could do it. Go ahead. Um, what is shot? What is going on over here? It depends on what Bowie. It's me, David Bowie. No, it's me, it's David like, Bowie. It's more like this. It's me, no, David. More Bowie. like this. You, no, you, vote, you sort of got a part of it. It kind of sounds Good like. Good night, mate. It's me, David Bowie. It's my. It's me. Oi, love, it's me, David Bowie. David <laughs> Bowie here for for uh, me, the recording <laughs> recording uh, Institute it's of American for, uh, David it's for, uh, David recording Bowie. It's industry David Bowie. Association of America. <laughs> it's me, <laughs> it's a David me. Bowie. It's me, da- <laughs> David Bowie. It's me, uh, David Bowie. Sorry. This is me, David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I want, I want to make music. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in music all the time. David Bai. It's David Bai. I'm David Bai. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Italian wait, uh, 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 bartender at the it's standing room. Oh, it's me, David Bowie. <laughs> We've done this before. <laughs> Mark <Yeah>. Norman. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, everybody, it's me, David Bowie. <laughs> Uh, uh, you ever notice how you can't choose sure. which gender you are? <laughs> Just pick one, you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's, it's gross. A good one, dude. 
Kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, David Bowie. That was a good, those were good guys. Yeah. Thanks, man. He's, his wife is sexy as shit. Iman. Iman. Yeah. yeah. His dark wife. I cranked. I there was a David a, Bowie tried to be gay. Like he tried to fuck guys and was like, that's yeah. strange. He also tried, tried to be a pedophile guess. and succeeded. Did he? <laughs> yeah, he fucked like a thirteen year old. Girl though. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, there's. I guarantee you, someone could just, like stitch together the strangely sympathetic towards pedophile things if you said straight, on this yeah. podcast. I was, oh, I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna yeah, do yeah. it as a bit on stage. I, that a joke. <laughs> I know, yeah. but there's enough of them. Of a you, super yeah, kind of, yeah. that just proves I'm a pedophile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna yeah, try to do so. it as a bit on stage, but I don't. I don't know if it'll like work or not with regular audiences. But like. You know how, so like, because people try to protect like LGBT identities, whenever yeah. you, you say like, you know, like gay pedophile, people are quick to be like, there's no such thing as a gay pedophile. Pedophiles will fuck any kind of child. You know, they don't have a really? gender Does preference. That happen? Yes. People will make the argument that like, they're not gay. They're pedophiles. I mean, they're attracted yeah, to children. Okay. And it's like, no, that's clearly not some of them just want to fuck little boys. Yeah. Sure. But anyways, Sexy people ass. make that argument and it's like, Beautiful I like that your argument is boys. that pedophiles are just like. Oh, I'm down for whatever, dude. I'm chill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but whatever. Girl, boy, I don't care. Look, I, cool, hey, man. I'm on your time. Yeah. Basically. So whatever you got, I'll take it. All right, you know? all right. I got right. the afternoon off. Yeah, yeah it's Matthew McConaughey. Boys, girls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dallas, Dallas Toddlers Club. Uh, man, look at me. What do you see? The rodeo. I dress up like a clown. <laughs> Fuck children. Dude, I was uh, back home this week. I was looking at my bar mitzvah pictures. Yeah, there's like a deleted scene from Dallas Buyers Club, <laughs> a 20 minute long scene where he's researching alternative medicines and it's him in Africa fucking a six year old. <laughs> he's like, they say we have cured. the cure right here for yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> you have to have sex with a virgin <laughs> and then you use a machete to remove the limbs of an albino. <laughs> Turn them into soup. <laughs> That's great, man. Yeah, is that how uh, is that how Black Panther ends? Someone takes his picture and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's the juice of the, that purple juice Did you is see albino it, Stop? blood. You always yeah. see the Marvel movies. Yeah, it was a good was movie. Was it tight? It was awesome. It was cool. Yeah, it ruled. Wakanda forever. It was really fucking good for yeah. real. I mean, it's. It, I haven't it, seen. I'll see it on like on when it comes out. On, um, yeah, the shit rocked. Maybe I'll go watch the new Star Wars today. Why it's not? on Netflix after the Os- it Hospital. Is? Uh, no, no, no the the. Oh, the prequel one is on Netflix. Oh, yeah, the Force, not Rogue, the Force, one. Rogue One. That came out like three years ago. Log, Log One. Log One. Yeah. Log One. Yeah. Do you watch that movie, Rogan's Land? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the movie, Rogan's Land? <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, I like Black Panther. Shit was good. Yeah. And my thing is like, when it's Panther coming out, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why is no? Why, why is there? No why isn't there just why a panther? Black. Yeah, exactly. All panthers. Where's all panthers? <laughs> That's what I want to see. Just a fat Staten Island cop who's also who happens to be the panther. Yeah. Why not? You know. What? Are there white panthers? There aren't. Somewhere. They're white tigers. I just didn't like. I liked the movie. I just didn't like how there was only two white characters. It was kind of racist, mm-hmm. if you ask who's me. Who's it? Jason Bateman. Were there any trans characters in the movie? Unfortunately, no, there were not. Dude. Okay, that's all I need to know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go ahead and mark that down as bad. <laughs> Are there any, like... <laughs> I'll put that down as culturally bad <laughs> that the movie wasn't filled with people having their dicks removed. <laughs> <laughs> actually, and that wasn't a major plot actually, point. I'm sorry, my bad. Shanene from Martin <laughs> oh, made a really? cameo. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 all right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's my metric of judging the value of art is how many trans issues came up in this. <laughs> um... Fuck, dude. Are any people that are actually in the Black Panthers like not cool with them, like just stealing the name? Do they? Th- or that's not. You know what's wild? Yeah, is but the, the new the Black Panthers aren't even the regular Black Panthers. Oh yeah, it's, it's a completely like a thing. separate thing. It's Muslim. The comic. Now? The comic yeah. is before Black. The, no joke. The comic existed before. They named the Huey Newton named the Black Panthers I, yeah, he was, after he the was, comic. He was a huge fucking comic book nerd. <laughs> he was yeah, a nerd. Yeah, yeah, you guys were nerds, dude. Oh, that, they I actually. I think they named that. it to like Black was fucking Jaguar or some shit. 
Stokely Huey Carmichael. Lewis. Huey Lewis. Yeah, yeah. Huey Lewis and Huey the news. Lewis and the new Black Panthers. And the Huey new Lewis and the, the new Black Panthers. New weather underground. Huey Lewis and the nudes. The nudes. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. He's like, yeah. yeah. It's hip to show me your tits. Just send me your tits. Hell yes. <laughs> it's hip to see your pussy. <laughs> oh, fuck. We didn't say how... Uh, Oh, the this show one's coming out like, to, tonight. tonight. Okay, so you yeah, if you're anything? coming to Funny yeah. Moms, yeah. my if, eyes been fucked up. Yeah. If you come, if you're coming to Funny Moms tomorrow, we're starting at eight. A hard start at eight. We normally start hard at nine. R. Hard Fuck, R. Rated hard R. What? No, Black Panther. Panther. We gotta yeah. Read it. Rated hard yeah. R. Um, you're busy today. I'll I'll do that. It's, yeah, I got in a world. It's, we'll figure it out. We'll figure yeah. it out. But at eight, so we ha- it's actually early. We will actually start at eight. We have to be either by ten for real. They're having a a music concert. After us, so please concert. come. The com- the comics are really good. Mark Norman will be there. Samantha Ruddy, hey, here I couple am. Other couple. Of- oh yeah, Mark. I'm here. there. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we should do like on SNL when it's like the person doing the impression of the person, and then the real person walks out. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, what? yeah. yeah like, and everyone's like, like Will Ferrell doing Janarino, and then the real Janarino mm-hmm. comes out, and they're like, and all the people who show like, who are why? Why is that guy? She's like, why are you doing this impression <laughs> of me? Adam, you look like Janet Reno. You a actually, you I actually do. do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could do that. Maybe for Halloween this year. You don't remember Jan- um, Janet Reno jokes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man. What a yeah. dumb world to live in. <laughs> the 90s, it was so sweet. Political comedy is such garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you were on a podcast, it was nothing but play. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, it is fucking stupid. Anyway, yeah. you guys want to do a couple more David Bowie's? Yeah, let's, <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, let's do some me, David the Bowie. Yeah. Yeah, da- David Bowie, oh, is it? Me, me, David Bowie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'm Jordan, David Bowie. Jordan Peterson. I'm David, David Bowie. <laughs> David the Bowie. <laughs> I'm a David the Bowie. I tried to have a Bowie. sex with a Mick Jagger. Do you think they didn't they fuck? They fucked, and then he was like, "Oh yeah, I don't really like to fuck." This Mick. ain't for me, mate. It's Who, not Mick Jagger? Me. No, uh, uh, no, Mick Jagger also fucked Iggy Pop, I think too. I nice think he dude. Used to yeah, get yeah. On all with those, guys. all those people used to fuck each other, and see, there's a thing. And children. Like, yeah, all of these, all of these fucking, yeah. uh, all the like uh, 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 people that were quote unquote like part of the counterculture that had way too much money were just like. You know, like fucking Caligula. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. They didn't like understand that like sexual liberation meant like throwing off the shackles of like you know the oppression of like having to get married and the woman stays at home. Right, right, it right. It doesn't mean like having sex with an eight year old while you're high out of your mind on fucking yeah, cocaine. Yeah, yeah. But that's what they did. Yeah. So well, you know they maybe pushed it a little too far, and that's kind of how every podcaster is. Like we all fuck. Well, yeah. I just fucked Matt Chrisman, dude. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot wait yeah. until I look like that a fucking New pirate. Year's party. Yeah, it was we wild. all we yeah. all sucked each other off. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> guy, that's my ass. You fucking imbecile. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. It fucking rules. I yeah. can't wait till we fuck. Um, who else? Who's uh, a big podcast? Terry Gross. Oh, Terry Gross. Fuck. Yeah, He's Terry fun. Gross oh. ass pussy, dude. No, stop saying that about Terry. Okay, it's my life's dream to be on Fresh Air. I never yeah. realized that that's a Philly show. That she's Philly. She's from Philly. She should be more Philly on that. Yeah, yeah. she should be racist. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, wh- I'm I'm actually here sitting down with you about your. I want to ask you about your new John. Yeah, John's. I want to buy yeah. you John. The Wawa. And we're gonna talk about uh, Wiz Wit or Without. Thank you. Yeah. That's my saying the two o. things about Philly yeah. that I know. <laughs> I got to piss real bad. Um, why don't you piss in Adam's mouth? Okay. I actually have to piss. Hey, that, she bu- should bu- have bu- had bu- a bu- Philly bu- legend. Can, can, I, can I do that? Piss? You guys Go are cool ahead. for yeah, five yeah, seconds. Yeah. That'd be cool if uh, Terry Gross only interviewed like Philly area people. Like, like Meek Mill? Yeah, like Terry Meek Gross Mill, Meek Philly Mill. legend Bam Margera. Yes. He'd be like, yeah. basically, I just, my, my uncle's a pedophile and yep. he's dead now and mm-hmm. I beat up my, my parents. Bam's got a sexy wife or girlfriend. Is she or still sexy? She, she got, I think he got a new one. I think he traded up. Oh, he did. <clears throat> you know who else Terry Gross should interview? Is the guy who used to run a, a business called Chinks Steaks? Oh yeah, <laughs> there was that guy in Philly who just had like I don't know, I guess kind of sleepy eyes, and they called well, him Chink. And that wasn't the most racist steak guy because there's Geno's. Geno's right? who's like, like speaking like, order English. in fucking English. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Which makes a lot of sense. Um, what's your dream? What, what show do you want to be on the most? 
Like, no show? joke. I'm not even fucking around. Being on Fresh Air is literally like a dream of Fraser. Fresh Air. Yeah, oh, Fraser yeah, yeah. too. If they brought back Fraser, dude, bring me back. Let me oh, fuck no, Ross. I want to be on Inside the Actors Ross? Studio. Of Do you? course. Dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to tell you, he's like, if you go to heaven, and what's the first thing you want God to say to you? I don't want to, you know. What's you, what are you going to say? I don't know. I don't have time to come you up with something. You want to prepare. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have anything right now. I got you. Maybe like you are the, you are the funniest one member of your, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'd be like, oh, come on, God. That's yeah. not true. We gonna, all know it's not true. Yeah. And I know my place in the world. He's like, no, seriously, dude. Yeah, You're yeah, my yeah, favorite yeah. one. I'm one of those limp wristed come to Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm one of the gayer come Whenever fans. someone tells me, uh, uh, like, it's rare, but whenever someone has told me that I'm their favorite, they're always like, that means they've got the gay cocked. voice. Yeah. yeah, yeah the yeah, limp yeah. wristed. <laughs> yeah, 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 and it's yeah. not all of our gay fans because there's a particular type of gay fan that's like a Nick, Nick fan. Nick. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then there's I, also. I, like, I looked at him gone for like five minutes and Adam finds a way to turn this into like a humble brag about the people that <laughs> like him. <laughs> no, no, it's, no. It's rare. But it's the one person. People do like me. And they, they think I'm their favorite, <laughs> they're, actually. They're fa- which is, it, I mean, it is rare, but let's, let's get back to the. Point, which is that people like me and I'm better than you guys. No, Almost. I never said that. That's no. what you're saying. Anyways, I don't know why God you... said that to me. And yeah, I said, yeah, 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 yeah. Nick, you weren't in listening. my fantasy about when I die. Yeah. I asked Adam what his, I'm what never going to die. What's a, yeah. What interview show would you want to be on? Or just any show yeah. interview show. Yeah. Yeah. Like mine was like Larry King, King or... Jenny Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Ricky I'm Lake. Gonna, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> hang out with rude Jude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Damn, Jenny. <laughs> Damn, Jenny. Can we go on, Mari? Can we not okay. inside of we one got, woman at the same we got, time? We got fat women yeah. that are now thin and they're confronting their high school bullies <laughs> who now live in a trailer park <laughs> and were raped. <laughs> it's always like, like, you used to call me fat. Now I'm hot and you got raped. <laughs> Everyone's like booing the rape victim. He's on meth. My life's kind of falling out. I'm so sorry for how I treated you. I was so mean to you. I was actually molested from a young age, and I was taking it out on you. I'm so sorry. Shut up, bitch. Let's bring the drill. Let's bring the drill instructor out here to scream at them. And then it's this guy that's never been in the military. <laughs> just some bodybuilder <laughs> wearing like a camo tank top. <laughs> it's just like guile. <laughs> you suck my dick. <laughs> you will not fuck my ass. <laughs> fuck you, asshole. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> fuck. I, I was just going to say. Oh, yeah. I was saying the thing. We should go on Mari, dude. We should all nut inside of one woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Dash is down. Yeah. Cool, perfect. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll and then we'll just go on Mari, and then we'll see who's the ba- whose baby it is. Oh yeah, you are not the father. Yeah. Then we can do. And then dances. Adam, Adam, when it's not you, it'll crying. be so funny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like I really wanted to be the dad. <laughs> I, I thought I was ready it. to step it up. <laughs> you're, I mean, you're even still gonna... if you're not biologically my <laughs> yeah. son, I love you. That's who. That's who Adam I'll fans be there are for you. <laughs> yeah, guys, exactly. The guys, the guys that are raising <laughs> the uh, biologically other people. <laughs> Yeah. Kids. Just a super dark skinned baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, those were good shows. Oh yeah, I miss them. I remember like uh, that Ricky Lake. Someone there was a Ricky right? Lake someone episode that was like her platform shoes are out of control. <laughs> and it was like a woman with like fucking really three foot. Shoes. Yeah, yeah, big shoes. That's hilarious. Yeah. She's was like a stilt walker. <laughs> yeah, and it was like, she was like, you're hurting your family. <laughs> 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 go Ricky, go Ricky, go Ricky. I love go the Ricky. audience members that were just like, yeah, just practicing a burn. For yeah, like oh, yeah, hours. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, my question is for the big bitch over there. <laughs> Does that ass come with a with, uh, bus lane park? <laughs> oh, and oh, everyone's like, oh. like, okay, everyone yeah. calm down, but she's smiling. When she <laughs> Fuck it. you. You don't know me. It's the nineties, Ricky. <laughs> God damn. That was what happened to Ricky Lake. She's, she's dead. Uh, she did hairspray, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's definitely not dead. I, I was, you know what? Dead, I think I just she had a thing for just fat 
talk show host. Cause yeah, because you like Rosie. Rosie was my girl. Ricky Lake was That's my girl. So Representation funny. matters, dude. You say it all the time, but it's so funny that I you know. prayed for Rosie. I prayed that Rosie wasn't gay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's so that is so funny. Just a little fat boy. <laughs> a little fat boy yeah. like, Because I wanted Rosie in heaven with me. I wanted to attend the taping of the Rosie O'Donnell show in heaven, yeah. sitting next to Marilyn Monroe, you know, getting mopped off. Just you and Milton Berle. Me and, and Ma- Milton Berle while <laughs> Rosie's Marilyn shooting Monroe. Koosh, ba- koosh, koosh balls, balls everywhere. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> What's better than that? Uh, Nothing, dude. That's, that's heaven. Yeah. That yeah. is heaven to me. Yo, this is crazy. When Ricky Lake started the Ricky Lake show, she She's was like dead, right? she was like 25. Wow. wow. Yeah. Salute. A true trailblazer. She dude. was she was kind of a piece of ass. And I'm not saying I'm saying piece that any age. Yeah, she was 24. Anyway. She was the youngest person to host a syndicated Damn. talk show. Damn. At the time. We're going to find out that also she- fattest. We're going to find out that she just had like a rich like TV owner dad, right? There's no way you'd be Ricky 25. Um, let's see. Right? Early life was born to Jill, a homemaker, and Barry, a pharmacist. Whoa, oh, self-made. Made That's own, my bitch, dude. dude. Yeah. I love Ricky. Ricky Lake, dude. Yeah, no, she made. She was in Hairspray when she was a kid. She was a child actress. I love her, dude. That's my girl. We gotta get Ricky Lake on what, the show. Oprah, <laughs> Oprah came from nothing, right? She like she, she was used like to a be, sharecropper. She or used something. to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, was she was a slave. <laughs> 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 Oprah, fun fact, used to be an anchor. She was Susie in Chicago. No, no, in Baltimore. Baltimore. WJZ thirteen. Uh, my fucking Jay Z. Cool. WJZ thirteen. My preferred news station growing up. Wow. Do you remember that? Susie. Have you seen uh, the, the Mike Diesel? Winfrey. The Mike Diesel uh, 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 local news commercials. No, when he was on them. No, he was in some like promotional commercial for like <laughs> the local Fox affiliate, or maybe it was like ABC or something. Where mm-hmm. he, you know they're at a barbecue and he's like with like the local anchors or whatever. Wow. And he's like, I prefer mine with mustard. You know, <laughs> getting like hot dogs. And he's like, please, after you. He's just like so bad at acting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so fucking Hell funny. Yeah, just how funny. <laughs> But go ahead. There's actually he's uh, Mike Diesel is also on the wire. And really? He's, yes. And he's, he is. Yes. And he's in the background in uh, that scene where Rawls is in the gay club. Oh, shit. Yes. Yeah. He's an That's extra. such a good scene. Yeah. It's so funny. Because, like, wow. guy's an evil character, and it turns out he's gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. If you, when you rewatch The Wire, there's, like, little, like, hints. Like, when Landsman, the fat guy that used to just look at porn in his office all day, yeah. he'd look at porno mags, like, Rawls would come in, and he'd, like, yell at him about something, and he'd be like, let me see that. And he'd, like, look at the porn. Like, right, right, right. Cool, normal guy. To show that he, like, yeah, hand yeah, it yeah. back to him. Yeah, wow, nice p- pussy. Nice porn. <laughs> wow, look cool at Cool porn. Round breasts. Do you remember porno mags? Are people still buying those? Yeah, they are a lot. Really? Do I remember them? What do you mean? I used to steal them in <laughs> airports when I was on my way to summer camp. Fucking. And then I'd be the porn guy in the bunk. And that's and you like, trade. I got magazines. And you boys. get jerked off by the boys. Yeah, yeah I'd be like, yeah. Porn, who's buying porn magazines now? That's what I'm asking. Yeah, there's still homeless there. people. They're, They're out stealing there. Almost people yeah. masturbate to those Link NYC things or other people on the train. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't need... Exactly. <laughs> it's so funny that like it like it took like two weeks for those to become homeless jack-off receptacles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we're giving we're giving free internet yeah. access to New Yorkers. Yeah, and yeah. Like, literally and then there's a guy like <laughs> just pulled up in a fucking a shopping cart. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah, living yeah. in the shopping <laughs> cart. <laughs> He's got his penis out. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking up the entire sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I found those recordings we did with the emergency booth at the yeah at yeah. The G-Stop. I was harassing them the other day too. Did you, you still do it? Yeah, yeah. that kid <laughs> called them up. I was like, uh, yeah, I need to go to uh, Queens Bronx. <laughs> They're like, well, what? <laughs> I need to have. I have to go to Queens Bronx. <laughs> They're like, it's either Queens or Bronx. <laughs> I'm like, uh, hold on. It says Queens Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Now I have to piss. Go piss, dude. Right. We only have How four minutes on left. Time. This is the pee-pee episode. We'd also like to plug uh, uh, your asshole. No. Yeah. A man's dick. <laughs> 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 uh, plug. Uh, yeah. Dude, I uh, hope your eyes are okay. I love to, I love to get plagued. <laughs> I love being plagued. Plague. Plague. Fuck me. Shout out to everyone who drew me with Down syndrome yesterday. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Out. Yeah, those were really nice. Yeah, there's those a lot really, of a lot of good dude, artists. I was in the there. hospital last week and I saw a little four year old with Down syndrome. Yes, yeah, so if you don't know, Adam kid. Adam had to go to the hospital for uh, his 
his asshole has become too loose now. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. true. And it's affecting his him. cheeks are falling into his asshole. It's really it's crazy. sucking in so much air that it's creating. A, <laughs> I had to see a special low pressure system. <laughs> yeah, a tornado <laughs> happens everywhere. Adam walks too every fast. Doctor, <laughs> every doctor I've gone to says yeah. this your is ass, your impossible. asshole just sounds like Kirby. <laughs> 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 Every doctor I've been to is like, this is medically impossible. And I just found this one wild card doctor mm-hmm. house style mm-hmm. doctor who's like, I'm on a ton he's of pills crippled, right now. He's on pills. I ride a motorcycle. Yes. And I'm going to fix your ass. That's awesome. And everyone's like, no, you've gone too far this time. Yeah. And he's like just stuffing shit in there, mm-hmm. you know, and then. And then he starts fucking me, and they're like, Whoa, "This is for medical science." Okay, okay. And I'm like, "Is this, you know?" And Do you feel like, any better? I was like, "What? What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Let him finish. He's yeah, the yeah, only yeah. one who can help." Yes. Yeah. And then I don't feel better at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Um, well, that's a shame. Well, dude. a part of me feels better. A part yeah. of me that feels like, the horny gay part of you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Satiated <laughs> finally <laughs> for um, the for at least a couple hours. Yeah, it's true. Um, <clears throat> yeah, shout out to everyone who drew Nick with Down syndrome. We got a couple of little artists um, who drawing me, me with some the train? shit. That was that was really good. Yeah, that was good. If you want to also want to draw me nude in some fashion, I think I'm gonna start doing a little fan art. Uh, maybe a, a, once a week or so. I'm trying to get a little fucking you know holler your boy if you want to draw draw the kid. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm trying to get some fucking beautiful beautiful shit commissioned and if you're trying to do a full-scale oil portrait of me fuck someone asked to paint me and i forgot if you're that guy email me <laughs> i used to when i moved to new york i wanted to like for like my stand-up headshots i just wanted to have like an oil portrait of me so mm-hmm. i used to ask girls on tinder if they said that they were like artists to do nice that. and then they'd be like no oh. did i tell you about the time i matched with that girl who uh, she was like, I matched, it was early on when I it's first moved. No, no. And she was like a fucking, she, she was like a painter and she was like, uh, I have to paint. She was Chinese as hell. She was like foreign as shit. Oh, she was cool. cute. Yeah. And I was like, oh great. She invites me over to her place and she's like, she's like, and I go over there. I'm thinking this is fucking tight. She wants to paint me like naked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm about to smash. Right. And I needed, I needed a win at the time. I was very low. And she and I just go over there and uh, she's like, yeah, normally I ask guys to paint them to fuck them. But this time I actually just want to paint you. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> she's like, I ran out of paint. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> that's, that's sweet. <laughs> and then I just like Did awkwardly you get sat the there. She like started drawing me and I was just like, what the fuck am I doing? I, was just, I, just, I don't want to get fucking paint. I just want to fuck. And you started yeah, yeah. jacking off. And I put my cock yeah. out and I was like, what do you think of this? And she's like, I can't see it. Yeah. It's small. Uh, I did like I did try. And then she's like, but then she came over to me. That'd and be a like, cool guy. The guy that has like a fetish for Asian women, but he's real insecure. So like he goes to fuck them and then they're looking at his dick, but it looks like they're squinting and he's like, what the fuck are you squinting at? <laughs> and then he beats them to death. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a good That'd guy. Be, that's <laughs> a definition of cool. That's a character. A character of, cool. I'm working on called White Panther. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes. I remember, but that girl was the first person who showed me high maintenance. After she drew me for a little bit, she's like, I'm tired. Want to like watch something? And I was like, oh, maybe she yeah, does. Like I don't understand it. the... I, I, and then she like cuddled up My ex-girlfriend put that shit on one time and I tried watching it and it's like, I don't understand. Apparently it's, it's good. Show. good. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to write a two minute scene and be like, yeah, I'm done. That's job. I'm done. No, work, now my it's work. 30 minutes apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, and they made it into a full show for HBO. For HBO, oh, yeah. Okay. It's good. I like the show. Someone told me it's the best show right now on HBO. Uh, well, that's well, going to be the episode. Was Albert Einstein? Albert, yeah. Albert Brian, Stein. Albert fucking Albert Fuckstein. Crying. Uh, Come Stein. My nine Stein. Nice. Right. Suck my nine right. Stein. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, dude. Guys, that was here. good, man. You pulled that out. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I perked yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. even listening hey, anymore. Hey, man, you got to have faith in me. <laughs> You're right. I do. You know, I always I do. May be, I'm, I may be on my way out here. I know. You are. You are. I, uh, but I, so still yeah, got, guys, I still got the touch. You oh, yeah. got the touch. Do, 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 uh, what do we say about you doing you songs at the, the end fire. of the show? You're not allowed to. <laughs> Only I may do songs at the end. Me and Stavros may do. Because I'm gay. I am a Suck on my dick because I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That ought to take us out. <laughs> 8 p.m. tomorrow at Come On Everybody. Whoa, here she comes. 
Look out, boy. She'll chew the couch. Whoa, whoa here she comes. She's she got re- Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's turning trans. Are you eating up? <laughs> He's trans. He's trans. <laughs> yeah. This show. Uh, yes. Pretty. Repetitive. I'm gay. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I guess episode recap. We had some good things in there. David Bowie. There were a couple good things. Yeah. Nick's dying. I tarted. That was. I it tarted good. was good. Oh, uh-huh. the whole thing about. Yeah. Yeah. Men having tits was. <laughs> that was maybe, the best part of the whole episode. I'm so, yeah. I'm gonna like. Yeah. It might be Even a high people don't like that. I think the show, end of yeah. every episode now should be a Barney and Friends style recap. Yeah. 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 Of what, what we learned learn today. To yeah. All the David Bowies. That was yeah. good. I like I like that Barney kind of looks like the eggplant emoji. He's like a big old cock. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, absolutely. He's a big throbbing fucking phallus. Mm, yes, and he's gonna fuck those kids. Yes, you know sir. who was inside of Barney during the show? A black guy, Marilyn Manson. What? Yeah. He had his yeah. rib removed so he could fit into the Barney costume. Yeah, yeah it's and suck his own. <laughs> suck a little kid's dick in the Barney <laughs> costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he had his rib removed. What about Marilyn Manson? Like a Marilyn Manson. We've done that joke on the show before. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Well, that that's a fitting way. Yeah, to end. Right. Adam cool. trying some, trying to steal something and being stopped. <laughs> I don't think I stole that. <laughs> uh, yeah, come to the show tomorrow, um, etc. Come kiss us. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye.